G'day everyone. Good evening humans. And g'day to random Lil, Chris, and Mr. Whiskey, who's quietly sleeping after his big long training today. And speaking of Chris, g'day mate. G'day Ken, how are you mate? Oh, I can't complain, I've got a drink in the hand. I Same here. Got a drink as well. Yep. I'm having a bit of Starward Ginger Bear Cast number six, which yeah. I'm happy it's got a little bit past the shoulder now because it's opened up quite nicely. Yeah, well, I went and picked up another it's bottle of. Well, uh, I, I just heard a ah uh, in the background from Lil, so. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lil. <laughs> Simon's meant to be rectifying that situation and getting you over some uh, ginger beer casting. He's supposed to be. <laughs> supposed to be. So how did you shape up after was... our uh, epic build on Monday night, mate? I think I slept well that night because <laughs> that was draining. That was a massive build. That Not in the oh. sense of pieces and time spent, but just the concentration we had yeah. to, put in to, to put all those little pieces together. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was full on. Yeah, it was crazy oh, no. that it was that full on to do that. No wonder it was an 18 plus for 18 plus. Yeah, I mean, I've not seen too many Lego sets that are actually are 18 plus. That, no, that, even that, the full on creators aren't. They're only 10 nope. plus and whatever. So, yeah, exactly. I've seen 16s, 12s, and you know, stuff around that age, but not 18 plus. I'm like, and they're saying, okay, this is this is not for your fucking your, your kids. <laughs> they're gonna go ballistic with this set. Yeah, the Luna Lando is uh, sixteen, but I'm hoping that that's gonna go a hell of a lot smoother. I I hope the typewriter yeah, yeah. goes a lot better for you. Even I just looked at the the leap here. That's eighteen plus. So I can imagine, understand that. This the the typewriter over there. I can't fucking. What's the fucking title? Well, that's 18 plus as well. Well, there you go. So oh. my statement is completely thrown out the fucking window. <laughs> well, it was nice knowing you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's good. <laughs> You're out. Weeks link. Goodbye. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that I haven't haven't gotten that one then to do and try to join in on. <laughs> Well, all the other ones are like oh, I love doing the big two thousand plus big Technic Lego sets, and those have never really made me fucking really strain like that one did. Because most of them are not that tiny little pieces. I mean, it the, was, the Technic sets are it quite was those legs and mechanics, but the, those legs with all those little weird, obscure, yeah. little, tiny little pieces, and yeah, and it was um, what those legs. I think those. Half a dozen legs took us about two hours. Yeah. Yep. And neither of us were having much conversation. While no. we were it must have been really, but really boring for the people watching for a change. A Lego build. Too much delay thought... listening in the lounge room. Yeah. Well, Lil, you'll just have to come on in. We can put up with the echo. We can change the audio. <sighs> no, she'd have to put her face oh, yeah. on and get herself all organised and pretty. Ah, don't worry about that shit. This is the pub. I'm on the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Not a beauty pageant. Actually, I saw the last night that a friend of ours was up in Geraldton um, on the weekend doing. They had photos down around uh, a few areas of Geraldton. And it's sort of like, oh, if I had known they were up there, I would have told them to catch up with you. Who was that? Uh, our old next door neighbours who lived down in Perth. I lived down in, down near Frio. And oh, okay. um, yeah, they uh, they must be on having a bit of a holiday, and they've gone and done a few treks around uh, WA oh, since nice. they moved it's over the... about five years ago. Oh, okay. Because uh, a guy I know who's a scientist who's been studying peacock spiders. He's over here at the moment, and he was up in Calberry, and you got a photo at the nature's window, and I was like, fuck, wish I knew, I would have caught up with him. Yeah. He's trying to 
find a specific species of peacock spider that's only like in a couple of bushes up in Calvary at that nature's window that's been found. So I don't know whether you actually found that species on this trip. So I'm just looking at Lil's, Lil's comment of a buddy was so tiny. I was thinking it would be a lot bigger for the size of the box. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I I think that he's a relatively decent size, but I reckon it's a decent size too. Yeah. yeah. So mine's right up there. Yeah, mine's right there. So... Random FPV just said nature's window is my porn name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, random. You can have a look. Just Google nature's window, Cal Barry, and you'll see your porn name in in real life. <laughs> it's just a bit of a rock that everyone sits in front of and gets pictures because it's got a hole mm. behind it. And if you go to my Instagram, you you can see I've taken a couple of nightscape images around that area. I need to go there and do a all night time lapse. Cool, which would be pretty epic. I'll let that fly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll let that fly. <laughs> So what's in your glass? I'm just about done with a uh, a Rebel Yell 80 proof. So I picked up a bottle of that from Neil this afternoon. So we decided we'd crack that, and I think we've drunk just about half the bottle. So, so is that still named Rebel Yell, or is it still just Rebel? No, it's it's, it's older stock, so it's still Rebel Yell. Okay. Yeah, so still Australia five years behind everyone else. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, we'll have enough <laughs> Rebel Yell for a few more years yet, so. Yeah, everyone will be going, Rebel Yell, that was five years ago. And I was like, yeah, yeah we still got it. <laughs> not, not that, you know, it's, it's really big. I mean, Rebel Yell, going back, oh, 30, 20, 30 years ago was absolutely terrible. It was, yeah, known, well, as, never... it was known as rubbish, rubbish, bourbon um but yeah they've yeah i never they've really picked up because uh it's a heaven hill weeder these days basically so actually that's a larger 94 good you can see it <laughs> oh you bring an elijah huh okay still heaven nine. hill yeah good day nigel hines hey nigel Been doing your chi again tonight, Nigel. Yeah, did you do your practice? Did you remember all the moves? Yeah. My student contacted me yesterday and said we're doing any training tomorrow, and hopefully, uh, now that I've unfucked some of the computers, so I had to unfuck today, I should be able to do some training tomorrow because I won't yeah. be completely fried. He screwed up his calf muscle in soccer training, so he hasn't been able to do training for a few weeks. Ah, uh, okay. What do you get for playing sport? <laughs> uh, just put him into some duck lock ma. That that'll be that'll suit him. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just just, just single leg training. Yep. 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 Yeah, exactly. We'll just do some just stand there. Just inches. yeah. One foot. <laughs> do your Daniel Sun crane effort. <laughs> exactly. I did some Wing Chun sparring. Nice. With gloves and, and mouthpiece or just... Yep. Just soft sparring. Bottles are just a little bit too far away. I don't know which earpiece it was. Going to a... Uh... Yeah, that's right. You can still sit down and do a chest out, but that's, that's, that's been lazy. Um... Good day. Bourbon baller. Hey, hey bourbon baller. baller. You 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 did see the uh, the Randy Williams defense against men sitting in a chair though. Yeah, you kick him. Yeah, and, and him with a chair. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So it's never good to do chase hour on a chair. Nope. Good day. Night pot. Oh no, Nightbot's in the house. Look out. Yeah, fuck you, Nightbot. Who's just going to upset tonight? Ah, so, so okay. uh, going with a uh, old, Forester. An old Forester single barrel. This is a pick. 
um, done by a friend of ours, John Coffey, from Lexington Bourbon Society a few years ago. He's given us a couple of different uh, old Forester picks. Fuck I, off. <laughs> I believe he's got a. Um, what do you want? Something? I'll send some over. I'll have some. Uh, <laughs> Piss off, my butt. It was like yeah. Fuck you, my butt. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see how long it takes people to get upset. Uh, knife butt to uh, get upset by him. <laughs> Lil's fine. She's she's a moderator. So. <laughs> Fucking knife butt. Yeah, no, I, I really, really like these old Forester 90 proof um, single barrel. Although I, um, I believe, believe I a mate of mine, uh, John Coffey, he's got a um, picked barrel strength um, for me over in Kentucky at the moment. So I want to try and get that over when I can. So I think it's around about the 130 proof. All right, so just under hazmat level. Mm. <laughs> Good day. Oh, geez, that's that's really different after an Elijah Craig. Oh, I bet it is. Drinking waiters all night. Hey, Marty. How you doing, mate? Hey, Marty. Cheers, mate. Oh, all right. I'm gonna do something. I'm wearing my. I'm wearing in a new pair of ski boots. Getting ready for oh, um, okay. skiing in August. Okay. So I've had them on for about the last the last hour. Oh, so I take them off. They're just get about in now. The army used to get your boots. You have to soak them in fucking water and then wear them for a few hours. Yeah. That's the best way to fucking... Which comment? Um, eat my taint with a teaspoon. Well, there's no swear words in that, so YouTube didn't block that. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I'm on right Yeah. Well, it's not the mod, it's the fucking YouTube. Because I haven't got any swear words limited. Day. It's only YouTube that plots it. Libation shit. exploration. Tito. Hey, Tito. So have you heard anything from uh, yeah. Simon as to whether he's coming in tonight or? Well, he'd be working, so he'd be up at Sparrow's Farts. So I, I don't don't expect to see him being in here. I haven't been skiing in 21 years. I've never been fucking skiing. I think the last time we were skiing was 2018. Well, 2017, sorry. Oh, shit. So four years ago. Mm. So, yeah. I was, we were supposed exactly. to go skiing in 2018, and I had um, Hello, major kidney Make surgery right. and everything the uh, the week before going. Oh, yeah, that's going to so, come to Yeah, skiing, yeah. That's for sure. yeah. My surgeon kind of went, mm, yeah, you're not going to New Zealand, but we might get you to the yeah. States, and he did that. Dan. G'day, Dan. So, Tito, hey, Dan. you got that excuse. You're not working. You're on fucking break, so you can get your ass in here and day drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have some fucking... And we could we can all discuss um, Adam's fascination with Lil's friend, uh, Jess. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> Still, can't blame him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think Lil got a, a message from um, Mike about that too. So, <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Day drink, day drink, day drink, day drink. Fucking a. Oh, that's right. You're going camping. I forgot about that. I thought actually, I thought you're already out there. Thirty minutes. Bastard. That's enough time for two, three drams. Yeah, that's right. He'd be well and truly primed for driving then. That's it. And he's not, you're not camping, Tito, you're glamping. <laughs> Talking of skiing, I snowboarded 
Bakodo and went to Sampora Brewery and Yochi distilled it amazing over there. Yochi is a great distiller. I'm, I'm just wanting to try. I'm trying to figure out the oh, it's definitely happening part that Lil's just said. Yeah, what, what's that? What's what's definitely happening? Uh, it, what that oh, we're trying drink? to set Adam up with uh, Jess. Oh, <laughs> if, if that's definitely happening. <laughs> Yeah, that's it, July 4th, because we're talking about Whiskey Trek. I was like, do we have Whiskey Trek? Because it's July 4th. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then everyone was like, nah, we're all good. Let's do it. And I'm like, yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. So we're going to do a watch episode. So we'll probably do the Trouble Trippers D Space Nine episode. Okay. We'll do a watch party. This should be fun. That should be my notification (laughs) that I... uh... You throw up a Whiskey Trek? Nah, that I'm live, which is correct. So that means my little fucking auto bot thing in Discord's working. Don't you just love the perspective, Sean Fortney? Uh, Sean, I can't even say that fucking word now, and I'm not even drunk. Poor Shortney. That's happening with my shoes. They look fucking massive. <laughs> <laughs> So here's your photography and videography fucking lesson for the day. This is called foreshortening. When you have something too close to the lens, it looks massive. Name of your sex tape, Ken. Yep, foreshortening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too far to reach. <laughs> Good day. Let's... Old man Joe. Hey, old man Joe. G'day, Joe. No, they're not the five one ones. These are just uggies. No, no five ones. I had them on all today. Today, when I was at work, there was a function here in town last week, and the people running the function were in full Star Trek costumes, serving food and drink. They all stayed here. I only found out after. Oh no! <laughs> I was going to say, where's the fucking pictures? Oh, man, that would have been sick. I can feel your pain finding out about that afterwards. Oh, man, I'd be gutted. I'd be so devastated. I'd be like, no, no. Yeah. Ooh, you can get free tastings at Yaichi or paid bar experience with Great Drain. Mm. Nice. Today, today? You're like, today, today? I mean, that sucks, random. That fucking sucks. No! I'm just, just okay, checking out the, uh, the, the the photos that uh, Lord Explode put up. Oh, Lord he's Grogu, Grogu, Yoda, and um, the start of the Razor Crest. Yep. Oh, have you heard about Slave One is now no longer going to be called Slave One? Really? New Lego sets. Good day. The new Lego sets are going to Nick be called. Nick Peters. Good day, Nick. Between snores. Nice. It's now going to be called Boba Fett's um, spaceship or something like that. That's boring. <laughs> Political correctness. Bull fucking crap. Well, that's why Bourbon Baller, 548 a.m. drinking with you. We're dr- generally doing that when it's um, you know, late in the evening, uh, late e- evening for you guys. So exactly, Nige. It'll be fu- that's what everyone's been saying about this with all the news and people commentating about. It. It's like it's always going to be called Slave One. Yeah. It's like fuck off with your political correct fucking woke shit. Go fuck yourself. Typ- typical um, Disney. No, I don't think... No, it's not Ghostface. This is Bourbon Ball. He, he owns the store. Bourbon Ball gets to drink some really good shit. Yeah, because you've, you've got your shop up in Seattle, isn't it, Bourbon Ball? Is it in Seattle? I think so. I'm sure we were discussing that the other night. 
Yeah, he gets to do great tastings of shitloads of stuff when mm. Rex comes. <laughs> what changed on YouTube the other day? Okay. Oh, got another picture. What have you pulled up, nice? No, uh, the he's put up the finished part of the razor crest nearly. Ooh, that's only so only the wings to go now. Yep. Yes, just a little outside of Seattle. There you go. Boom, boom. Nice. Yeah, have to have to get you to send over the the details of your store to uh, Ken and I. Yeah, fucking oath, because yeah, we we both want to go to Seattle for one specific reason, and then we'll definitely have to hit you up at your store. And not to mention, I've got a fair few friends up in the Seattle area, so I'll uh, refer them all down to you. Are you going to finish it tonight, Nigel? You need to get your shit together and get yourself a fucking camera. God damn it. <laughs> I think Nigel's given up on getting the um, the probe droid after our effort. <laughs> Do it. Just, just take your time fucking building it so you don't fucking tear your hair out. Yeah, I reckon we should have done that in three episodes with that build. We could have easily done that. The legs definitely were a, a, a whole episode on their own. Yeah, that's all right. We'll do that with with fucking eagle. We'll we'll stretch that out. Yeah, yeah. Get the most out of it. And it's it's still, far, still, still sitting there behind, behind me. It's ready to be built. Yours is over in the bourbon room, waiting for me to put some samples in with it to get it away by post. Excellent. I'm getting it, just got to save. Yep, that's the thing. Got to save for these fucking Legos. Bloody expensive hobby. Well, I've done Legos right? and whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Two, two really bad habits to have. <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have all the expensive fucking hobbies. Bloody... Photography's bad enough. Yeah. Astrophotography. Oh my yeah. god, that's a bottomless, endless fucking pit that'll suck your life away. Yeah. And then and then yeah, fucking whiskey and then then Lego. Jesus Christ. I'm glad I'm not into cars. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's why I make sure now that I have a salary sacrifice vehicle, which I change every two years. Oh, I, weapons! I, yeah, I do not, I do not put any money into it anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, don't get me started on fucking weapons. I could definitely go fall down that rabbit hole. And I just, I found out just recently that it's not that hard to actually get yourself a handgun, and and not only, but the, one of the clubs here, it's a um they're not just target shooting they're doing um john wick style fucking train i can't remember the name it's not oh wow okay three yeah gun. yeah it's not three gun it's it's practical shit you know when you got to go yeah. around a door or fucking yeah. over a barrel you know it's actual quick drawing and and taking out the targets in a certain amount of time i'm like yeah that's the shit i want to fucking do fuck yeah yeah well lou, lou was Sorry. really impressed Sorry. with the fact that um uh the world record speed shooting um for glock is held by a, a female oh okay yeah which is pretty awesome he was ghost face bourbon before change at the bourbon baller detective work no he was bourbon baller before ghost face yeah and then he, he came back he changed over and then he's come back yeah. <laughs> Lil wants to come and join him with the john wick training Hell yeah. Yeah, so I found out about one, so one of my whiskey but or cigar buddies at the club he was talking about. So he's got himself a Sig Sauer or something or other. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, 
I know one of the other guys, he's got a Glock 40 cal. Not a Glock, a uh, fucking Desert Eagle, the gold bladed one. <laughs> well, Lil wants you of... to check Discord for a proof of name change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just did just look. Same person, you reckon? Uh, six months uh, to get angry. No, it's not. That's the thing. It's not. It's not six months. It is over here. I don't think it is because talking to him, it, it doesn't take six months. It's pretty much once you, you have to do a certain amount of shoots a year. But once you got it, you pretty much, if you got your safe and everything and it's all been cleared and everything, you pretty much, you can take it home. Because it's not target shooting, it's practical shooting. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so it was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm letting that through. Yep. Is that done with a pencil? Yep. <laughs> 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 Damn straight. Well, I I still remember okay. my my job interview for the company which I was involved with and was partnering. Oh yeah, you still need to do the safety course, but yeah, yeah. you still got to pass that. You still got to do all that shit. My um, job interview for the IT company which I had with my business partner who's XSAS major. There's a full bird, uh, full bird colonel at the end of it. He's um, was in a pub in Central Station, in train pace. station here in Brisbane. Uh, three and a half hours drinking, discussing how many ways you could kill somebody without leaving traces. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Hey, Steamface, how's the fucking weather, man? Hey, Steamface. I mean, you guys are getting fucked over. Yeah. With the... World record breaking fucking temperatures of 48 and 47 and shit. It's like, holy fuck. <laughs> Got some nice six hours and eight shot Smith and Wessons. It's good fun. Fucking oath. Yeah. Yeah. So well, you, I was thinking you, about that earlier. I was like, fuck, I need to go and get into that because I, I want to get obviously a nine mil. So I don't know whether I'll go. HK 9mm or a SIG or some of those Czech weapons. They're fucking the CZs are pretty fucking nice. And then obviously I've got to get a, a 45, a 911, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely a 911 45. But hell yeah. I mean, I've shot shot a SIG over in the States at the um, the Vegas um, Strip Gun Club. And it's yep. an interesting shoot because it's got a triple safety built into the trigger. Yep, yep. And it was really... Did my head in trying to figure out how to do rapid fire on it. Whereas a, a Glock or a um, Beretta or anything is really easy to do rapid fire. Um, I just could not rapid fire on the SIG. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's true, Dan. Yeah, I, I don't know if I go... I, I'll probably just don't, go... Don't need a hand cannon, babe. <laughs> no. <laughs> Although Lil, Lil does like the 50 cals. Who doesn't like a fucking 50? <laughs> no, I've got I've got a great video of her um, prone shooting um, five rounds on a 50 cal. With a Barrett? Yeah. Hell yeah. Four, four shots sent a mass and I made her, made her laugh on the last one. And she she dropped it on the uh, the edge of the uh, the, the bullseye okay. target because I made her laugh. Let's go for some fucking weller. Because the bird's the word. I think we killed a bottle of that the other night. So I'm waiting for uh, three bottles to come in. Of just the uh, special reserve. Yeah, it's one of my favourite daily glad, really. drinkers, and if you know, it's getting it's it. A at... Great fucking daily drinker. I'm glad we can pick it up here for seventy bucks. Yeah, it's I'm getting good. it for a bit less than that at wholesale, but you know, you, you do what you do. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Courtesy of uh, Neil. So. 
to anyone in Australia who's after some harder to get whiskies and things like that. If you're after um, Japanese whiskies or some Irish and Scotches, he's he's got a lot of varieties at uh, his shop at Barrels and Stills and the Gabba here in Brisbane. G'day, JD. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, Simon's all good. He's he's got a new job, so he's working fucking early, and he's got to travel like an hour and a half in the morning to be at work at some stupid hour in the morning. So, yeah, he he's in bed to get up ready for sparrow fart. So. Yeah, he's up at four a.m. or something because he's got to be on the yeah, road by five to be at work by six thirty. Yeah, something crazy like that. Yeah, so I'm really, I really want to get some trigger time, but I don't want to jump down that fucking rabbit hole because that's an expensive rabbit hole. <laughs> and with your former occupation, it would be uh, a, a habit which is quite easily to reform. Yeah, yes, exactly. Because I don't get much trigger time, and my my fingers always itchy. Yeah. And with. Uh, yeah the fact that uh, you now have to pay for rounds where it was the Australian government that paid for your previous. Yes. <laughs> the worst thing was, you, you, you fucking have a pile of rounds and they say, oh, we got to get rid of these rounds. Yep. Your weapon had malfunctioned. You couldn't get rid and you had to hand them all back. That was the worst fucking criminal thing to have to do. <laughs> hand rounds back when you're told to get rid of them. I'm like, no! You know, I'll never forget that. Styers were never supposed to misfire. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly, Dan. Exactly. I yeah. mean, fucking hell. And yeah, that's it. Freedom tickets. The fucking price of freedom tickets these days is not the greatest. Fucking... Lil saying the ammunition shortage now over here, too. Yeah, freedom tickets. Yeah. Unless unless you do your own, you're. Um... Well, that, that's what Dan's saying. If you get yourself a press, and then you got you get your produce, and then you got you get your brass, and yeah, and because you know I'm, I'm good friends with the the Eleventh Battalion Reenactment Group, and you know they all got three O's, and fucking go out. Oh, okay. Those. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. They keep nagging me to join up, but I'm like, I'm just don't have the fucking time. <laughs> My evil namesake, who I went to went all through school with his father was a member of the Australian Commonwealth Games shooting team in 82 here in Brisbane. He nice. does all his own presses and everything, so. Yep. Can't remember how many times we yeah. used to go around and at the age of 15, 16, and we were, we were um, pressing bullets while he was sitting there having beers, telling us, make sure you get the right number of grains in and Yep. Can't no, that's good. Bang, and bang. you get someone at the club who does pressing and you just fucking pay them to press yeah. the shit. All right, Tito, you have a fat fucking time, you lucky bastard. I'm totally jealous. And, yeah, uh, enjoy sure that you glamping, know. Tito. Yeah, enjoy that glamping. You'll have fucking internet, so make sure you fucking pop your head up and, and join fucking, you know, jump on Livewire on here or wherever else on the interwebs. You lucky bastard. <laughs> yeah, definitely. You definitely got to get on live wire on Friday night, just so we can all give Adam a hard time. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, I'm totally with you, Lil. Fucking can't wait to go bang bang. Just that smell of cordite. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> gotta get some trigger time. Actually, I'll have to get um, Lil to print out a photo of Jess, just so that we can put that up when Adam's on during live wire. <laughs> See how, see how often we can distract him. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're both off on the weekend for a change. Oh, yeah, Black Powder. We have a Black Powder club up here. I wouldn't mind getting into that. Mm. Fuck yeah. Not doing that. <laughs> Haven't been legally allowed to have a firearm my whole life growing up. What? That sucks. Almost as bad as fucking living in Australia. Can't have a it, it would be funny though, Lil. 
You might want no, want to have you might not want to have a photo of Jess for Adam, but it would be funny. Yeah, I fucking know. Not yet, JD. I've been checking fucking three times a day. I haven't had any news yet. I'm I'm guessing if 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 a letter isn't imminent that it's um on its way and they just haven't fucking Australian Post stupid useless fuckwits haven't fucking updated their shit. I think that's what it is. Uh Australia Post is taking a phenomenal amount of time at the moment for parcels. Ah, oh, has been for the last couple of years. I mean, fucking shocking. No, well, since that's COVID, it's shocking. gotten hell of a lot worse. Oh, man, it's got bad. I mean, we, we only get mild deliveries every second day now during the week. Yeah, it's pretty much the same here. Yeah, it's only every couple of days. Although we did get our... Um, we did finally get our delivery from um, Nick's for Lil. Oh, okay. The bottle of uh, 15 year green spot and 15 year red breast. Yeah, I saw that, that post, yeah. Mm. Fuck yeah. So we're probably going to crack those on the weekend. Yeah. Because um, Mike's asked for us to open them on stream with him. Oh, sweet. So, uh, but we're not going to be bottle chugging out of those. Uh, no, no. No, we'll, we'll leave that to the crazy bastards. <laughs> I, I might might have to pull down the uh, four and a half litre Jim Beam tilt stand just to make the uh, bottle chug sort of thing easier because you got the tilt. Yeah, there's a match where you hit for your revolve and you pressurize the accurate people like cowboy style in the clips. That's exactly if yep. you practice it, if you know where to hold it and what angle and everything, you can get pretty fucking good at it. It's just. As anything, practice, practice, practice. Got a new pair of tabbies from Yokohama, Japan, in six days. Fuck yeah! So there you go. Nice. Well, well he asked me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eleventh of June. It arrived in Sydney on the twenty fifth, and it's now the fucking thirtieth. So yeah, where the fuck is it? Yeah, well, if you haven't received anything from customs by now. No, not yet. So, I reckon if I haven't heard anything by Monday, I'll go into the post office and ask them, because quite often they fucking just had it sitting there. Yeah, yeah, the system hasn't updated. No, it's just fucking Australia Post. Fucking it's just sent by snail mail, not by um, not by FedEx. No, but we uh, can make it way. Yeah, this is good shit. This. Yeah, I really like the Weller ninety. Yeah, it's it's fucking a good little sipper. Got just the right amount of flavour and complexity and palate. Just yeah, just to be a good sipper. Yeah, as I said I've got two two or three OWA picks over and that have been sitting over in the US. I've got to get them over. One of them was done by the Bourbon Review when God, I think about two thousand and sixteen that I've had sitting over there. Oh, it's a one liter, one liter bottle, and it's just we've never been able to fit it in because we've always had other stuff. Well, that's what's rest left of my OWA one hundred and seven that fucking Lord Schlong sent me that took fucking ever to get here because it was stuck in the fucking Australia post post office for fucking four weeks when they didn't even notify me that it was sitting there. Until I went in there asking them about it, and I was like, "Oh yeah, it's been sitting here for four fucking." Like, yeah, really? and nice of you to send me a uh, yeah the nice card to say, me. "Hey, we've got a delivery for oh, you." It's... Yeah, that's the thing. If I think it has gone through because it says <clears throat> waiting for clearance, and then it says waiting shipment or something, something, something like that. We shall see. Well, the good thing is with customs, they won't destroy it. All that they'll do is send you a bill and go, hey, we yeah, exactly. expected this. Yeah. Um, yep. 
cough up. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing we're lucky here in Australia. They don't destroy it, they send you a bill. Because Australian customers would rather get the money than to destroy shit. Right. It costs more. Yeah, they, yeah they're greedy bastards. They want their money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sydney has taken their cut. Yeah, that's where I yeah. reckon they prob that, that's probably what happened with that um, bottle of old Pogue. It didn't get broken by TSA, it got broken by Australian customs. Bastards. Oh, we we had a bag, one bag out of six, not make it on the plane from San Francisco one year. Oh. And it was one of the bags which had all my alcohol in in a pelican case. And one of the one of the bottles, which was an old Pogue Select, um, turned up shattered, and the bourbon was through the entire bag and case. And it's oh, all like amazing. Yeah, it's sort of like, mm, don't know how that happened. Yeah. Especially when all the foam in the Pelican case was cut out to the shape of the bottle. Yeah, I mean, that must have been some serious fucking shock force to fucking cause that. Yeah. And M&M's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the M&M explosion everywhere. There, there was just M&M's all through the bottom of the bag. But it was really nice because they sent me the bag, the uh, the exploded bags of M and M's, and the empty Pelican case with the broken shards of the old Pogue bottle. But they kept all my bottles, and then sent me a letter saying, "Oh, it's five bottles that came in." And I had to send them back a letter saying, "Yeah, there was two of us on the flight. Here's our uh, our tickets and." And then I had to fly to Sydney to go pick it up because they wouldn't forward it. I'll catch you back in a second. Um, so, Steam Face, probably once we find out... I mean, the two options are... I mean, the shipping to Australia is going to be a pain in the ass because if you just label it as beer oil samples, they'll get here. That won't be a problem. And I'm super keen to try the Shelter Point. I've heard good things. We can get actually get Shelter Point here. Um, it's not that easy to find, but we can get it here. And I've been super keen to actually try some, but we definitely can't get two brewers. I haven't seen any of that. And I'd be, yeah, I'd be super keen to fucking try some of that shit. That's for sure. So if you have a look at the shipping, see what it costs. The other way is once we find out the Good logistics day. of how to get samples Mr. to our Whiskey border shits. Address, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, look, he's joined in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so if it's not too cross prohibitive to send it to australia just labeling as beard oils that might be the way to go or if we can find out about our flight address how the logistics to get around with the samples thing um we just need to get the go-ahead from customs to say yeah that's fine if it's a small amount we'll let that through or what we need to do to get around that how are you, Adam? Well, it's good. It's not as the same league as two brewers. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'd be super keen to try some of that stuff. Because, yeah, we just can't get it. I'd be super keen to try that. <sighs> you, you came in about five minutes late, Adam. We were only just talking about you. Oh, yes, please, JD. Yes. Yes. I'd be super happy to try some Polish with, uh, vodka. Yeah. Yeah. Vodka. Yes, definitely. For sure. It's been a long time since I've yes. had some Polish vodka. Yeah, hell yeah. No, I'd be super excited to try that. Hell yeah, definitely. That'd be sweet. Yeah, strain customs are strain incredibly customs. tight. Yep. They are. They're fucking good at their job. They're bastards, but yeah. they're fucking good at their job. But if you play the game with them, they are actually really quite reasonable. Yeah, like that's it. If you don't try and screw them around, they they will actually do you all right. Yeah. That's the, exactly. the number of years that they've looked after me when I've come back through with bottles and they, um, you know, you come back in with a spreadsheet of everything, pricing everything, all laid out for them, and you just hand it over to them. And they they go, oh well, this is great. Why don't we? Um... Yeah. Yeah, get a recipe for glass. I, I can translate. I, I think that my uh, 
great grandmother's cookbook in got some recipes for um vodka in it Talking i know to it's got russian beer uh if you're trying to get the bat six good luck then ball because that was that was a lottery here in australia just to get that it was only released in australia so you might be able to get batch five and maybe batch four but I doubt it because I've only seen one bottle of Batch 5 sitting on one of my locals that only just popped up out of the blue. So I don't like your chances of getting that. Some of the other stuff you'll be able to get. Um, but yeah, I don't know about this is very, very small limited run. Yeah, I'm amazed Lil has like, gotten on to the story. Achievement from Europe and USA. Say again? I'm amazed that Lil hasn't gotten onto the distillery yet. Down at uh, Starwood. Trying to find out what's happening with more ginger beer. Yep. Hit and miss here. I've ordered absence from Germany a little to no problems. Bottles from the States aren't worthwhile. The tax is horrendous. Your. 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 Mm. Your. No, she's obvious. She's saying she's tried talking to the seller. Oh, uh, yeah. It was only a small amount of bottles that I actually bought out of this shit. Hmm. It's not bad though. I should get that batch fire. Before it fucking disappears. Yeah, I bet your ears will burden, Adam. <laughs> yeah. We're, we've got some plans for you on the weekend. The next live wire stream. It's good. So I've been thinking about killing some of my samples off. So I've got, this is what Lord Strong sent me. So he sent me a smooth ambler old scout, store pick, 107. Yep. OWA 107. Ezra Books Distills Collection, store pick 107. And the Baker's seven-year-old single barrel 107. Oh, okay. And if I remember correctly, I liked number two, which was this, the OWA 107. I did yeah. like that. And oh, the, yeah. Like the Baker's. The one, the one hundred and seven OWA is my favourite expression of Weller, other than yeah, the William okay. Leroux. That's why I've only got that much left of it because I quite liked it. Yeah, I think I've got two old style bottles still in the cupboard. Nice. Well, there you but, go. You've been you've been hooked by Australian whiskey, yep. <laughs> and that's only just scratching the fucking surface. They're they're the shitty versions. <laughs> they're not even the good ones. <laughs> well, we do. We do have a um, a Baker's one hundred and seven, but it's it's a really old bottle. It's from like. 2004 i think that's still sitting in the cupboard oh shit. and we've got a we've got a smooth ampler um 10-year pick boom ball you have to talk to mike because he scored himself that fucking that starwood bloody store pick fucking exclusive oh American. yeah that single so you should be able to get some of that. Especially, yeah, if you still talk to Starwood, though, you should definitely be able to hook that up for the store. So Tuesday, the 27th of July is National Scotch Day. So you're going to have to get yourself some scotch, Chris. 
I've got some dim, uh, 12 year dimple and um, a shivers 15 and a couple of other things in the cupboard. Other than a other than a 1966 Johnny Walker Red, but you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saving that for when you come over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who knows? You might come home with it too. Yet. Oh, I think we'll just drink it. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> Prod, prod, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Dusty bean products, does that taste like expired peanuts? Yeah, it probably does. <laughs> no, that tastes more like um, peanuts that you get at the movies. Yep, that's the old mouldy ones. Yep. Are you on some Talisker Sky? Nice. Oh, I'll fucking actually, I'll finish this and I'll join you in some of that. I'm having some of that for a while. Okay. I need to get that fucking Dark Sky, that treble only. Because of the fact that the port, the uh, build took so long the other night. Actually. Because the build took so long the other yeah. night, I didn't get around to opening this. Oh, the wood for double, 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 double? No, it's just, yeah, the double oak um, pick, which we did with the Bourbon Mafia. Yeah, the double, 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 double. I've got the double, double oak in the cupboard. Yeah, which oh, one, Dan? Not a lot of it. Oh, let's go. Good day. Drank a thirteen year smooth. Daniel Strachan. Good day, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Shocked how good it was, but I had no clue about them a few years ago. Nice. Tempt for the Glenfiddich Grand Quarters, but over budget, but so tempted. Yeah, I mean that is just expensive. Well, it depends where your um your 13 year smooth ambler was from because generally that age was definitely mgp but not all of their stuff is mgp from smooth ambler you got the 10 in the storm the sky which one's that one just tell us the sky i don't even know what that one is i'm having a brain fart here Babe, do you want to try some of this? If you do, just stick your head in, just grab a glass and stick your head in the study. That's a one litery. Uh, yeah. This is a 700, I think. A 750. These G-shaped bottles are really hard to judge. Pop, pop. Oh, yeah. America. Ooh. America. Oh yeah, that's that's got a great oak to it. Yeah, I just I just googled it. It's an NIS. Yeah, it's a one liter, so it must be a travel only, like the Dark Storm. Oh, I'll have some storm. I'm gonna keep an eye out for it when we come back from New Zealand in the end of August, beginning of September. Uh, the Dark Storm. I can get that. That some, one of the stores has it, which is a travel only. Um, don't know about the sky. I think that's just a level entry one, if I remember correctly. Not sure. It was an MGP smooth amber. Nice, not that. Yeah, ridiculous. yeah. The, the the MGP smooth amber picks have always been fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I was there's a smooth amber in my store, but it's fucking good day. Ridiculous. Sugar kitty. Go yeah, sugar kitty. <laughs> Oh, I, I hear a sugar kitty in the background, so uh, somebody's coming out to get some um, wood for double oak, obviously. Yep, that telescope Port Rouge is definitely one I need to get my hands on. I've been wanting to get that. Uh, yours, seven, yours is 700 mil? It's the base telescope. Yep. 
Oh, the sky. Yeah, now. Yeah, that's right. And yes, it was a. I, I did think that was a very good cop, but Adam. Oh, jeez. One that is not right for the US market, definitely trouble. Well, I just had a look, Dance had it as the one leader. Yeah, the 57 North. And the distillers, yep. I've got the 15. I haven't tried that one yet. Yeah, bring a cube in, but yeah. Just a small cube. Well, this is incredibly oaky, this one. Oh, the every well, other bottle of oak. double oak that I've opened up hasn't been this oaky. Is that oaky? This is this is almost as oaky as the double double. So, God, it's making me want to go out and grab some um, Ghirardelli 75% um, chocolate. No, oh, now you're talking. Yeah, that is very true. Trying to get the fucking 57 North now. I was like, yep, that's getting a bit fucking mm. rare. Oh, that's... Yeah. Woo! Had a bit of, fair bit of caramel on the front of it, but Jesus, it's it's just... Got a real powerful... Thick piece of lumber. <laughs> smoke and um, oak. You can just taste the jar on the back end of it. Safe. Yep. Charred mm. barrel safe, having a gnaw on it. Yep. But it's, it's not offensive, it's just really sits there on the palate. Mm. Oh. 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 Mm. How, oh, uh, uh, a full mature in a podcast for 13 years? <laughs> Sample, please. <laughs> mm. Actually, can you send uh, me a message actually, on Discord where you got that? Because I'm going to order that fucking thing. Yeah, and get it sent through the U the UK side. Yes. Well, yep, yep. The question is, what do you want? Oh, it's just talking about the little fire. squares, not the I don't think we've got any lot. little squares left. Yeah, we do. Really? Yep. Mmm, right. chocolate. Okay. Do you want to bring the other chair? You know you don't want to drink spicy sawdust, but you do, and I say, I don't mind that at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. If you can pull on that 57 North, buy it. Yep, damn straight. It's like fucking Jim finding that bloody Aaron 14. Just fucking sitting there. Like, what the fuck? So where's Julie tonight? Uh, good question. Somebody give her a nudge on fucking Discord. Yeah, so where are you? We still have the burned caramels. Oh! I didn't know that we had any burned caramels left. Oh, you brought the double double out. <laughs> double, 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 double. Double, double, double. Yeah, it's the original release. Noise. You obviously stopped at the cupboard on the way through. Or oh, some bourbon caramel. I thought I thought that we'd uh Ooh. finished Ooh. all then. Yeah. Yeah. Listening to the conversation. Yeah, hell yeah. Thanks. Hi everyone. Yeah. Let's just get those out of the road. Yeah. I've got you guys on delay in my ear, so 
Well, what you can do, use your phone, click on the link, join in, and I won't add you, but you'll still be able to, you'll be able to hear us in real time then. Do that. On your phone. Hmm? On the phone, go to the, click on the link. And see if it'll go through OBS. It, it oh, wasn't for oh, when okay. I tried to do it on my iPad earlier. All right. Um, go by. Yeah. Stand by. Clint Hickey. G'day, Clint. Chocolate is a good <laughs> word around here. Eminem plant on a good day has the one wind blowing in my direction. You yeah, can tell. Go, it. Yeah, click on that. Oh, that's awesome. No, no, no. <laughs> you so you're sitting there in the camera. sun going. <sighs> Oh, okay. Allow. Allow? Yeah, so if you join in, then we just won't add you to the stream, but you'll be able to hear the audio. Yep, um, and then go start. Start? So that's my IT brain working there. So you should now... Oh. So just switch you back over to you YouTube and... Can I have the two things at the same time? Just mute your mic and turn your camera off. Ah, oh, yep. Yep. So I'll stick one out. Just... I'm technologically retarded. There you go. <laughs> and then turn your turn your camera off. That way it'll save you power. Okay, yeah. And you just be able to hear us. There you go. Yep, now you can hear you us go. real time. So how do I Done. see the chat? Oh, and there. Oh, I can't comment. Then you've got the chat there. Yeah. You can. You can. Uh, I can. I can do the uh, pop it up. Yeah. I'll just get my iPad so I can still moderate. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now you can listen to us in real time without any lag. Hey, Clint. How are you? Oh, I'm going to go some uh, 86% cocoa. Get it early. Oh, nice. This would be bitter still, as. On the day I was closing on the house and I smelled it and thought, I my neighbour was making chocolate chip cookies. Stupid me, didn't get a figure it was m M&M nearby. <laughs> nice. Oh, you're right near the m M&M factory. Yeah, he can smell whether it's fucking plain chocolate or fucking peanut. <laughs> depending on the day. <laughs> that's that that's right one which, which Leanne wanted. It's a... Uh, Peppermint? Peppermint brownie. Oh, whiskey porn, all right. Whiskey porn. Oh, on a good porn. day. We can smell the... Um, the Arnott's factory. The we can, we can factory smell the here. making Tim Tams. Growing code sing, straight, straight, 20, 13 single malt whiskey we've spent time of its life in Port Cup. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's poor. Uh, so right, I'm a big fan of poor, I, I, but I, I don't mind no, Angel's yeah. Envy, though. I've got to get me a bottle of that. Yep, I'm doing that tomorrow. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Double O. I'm going to get Mafia me a bottle Double O. Oh, well, it must be good. There we go. I want... 13 years in port cast. Yes. Fuck, I want port now. <laughs> Anything else? So many things. I think, come on. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm. Mm, chocolate. Damn, we're going to have to get some chocolate. Oh, dude, why do you see oh. our fridge? So much time. Oh. And any time that I do Woodford. Ooh. That's different. Ooh, that's like coffee. Yeah. Ooh. That's like that Mr. Black's liqueur. Mm. Yeah, I don't like coffee, but I've heard that's pretty good, that liqueur. Yeah, I'm thinking that, Daniel. I'm thinking mm. tomato time, tomato fourteen. I'm thinking that 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 port. Mm, I'm I'm aching for the port. And yes, Clint, love me some Loch Lomond. I've got the Loch Lomond eighteen, but the twelve to fifteen, eighteen, 
They are such fucking great bang for the buck fucking bottles. Big thumbs up to fucking Lock Lyman. Lock Lyman and their fucking other company they own, Glen Scotia. I am a big fanboy at the moment. I mean, <laughs> Glen Scotia. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, JD, yeah, the hot cocoa mix we nearly did pick up when we were over in the States last month. Because anytime we're in San Francisco, we always go down to the Ghirardelli oh, factory. And anytime that we go to the outlet shops in Louisville, they've got a Ghirardelli shop. And we get a um, a Ghirardelli Sunday or. Oh, no. Or the Fatty coffee. gets the fucking Ghirardelli Sunday. <laughs> Cheers, Daniel. And yes, I'll still be here. See you, I'm not going anywhere. I actually feel like getting a bit slammed. Ooh. That's because we um, didn't exactly go through a lot of pause on Monday night. <laughs> and not only that, I've had the last couple of weeks has been shit with working. Crap, uh, and you've had a shitty day, but I know you're going to get up early, so you can't get slammed. But I'm feeling like. No, I don't have to be up Donald, early. Donald, Donald, Donald. <laughs> Dan, Daniel, Daniel's getting this, and, uh, and I want this. Have, have you heard about this? Do you know about this? I want this. I want this. I want this. 13 years in podcast. I want it? it. I want it. I want it. I want it. It's Rosie right. Co, 13 year old, car strength, and it's spent all of its time matured in port. Wow. Up okay. Mm. Yeah. I want. Yeah, I want. Chris is going to Google. <laughs> we may know someone who knows someone who can get it. <laughs> Well, I've got my UK address, so I can fucking. Well, that, that too. Yep. Yep. <sighs> and Just at the moment, we get. I love, um, so I love that too. Yep. And at the yeah, moment, we get ten uh, percent off too with um, my US friend. I think that we're sending from the UK. What? Why is it oh? available on eBay for ninety-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents? Uh, I think it is the 2020 year. Well, Daniel, what, hey, it. why does Kogan.com have it available? I'm, I'm very concerned about Kogan having it. <laughs> yes, 2020 batch. Yes, 58 ABV. Oh, you need the 2020 batch. I want. Daniel, can you Daniel, send me the link where you're good. getting it? There's two available um, in okay. Melbourne, so I wonder if that's Ooh, Nick's. Nick's. Oh, okay. And if it's not Nick's, get on to Jose. It might be Jose. No, Jose's not on eBay. How do you know? Do I know? Oh, Clint. I'd have to... I've got a... Um... What was that? That's a... So good. 60? Yeah, this is 60. I've got a Glen Scotia Club exclusive. That oh, is amazing. Hmm. You need some more, though. I'm out. <laughs> Liquor World. Liquor World? What the fuck is Liquor World? Liquor World's got the Rowan Co for ninety seven ninety nine. Is that the 2020 that. cast? Uh, I don't think it is. You have to go 2020 cast on your um, search. I'm definitely going to source a bottle of that. I fucking, that's 30 years in port. Fuck yes! Four to seven days to Western Australia. <laughs> I was very happy to receive my green spot and my uh, red breast 15 the other day. Yeah, you should be popping that shit. I will be on the weekend. Ow. Dude, I paid for it. Yeah, and I, like I haven't <laughs> paid for ninety nine percent of the stuff in the cupboard. Hey, is that what, nice you find out what year Maybe ninety five. Come on, <laughs> Lil. Did you find out what year that red breast is? No, but I'll go and grab it. Stand by. Well, Donald's here. He should be able to tell you what fucking. Yeah, I haven't put it away yet. <laughs> How 
How does Kogan have Rowan Co? Ugh, Kogan's fucking an oddball. I wouldn't trust buying anything for them. Low stock. Yeah, which means it has none. Yeah. <laughs> 7125. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's fucking 7125. What it was, oh, it's a March 2017. Okay. It is... By the looks, maybe. Hang on, we have to open the bottle. What's the proof on the green spot? Um, that's still on the table. I don't know. Okay, what we got? Uh, there's a code on the back. <laughs> You know, like, Wild Turkey has their laser codes? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it... Maybe that's a used Anyone by knows date. Anyone how much you paid for that 15? 150? 150? On special. Did you see... Mix. Did you see what Daniel just put up? No, what? On clearance for 32.99. Ah. Uh, that's Australian, <laughs> know, right? that's Australian pricing, <laughs> and that's on special. <laughs> I don't know how, how do you how do you tell what batch it is? Uh, Donald, how do you find out what batch it is? Oh, there's a hang on, there's a Q, there's, there's a QR code. I have to get out of my hang on. I'm gonna get out of this for a second. Let's go this way. What's that? No, I'm just got my QR code app. Ooh. Just make sure, Clinton, you've got some of the old car strength, not some of the new shit. Because oh, it's a data matrix code. Jesus, okay. Just is it 2018 or 2019? <laughs> I'm going to have to take it to Woolies and let the fucking data matrix fucking sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to jump back in. See, I've got no audio. Can you hear me? Oh. oh, hang on. Ah! No, you muted. What the hell? Well, we can't hear you if you muted. Oh, no, it kicked me. Yeah. <laughs> booted no, you. he's still there. It fucking booted me. You oh, still there? No, no, just go into Google. Oh, okay. Nope, you went you go. Go. I'm back. Yep. I'm back. It's all good. You're back. Hang on. Now you're gone. No, you're gone now. No, no. You're gone now. Yeah, hang on. Well, let me jump back in. <laughs> right, time to get back to work. All right, Daniel. Cheers, mate. We'll Hello. catch you in the fire. See you, Daniel. Stop. Danny, fucking. To... What do I need to mute? The camera and the mic. Daniel Michael. Yeah. There we go. Hilarious. We're good. <laughs> oh, uh, proofing on the green spot. Stand by. So, the 12 dollar stout and the 15. Nice. If you want to find out, Adam, you've got to come and join in the pub. Yeah. <laughs> At least probably working. <laughs> and, and do a bottle chug. In the middle of the day while he's working, driving a rig. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> driving a freaking truck. <laughs> yeah. But tell me, Adam, have you and Jess hooked up yet? <laughs> Good day. Bourbon Neophyte. Hey, Anthony. Good day, Anthony. Hey, Anthony. Go, Donald. How do you just got a notification now? Oh, that sucks. Um, mm. Donald, how do, you, how do you know what age... What year the fucking uh, red breast? Eight proof on the green spot. Yeah, what's the trick? And yeah, you can scale the dot. We will allow that. Ninety-two on the red breast. So you go 80, 80 on the green spot, Adam, and ninety-two on the red breast. Yeah, I just don't know which. Unless you can decipher a 
Yeah. A laser code. A laser code, yeah. Donald will give us the, the rundown. Cool. But it's got the your little circle with the lady with the with the pregnant belly and the line through it. It says, don't drink while you're pregnant. <laughs> Me and Jen are best mates. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but what about what about you and uh, Jess, Adam? Yeah. What? what have I missed you? Uh, we want to know. Well, uh, Adam's just said that me and Jen are best mates. What about Jess? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, just mate, you messed it up. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, ha have you not? The newly branded her red breast post request? 2018. So, so pull that one up. Lil, is that the old oh, yep. one? Oh, yeah. Up the newly branded red breasts are post 2018. So the yeah, so laser code, where's, the, where's your put your where's little the, there. the old labeling? Left turn, turn, turn. anyway, front, front, front label, front label, front label, front label. Oh, front label, front label. Front label. Front label. Is that the old or not too I okay with the 15? Not sure. Donald will tell us. Bed for me. Enjoy your night with people full of bellies. Oh, and we shall definitely do that. Good night, Cheers, Dan. Dan. Good night, Bye. A few days ago, I heard the Glen Fittick. You mean the 15 Solar or not the 12 Solar? Because they don't do a 12 Solar. Oh, no. Being discontinued? No, I haven't heard that. Oh, shit. Yes. I need to grab a couple of bottles if that's the fucking case. Because I've been saying I've been need to grab a fucking 15 Solar for like six months. <laughs> No, I haven't heard that. <clears throat> really, Sugar Kitty? Oh, it's a new one. Bugger. <laughs> oh, is it? It's mm. a new one, though. Yeah. Well, I thought it might be because it's got well, that shiny well, bit on it. We'll give it a crack, anyway. <laughs> yeah. It just won't be as good. It'll be all right. Oh, it'll just be there you go. okay. Well, it's a hell of a lot better than that price. 22 days apart in age. Oh, so they <laughs> have been talking. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Just an Adam in a tree. <laughs> oh. Hey, I just want to confirm there's no Mrs. Whiskey shits, is there? Uh, you're, not, you're not fucking cheating on anybody. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we know you meant the 15, Clint. It's all good. It's all good. No, I haven't heard that. They didn't say anything about that in the fucking... Single Malt Whiskey Club fucking interview thingy. Because they had, they even showed us the big fucking Solara vets, vats at the back. Twenty-two. Fresh malts is selling Rowan Co. Thirteen. So cute. So, so who actually? Who's the older? Well, it really doesn't. Oh, so the fifteen hasn't been come on. Oh, there you go, Lil. Oh, okay. Oh, the red breast has been fucked with. Okay. Been, it hasn't been fucked with. I well, there the you right go. One, then. <laughs> yeah, because oh, I've that's been hearing like, a lot that there was the 12. Know. Yeah, the 12's been fucked with and the car strength's been fucked with. And then I bought oh. out that new shitty one to replace the car strength. Oh, okay. The Lestal or something? No, the Lestal is the normal one with the one oh, finish. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's, that was alright, but I didn't know the fifteen hadn't been fucked with, so that's good. Ooh. Good to know. I'll, I'll definitely Ooh. grab one then. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, well, if they're still available on Nix, and they're like, still on sale, it, and they're still on sale. I mean, well, it was only like you know what I checked in it. end of last week, so well, let's have a look. Okay. You no, know I checked. Nix. I didn't have it. Yeah, I got the fun. <laughs> you just put in yeah. N, and it came up with Nix. Mm. <laughs> Don't think I've been there a few times. I can relate to that. <laughs> Just go red breast in the search. <laughs> no, it's gone back up. Uh, oh, I'll have some. No, 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 still. Uh, 150 for the. It's the, the 150. If you want it. 150 for the 15 year old still. Yeah. There's a 27 year old for 899. No, it's sold out. Yeah, sold out. 
Everything else is sold out except for the. I went 2018 and they started fucking with red breasts. So the car strength. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, so they've got the 12 year old cask, the 12 year old, and the 15. Yeah. That's all we've got available. Yeah. Yeah, 15 has been fucked with, which is good. That's good yeah. at the moment. Cool. But the normal right. 12 and. So the normal, normal, the new labeling of the 12 and the new car strength, they've all been fucked with. And then um, they've got that new shitty version to replace the car strength, which is shit as well. Oh, really? I understand. Mm. I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but that's why, what I why are you gonna fuck with perfection? <laughs> I know, right? They're probably running out of stock. Oh, there we go. She's got three <laughs> weeks. Might be a little bit older. No. Oh, well, 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 you can always be a toy boy, Adam. Well, she she does like yeah. a little bit younger. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. You're three weeks younger. You're yeah, a she she went throw you away so quick. <laughs> yeah, she won't dispose of you so quick. Oh, uh, that is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be nice to have. I'm not spending three and a half grand on that oh, i mean i love you and i've got that much money but i'm not spending that yeah but you. i i was talking with neil today and said if you get me a pappy 23 i might be able to just swap it over for the i'll sell for us of the baby 23. Mm, maybe which is a hell of a lot less I than negotiated price on it. Oh, well, i've got a one well, neil said that he'll ring and have a chat I'd be willing to go. What are we buying Parks. for three grand? Uh, it's uh, it's a Parker Heritage twenty seven year old, which I've got down at Nick's. It's oh, his, he they, they want. Hey Anthony. Hey Anthony. G'day Anthony. How are you this morning, my friend? <laughs> Whoop! Just drop the just the, the, the pub down. How's your coffee this morning, my friend? Delicious as usual. Nice. So, I had a special delivery yesterday. Oh, what'd you get? Nothing good that Ken would like, I'm sure. Ah. Oh. That's the one I just fucking ordered. Oh. I just ordered an Emerald Giant. And I ordered it in a store in Florida, but because it wouldn't go through one browser, I loaded up on another browser. Oh, that's what you're See, doing on Sunday. That. Yeah. Yeah. We got both. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't grab the pipe dream. I should grab a pipe dream as well. I've heard that one is a bit iffy. Some people like it. Some people doesn't, don't. It doesn't matter. They're still both sitting. They'd, they'd, they'd be sitting in Florida waiting for you to collect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And the Lost Monarch. Yeah. Nice. So he's got the fucking trifecta. God damn it. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to have to get on to... Um... We should talk about Florida, because that's where they came from. Yeah. Oh. My wife was in Florida for a week. So while she's there, you may have heard me talk before I oh. had her do some bottle shopping. Just shopping. because... Yep. <laughs> Stephen B has just gone some down. Of the new list down. And that's going to be a light. Nice. Yeah, can What's I get a email on that one? Yes. What's the ABV on that one? 136. What is it? 47. Or no, excuse me, 68.4. I was going to say, it ain't 47. <laughs> No, and then 47. <laughs> I was looking at something else. Well, so it's new list out bottling, so potentially 14 years, and they spend another one to two in Bodega mm. Los Alcas. There you go, Lil. Uh, barrel proof. More batch. Nice. What's that? Uh, 521? B521? B521. Yes. Yeah, it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts on that one, Anthony, because it's been pretty contentious, that one. Oh, don't worry. There's going to be thoughts. Oh, there will be thoughts. <laughs> uh, Jack Daniels straight, um, barrel strength. Mm. Yep. That's what I heard, Sugar. I heard that the pipe dream is meh. This is 130.9. Nice. 
Ours is 64.5, so that's 129. Yeah, ours is 129. 129. Mm. And then... Oh, wrong bottle. Ooh, nope. nope, that's wrong Diffusion. Bottle. No, Discovery. Oh, but, that's Discovery. That's one for ours. But this one. That's oh. ten. I'll turn it. Discovery five. Oh, I turn it the right way. Yep. Wait, no, that's Discovery one. Oh, one. Oh. oh. Yeah, because I was going to say the Discovery wasn't a green label the last one before. The nope, fusion was. She, the fusion was the green. Yeah. She found that's me a. Uh, really good. She found. How much did you get the Red One Empire for? What was pop. that, Ken? <laughs> How much did you get the Redwood Empire? For? I think they were like thirty four ninety nine. What? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> American. Price. We're not in the we're not in the land of Oz, you know. I know. Well, I found them in Florida for thirty five. So. Mm -hmm. that was yeah. Well, we can't get them here in Oz. That's okay. I'll just have to get on to Seth and see what I can get sent. Yeah, I remember you showing that one off before. Yeah, but I've I've got a couple of the turkey fan bottles left. Yeah. I wouldn't kick pipe dream out, but I've got a hundred or so at that price point. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you get it for thirty six. Mm. So I got a few presents. <laughs> you got a few presents for sure. Yeah, nice couple of deliveries there today. Very oh, nice. yesterday. Where'd you get the um Discovery One? Well, when my wife was in Florida. Oh, you were oh. saying that, that she yeah. found, yeah. She was doing some shopping. Oh, sure. So she would FaceTime me, turn the phone around, and I would say, keep moving, keep moving, stop. What Oop. is that? Yep. Do this. Yeah, what's, is that Oop. this? Yep. Is that that? <laughs> yeah. And no, then I, I said, well, ask him if he has any Bardstown. And he originally said, no. Well, she looked up on the shelf and she says, well, what's that? He goes, oh, wait a minute. He goes, oh, uh, Discovery oh. 1. And I didn't say anything, but I, yeah, exactly. That's what I was doing. And I was like, yeah, well, how, get me one of those. And then I said, how many does he have? Adam's going. Says, and I said, is, is there two? And she said, yes. So I had her pick me up two bottles. That way I can drink one to enjoy, then have a backup. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're going to do that. Mm -hmm. But the, the only issue I had is, is it the Emerald Giant? No, it is. It is. It is my pipe dream. I think they boogered the cork. They so I may, I may have to pour this into a decanter. And I may oh. have to do a little surgery to get the cork out. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But for now, it's fine because when when we took some of the protective hey, stuff what? off of it, you could tell it it had leaked a tad. But uh, that okay. doesn't always mean anything. It could have been that the cork's just a hair too too small for the opening so it wasn't a really really good seal but i didn't open it yet to, to get into it i'll do that today or tomorrow or something like that fuck you can get the red for 30 bucks fuck. but i got them all just because yeah, i so said well you know say, okay yes I'll have right, we'll, we'll have to get on to clifton about that um ken yeah uh, if they're only about 30 bucks in California, get them to get them, and then happily to pay whatever postage it is back to Florida. 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 Hey, yeah, my samples then too. <laughs> like I said, thirty four ninety nine is what I do believe they were on the shelf for there, which I thought that's was damn reasonable. Yeah, that's we can't get anything for thirty. We, we can't yet. even get Jim Beam White Label thirty seven point five percent for thirty four dollars. No. No, Nobody no. drinks Jim Beam White Label at thirty-seven point five percent. Australians do, unfortunately. I'm sorry. No, I, I, no, I, sorry. I, we, we don't. I, I no, cook with we it. We don't. I was going to say, if you no, needed I, a mild antiseptic, okay. 
Yeah. I wouldn't even use that as my antiseptic. You know, pour it on to sanitize I wouldn't even use that. I'd use something decent if I'm going to fucking open the wound. I'm not pouring that shit. Although I, I, don't admit, I don't want to die. <laughs> I've got to admit, I do make a mighty fine brisket with 120 proof knob crate injected. I have watched yeah, a few videos better. on that. The big bottle that we have is actually the 40%. Yeah, the, the It's the standard. regular shit that's on the shelves. So it's yeah. 37 half. Up, up to the 1125s. Yeah. Yeah. Dallas Ooh. What? Add water. I don't want water. <laughs> Nothing. Just add water. Oh, did Carly finish the X Wing? Yeah. The night? Nice. Oh, it's right there. Oh. So cool. That's Check funny. You should ask about in. that. I was going to ask the same you thing. Fly in and then you go. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> pretty <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. Speaking of that, did you find the? Uh, <laughs> did you find something that you had to go looking for? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Well, I want an X-wing now. Huh? I know. I wanted it. It's fucking so awesome. <laughs> Now I just gotta find somewhere to put it. <laughs> Add it to the collection. I mean, the probe droids yep. up there. So yeah, yeah, my mind's like yeah, and that's there. where the lunar lander will go next to it. Oh, okay. Because all my yeah, you can see, you can see the Lego is on top of the shelf. Actually, there. we've got to fix up the sticker on the back of the helicopter. What's your, oh, no, it's it's starting to peel off. Oh, it's and so Clifton might be able to get it even cheaper to while they're available by the cost of years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I can find it. Yeah. yeah, well, well a, yeah, I've got a Clifton. Clifton. What time is it in California? I seriously <laughs> need that second bottle because, yeah, this one is. Uh, where is Brandy? Yeah, where's Brandy? Especially when Clifton. I was bottle chugging it, fucking <laughs> in live wire. Oh, Jesus. Which one? Fuck off, Siri. Jesus. <laughs> is that your Siri or my Siri? It was my Siri. She's fucking yeah, nosy, this, this bitch. Got fucking killed very quick. <laughs> Oh, Stuffed. damn, that's good. That's so good. Oh. Yeah. Who did Brian get Gelfo. that? Golfo did that pick. Golfo and Sloney. Which one is that, Chris? It's a Woodford oh, Double Oak. It's double like Oak. A Bourbon Mafia pick. It's a right? Bourbon Mafia pick. I've seen it. My wife has showed it to me. I've passed on it. Yeah, this is a the third law it's of thermodynamics. It applies to Lego and whiskey. There's always one more kit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep, exactly. There's and more yeah. than always one. Somebody, yeah, no, somebody no. from Mike is definitely correct when he Mike, says Mr. Oh, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, hang on. Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> I forgot I'm running two things at the moment. <laughs> Good to see you, Mike. <laughs> Adam, Will cracks me up. <laughs> I'm here for entertaining. Her. Yeah, and she sets you up with the little blonde Australian girls to. Uh, hey, she's Adam. not technically only three weeks apart. She's, she's not technically a blonde. She's not technically a blonde. She was oh, oh right. yeah, so the, the, the drapes don't match. Ah, so the man of peace and the drapes are different colours, though. Okay, Sorry okay. to spoil the uh, illusion. <laughs> oh, that's more fun, then. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, so Jess and I were in the same squad at the Academy. So oh. she was yeah. She was a redhead back then. She was a 15 years far, ago. Fiery redhead. Yeah. We had two Jesses. Red we had red-headed Jess and we had Wispy. Yep, yeah, who's a... She was the blonde. Little blonde. <laughs> Give me the dirt. Give me the dirt. <laughs> I'm not giving you any dirt, Adam, because she's my friend. 
We're going to give her the dirt on you, Adam. Yeah. I'm going to send her What do you mean, Mike? Like, I'm going to send her the link to the place when you as fell in, asleep on your keyboard. You couldn't find anything? <laughs> or you just... No, I won't do that. It's the legend that you didn't... No, you just didn't find anything. That's what it was. No, no. Mike left his, cut, his wallet home. That's the problem. Yeah, left his wallet home. Yeah, yeah. Believe yeah. me. Oh if he found up. something worthwhile, he would have figured out something to do for that bottle. <laughs> there is no, there there's is no somebody that or something you can do. Yeah. Yeah, there's always someone or something you can do. Yeah. Uh, Neil and Bob, or is that just your name? Well, that would you do. If you're oh, looking for a great Irish oh, oh, so yeah. I did the first part of it. You did the second part. Oh, okay. From <laughs> Okay. I need to remember that. I'm going to open a browser and do that. Oh, so you like that she was a redhead before she's a uh, blonde. <sighs> Interesting. Probosan 2. Is it do you only have Irish two? heritage? Only series 3 or 4 or any other? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so Mike, if you can just send um, all the dirt on Adam Leanne's way, that'd yes. be great. Yeah. No, 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 Mike. Mike yeah. I said Mike to send all the dirt on Adam. Oh, yes. Your yeah. way. Don't, out of stop. <laughs> I was going to say, were you there on the weekend, Anthony? Did you see the whole uh, when I was at the races and Adam met my friend Chess? No, I don't think Anthony was. Could have figured it out. I think Anthony just dropped off for a bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Apparently, What's Adam that? was smitten. Uh, went on live wire when um, Leanne dropped in on the. Uh, yeah, so the, the Friday stream. night, you guys' time. Yeah. Was that Sunday? Yeah, that's right. Oh, no, Friday. It's Friday night, your time. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so Adam was like, "Who's that? Who's that? Who's that?" Yeah, exactly. I was. <laughs> I was up yeah, I went back and watched the replay. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes the internet is strong. Other times it's, it's yep. just the way it goes up in that small town. So, and that's <laughs> unusual. Generally on the mobile, it's, I can stream and you know, I could watch more than I could oh, participate. In other words, I could, I could text so on and so forth. Hell, but, uh, <laughs> so yeah. I wasn't on much i would mostly lurk because that's uh, okay. what i could do up there yeah well if that's what adam calls it mike um i'm a little concerned yeah to be fair 45 percent of humans actually have a third nipper yeah but i'm just saying if that's what adam calls it i'm a little concerned <laughs> <laughs> You should always be concerned when it comes to Adam. <laughs> so I shouldn't have tried to say him with my friend Jess. You never know. Well, wow. Jess, Jess is safe until at least quarantines are over. <laughs> That's true. One rural Adam, no dick pic. Do not send her dick pics because I will publicly shame you if you do that. Oh, won't and be she the third. will tell me. <laughs> won't be the third nipple. <laughs> third nipple's fine. No dick pics. <laughs> I got the hemp rash cream from Colorado for you. <laughs> oh my, stop it. It's an exclusive product. <laughs> in Windsor, you never Colorado. know. They it's might enough. get fucking married yeah. and, you know, elope to... He might come to Australia. What the might come to Australia, yeah. Ugh. I got a massive pile of fucking yeah. bacon on this just then. That was great. There you go. I'm back again. I must have touched something. I'm very concerned with oil hormones. You is weird. <laughs> yes, we are weird hormones. <laughs> Because we're standing yeah, upside down all day, my uh, friend and stranger think... Bonner wants to open. Of course, I said, Hell no! <laughs> <laughs> uh... 
Need to put a lock and key on that. <laughs> yeah. That's all the spares. I know. There's so many spares, though. That was Wait, fucking what? insane. What is this thing? That's uh, the Lego brick removal tool. So you can take oh, here you go, Lil. Rip off. Are you serious? I was saying Leah, uh, like, uh, earlier. Pleh, English. I was saying earlier, I've never even fucking seen one of these. I heard of them. Never seen them until I started buying my son fucking... He's now eight or eight in August. Lego sets, and he'd fucking get them all the time, and now I've been getting them, and now I've got fucking shitloads of the things. <laughs> but so now I stuck stuck a bunch if, of them together. Do you have an issue with you your fine motor skills if you can't pull Lego bricks at Oh no, no, you get some of these really fine oh. ones on that, and oh. they're really those those double sort of curved pieces. Oh, oh, when they stick together, yeah, they stick yeah, together. Yeah, that, that was, okay. I, I put two of those together by mistake at one stage, and it was sort of like, yeah, that was wrong. Oh, now that's being really painful to get apart. Oh. And okay. the tool was working. Lay down. You need oh. to nap more. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be like my kitty cat. My kitty cat, all, she, all he does is just nap all day. All night. I wish. All night. All well, day, isn't all that night. what kitties do? <laughs> and they lick themselves. And well, they lick the like, and they like the lick. <laughs> my other kitty cat wasn't that much of a sleeper. He, he, he didn't sleep that much. He was like, zoom, 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 zoom. Exactly. <laughs> it's an alien removal. <laughs> from, from <laughs> removal <laughs> tool. Mm. Hey, well, that's exactly right. I got that fucking shitloads of these things. Mm. I got shitloads of them. That was only a neck pour. Maybe you should have some more just to make sure it tastes good. <laughs> That's right. You've got to check. Absolutely. For science. Yeah, it seems to happen right. in this house. Oh, we, we'll, we'll just crack this bottle and we'll have a pour out of it. Oh, that was kind of oh. good. We might have another pour. Oh, oh that was... Oh, well, we're now out of the neck pour. We should see if it's, you know... Different in the body of it, and it opens up. And... Oh, I place these blends. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, sugar key. Blends is in that bad. I can I can pull out my Lamaison de Whiskey One Twenty for it. Oh, that is good. Ooh, no, actually, no, it's One Twenty proof. If If you want to have fun, just <laughs> just message Chad and Sarah. Ask them what it's like. Or go back and watch their um, their episode when they uncorked it a couple of years ago. It Sorry. reminds me of a dad's joke. Why do cats and dogs lick their balls? Because they, they can. Because they can, yeah. <laughs> now, I always like the Mel Gibson one from um, Lethal Weapon. I gave up eating dog biscuits because every time I ate them, I started licking my balls and fell off the couch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Probably one of the few uh, good lines that Mel Gibson's ever really had. <laughs> oh, I had some pretty good lines. Other than his joke from when he did um, uh, the 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 movie up in Scotland. At least it wasn't still my dogs. <laughs> <laughs> no, just buffaloes. Hmm. They just trample on and everything, and then they throw in the mixer, and then you know, yeah, bourbon. Mm. The old, the old, the old Scot uh, joke of what does a Scotsman wear under his kilt? His wife's lipstick. <laughs> yep. We're doing dad jokes. You and you can't? Bourbon chocolate. <laughs> bourbon, chocolate. Give me. Yeah. No, 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 it's in the other bag. No, I don't want it. No, I want bourbon chocolate. You want one of the bourbon caramels? Yeah. Good, I thought we were out of these. Yeah, right? I thought we were too, but I pulled the bag out of the cupboard at the corner. I said, ooh, I'm in the fridge. And I'm like, ooh. And we got chocolate. <laughs> I, like I think we bought these, what, three years ago? 
Yeah. Oh yeah, because it was our last trip to San, San Francisco. And we bought them on the way to the airport. We mm-hmm. stopped at the Ghirardelli store in the main street near the Westfield. Yep. Yep. And we literally loaded up on our shit as much as we could. under the kilt as well developed and well used. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and this is all that is left. Well, and you can't, you can't get the bourbon caramels anymore you either. You can't get any more. Hmm. Alright, we'll have to save okay. it at least one for Ken. Ah. Jesus, you're right there. You're a bit of an incline. Yeah, <coughs> this chair yeah. does go back a fair way. <laughs> what am I pairing with? <clears throat> bourbon and caramel, <clears throat> what do you reckon? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Ooh, I think this. Yeah. <laughs> One of these? Mm. You can pour it. Please. Thank you. I love you. <laughs> you love me for my bourbon collection. Fuck yeah. <laughs> to a guy in Scotland told me about the- our bourbon collection. It's it's the secret to um keeping a strong girl happy, Adam. Give them access oh. to your bourbon collection. Jess does like whiskey. She likes Irish whiskey and she likes Guinness. But she will also oh, drink bubbles. Go. So. <laughs> bit of Irish and bit of Guinness. All good. Yeah. Oh, she's she's got Irish heritage. Oh. Yeah, with the last hence, time I hence like the red hair. Is she Irish in you? Nope. Want some? <laughs> <laughs> Is right, that isn't that what Adam's supposed to be saying? <laughs> yep, Dallas is doing. I just started seeing that pop up yeah. around here. I, I recognize the box. Yep. Yeah. It's not bad for their cheap version. It's um not bad. I'm not gonna get the dark storm. No, no. I mean uh like I said, I I just looked at that box and I'm like, hey, I, I've seen that somewhere and I had to think about it for uh, a second, and I'm like, "Oh, that's the talisman." Good day. Yep. The box Good caught morning. my eye. Go, okay, Jim. Jim Marsh. Hey, Jim. Jim Marsh. Actually, wasn't there something we uh, were trying to figure out for our chief engineer the other day? There's nothing more than God had graced him upon this birth. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I drank so much water. <laughs> Buffalo slightly chewy. Oh, yes, yeah, still would have. Gotta love this one. Oh, that'd probably be good because I'm not giving you another one. Hmm. We're just about out. If you want to keep one or two for Ken, there's three left. Okay. Ah, just mung them. <laughs> no dick pics. I promise. Well, thank you, Adam. I appreciate that. Unless she asks. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. Unless she asks or she sends you, you know. Are there inappropriate photos first? No, but knowing Jess, she'll ask for video, not for just for a photo. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she wants. She wants. She'll want to know if you can do a Chinook. <laughs> if you want to press a check, helicopter dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay when it's in a three-way. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> it's okay when it's in the tree i've never heard that song before <laughs> really no. lonely island hmm. the golden rule 
God, you need to Google that right now. Okay. I'm doing my you iPad. Definitely. Yeah, you definitely need to Google that and watch that. What is it? Love Island Golden Rule. Love Island Golden Rule. Lonely Island. A lonely island. Really? Island. The legend that is Barnsley out here next week playing in the. Oh, nice! Barnsley. Let's hope his voice keeps up. It's only because he's trying to get out of Victoria. Wait, is this with Justin Timberlake yeah. and Lady Gaga? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Because you want to press a chick helicopter dick, and then Lady Gaga goes, "Oh wow!" Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I got fucking ads first. Oh. Fucking ads on YouTube. Fuck YouTube. Ads. Oh, it's SNL. It's third part of a series because the first part was Dick in a Box. Then it was Mother Lover. And then it's th uh, the golden rule. Oh, it's a bit like all the ladies with younger chicks. Oh, it's Susan Sarand. It's... Ooh, Jesus, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Your mum says hi. Golden rule. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Someone puts I have to put the link in the YouTube for that. You know, everyone has to watch this shit. Everyone has to watch it. Lady Island. Golden Rule. Oh, it's, it's Jake Peralta. Yeah, it's Jake Peralta. Exactly. <laughs> Lonely Island. With Justin Timberlake. Where's, where's Doug Judy? I don't count it until he's actually in here. Yeah, true. Everyday buffalo is like good sirloin, strong but tasty. If it's chewy, then it's a matter of how it's cooked. True. You gotta cook it good. Same as kangaroo meat. <laughs> it's okay when it's in a three way. It's okay when it's a three way. <laughs> Golden rule. Oh, you forgot about the golden rule. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen Lonely Island. Oh, you're missing out. That's so fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> There's quite a bit oh, of entertainment. You've got a dick in the box. on that board walk where they're doing the dancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> New Three's Company. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, the two boys are in bed? Yeah. It's okay when it's in a three-way. <laughs> Although this is not a Here devil's three-way, as Sam says. You know. Here yeah. it comes. <laughs> <laughs> and that was okay. okay. <laughs> Gotta watch that later. Oh Add that into your uh, no. watch later. Saved, yeah, uh, yeah. I saved am list. liking that. Oh my freaking goodness! <laughs> but there's so many good ones. I mean, you've got Boombox. Oh yeah, there's Mother Lava and Dick Mother in the Lava, Box. Mother Lava, that's the one before that. And then Dick in the Box is the first one of the t yeah, yeah. Timberlake series. Oh, and then Jizz My Pants. Jizz My Pants is good. Um, <laughs> then you've got I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat, motherfucker. I'm on a boat. Wait, no, that's got, from um, um, Step Brothers. I'm on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> when they crashed the boat. Oh my god! There's, oh, there's a remix. Threw it on the ground. Three way. Oh my god! And there's like a boss. Oh no, it's got. There you go, Steve. 
Adam knows it with the honey in the middle. There's some leeway. <laughs> okay, when it's in a three way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adam sings oh, after he's driving Adam every day. Oh, I'm sure he does. <laughs> but you know what? I'm I'm telling Jess that. <laughs> I'm sure he wants you to. Hey, no, 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 no. Adam, Adam wants it. Adam wants That's Jess to. That's a different sort of three way. Adam. Adam wants Jess to go over and uh, do a sobriety test on him. <laughs> you guys are terrible. <sighs> I've, no, I've never it's seen that big. before. And 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 uh, uh, well, you've uh, seen Andy Lolo. You got some lots of stuff to watch on. And, and, and a full great. full pat down and uh, body cavity search. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I said before. I said Adam, you know what me and Jess actually. Do for a job. Actually, um, give, give give Jess an hour because she is an intel, so <laughs> she'll know everything about you, Adam. <laughs> this is the fair dinky month of fun. It's always this kind of stream or any other kind of stream. Yeah. Just don't cross yeah. the streams. Yeah, mm. don't don't cross the stream. That's right. Never cross the stream. <laughs> Never cross the streams. <laughs> mm -mm. Because otherwise, right. you have to talk to a man, and he Unless it's okay, says, yeah, it's in a three-way. Well, <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say he they they talk to the dude, and the dude says, "Yeah, we were doing our own until Dickless here told us not to do this." And the dude goes, <laughs> "Is this correct?" I said, "Yes, this man has no dick." <laughs> <laughs> Straight from Ghostbusters. Wow. Do you stop beating up my what, butt, Jundo? Why are they sitting there? Oh, God. Because I had to drag one of them out to give Adam a poking earlier. What? All right, I'm going to jump. I have to go across town here for an interview. And it's nothing's close. <laughs> so Nothing's close, no. Nothing's it's close when it comes to driving. Right. It's that, that, like 30 that's... miles from here. That that's so, Ken's yeah. um you know, just whole living philosophy. There's yeah. nothing close to driving. Well no. I mean it doesn't take long to get there. It's just for me to get there, it's on the south side of, of Vegas. It's just the other end of the world for us. I mean, I lived out there twenty plus years ago. There's a reason why I'm not there anymore. But <laughs> what it is now and what it was twenty plus years ago, yeah, it's not the same. But Anyway, no. Well, we can't can't wait till we can um, get back over and because our first stop's generally Vegas anyway, Anthony. So we'll let you know and we'll hook up. Oh yeah, well, oh, yeah. It's Los Angeles yeah but a... our first full on stop. Yeah, for an hour and a half. Yeah, we have to yeah. Well, I'm sure you're waiting Vegas. for them to 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 take down that barrier. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And what's funny yeah. though is, I don't under quite understand it if you're. A vaccinated individual. She you is. Leave, I haven't gotten it. Yet. I mean, and you know, you leave your your area. You don't have anything, but you're vaccinated. It's no different than getting the flu now. No. You could get it. You you're not. I know the variants. Oh, are you can still transmit it though. That's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. You could. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. always possible. But as long as people are vaccinated, everyone's vaccinated. It's not a problem <laughs> if you transmit it. Well, that's what they're trying to wait for. Yeah, that, that's what they're looking at, and yeah. that's what somebody I know that works in the health department was saying. They're looking at okay, we have X amount of people <laughs> vaccinated. How are these different variants affecting them? If it is or at all might not, and so now they're even saying it looks like the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. You may not need them for years mm. yeah. because they think it's it's working. So that's that's why there's some caution right now um within the united states a lot of places have ripped the band-aid off and you can you can go some we did that and, and now we're still now happen. we're under lockdown again for yeah, yeah. the delta variant over here yeah. at the moment exactly they're, they're seeing that now in here. India. That's why. they're seeing that now here so um that's what they're just looking at and then um i think in the next few mm -hmm. months they'll come up with some type of consensus between 
all of us, but in the United States, Canada, the UK, Australia, you know, just like what's what, because don't think they're all not talking now and taking this. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's no. it, yeah, the talk is for them to, to do what we've done with New Zealand, open up a travel bubble. Yeah. So mm. they were looking at Zealand, Singapore and then Singapore got hammered. Yeah. With well, the look at New Zealand though, they've done real well. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. But you know, they're, uh, I hate to say a little spot compared to Australia and the United oh, States and yeah. Canada. That's but because they vaccinated all their sheep as well. Well, you have yeah. to. That's, right. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> That's why you don't have to worry about getting meat from New Zealand. Yep. That's good. Nope. All right, people. Yeah, have live. a great day. Ken. See you, Good luck, mate. Well, yep. I will be talking at you. Talk to him, man. <laughs> all right. Take it easy, mate. Oh, well, I suppose we might have to think about uh, going to bed soon. So I've got to get up in five hours. Un I don't. Unlike you, you, it's well, you always can stay up and you can chat and. Well, maybe I will. I can leave this up and you can. Maybe you will. Well, maybe I will because you fucking do it. <laughs> you can stop for four thirty in the morning. Never. Oh, it's that that way. Never cross the streams. And Jim is fucked up for the third day in Rome. Forgot his fucking headphones. <laughs> Jim, where are your headphones? You, they're normally on your headphones. head. Headphones. <laughs> headphones. No, but every night he's coming and gone. I've really got to get myself a spare set of headphones to keep here in the drawer at work. Oh, he's at work. Oh. Yeah, he's at work. They did more than vaccinate the sheep. Omg. Oh. Uh, we're not saying how they delivered that vaccine, should we, Kitty? No, no, no. <laughs> you've heard the stories. Yep. <laughs> you've, heard, you've heard why their horses run so fast. Because they know what they did to the sheep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and the, and that's the why whole... New Zealand <laughs> lamb tastes better than any other lamb. That's, that's why, that's why <laughs> le yeah, New Zealand lamb is so... So soft and tender because it's very well massaged. So tender. <laughs> it's really well. <laughs> oh, we're shocking. <laughs> Terrible. And the, the whole story behind the Wellington boot was that it was long. They developed the boot because it was long enough to put the legs of the rear legs of the sheep in, so they couldn't that, run away. Bauer yeah, that's what Nick said. That's why we wear gum boots. Bowerbin. Oh, Bourbon. 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 No, that's that's no. why that's why Stop a quokka always smiles. They're so cute. <laughs> that's why they. <laughs> it's still a crime in rural communities. Sheep wearing. <laughs> Maybe in Canada. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sheep wearing. <sighs> Quacker fuckers and sheep fuckers. Oh, <laughs> Ben, I told you. No quacker fuckers. They're, they're, they're too cute for that shit. <laughs> That's what keeps <laughs> getting them laid. <sighs> yeah, so, they're big cheeky. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the quacker fuckers legal. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's not so good. <laughs> uh, only if they say yes. Yeah. We can't consent. Oh my God. They smile at you. <laughs> they smile on a no. selfie. No. No. Consent. Well, if, has if, to if be that verbal. was the case, Betty, I said to the other, why haven't you got rid of the COVID vaccine? The other said, we're waiting for the human trials to be over with. Um. <laughs> yep. Over here in Australia, in the eastern states, in New South Wales. We've got a mice flag. We do have a mice yeah. flag. A fucking full-on mice flag. That's just yes. Yeah, that's, that's it. If oh, I said yes. Stop it, Bourbon. No. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. There's a definite reason why Quokka and Kiwi <laughs> sheep always have a smile on their face. <laughs> no, Quokka's a happiness see people yeah <laughs> oh nice one oh. 
A green what? I'm near Jim. A green spot. Not one of these. Nice, Jim. Yeah. Brother. The Lavelle bathroom. Green spot. No, not the normal one. Yeah. Different green no, spot. No, Lavelle Barton. Lavelle Barton. Oh, oh. Right. Red wine. Disregard. Yep. Ken and I have a green spot. Different green spot. No, this is the Laville Barton. Yeah, it's got the Laville Barton. Oh, well, this I'm is, sorry. Is, oh, they've got the, the basic version. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. It's still good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I've had it. I actually, it's quite sweet for an Irish whiskey. You I like find. red wine? She yeah. loves white, oh, red I, wine. I, yeah, I had so Get much that. red wine the other weekend. They spewed. Get that. <laughs> Oh, what's it called? It's the Chateau Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> yeah. Or <Okay>. La Vuitton. <laughs> Leoville Baton. Okay. Saint Julian red wine finish. <laughs> okay, so green spot in wine. Okay. There you go. Yeah, scroll up. I don't need, oh, you can actually can yeah you can search for green spot because I search for green. Oh, oh, sold out. Bugger. Oh, is that high? It was only one hundred and thirty-five. Oh, too. Ooh, put it on the the wait list. Can you wait list that one? Most humans I know with green spots just go to the doctor. <laughs> email when you back in stock. Yeah, true email me. You today. Kilco Whiskey Musings. Oh, hey! Give me the green spot. Kilco? G'day, oh, Brian. Yeah. I freaking love the green spot. You know what? I might just crack that now. There you go. Yeah, all right. I'll join you in that. Cool. I'll join you in some green. Sorry, Mike Stall. I said I would crack it with you, but I'm going to crack it with Ken. Oh, hang on. I'm breaking now. I'll on this shit. I'm going to break it now. <laughs> the other reason why she has me around. Yeah, exactly. Oh, actually, oh, I'm going to have to take a photo. Oh, Most kitty sorry. cats with green spots have got spray painted by the neighborhood oh, post. I'm flat again. Damn it. Well, you, I can hook into that one. Yeah. Plug it in. A little penicillin makes the spots go away. <laughs> That's right. Oh, hang up. Get Ken in the background. Yeah, I'm gonna get Ken in the background. I gotta get the fully muscled oh, hub in the background. What are you doing? Wait till Ken turns around. Oh, okay. Make sure I got the green spots in the photo. There we go. So she's got a photo of her taking a photo of her taking a photo. Sort, sort of like what we had when we were doing the test setup on Sunday night. Oh, the inception <laughs> screen. Yep. <laughs> no, I need to. Yeah, it's got a little wacky. Thing I had to put there. a fucking another email into Eagle Moss today because they still haven't delivered my fucking Star Trek figurines. Fucking. No, 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 other way, other way, other way. Two months and two days. Other way. Bloody good enough. You got it? Yeah, so we'll do a watch party this Saturday for um, the D Space Nine triple episode. Okay, so what are we drinking? Well, that's what we're going to work out. What are we going to pair oh. with it? Okay, so what do you need the, the trouble with triple? Trebles. So triple the still? No, the trebles. Just that bloody triple oh, F. Treble is. Triple fuckers. What? Bloody triple oh. fuckers. Fuck off, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stand by for cook pop. Oh, Ireland. 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 <laughs> to be sure, to be sure. <laughs> to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. You forgot one sure. Mm -hmm. You can't be sure without the sure, 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 sure. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. We might need a fresh glass for that. And on our previous that. episode where we talked about the stroking of the bottle, <laughs> this the one is right. really, really good because it's smooth on the inside, so you can stroke this one as well. <laughs> no, mine's not. That one? <laughs> oh, you're not smooth on the inside? So this one's smooth on the inside, see? Well, it's it's got barrels on the inside. This is yeah. smooth and yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's got barrels on the inside too. Yeah, this one's smooth on the inside. Well, not really. It's kind of sticky. <laughs> oh, yours has been used then. Mine's nice. <laughs> <and clean. laughs> <It's made. laughs> Quick, where's the hand sanitizer? <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, there you go. There we go. What whiskey is your happy triple? I like it. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Happy triple. What is your happy triple? Well, what do you mean by a triple? Something small and round and gets you there? No, I know what a ben. I know what a freaking triple is. <laughs> oh fucking Ben. Quack is a smooth on the inside too. <laughs> Benjamin! Oh my god, I'm gonna use my mum voice. No, yeah, no, boys Benjamin. no, Benjamin. No, Benjamin. Naughty boy. Get one of the, the spray bottles. Me again, this spray bottle. No, <laughs> no, Ben. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. You've got the uh, whiskey fest, guys. Probably also Ooh, difficult unless it was a large triple or a small well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Oh, Nick, shit. Nick, Nick, pour on the green spot. Nick minute. Nick minute. Nick, Nick minute. We're like, Arr! oh, Nick. Maybe like, Lil was on uh, Friday night when she was fucking. <laughs> I yeah, re I rewatched that. Where's Valley where's... My job is done. Yep. Where, where's Where's hey, um Where's uh Mike for Lil Greece. to do her sign off again? Yeah. Fuck you, Mike Stoll. <laughs> <laughs> That's like what Adriana does to fucking Tito every time she signs off. <laughs> oh, mind you, fucking Adriana on um, Live Boy Whiskey on Sunday afternoon. Get out of my ass! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Jesus, Adriana! Holy shit, are you having a bad day, love? <laughs> Apparently she was. Yeah, she did have a bad day. Her experiment completely failed. Yeah, so she yeah, I know. It was a lot, very serial note on this. Oh, yeah. cereal. For cereal. For cereal. Man, it, it smells oh, like cereal. rice For bubbles. <laughs> it smells like rice bubbles. Well, this one definitely does not. You know, as long as it doesn't smell like Captain Crunch. No. What is? I never, I only oh. ever smell Captain Crunch. What are you gonna do? But there's a, there's a, yes, yes, exactly, sugar key. Ben is just focused on quackers. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to program Nightbot to uh, <laughs> time out ben, the quackers. Time, time out the quackers. <laughs> yeah, scientists rage exactly. Scientist yeah, rage. Oh yeah, she had a, rage. she very much had a scientist rage. Yes. Yeah. Mm. This smells different to the last time I smelted or had it. Did you get some paraphernalia in yours? Mm. No. 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 It's empty. No paraphernalia. Ooh. Maybe they only do. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There's that sweetness. Mm. It's very sweet for an Irish whiskey. Not quite bourbonish, yep, but one. yeah. Different. Yeah, it's it's not a caramel. It's something. No, it's it's yeah. It's a very cereal note on the nose. You know, know what it it tastes a lot like. 
Mm -hmm. Is um, a Makata custom cream before I put um, the vanilla in. Oh, so does. Yeah, because it's got that Ooh. real high sugary sweetness. We're totally putting a, maybe two ounces in some cream. <laughs> we can have an Irish Makata. Mm, Irish Makata. Ooh, oh, Irish sure, Russian sure. dessert. Just hey, rage quit the PC hey, game, so winning, yeah. I mean, I think we all rage quit at fucking PC games. I'm yeah. speaking of PC games, Nigel has just got the Bridge Commander game, and yes. Jim's got it, and I've already got the fucking the game, and I didn't realize that I had already bought the fucking TNG DLC. <laughs> the version, yeah, I've never I saw even, the other yeah. day and just gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even realise that I already had it because I went to buy it and I went, ah, oh, you already got it. And I went, ah, oh, dig it. <laughs> yes, but does it, you let you, it does it let you get onto the bridge of the Enterprise E? No, only D. Oh. Um, well, what's in level E? The E is, the Enterprise E is from Nemesis. Uh, yeah, nice shit what? though. Pretty sexy design on that. She's mm. got, got some sexy lines. Sexy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very sexy lines. This is. Well, no, yeah, don't have one idea. Yeah. It's infidel finished. Mm. Yeah, this one is I delicious. I say that for the nice. I'm, I'm not a purist. I'm sorry. You need to get this one. Yeah. I do like the red wine finishes. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, that's better. I know it's whiskey for episode that opened up Rhode Island whiskey. Ooh. Ooh. No, I haven't watched oh, one. Oh, did they now? Ooh, I mean, the last one I watched was Saturday nights. Uh, see, I haven't watched, I watched whiskey for right. a while. Mm. Yeah, well, I've, I've just put that into um, next to... Uh, Email Leanne when the uh, that green spot comes in. Mm. Leoville Martin Pure. It's one hundred and thirty-five dollars from Nick, yeah. which isn't too bad. That's not too bad. Yes, at the Montalena. That's yeah. that's oh, the one. Nick Nelson, yep. the thing with Tim Sennel on committee. Oh, Nick's. Nick, he's Damn. got a very little. Ugh, I know that yeah, fucking four that one. days ago. And <laughs> called me this afternoon. <laughs> no, I told you. I told you the day when I was fucking ordering no, the green he, spot. No, but he told me oh. that this afternoon when I was there. We literally saw him Friday afternoon. Yeah, it was after we had yeah, our smash burgers. After smash burgers. He didn't tell me that then. And... But you'd already ordered them anyway. What's the point? Ten <laughs> percent. Oh, maybe I could have saved. Uh, 20 bucks? Mm -hmm, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hang on. 100 plus 100, 50, 250, 25. So, I still wanted my free shipping. <laughs> I don't get free shipping. Where from? From Nick. Ah, cool. No. It's it, as long as I mean, over two hundred dollars, you get free shipping everywhere in Australia. No, not not to no, his. only in regional yeah. centres. Not in oh. regional centres. No, only only to Perth. That's yep. rude. Well, yeah. ship it to Simon, and then there's he can bring bring it up to you. <laughs> well, he's not in Perth either. Yeah. Oh, oh, we have we have friends in Perth. Well, ship it to their house. Yeah, I got friends in Perth too. <laughs> I got plenty of friends of birth. <laughs> I mean, Julie's in Frio. So. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, she's in Frio. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. She'd get I'll it. I'll take a fucking yeah. road trip. Mm. Go yeah. to the ends and buy up. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, you can, right. with the price well, of I'll petrol. Just get, off my ass and, yeah. get down to fucking, get down to Albany where Nigel is and do some training with fucking Nigel and my seafood and then I'll be fucking all good. And then I'll go to Dan's down in Albany. Uh, and I can go well. to the bottle shops on the way through to Perth. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stop at every shop on the way. Fuck, <laughs> no, Just because you can't get there. 
No, apparently celebrations in Subiaco. Subiaco, yeah. Subiaco is the place. We got to go, three apparently. celebrations here in Jordan. Oh. No, but the one in Subiaco apparently is the place to go. Oh, okay. Mm. And the first day we'll be in the same Australia, they did a different bottle race. Oh, there we go. So we can I can watch that one and then watch yours. Sweet. And the thirsty yes. camel in uh, at hibiscus and Darwin. Well, that doesn't help either of us. Ship it to Perth and have a bunch of quackers deliver it the rest of the way. Well, it's actually there's quackers down in Albany. In oh, is Bay. it? I think yeah. they're already in right yeah, New Zealand. No, there's... no, there, there's a small, very small, with the oh. the potter, the yeah. potter little mammal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's the potter um, root? Something rather potter. Yeah, the potter root. Yeah. There's there's a small little habitat of them, and there's a small habitat of quokkas, oh. and then off Seal Island, off Albany, um, which is a protected island, there's a small population of quokkas on there as well, and then oh. off Oh, there you go. I thought they were but just being, exclusive to Rottnest. No, being being <laughs> a small small um, uh, community, <laughs> they are no, very shy um, for selfies. Someone said the other day they are small wallaby in one of the chats. Someone said that. No, that wasn't Simon. That was... Um... Who was that on? Yeah. Who? Maybe that was Shuki Kitty. Yeah, Shuki no, was, Kitty. Probably. Was it Shuki Kitty? No, I don't think, I don't think it was Shuki Kitty. Kitty. I think it was somebody else. I think it was Shuki Kitty. Might have been Shuki mm. Kitty. Yeah, but they're actually... Yeah, they're actually a wallaby. Yeah. Just so, yeah. I googled it and found the mm. scientific. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I saw that. Yeah, in they're the actually chat related. So I looked and went, "Oh, there you go. I oh. learned something. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that oh. they were actually okay. a relative of the, the wallaby." Yeah. But they're so cute. <laughs> of course, Ken knows every spot you can find quokkas. <laughs> Quokkas. <-a. laughs> Fuck off, Ben. <laughs> That's my hometown. Of course, I know they're, they're down there. <laughs> That's why I'm a quokka fucker because I'm down there. <laughs> mm. And it's because uh, mm, very nice. they'd look at Ben and go, far too much Ooh, fur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know which stream, but oh, yes, I looked it up and they relate to the lobby. Yeah, I can't remember which stream oh, it was. There you go. It just, was okay. All the streams just blew. I remember it was. Yeah, I know. All so the streams just blew to get up there. <laughs> Keep that up and the Aussies won't let you visit, buddy. <laughs> yeah, you'll be banned. I'll be like, oh, you're a quacker fucker. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> No, yeah. Burben wants yeah, there'll to be do a Burben. naughty things. There'll be a Burben. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Burben ben. Yeah, mm. on the, there's a ban on the Burben. <laughs> they won't keep me out with suitcases full of bottles. Oh, well, we mm. might. You can only bring You can only bring six. Yeah, per person. So yeah. bring yeah, ultimate no persons. Something like that, yeah. Scrub wallabies. It's a or particular like plant. That. That's exactly it's a particular like prickly plant that the the quokka actually hides in. It's a specific plant. Because oh. they're real shy. They're actually a nocturnal species. Yeah. Which is kind of weird that they get lots of selfies on on Roddy because they're a really shy little animal. And Are they, they usually in the afternoon? Yeah, but it's only when they no, steal the camera. <laughs> yeah, when they see the camera, they're like, oh, selfie time. <laughs> But I think the the ones in Roddy have got a slightly, the, you know, they've got used to humans. But the yeah. the ones down at Tupelo Bay, it's a protected area and yeah, oh, yeah area and all that kind of yeah. thing. It's in a it's in Tupelo Bay National Park. Oh, and okay. Off Seal <laughs> Island, or oh, Bald Bald Head Island. Sorry, it's not Seal Island. Actually, I've got to find the video of um, Philip Island. Oh, of Christopher Christopher, Christopher Penguin. Penguin. Yeah. Yeah, it's a prickly plant. No, exactly. We went. We yes. went to yes. Phillip Island. Yes, I know Ben. Yes. Oh, yes, they love off, the Ben. Plant. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we went to Phillip Island. Um, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years ago. <laughs> I don't know. God, I bet ten. I don't know. It was a long time. It was a while ago. Anyway, so we went down to watch the penguins coming off the beach, which was so cool. Nice. Yeah, and they said, "Oh, you can't take any photos because the flash has heard their lights and their eyes and stuff." And I'm like, "Okay, yeah, fair enough." 
So we watch the penguins come in and then they go up this this little walkway, which there's like a there's a board walk, so you can watch them come up to go in there in the nests and stuff. <laughs> and there was this one little one, penguin, one, one little late comer, one who, little fat who, penguin who spent a little bit of extra time out in the the sea eating a little bit more. And he would like. <laughs> He'd, he'd walk walk oh, about five wow. steps and then fall oh, over and, and slide along on his tummy for a bit and then get up. And... Nice. So it, we called him Christopher Penguin. Yep. <laughs> they weren't allowed to take photos, but you could could you film them? Yeah, it took video. Oh, we, I think I've got some we, video think, of it. I think we did, yeah. Just like with no you flash could get, You could get yet. video, but you, yeah. you couldn't get, um, couldn't you flash. couldn't take photos. Yeah. Or you had to do no flash. Obviously. Yeah, not, no flash. Yeah. So. That's because most noobs just use <laughs> camera and automatic and it pops up with a flash and then... Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it was like 15 years ago. <laughs> God, it was so long Now everyone ago. just uses their phones and shit, yeah. <laughs> Well, now, exactly. now we've got a shitload of fucking whales up here at the moment, which oh, is rare because cool. I grew up down south where there was whales all the time. I never thought the whales come up here, but there's oh. a, a tour company that takes people out on, on a boat from Cadmoran, and they've got shitloads of fucking awesome pictures of whales. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. How many whales got over on oh, Western Australia? Way? It's, it's hitting 1 a.m. I've got to be up in four and a half hours, so I'm going to call it a night, but we'll can... Stay All right. here on the feed and yeah yeah i'm gonna kick on because she's she's on afternoon shift tomorrow so <laughs> I, I can have the joy of waking <laughs> her up with my alarm when she comes to bed at 4 a.m yeah, be like... <laughs> now nah, they'll confiscate the bottles and deport your ass back to you <laughs> references fornicating with small wallabies <laughs> sugar kitty Penguins are the quackers of Greenland. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> they will say lonely. They start looking at them cross-eyed. What the fuck? Oh, stop picking on quackers! Like yeah, seriously, yeah, penguins. Google, are you Google that shit. This is so a small wallaby. <laughs> You're out, Nick. Wait, right. wait. Yes, mate. Okay. I'll talk to you soon, Bye, and uh, I'll I'll talk to you on the weekend. All right. Do I need to change my? Name? All right, Chris. Yeah. Take it easy, mate. Jump onto this headset. And oh, okay. Just keep your iPad Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do that. But um. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Oh, what what the the Sorry. Ow. Sorry. Yeah, still All right. I know. I'm trying to. That's right. I can do that. Sorry. It's all good. <laughs> Why are you change? Can I change my name? No. Why can I change my name? Well, if you skate back, I think. <laughs> Actually, if you, up, if, there we go. up in the top, oh, well, up in the top, when you see your name here, if you change that, you're just going to drop out for a sec, Ken. Oh. You piece in. No, you don't have to change. You don't have to. If you scroll up to the top, well, can you scroll, scroll up to the name, top where your name is? Can you URL? Well, there you go. Where your name is, just change it there. You didn't have to jump out, but that's right. Yes, we definitely need Sir David Attenborough to be narrating all these animal references. That is for sure. Hell yeah. What did he say? He said he scrolled to the top, apparently. Rocco's they Modern they Life. I used to love that show. Yeah, Rocco's Modern Life. Uh -huh. Maybe you know, YouTube. Oh, that's okay. I'll just be you. If if you change <laughs> it up there, just change it up Where? top. Where up top? It says your name. Up and top in the URL in the address bar. In the NRL in the Oh the URL. In the oh, URL. Okay, URL. Oh, your name. It'll say oh. room equals S D U ampersand uh, L equals and then your name. Yeah, with that for stats. Oh, you can, I can be little taps. That's fine. <laughs> if she changes her name to Quokka Love Bird Band, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
see if that works. Oh. You have to refresh. You have to refresh standby. Standby. Da. -da! Did it work? Yeah, and I think there's a function earlier where you can, I can actually change the name in the background, not like StreamYard. Maybe there is, but... Don't think I can change it remotely. Simple Simon will be sleeping because he's got to work early in the morning. And he's got to drive an hour and away, hour and a half away to his work. And he's got to be there at like six o'clock in the morning. So yeah, he'll be punching Z's. He's a working boy. I need to get another... There's one more bottle left in my local bottle shop. I should probably grab it. I've got one more backup, but I should grab the other one as well. This shit's good. <laughs> there Little we rock. go. Ah. Low rug squawkers. Yay. <laughs> Doesn't quack have an A. Is it you? Q U O oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cheerio Right. So I assume that everything that's in the study is uh free game. <laughs> yeah, it must be. <laughs> Hells yes. Yeah. Uh yes, actually can you grab me my Starwood um um, red wine cast, please. Thank you. Hell yeah, Daniel. <laughs> Is that one? I knew you were going to say that something. Like that. I knew you were going to say that. Damn it, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> fucking knew it. <laughs> uh, what are you doing, Ben? Just fucking join in. You can give me shit about crackers. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Or you can give us both shit about quokkas. You know, it's it's not it's nice being a keyboard warrior, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Their name is quite what she meant. Oh, here My we go. Name is Quok. Got the Quok Quok Protection Quok. Society. <laughs> I'm not sure this name is a quote. What is she? The Quokka. What the hell? <laughs> Sugar yeah, there's Kitty. a fucking protection society now. Sugar Kitty, is that you? <laughs> yeah, it's Sugar Kitty. <laughs> well, it's formerly known as Sugar Kitty. Is now formerly known as Sugar Kitty. Society. Is now the uh, the Quaker Protection Society. Good Quaker <laughs> Protection. Oh, that's right. I've got it up here on Chris's computer now. I have to look at my iPad. There is actually a Quaker Protection. Oh, I'm sure there is. Yep, because they're a, quite a small endangered species. Exactly. Ah, doing the working and lurking thing. It's um, only eleven. Well, so that's, that's we we one. drawing. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's thank you. Um, I will need another ice cube, please. Yeah, we join your like live streams at eleven, ten, eleven, twelve o'clock in the morning. So. <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah, nine, ten, eleven, my time. Yep. Exactly. Oh, yeah, even earlier for Ken. Yeah. So, yeah, eleven a.m. Oh, as we said before, day drinking, day drinking, day drinking. Yeah, day drinking, <laughs> day drinking, day drinking. Hell yeah! <laughs> That's what I did on the last live wire. Yeah, <laughs> started I off saw... bottle chug fucking. What did I pull to? Oh, did you? Uh, all I remember from the last live was you were sitting there trying to fucking order that bottle online. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. 
The artist formerly known as Sugar Kitty owns your human ass. All right. Oop. The green spot is now away. I'll join, but I'm shirtless. You're cool. Eh? It's not like we haven't seen that before. Hey, dude, we, we heard you take a whiz, you know. <laughs> and a fart. <laughs> the epic 30-minute And there was a whiz. fart as well. There was. That was an epic so, fart. If you're shirtless, nobody cares. <laughs> dude, you're dealing with Australians. We don't give a fuck. You can go and get flying fuck. This is the month of pub. Jesus. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exacto mundo. Exacto mundo. All right. I'm going to crack some fucking Starwood red wine cusk. Oh, there it is. That's cool. My whiskey one. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I so want that. Yeah, it's fucking <laughs> awesome. So apparently, when I rewatched the stream from the other night. <laughs> Um, the next one isn't available until an add-in on the next Whiskey Club, apparently. Oh. What, the Starwood? Yeah, the next Starwood, yeah. So I don't have people have gotten it beforehand. Uh -huh. hmm. Yeah, because well, I, I... I jumped in there the other day and I couldn't get it. And they said, no, it's not available until the July add-ins. So oh, it's an, it's okay. an add in, it's not an actual. The, so the it's an add in with the Tomatin. Yeah, the yeah, Tomatin ha, is the main one, and the Starwood is the add in. Uh, so okay. They've got a competition yeah. running where you can get the Starwood, the ginger beer cask, and something else. Yeah, I did say that. Yeah, so. So, what did you say that? All the former etiquette schools graduates together. <laughs> yeah. This is where all your etiquette schools will get right. Mm. And you will come here to get formally your next, uh, you get your PhD. Mm. I'm <laughs> sure we can make up some sort of dodgy certificates and mail yeah, it Yeah, we can, we can do a postgrad <laughs> certificate. For your, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. We can, Absolutely. We can make from right but, now. Hey, you know what? Let's just do that anyway. And we'll charge you only. Hundred dollars for it. <laughs> nah, two and a half grand. Come on. Oh, this is oh. Well, I was, yeah. I was being generous. Yeah. A no, hundred no, bucks no. and a bottle of something really nice. <laughs> That's worth two and a half grand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, hundred hundred bucks doesn't make it sound very official if it's a prize grant. <laughs> well, yeah. well, that is true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a course that um, they want me to do for work, and uh, it's free to do the course. But if you want the certificate for it, it's four hundred twenty dollars. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, mm. get fucked. Mm. Exactly. I'll just do the online course that'll just give me uh, ten credits for my next pay point and. Done. Yep. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't like these earphones. <sighs> exactly. Oh. 100 bucks is way too cheap. Exactly. It's two and a half grand. <laughs> US. Yeah, US. Bring my headphones. Which headphones? Oh, the back there. On the keyboard. Oh, these ones. Right. Rocket Protection Society. Uh, uh, Batman is, is going on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's going to the list of people who can't come to Australia to fuck with cockers. <laughs> <laughs> no cocker fuckers. No cocker fuckers. <laughs> uh, I needed that. I'm going to assume the position. Where is that? Oh, did you get a cushion? Oh, so you can put your feet up on the desk. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Getting comfortable. Wait, have your Ugg boots got actually, like, soles and, like, grip on them? 
on these uggies, these fifteen dollar yeah. Kmart uggies, yeah. Really? Huh. Nice. I don't know, right? Yeah. Let's freaking Yeah, they're fifteen bucks. Oh, I've got a pair of those. Yeah. Look at that. Grip and shit on them and everything. <laughs> yeah. Ken's gotta go poop. <laughs> nah. Maybe Burben's gonna go poop and he's just projecting his um poopiness onto poop other people. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Nah, no poop needed. <laughs> no, I pooped earlier today. I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah, I pooped this morning. I'm I'm all fine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Good morning, morning pooper. Yep, yeah, cool. <laughs> no, I'm not actually. I'm usually at like three o'clock in the morning pooper because I'm oh. still awake. <laughs> wow, that's not, true. You, I'm nocturnal. You keep I'm odd nocturnal. hours. <laughs> I keep very odd hours. I thought that's what assume the position is. No, assume the position is when you get shafted for paying for whiskey in Australia. Mm. It's when you bend over and take it with a Roger and. <laughs> yep, with sandpaper and the lube. Mm. <laughs> I think you need to pay extra for that, OnlyFans. Yeah. That's. I that's... don't think anyone's going to pay for Burbank's OnlyFans, <laughs> Jim Morris. <laughs> <laughs> now that wraps up our poop update for the day. Come back tomorrow <laughs> for more poop update. Oh, I don't like these headphones. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, that's why I, I had the fucking stupid phone ear things, and I that's why I had to get some. I got some buds. Got some buds. Got we'll some see. Bud. Got, got some bud. bud. Nice. Got some buds. Good. <laughs> got some hydro shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like hydro. You got to get the good shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you need um like uh growing out in the fucking bush. You need bush. Yeah, stuff. out, out in bush. the fucking bush. Yeah. yeah, get get yeah. the bush. Yeah, bush bush stuff. Yeah. Yeah. See, I've got some good um. Apple ones, but they don't plug into Chris's freaking computer, so. Ah, uh, yeah, well, that's because Apple sucks. No, Apple does not suck. <laughs> Apple sucks. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, what anyone says, Apple sucks. Eh. Yeah, exactly. Meh. Yeah. Meh. You're either Apple or you're Android. Yeah, either way. Oh, I'm Android. I, I can work with both, so it's it's all good, you know. I can work both, but I prefer an Android. See, I prefer Apple. I think Apple, the whole operating system, works better. No. Nah, I like tinkering. I jailbreak every Apple device I've had. Oh, well, see, that's the whole thing with my job. If you've got an Android, I can break that shit and get into it. But you got an Apple, can't do it. It's locked down. That is true. That yeah, is true. A lot exactly. Yep. If you want to get in someone's phone, Android, fucking jailbreak that shit all day. But Apple, if you've encrypted the original uh, operating system, can I get into it? Yeah. And yeah, unless you have it your iTunes and you can untick that box. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And if you're in Canada, you need to check your jack boots and sleep when you go into the only store for this year. Yeah. Ugh, I know. Donald, I know. Yep, we it's certainly ridiculous. do that. We don't, we, don't, we don't do that. We just walk in and pull our pants down and bend over the barrel. <laughs> we assume the position. <laughs> yep, exactly. That's the assuming the, the position. <laughs> assume the position. Yeah. I know, walking into Dan Murphy's is so disappointing after walking into the liquor barn in, in Lexington. I'm like... <laughs> yeah. Like, Dan Murphy's has this much, and liquor barn has this much. <laughs> I want to go to that Borders shop. Which shop? The one in, the one in Germany. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I so want to go there. I've mm. seen pictures. Oh. <laughs> that's that's the place. Yeah. 
it, oh, if you want to scotch and stuff yeah absolutely well not only that it's, it's, it, yeah well yeah 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 yes. Yes. oh did you ever end up getting that russell's 13 the other day no they wouldn't fucking ship fuckers even though you were in a, been, a liquor store in florida been, and they wouldn't ship it to your florida address <laughs> no yeah exactly they wouldn't fucking ship to the floor address and it was a store in fucking florida i'm like are uh, you fucking serious uh, <sighs> <laughs> and i was so yeah. excited I'm like ah, I'm, I'm russell city oh, no and even yeah. Burt Ben tried as well they wouldn't fucking ship yeah. which obviously means they, they don't have any yeah, they either don't have any or they just won't fucking ship, so you have to be there in person to fucking grab yeah. it. Mm. Yeah, they get a bit crafty about that sort of stuff, apparently. Just Unless you know who someone who owns a liquor store and who can possibly get it for you. I mean, if you're lucky. <laughs> the Zill Rocks Quackers will have an Insta page. Bourbon wants the pictures. <laughs> Can you see this? Can <laughs> you see that? That's pretty, isn't it? Do you like my ring and my fingernails? They're pretty awesome, aren't they? <laughs> Bading dish. Bam tush. Oh Jesus! Smash shit in this fucking sunny. Kicking shit, scratching my arm on shit. <laughs> well, I'm just making sure I'm not knocking this fucking X wing, please. I'll oh wow. Oh, you will get stabbed. Carl yep. will, will stab you if you fucking break that shit. Yeah. <sighs> That's a pretty fucking cool kit, that one. It is. Which, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to get it for myself. I just gotta find somewhere to fucking put it now. Yeah, well, that's our issue too, because I have the east wing and the west wing of my police station. I then have the holding yard, which has got the command vehicle and the boom gate and all the Ferra the Lego Ferraris. <laughs> yep. Which kind of takes up hmm, this much space <laughs> on the top of the such. <laughs> but yeah, you know, Chris would move his fucking Bose sound system. I might have some room for something else. <laughs> That's More not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do that for? I don't know why, didn't he? I mean, he tried to hook it up the other day. It didn't freaking work, but you know. Those both systems are right. Hmm. Oh, it's great, but this one is probably not the best place for it. Sorry. Because he had the, the little boats floating around somewhere, but I don't know where some of that. Mm. So, uh, Sergeant Angel, what else is happening in the world? Yeah, yeah, work, same shit, different mm. day. I mean, yep. if, if, if you not. want to go. Google it, there was a stabbing not really a stabbing in the gap brisbane this afternoon that we went to so you may see my fat ass on you know some video footage but you may not <laughs> so it was a stabbing but not a stabbing well it's a little bit convoluted someone did get stabbed uh, well they were cut but yeah okay <laughs> There's still a complaint to come, you know, it's all that sort of shit, so. <laughs> Yay, paperwork. Mm. Mm. Not my paperwork. <laughs> Somebody else's <laughs> paperwork. Somebody else's, oh, that, that's yeah. all good then. Yeah. yeah, I'm just trying to wind down my time until I go on holidays, so I'm not taking on any new extensive cases. If I can. Yep. 
<laughs> no, that that, that 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 is a good fucking idea because last thing you want to do is be fucking bombarded before you fucking go on break. Oh, and they will contact you. They will contact you even if you're on holidays and go, oh, hey, we've got your mobile phone number. Hey, we need to talk about this. Like, dude, we're fucking holidays. Call my office yep. and get someone else to fucking deal with it. <laughs> yep, not my not my thing. Just call the department. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, yep. exactly. Call yep. somebody else. I don't answer private phone calls on my holidays because I know it will be work or prosecutions. <laughs> Hell, I didn't, I didn't even answer fucking private phone calls on my days off because I know it would be someone trying to get a hold of me for something. It's like, send me a fucking email and I'll deal with it when I get back to work because I don't get paid extra to look at my emails or answer phone calls on my days off. Yeah, that, that's right. Got a stabbing? Yeah. Fat ass on the video. <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a. John T. Oh, hey, John T. Please don't take hey, me John T. without turning the mute off first, please. Like you did on live the other day. <laughs> 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 Look, Love you, you anyway, but. Your next yeah. meeting. Fucking meetings. Yeah. Oh, I know. There are certain offices of prosecutions you don't want to deal with, and one of them I'm dealing with right now, and they're just being a pain in the ass. But, yeah, anyway. That's no fucking fun. No, it's not. Especially when I've got all defendants, which they've separated oh. out into Four different case files. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Grab your little wallaby and join us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Boban. I'd love to have a pet quokka there. That'd, that'd be fucking oh, awesome. They pet. would be freaking awesome, yeah. Especially because I'm nocturnal, so I could have Ooh. my little quokka and nocturnal. Buddy. Oh, yeah. You know what? Next time you get to Rottnest Island, just smuggle one in your backpack and take it home with you. No, I wouldn't want to smuggle one. I wouldn't <laughs> want to take one from my time. But if you wanted to come with me, I'll, I'll get. No, I'll get one of my Albany ones. I'll get my one of Albany buddies. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, that no, well, one. Didn't you say the ones on Rottnest Island look more more people friendly though? Well, I think they are because they they interact with humans. They interact the with humans people. more. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the one in Two People's Bay. They don't. Yeah. They don't inter interact with anybody because it's only a small colony isolated in a nature reserve. So. Mm. Huh. And the yeah. one on the ones on Bald Head Island, they're completely cut off from anybody's. Ah, okay. Yeah, you need to smuggle one from Rottnest. It's in Geraldton. <laughs> well, I want a couple. Oh, well, actually, yes, you do. You need. Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, little family of them. Imagine having little quokkas sitting here. <laughs> and be sitting there with a little kid face and going... Little cute little face and I'll be feeding him stuff and <laughs> having a dram with my little quokka buddy. Oh, no, we couldn't get the quokka drunk. Well, we probably oh. could, but that <laughs> would probably be quite funny. <laughs> you, get, you get drunk off the fumes. <laughs> oh, he would because I'm sure their little immune systems are not, you know. <laughs> Quokkas are what squirrels and chipmunks should be. No one would get pet goanna ever. What's wrong with no. that? Oh, I want a pet goanna. I want a pet goanna. I was going to say, no one needs a pet goanna. Sugar kitty, except oh. for you. Oh, wait. Bow ties for Quokkas now. Oh. I want a pet goanna. Oh. I'm bringing, bow tie. I'm bringing oh. a bow tie when I come to Western Australia next and we go to Rottnest Island. I'm going to put a bow tie on my freaking quokka oh. and I'm going to take a selfie with it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I want a full tux. Oh, I don't think I'd get him to a tuxedo, but I think I could probably maybe hook a, a, bow, a tie bow tie on. Tie. Well, I'm just going to hook the bow tie on quickly while I'm trying to take the selfie with the quokka. And we can yep. get it that way. A little bow tie and have him hang on to something and, and that'd be <laughs> Oh baby Glenn. 
<laughs> yeah, little Glenn. Um, hang on, yeah, baby Glenn. Glenn. <laughs> Nicole, you're like, you like, what the fuck are you people you doing? Fucking glass. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that Star Wars is so nice. Quack a bow tie. Quack a bow tie. There's business yeah. in that. Quack a bow tie there business. Might, there might be. You know who we get to promote that? Liam Hemsworth, because he has the most famous True. selfie with the quacker. I think he he'd be up for that. Famous. Yeah. Quacker selfies. Quacker yeah. selfies. Oh, it's it's uh, it's totally a thing. A friend of mine in Kentucky was talking about it. I said, like, dude, you need to, like, Google that shit, like, quack quack selfies. And then he came back to me and he's like, oh, my God, I can't believe there's so many photos. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you Google quack selfies, there is a oh, fucking absolutely. shitload yeah. of quack selfies. I like a pet goanna, but it's only for ridding the world yeah. of chipmunks. I'm tired of the chipmunk relocation track. I don't like chipmunks. Wait, I thought he was to get rid of the squirrels for a kitty, not just chipmunks. No, he likes squirrels. He doesn't like chipmunks. Ah, okay. Okay, then. This chat oh, is I... getting weird. Of course this chat's weird, even though you can't hear us, Jim. Jim Morris, when Jim? has it never not been weird? I mean, come on. He can't <laughs> even hear us, though. <laughs> he hasn't got his fucking headphones again. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All he heard was quacker, and then the boss said, "What the fuck is a quacker? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, Donald?" <laughs> oh, why and is the is fired. Is fired. <laughs> What was it? The animal interference network. <laughs> the animal interference oh. network. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Quaker fucking network. Oh, my God. No, we got bow ties for quackers. Yeah, we're doing bow ties for quackers. It, it's going to be That's a freaking a whole new one. Um, That's a business Fundraising mention. thing. <laughs> It's, not that I don't, it's not it's not that i like squirrels i don't have too many of them it's the fucking Lucky chipmunks, chipmunks. That are oh, really? over my, uh... but chipmunks are cute too i mean alvin simon and theodore yeah Theodore. exactly <laughs> well, i just watched a cool documentary on um curiosity stream <laughs> i signed up for curiosity stream because i love documentaries and there was a cool chip uh not chipmunk one um squirrels but all the relatives squirrel, like a peri dog, the the fucking the sugar glider, not sugar glider possum, the 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 eye possum. Fucking, no, the the squirrel, the big fluffy fucking squirrel that does the ones up in Alaska. They can fly. Can't remember the name. Fly squirrel. Then okay. the, yeah, they're all relatives of squirrels. Oh, okay. Is yeah. that a bit like Australia and um, Antarctica? The only countries in the whole fucking world that don't have squirrels. Is that like Rocky and Bullwinkle? Was he a flying squirrel? <laughs> he probably wasn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bullwink. Bull, no, no. So Rocky. Rocky was the flying squirrel. He had like a hat and everything. <laughs> That's true. He did. Yes. And Bullwinkle was the moose. He yeah. was like, Australia and Antarctica hey, Rocky, are the only countries. Why you pull a rabbit out of my hat? Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah, so I'm, excited. I'm that old. Like, Thank you. I am that old. <laughs> That's not that old. Well, yeah, maybe some other people in the chat be like, mm. well, actually, no, everyone else in the chat's probably that old too. So I'm probably the youngest person here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait, is Adam still in the chat? Because he's younger than me, so. <laughs> if I so, maybe. Okay. So, not fired? That's cool. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He was a flying squirrel who had flying goggles. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's what I said. Yep. He was a flying squirrel. Yep. Alaskan Rocky. flying squirrel. Yeah. Yes, because 
Natasha and Morris were after the um, squirrel and moose. <laughs> yes. Speaking of moose, where is that crazy moose? Yeah, where is the moose? <laughs> where is the moose? Jim, Jim Morris is 22. <laughs> Fuck off, Jim Morris is 22. <laughs> 40, no, six. <laughs> Are you driving and texting, Adam? Come on. You better not be driving no and Snapchatting my friend Jazz because she'd be asleep right now. <laughs> Remember the time zones. You see it in. Remember Moment the time zones. Never be. Ah, sugar kitty. Bow ties for quackers. Bow ties for quackers. Absolutely. Uh, I want to see selfies now with bow ties on quackers. And that should be the new thing. Hey, Google it and see if it's not a thing already. <laughs> yeah, somebody might Google that. So, uh, you know what? I'm sure fucking Liam Hemsworth fucking did. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Because as much as Liam Hemsworth is a freaking a god, he's probably an asshole too. <laughs> no, I'm sure he's not. I'm sure he's the nicest person in the world. Let's have some stress, Mel. Strathmore, what's Strathmore? Scotch. Uh, Band aids and bad decisions. <laughs> no, that's only Isla. A couple of distilleries in Isla. Oh, it's Isla. Okay, this, Isla stuff. Okay. This is a Highland malt. There is no band aids and bad decisions in this one. This right. is nice and light and floral. All right. So my choices are within reaching distance. Is an old forest of 90. Some more Jefferson, some more Starwood. Well, I haven't cracked the, the 15 in red breast yet. Oh, and wait, wait. the uh, double oat. John T? Cheers, mate. John T just donated to the PayPal fund to keep the lights on. Well, thank you very much, John T. That is much appreciated. Yep. Most definitely. <laughs> oh, Miss Wissy shits. I only text and drive if Jim isn't around to yell at me. <laughs> Ryan Foxes and Samoa and Tonga transform all the fucking squirrels or chipmunks here, and no one would mind them if they were gliding from tree to tree. Oh, see, all, cool. all, the, all the gliders, the sugar gliders, they came to Australia, and all the shit went to America. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, you guys end up with squirrels. We got sugar gliders. Sorry. Yeah, we didn't get no squirrels. No, we didn't get squirrels. I think squirrels are no. so cute when I see them in Kentucky. That's the only place I see them. And everyone's like, oh, tree Germany rats. And I was so excited. I was so <laughs> excited to see a squirrel. I'm so like, squirrel! Right. Oh, like every time I see them, though, I'm just it's so excited to see them. Like every time, <laughs> I've been there yeah. like eight or nine times. It's like oh, squirrel, yeah, squirrel. <laughs> and it, you know what the funny Did thing you is, yourself? you can tell when there are other Australians around because they also go squirrel. <laughs> yeah, squirrel. <laughs> you're like, hey, you're from Australia. And they're like, hey, you know, it's like you see squirrel. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have squirrels. Because we don't have squirrels. We have possums, which are just basic tree rats anyway. So Yeah, they are just giant tree yeah, rats. They, yeah. But if, if you stand still in the middle of um, the Botanic Gardens in Brisbane, they will climb up your legs. <laughs> yep. Mm. And Sugar Kitty, Racehorse Goanna will do exactly the same thing and they will tear you to fucking shreds with their fucking claws. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Goannas are vicious. Man, they will fuck you up. Yeah, fuck yeah. Like, I would take a goanna. No, actually, I would take a squirrel over a goanna any day. I like goannas. They're awesome, but yeah, you don't want to fuck with them. Squirrels are supposed to be nice to eat. Yeah, I bet Well, you know, if you shove a stick at both their asses and you put them on a spit, they all taste like chicken. See, we have exactly the same problems, but our possums here are the three times the size of a fucking squirrel, and they will mm. fuck your house up. Yeah. 
unless you get rats and rats are terrible and they they're yeah, yeah. Rats, yeah. but possum i worked in i worked in a child care center at rosalie like in brisbane like in the in this well just on the outskirts of the inner city of brisbane and they had rats in the, in the like ceiling and they had traps set and shit. it was terrible yeah they're but fucking yeah, awful things the ah. yeah you had to go up there and fucking smash them over the head with a hammer to kill them so you could toss them outside into the rubbish bin. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. It, it wasn't good. And that was before the floods. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah no, I, don't, no, no, I don't know what happened no. after the floods, but I'm sure they got worse. <laughs> yeah, fucking rats. Fucking oh. rats. Yeah, no, like rats. Like, yeah, big fucking rats. Oh, big fuckers, yeah. Yep. Ugh. Gross. <sighs> okay, well, I just have a little bit more to start with, actually. The possums are pretty good. Oh, possums yeah. are okay, yeah. I mean, we get possums around here occasionally. I mean, when we had the trees at the front, until we got them locked the other week, um... They would jump across from the trees onto our roof and go along out the, the far side of our house. <laughs> Possums are here in the US too, but they don't go anywhere you know, human has been. Oh, well, yeah, they're the complete opposite here. Yeah, they're the different kind of possums. They're not quite like our possums, so. Yeah, a ringtail possum will fucking. Yep. But the little pygmy possums, they are super cute. Mm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's so cute. Yeah, with their big fucking big eyes and shit. <laughs> Think of Komodo dragon. Yeah, if you want to look at Gwana, look at a racehorse Gwana. <laughs> hell is Gwana? <laughs> racehorse Gwana. Yeah, go or Google that shit. Parotine. Google yeah, it. Google a parotine. <laughs> we haven't we've got a vehicle named after in the army we used to have a parenting <laughs> land rover they named after those fuckers that's how iconic they are in australian racehorse go out google that fucker but yeah think komodo dragon they're pretty much like a fucking komodo monitor lizard yeah oh blah, blah, blah. Ooh, that's a bit yeah they're red pretty, pretty fucking Yeah, we used to have one at school. He's staying around. <laughs> <laughs> yep, another four-legged nope. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> another four-legged nope. Yep. Yep. Four -legged yeah, lots, nope. Of, lots, lots of four-legged nopes here. <laughs> yep. Non non-legged nopes and four-legged nopes. <laughs> hey, there's some two-legged nopes. You know, they live in Logan, but yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah there's there's of fucking two-legged nopes around. Yeah, or wherever, whatever the bad suburbs are in West Australia. I was sitting out catching some sunbeams after I finished work today, and there was a couple of little, um, little, uh, Restomacrotus, and it's a scientific name. I can't remember the actual common name, but the little lizards about this big. Skink? They were hanging out together. No, it's not a skink. They're a little, little lizard about okay. this big. Very common species in Australia. Um, yeah, I was watching a couple of them. Fuck, one of them took off. Man, he fucking moved. <laughs> fucking chronic. He fucking, he covered some distance in the split second. I was like, holy fuck. That was impressive. I thought it was another one, but it was the same one. <laughs> he went from like <laughs> this end of the table to this town. I went a split second. I'm like, holy shit. Ooh, breaking the land speed at, um, effort. Yeah, it was fucking impressive. And it was in like a little bit of grass area too. So it was. Decent vegetation to cross, but he fucking. <laughs> that wasn't a gecko. I love geckos. Geckos are awesome. Oh well, depends which one they are. You know, you don't want the the um the Thai geckos. They're just fucking shit everywhere. So. Well, all well, geckos are shit everywhere. I've got one spot oh, in my house yeah. where there's a few gecko shits on the on the wall, but I like it <laughs> because I know oh, the geckos are around. It's like, yeah, geckos are cool. I yeah, like we've we've got a few. They like to like climb up on our um window and our um Yeah. yeah. 
That's very iconic. We chase the moths. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> They're awesome to watch. You watch them go. <laughs> and how they defy gravity with their fucking hairs on their mm. on their pads of their feet. How they can actually stick to any glass surface upside down. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. Gecko's awesome. <laughs> if you have a look at my Instagram page, you'll find some cool pictures of geckos I have taken. Especially with the one, the <laughs> Spingarellus, which is the, the grey southern spiny tail gecko with a got a cobalt blue mouth, big bright yellow eyes, and doing an eye lick because they oh, have wow. to indicate their eyes because they don't have eyelids. Mm. Ice reptiles. Uh huh. Mm. Interesting. Well, geckos anyway. Most <laughs> lots of reptiles do have. Wait, on on your Insta? Oh Liz. On my Instagram, yeah. Okay. Camel okay. photography. You'll see it. Yes, I follow you. <laughs> you would have seen it. I took it about ten o'clock at night, it was a nighttime shot. It's a northern spine, spiny tail, something. I can't remember the name of it. It's a grey, it's a grey gecko. Pretty cool. Okay. Yep. It's got a bright cobalt blue mouth with an orangey tongue and then bright orange eyes. And they have to, they have to lick their eyes. Geckos yeah, eat two skiers. They're too small to bother. Granas eat all the Amazon <laughs> people, so not so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Granas will fucking eat anything. They steal Seven. eggs and shit. What's your last name again? Lawson, L A W S O. That's okay. Yeah. Ugh. Cannot work Instagram. There we go. Oh, I haven't followed you on Instagram yet. I'm following you on Instagram mm -hmm. now. Okay. I apologize. <laughs> well, I've got Scotch down under Instagram and then I've got my photography page. Oh, yeah, probably I was on that one. Which I haven't put anything up on there in fucking ages. Okay, we've got some snakes and, oh, Jesus, spider. Ooh. Some random dude pointing at stars. Yeah, oh, that's me. look at that one. It's you and Carly. <laughs> what? Ladybugs don't eat spiders. Ladybugs? No. And by the way, ladybug is not a bug, it's a beetle. That is correct. Lady beetles eat aphids. And they're highly carnivorous. Oh. Extremely should, carnivorous. They you should tag um, random FPV in that uh, picture of the two gawas. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> oh, he's cool. Spiny tail and gecko. The gecko. That's yeah, him. Spiny yeah. tail. Yeah. He's awesome. With, big, with a cloak, cobalt blue mouth. Yeah. That's freaking cool. Yeah, that was 10 o'clock at night. Awesome. What sort of camera are you using? Uh, that was a just a shitty old 600D with a Sigma 150mm. Wow, okay. Uh, homemade diffuser and bracket. Cool. A 650 Canon flash. Nice, nice. Yeah, ha have you and Chris discussed cameras yet? Because he's got this fancy ass fucking Canon that he used to use all the time. He doesn't anymore, so. <laughs> yes, we did talk lenses and oh, cameras okay. and. Nice. We did geek out. I just got a box with Adam's name on it. I wonder what's in it. It's vibrating. 
<laughs> hey, it's not from Australia, shots, Mike Stall. So it like yeah. shipping Stahl. doesn't happen that quickly. Just said how the f am I not a wrench yet? Who said that? Well, that's the point. How the fuck are you not a wrench yet? Well, everybody Mike else is Mike Stall. Why aren't you? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Whoops. I didn't want to do that. Well, Mike saw why am I not... Oh, hang on. What happened? What did you do? You deleted oh, his I, messages. I clicked, I, I, I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. There we go. <laughs> 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 the wrong one. <laughs> okay, well, Mike saw why I aren't a wrench. What? Hang on. This Mike stinks. <laughs> why aren't I a wrench on your channel? Because, you know, you got Adriana, and she's pretty cool, but you know what? She's not Australian cool. <laughs> that wasn't me. No, that was me. That was my mistake. I accidentally clicked the wrong fucking thing because it was right above it. Wasn't it wasn't me. I didn't clicking touch anything. The... I didn't do it. I was clicking on the, on the <laughs> fucking thing that brings up the chat thing and doesn't have all the things in the click thing menu thing. What do you let you raise it for, um, Adam? You don't... You've got, like, this little thing you... Beard going on. Well, maybe it's the um, the man shaving <laughs> kit that you get. <laughs> oh, it's the manscaping thing that they were talking about yeah, on the live wire on Sunday. Oh, no, actually, sorry, or that was an HBR. HBR was talking about the manscaping thing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, he's trying to get sponsored by him or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adam told me to make sure you <laughs> are. Oh well, I'm glad that Adam told you, Mike that I should be a wrench and I hope to be on the Sunday stream. Well, I'm sorry, the whenever you guys go next. I'm it's always the day after, Monday after. Yeah. Yeah, it's Monday at <laughs> ten o'clock in the morning, my time. Yeah, yeah. It's Monday, yeah. Which is your Sunday, which yeah. is before or after Cheech? No, they're before Cheech. No before no what? Mm. No. No, they're they're um there, aren't they Friday night? Saturday, yeah, they, they go they go Saturday, yeah, because I was at the races last Saturday. Yeah, and but then Monday, they do Monday night. Oh, which is, yeah, which is Tuesday morning. They were also on. They were on Monday morning over here, here or Monday lunchtime here this week as well. So Sunday afternoon. Oh yes, because. Cheat wasn't going to go live, so they jumped That's on right. after HBR, yeah, or something like that. I don't know. I was watching no, YouTube from like about that. ten o'clock in the morning on Sunday, so I have no idea who I was watching or what I was doing. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, no, because Cheat was on, yeah. and I had to go to the what's the name game, My, yeah, the kids soccer game, and then I came yeah. home, and, that, and then I went on, yeah, I know, something like that. Something like that. Mike Stall, there was no nipples uh, posted to anybody. Thank you very much. <laughs> no. And Chris and I don't share those uh, pictures because we live in the same house. If I want to see that and he wants to see that, he can just ask. And I'll just ask. Yeah, exactly. So we don't need to send pictures to each other. Dude, we've been together for nearly 22 years. We don't need to do that shit anymore. That's young people's shit. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, hey, I want to see your boobs. I'm like, all right, here you go. Here's my boobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Booby. So Achoo. Mike Stall, behave. <laughs> and reply to my email, dude. <laughs> oh, it's from Chris. Oh, okay. <laughs> she always goes on after midnight, so what day you never know. Well, it's Sunday afternoon for our time. Yeah, it's Sunday it's afternoon our time, yeah. You she just usually on about three or four o'clock in the afternoon over here, so yeah, it's like 2 o'clock my time. Yeah, which is about 2 o'clock your time, yeah. Because HBR usually goes on about 10 a.m. in the morning. Which yeah, is which day. is about midday our time. 
so so I'm usually at work still when HBR are going on. So <laughs> well, I should be able to catch all of Cheech and HBR this Sunday because yeah, Carly's me too. Awesome, so. And there's no soccer game, so oh, we should yes. be able to day yeah, drinking. Well, I've got oh hey I have sun I've got Saturday Sunday Monday off so wait wait hell's yeah <laughs> that means you can join in on whiskey trek yes we can we are up well if lockdown doesn't get extended we're having dinner at a friend's house and then we will jump into the whiskey the whiskey trek when we get home so yes. Yeah, because it'll be one o'clock in the morning when it starts for your time. Yeah, yeah, quite possibly. It usually is. <laughs> yeah, I need I need oh, to flip that. That's all right. I, I mean, usually when we go to our friend Rose's house, she's Italian, so she just wants supplies for food and alcohol, as the Italians do. So, but we were pretty hammered by the time we actually get into the thing. So, <laughs> noise, noise. Oh, and she loves uh, whiskey too. We, she actually came to America with us. Well, she didn't come to America with us. She had a conference in New Orleans um, back in 2018, maybe? 18 or 19? I can't remember which one it was. And she came and stopped. We, we organized everything for her. We made her fly from Sydney to Dallas and Dallas to Lexington. We picked her up, oh, no, Louisville, sorry. We picked her up from Louisville Airport, drove her to Lexington where we were staying. She stayed with us for like three or four days. And we took her like to Buffalo Trace and Woodford and freaking all the distilleries. And then we put mm -hmm. her on a plane to New Orleans so she could go to her conference. So we, we organized it with her. We said, you know what, you need to come a couple of days early so you can come to <laughs> Kentucky with us. <laughs> yeah. And she she freaking loved it. Like we took her to all the really cool places and stuff. FB message from who, Mister Stall? Oh, I did actually. Um, did you hmm. actually accept my friend request? Oh, he found it. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, wait, what? <gasps> Mike Stall, why are you sending me dick pics for? Oh my god. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I forgot about this. this. This is good. This reminds me of Klein Leash. And, mm, this is good. Deleted now. <laughs> oh no, I took a screenshot. Don't worry. Had to use a macro lens. <laughs> what's, a, what's a macro lens? <laughs> macro lens. A what? Macro lens allows you to get closer. The true macro lens is greater than one to one. So the size, the true definition of a macro lens is anything greater than one to one. So if you took a, say, a five cent coin, when it appears on the sensor of the camera, oh. it's greater than one to one ratio. Oh, okay. Interesting. So most, what is called a macro lens isn't actually truly macro because it's only one to one or less but if it's one to two or one to four like i've got the canon mp65 which does five times macro oh okay chris has got a lens that does that sort of thing too so yeah yeah but the typical canon lenses like the canon macro lens is the 100 mils they're only one to one mm. but i've got a one to five Oh, interesting. Fucking insane depth of field when you that and it's all manual lens. It's, it's a beast. Yeah. Oh, nice. it's ridiculous. So you should have a new subscriber. Um on the um Australian Whiskey Appreciation Study of uh, on Facebook. Some dude, I don't know was like flexing his japanese stuff and i sort of sort of said oh hey um blah 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 
if you're keen to check out other whiskey, Scotch Demanda is uh, he does other things other than Scotch, like Lego. <laughs> <laughs> and and he's Trek. like, oh, I watched the Hibiki video. Good banter. Just subscribed. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's so, our biggest fucking viewed episode, that one. The Hibiki oh. Harmony. Oh, there you go. Yeah, and yeah, he, like, he like he like literally flexed on a um Hibiki Blossom Harmony, a Yamakaze and a Hashuku. Oh, he's got the Hokushu and the Yamazaki is bastard. Yeah. Yep. It's like, he was it's just like, look at me. <laughs> look at me. Yeah. Carly's jealous because she wants the Hokushus and the Yamazakis. Well, I want a fucking Yamazaki as well, but it's $450 here in Australia. Oh, no, but then I've been talking to people on freaking like different stuff and it's like, it's $100. What? I have more subs than your other channel. What, your knife channel? Really? No. Bullshit. <laughs> I haven't got that Wait, range. which channel are you talking about, Mike? Are you talking about Live Wire Whiskey or are you talking about, yeah, the Knife Channel? The Knife Channel, no. But if you want to go and check out some uh, Japanese stuff, there's a new guy in Australia who's doing Japanese stuff. I, what, what? A 10 to 1? Fuck off. What? Oh, Mike's still mm. my friend now. Yay! Apparently he was friends with Chris who was friends with me. What the fuck is going on with that, Mike Stall? Dude. I think my you like me more. My subs have been going up and down like a fucking <laughs> yo-yo. Oh, apparently, yeah. See, Perry, yeah, Perry was too. having that problem the other week when he was, like, up and down about his 900 mark. Apparently, YouTube just does their thing where they just fucking... Oh, yeah, it does. The last couple all the months time. been so, ridiculous. Yeah. Like, I've been hovering around the 470. Oh, really? I've, I've just popped over 481 and then it's back down to 479. Oh. And, Oh, 478 and 477, then back out to 478. And four, it's all over. It's just up and down, up and down, up and down. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, apparently just YouTube just does their thing where they just go... Brum, 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 no, brum, it's brum, brum, brum. it's and, annoying. Yeah, I know. It's fucking annoying. A but Perry, Perry's nearly at his um, 1,000 subscribers mark. So that's cool. Yeah, He's yeah. He's like 950-something be... more. So he's not, he's not far off. Lil, Ken denied my friend request. I'm so glad someone in Australia likes me enough to be my friend. Oh. <laughs> I did not deny your friend request. I fucking sent you a friend request. <laughs> aren't you fucking, aren't we friends on fucking Facebook? Apparently not. Oh, wait, maybe you are, but he's just, he's just being a smart ass. I think we are. He, he He's being a cunt. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Look, Mike Stall, friend. <gasps> oh, wait, am I in the, am I the last person in Australia to be friends with Mike Stall, with Mike Stall? Am I literally the last person in Australia to be friends with Mike Stall? Like, literally, Chris was friends with him. He actually, he bragged about it. He goes, aren't you friends with Mike Stall yet? I'm like, no, but I've got his fucking email address. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? So it doesn't, I'm fucking it's curious a... about this fucking 10 to 1 lens. I mean, I've never heard yeah, of a 10 this? to 1 yeah. macro lens. And I follow all the macro guys. I mean, that is... Mm. What are you talking about, Sean? Can you show sure a fucking 10 to 1? Mm -mm. I need to Google that shit because that's insane. I I I haven't heard of that. No, all not. my macro diehards would be fucking. <laughs> that's exactly right, Mike Saul. You could never be a smart ass with an Australian because we would kick your ass. <laughs> Are you in meetings again, Mike Stoll? 
can jump in. Come on. Don't be a cat. <laughs> You're not a cat. Oh, do, oh, where's Tony? We need Tony Two Toes because fucking Tony Two Toes knows how to fucking talk cat. <laughs> None of the rest of you cunts know how to do it. <laughs> I don't think it's a 10 to 1. I don't think it could be a 10 to 1. That's not possible. Yes, Adam, a, a smart ass is like, um, oh, what, what the American is it a smart or ass? There's a filter. <sighs> Boo, Mike Stall. Boo. Cast put, us in, put us in the background <laughs> like you did last time and just laugh when we say cat. <laughs> cat. <laughs> K-H-A-N-T. That's the word you need. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, Mike, um, Adam, smart ass is kind of like, what's the American version of smart ass? Mm, know it all? Maybe? So, yeah, that's what we're kind of talking about. It's an Australian term, but you'll get used to that when you start talking to Jess. How's yeah, that going, by the way? Plus one, plus two, plus four, <laughs> plus ten macro filter set. They're just filters. Yeah, fuck off, Nightbot. Everyone is subscribing and hit the like button. Fuck off. <laughs> They're not ten times mac mac magnification. All I saw in that was Tim Tams and something. <laughs> we have no Tim Tams. Uh... You know we do have though. We have peanut butter Oreos. Ugh. What? Peanut butter Oreos? That'd be freaking all the peanut butter and chocolate. Like it's like a and Reese's you... cup. I don't mind Reese's cup. They're a bit sticky, but. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like too gluey and. Well, you didn't have them cold. You didn't like them warm where they like. Yeah, but they're, they're, they're too. Like they're, yeah, they'll tuck your fucking teeth out of your jaw. Yeah, oh, uh, well, brain, yeah. Like, Don't put them in the freezer, but maybe put them in the table, fridge so they like the chill a little bit. bit but... Give me, give me the. I'm, I'm fucking intrigued. Give me the specs on that lens. Give me the actual model number. Yeah, come on, sugar kitty. I'm intrigued. Yeah, I'm fucking intrigued on this lens. You, Just, you've got um, me fucking perplexed. Don't uh, talk the talk without walking the walk. <laughs> True. Hmm. I mean, because the biggest macro lens that I know of is the MP65. Hmm. I and... have no idea what he's talking about. But anyway. <gasps> Oh, Adam. Oh, I'm so excited. But you know what? No dick pics. That's all I have to say. Just don't, unless she asks for it, just no dick pics. <laughs> well, this one extends out like a big Ooh. dick. <laughs> oh, oh, welcome to the big dick club. <laughs> yep, this is the part of the big dick club because this, like, this is an the MP65. Oh. So at, at normal. Yeah. One to run ratio, it's oh, like that, you go. Again. and then you can go to five times magnification. Ooh. Giddy up! <laughs> yep. So this, this turns into a bit of, but it's so fucking. This is a fully macro lens, uh, manual lens, Ooh. and the depth of field is stupid, ridiculous, and the working distance because it's a sixty-five mil. When it's at five times magnification, it is literally like that far away from the fucking lens. Ooh. And it's sub millimeter fucking working um, depth of field. Who's making that, Canon? Or... Yeah, this is Canon. 
Oh, okay, nice. It's only a lens of its, of its type. Oh, nice. That's five times magnification. And if you put extension cool. tubes on it and it goes in, oh, it's insane. Nice. Because you've got macro photography and then you've got macro off. I can't, I can't English. Macro <laughs> off. Is using, I can't math, so you can't math. I can't math, you can't English. That's fine. Not at the moment, yeah. <laughs> so that's macroscopy is using um, the thing you look through that makes you bigger microscope lenses and elements. microscope lenses. Nice, yeah. You might have to if you come over in September, if there's no fucking lockdown or fucking all that other shit. You need to bring some things and take Chris on a fucking day trip and teach him how to use his camera. I can do that. Yeah, because I've been I've been meeting. So there's there's a chick who works at the JB Hi-Fi at Kedron. She's like super into photography. I've been like trying to organize a fucking like a hook up with them too, so they can figure out how to use their cameras and shit properly so oh, I, mean, I can i can teach you yeah. how to use it when it's it's yeah. what I, I i i do i teach photography and i've yeah I've, i was the president of the camera club here and i yeah. did workshops and i still do workshops yeah and, i mean he's but, taken some yeah. pretty awesome photos with the the cameras with the lenses and shit that he has but he just needs some a little bit like more focus stuff i think yep yeah. It's a Vivitar series 200 millimeter. Oh, Adam, don't worry about inappropriate drunken text. I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Just, yeah, as I said, no dick pics. <laughs> Unless she asks. That's all I have to say. And knowing Jess, she may well ask. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm glad you two have hooked up anyway, so that's cool. <laughs> 72 millimeter, 1970s classic. Is it F3? Only does 1.1 1. 1 to 2. Uh, 1 to 4 ratio because of close focusing. I can't believe you don't have anything but Snapchat, Adam, Mr. Whiskey Shits, or for social media. How do you not have a Facebook or an Instagram or Messenger or fucking Twitter or something like everybody else does? <laughs> I say the company that made the Vivta was Kino Precision or those Curon. Yeah, that's what I'm finding now. Uh, Vivta manual lens, 1973, Series 1, but in 1973, 1974 lens was made widely available. Manufacturer Comine, K O M I N E. Aperture range mm -hmm. F3 to what? F22. Automatic mm -hmm. 8, 72 millimeter. Minimum focus 1.2. It's definitely not 10 times. Because I'd fucking know about it 10 yeah. times macro. <laughs> that's fucking sure. <laughs> I saw a dance for a second. Yeah. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> In between me telling um, Adam not to be inappropriate with my friend Jess. Yeah. Because you know, Adam, that um, she knows people. We both know people. Yeah, I turn a mill at focus. <laughs> 
distance of 1.2 meters is definitely not 10 times. Basically, did a lot of benchmarking and tests on lenses for others, but made a couple of their own for a while. Hmm. Interesting. Where's your evidence, Pretty Kitty? Come on. Give me some links I can click through. I'm Googling now. Now he said it's a oh, bit of time okay. for a meal. Yeah. Wait, is Sugar Kitty a boy or a girl? Or is you it a they? The shelf turds? You didn't well, watch the shelf, the shelf turds episode? I watched the first half. I didn't realize that Sugar Kitty went off afterwards, and I have not actually watched the rest of it because I was very drunk and intoxicated from the previous night. <laughs> oh, okay. So here, here's an interesting thing. The website I'm looking at for that Vivitar lens, the first picture that comes up on this website is a fucking squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> first thing you pop up is a squirrel. That's awesome. No, uh, um, Adam, she can't do months. checks for the US, so it's okay. Unless you've been to Australia and you've come in an offence here, she can't look that shit up. And technically, she's not allowed to, so don't worry about it. <laughs> so they did it for a few fucking um, lenses. I mean, camera mounts. Canon FD, the Kanika, M42, Minolta SR, Nikon, Olympus, OM, and the Pentax K. So yeah, that's why I thought Sugar Kitty, you are, are female. But apparently, that's not correct. <laughs> yeah, go back and watch the shelf turds because he got oh, set. Okay. I'm going to have to do that. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm going to fucking do it right now. I'm just going to fast forward through to Shiggy Kitty's. Because uh, yeah, I, I think I, I got up to. Um, Bourbon junkies, and I was like, "Ugh, I'm so fucking hungover. I really don't need to look at that shit." So, oh, this is when they did their um Johnny smoking gun thing, wasn't it? Correct. Yes. Shelter, shelter, shelter. Where's my shelter? There they are. <laughs> I love how their last one, it was, um, it said tasting glass, but Kira had her, her head over the, the G and the L, so it said tasting arse. <laughs> A world record. I'm pretty sure more than 25 people. Alright. Turn that down. Alright. Sugar Kitty, it's do you have nice any idea of when you were on at that point in time? <laughs> it's a pretty nice lens, that Vivita, but it's definitely not a 10 times macro lens. It's a 200mm lens, so yes, it definitely magnifies. It might magnify 10 times, but it's not a macro lens in the true sense because at 200 mil at 1.4 meters shortest focal distance that's not a macro lens. oh okay so sugar daddy got the turds package and got possessed by demons and need an exorcism all right cool yep it's fucking funny because he he spins around at the end <laughs> He got possessed by it. Oh, suck on the fucking ads. Ads. Because <laughs> this is the only. Actually, no, there's another. Extendable five dildo times. that you need? Four. Sure. No, I think this is the only <laughs> five times. But there is a. I think it's four or maybe five. I think it's only four times. It's four times whereby. Ah, uh, what's the name of the fucking company? It's meant to be a pretty good lens too. I can't remember the name of it. But yeah, this thing is this thing is a beast.
It's a very unwielding beast. It takes a lot of practice to get this thing to fucking work. Is that this is Cheech? Okay, when Sugar Kitty, when did you come in? Like I'm looking at Cheech right now. When did you come in? Did you come obviously after Cheech? Like how many people are after Cheech? Just so I can fast forward. <laughs> About an hour and 40 minutes in. Yep, that's Sugar Daddy. Okay, cool. Good to know. Oh, okay. I see what uh, Sugar Daddy looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I missed it. I just like they got to the like the bone junkies and they were like being cocks and it was like ugh. Oh, I only saw off bits and pieces of it, so I had to go back. I had to go back and, and watch that bit and yeah. catch up as well. Well, see, I I heard about Sugar Kitty actually being in it, and I was like, oh, I need to go back and watch that, and I just I never did. I I apologize. Sure, kidding, but it was a pretty cool stream. They got fucking twenty odd people. Fuck yeah, they did. That was freaking awesome. Yeah. Was yeah. it twenty four or twenty five people? It was. No, I think the record was twenty five. I think they got like twenty three or twenty four. I think they didn't quite make the quota. So they didn't break the record anyway. This thing is a beast. I'm glad you're clean as a whistle, Adam, because as I said, you know what we guys what me and Jess do for a job, so you can't be otherwise. <laughs> There's at least one version with a specific macro setting. It's supposed to be one to ten, but whether it is or not, I'm not sure. All it does enjoy a thirty nine find on eBay. Fuck yeah. Thirty nine dot I mean it's a nice looking lens, but I doubt it very much that it's one to ten because all my macro all the colleagues across the world would be all over that shit. Yeah. To be a true macro lens, it has to be one to one on the sensor yeah. or more. Yeah. That is true. I mean, Johnny Smoking Gun record doesn't exist, so they definitely fucking made that happen. That's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, this, this thing is... <sighs> it's a beast. Alright. I've got some peppermint peppermint brownie. I probably need some rye for that, right? Ooh, now I can get my whistle pig. So that's Ooh. my normal Sigma Ooh. one fifty mil. That's the rig. Wow. So that's what I normally use for my macro stuff. So I need to get another cable because this one's all fucking chewed on. <laughs> like it's chewed on so now. So I need to get another fucking cable. But yeah, this is what I usually use. So there's a Kenko extension tube on there. And this is the Sigma 150mm. Because I like the working distance on this. So this is what I have been normally using. I take a bunch of flower close-ups and people just go, ooh, ah. So what do I know? <laughs> I just use my iPhone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got the twin lens kit and everything as well, but I need to well, in. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Chris's photos shoot all of my photos sometimes, but yeah. 
I mean, he's got some freaking awesome photos when we're up at the river and the, everyone's out on the, um, like, the, the tube and the jet ski and stuff. And, like, he focuses in on different stuff. And, like, you can see the water droplets and shit. And that's pretty cool. Have you got my Instagram? Kitty? Yeah, should you kidding? You should take that shit out. It's got some good stuff on there. I'll post the linking. <laughs> there you go. Have a look at my shite on there. Got some storms and bugs. You know, if you had a half decent moderator, they could have actually done that for you. So. <laughs> yeah, I had to grab the link anyway. <laughs> I'm not quite sure it does somewhere around one to five without measuring into the price. I don't question. I definitely don't question that with the price. That's a fucking awesome price. It's a nice looking lens, but I doubt it does that kind of macro. Very much doubt it. Being at 200 mil. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to wrap this. Hmm. Yeah. Because my Sigma 150, oh. that's a one to one, but with the extension tubes, I think I get about 125. Around that. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> Ooh, that's spicy. Good one. Spicy. Spicy. Well, I went through with the um, peppermint brownie. And I thought the uh, old forester might <laughs> balance it out, but whew, it's spicy. Nope. Yeah. Whew, too much mint. <laughs> Minty. I'm still on this track. Minty. I was gonna say, I was thinking. Well, I was thinking with the the whistle pig actually, the ten year. It's very minty. If the mint would cancel out the mint. The snapper bug pick. Yeah, that was at a workshop I did for a bunch of kids at a local museum. Uh, but I know mine does a bit more than that. Either way, it doesn't matter. It looks great. Keep, keep scrolling, you'll see my other macro shit. Do you have an Instagram, Sugar Kitty? <laughs> yeah, stick up your Insta. Yeah, stick up your Insta. Well, you're a freaking um, you're a moderator. Just stick your shit up there. <laughs> yeah, if you're for if you're a photo, I mm. definitely want to have a gander. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be cool. Ooh, fish sauce. What? Fish sauce? Yeah, a bit of fish sauce kind of deal on that. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah. It's a multi waxy goodness. Mm. It's a bottle that JD hooked me up with. It's draft me all four and fauna. Okay. Yep. And it's got a nice little birdie on it because the Flora and Fauna series they have. Oh. Flora and Fauna, so it's got a nice little birdie on it. Oh, sweet. The pied wagtail. 
listening to Willy Wagtail who you hear? <laughs> no, it's a pod wagtail. The steel was established in 1891 in a converted grain mill. Pied Wagtail is a familiar site in the distillery yard and on the banks of the nearby river Isla. Or Isla. I S L A. Isla. Isla. Mm. Which oh. provides water for cooling. And spring on the site provides processing water for the deep amber single malt, the white rounded body of creamy sweet flavour with a dry finish and chocolatey aftertaste. Mm. But it's Isla, so band aids and band decisions. <laughs> <laughs> Might have a live stream, but the YouTube has the live. You've got a live stream? Ew. What? Should you kidding? The live stream somewhere? Why do we not know about this? Do you do the thing where the, the, the lawyer has the cat emoji? It's like, I, I'm not Please. a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Free pictures. <laughs> Fluffy kitty pictures. Yeah. Is like yeah. Isla. Yes. No, it's not Isla. Isla, Isla, Isla. means band aids and bad decisions. <laughs> it's Isla. Isla? Oh, Isla? Isla. Isla. S L A. It's not Isla. 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 Islay. It's River yeah. Isla. There's Pete though, isn't there? No, not this. No. Oh, okay. No, oh, this no, is. Not no, Pete. did you say before that the um most of the islands have Pete? This is this is Space Side. Ah, oh, Space Side. Oh well that's alright then. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't be uh, any further for fucking all. Oh, well, <laughs> sorry. You know what, I'm, I'm oh, still new to all this stuff because last time I had scotch, I fucking vomited my guts up for like three hours, so. You just haven't found the scotch for you. Mm. Well, I'm sure it was shit scotch anyway, but yeah. <laughs> what should I say? I like, I like Irish and I like Japanese. I'm just well, so man, you sort of... Japanese and Irish. There's definitely yeah. some scotches I could get you onto yeah. that you would... I just need to like work my way into it. Just the the peat, the peat just doesn't agree with me. No, you don't have to do peat. Yeah. I mean, scotch isn't peated. Generally, it used to yeah. be. Mm. But it's only a very small amount of distilleries that actually do peat. Mm. So yeah. And even on Isla, there's only a few. Most people think Isla is peat, peat, peat. No, it's not. Yeah. See, I was of that opinion. But I need to be re-educated. Yeah, so. <laughs> and we're in telling some others that mean I. Yeah, that's that's it. So it's the river island. Ila. Yeah, Ila. We're in telling some others that mean I. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. That's what I said. Isla. Isla. <laughs> Not Isla. Isla. All I hear is band aids and bad decisions. <laughs> no. That's Lafroy and Art Vegan Lager for them. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. My hangout stream, though, Ben was not impressed. What? What do you mean he wasn't impressed? Oops. Well, fuck Bourbon. What does he know? He's got like 300 subscribers. <laughs> Did I break it? Crap, I broke it. Oh, which break? Link. I clicked on the link in the the extension thing that does the pop ups. Ah. So now I broke it. Because now I can't click on it and it doesn't work now. <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. It's working now. No, now to Kenny, our bag is not good. Our bag is band aids and bad decisions. Good. Yeah. No, our bag is good. Nope. Yes. <laughs> I 
And for some reason, that link won't work. Why is that link not work? Shaggy Kitty, you post some bad links. Evan said it was just a cat licking itself. He didn't understand the nuances of cats. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get those links to work. Should it have been a OnlyFans instead, should it, Kitty, or...? <laughs> Maybe I need to open another browser. Mm. Maybe. Ah, it's because it's, you've got studio in there. I need to get rid of the word studio. That's what it is. Mm. Have a studio, it won't work. There we go. And sub. You sub to yourself. <laughs> no, I sub to Sugar Kitty. Oh, nice. Yeah, having a wash. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should. Yeah. I'm going to sub to Sugar Kitty as well. Yeah. Oh, she and Kitty, you even okay. had 10 subscribers. Well, you I would be number now. 11. I'm, no, I'd be number 11 now. Woo. Because it's Kitty having a wash. Jesus. Bloody hell. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. To be fair, Isla is mostly Pete Brookladdy, Bamor, Ardbeg, Lafroy, Lagerpool, and Kalila, Ardenho, well, Ardenho is only new, Kilhoman, Bonnerhaven, all do Pete. Well, they all do Pete, but like Kilhoman, Brookladdy, Bonner Harbin. They have a shitload of those that aren't peated. Kalila has a few that aren't peated. Um, I've heard that Kalila is actually quite nice. Our big look, the big three are big Lara, Froig, and Lager Bullen. They're all of their expressions of peated. You gotta be clean. What do humans not understand about that? Exactly. Exactly. It's like my kitty cat is super fluffy and soft at the moment because he's been eating lots of fish and getting lots of sun. The laddie and the bunna are completely different. Yeah, but they're not pitted. Unless you go Port Charlotte or any of those. And the Kalila Unpeated is yearly special, but you also got the 18 year old Unpeated, which we've got a review on. But yes, typically Isla is Peter. Yes. Well, most of the kill hormones are not very highly peated, unless you get the. <laughs> Super Peter ones, they're more sherry. That Kalila 18 is fucking amazing. No Peter in it whatsoever. Fuck, it's good. Yeah, Christy really is new headphones. I don't like the ones. Don't like them? No. What are you they saying? They keep, they keep feeling, they keep pulling out of my ears. <laughs> ah, he did say he was going to get some buds. 
Well, he was going to, but I don't know if he did before in the like in the financial year, so. Get a whole bunch of banana and unpeated buna lady, somewhat similar to lechig to me. Nice. Yeah, I gotta get me some lechig. I don't have a bottle. It's in my shopping cart to acquire. I need to have lechig. Did you ever get a chance to try that Kalila 18? Oof, fuck me, that's good shit. What's our review? We all fucking goo goo gaga. Actually, I think I've still got a sample of that. I can't remember which one it is though. It's one of those. It was Scotty's blind tasting we did. One of these, I think, is Kalila 18. But I don't know where my sheet is that I wrote down. What they are. Let's take it's one of my favorite so, daily peated whiskies. Yeah, I've, I've tasted it. I've had it. It's fucking delicious, but I just haven't got a bottle of it. I need to rectify that situation. One of these, I'm damn sure, is fucking clear AD unless I drank it all. <laughs> Could be that one that's only got a tiny bit left. Well, if you like it, it's a tiny bit left in it. So. Is that right? It's not. It's not a pin cave, a pin ball arcade. So it's okay. I think it's on one of these. I should compare my unpeated fifteen Kalita with my old particular eighteen cast strength Kalita, but that would be like pairing Muhammad Ali and his probe against a lightweight. <laughs> well, come on, Jim Morris. Really? Is it really? If you've got so much to say, Jim Morris, actually come on and join the stream, so. Oh, it is this one. I've got a tiny bit of Kalila 18 left. 59.8% ABV. That's Kanamara. And that's Toki. Oh, so I've got a little bit of Kalila 18 left. I found my sheet. I need to actually put all this other fucking... I've been lazy, I haven't added all my fucking whiskeys into my app either. Jack Daniel Sinatra Select, one liter. Any bottle of kind leashes? Ooh. Now you're fucking talking. Single malt whiskey club. Right, so I might as well finish these samples. Right? So, which one was the kind of mark? The white one, wasn't it? I 
Okay, white is Konamara, yellow is Toki. All right, so we'll do, we'll add the Toki. No, we'll do the 18 year old first. All right, we'll do that. So I'll finish my Strathmill. We'll do the Bonnehaven 18. I mean, Kalila 18. The Toki. Actually, I'll just put the Toki with the Toki. No, it's not the cast. I fucking wish it was the cast drink. No, it's just the normal kind of mirror. Alright, let's see if I can get this back into the fucking... I think I've got a couple of maps in here. Oh, there's a cocktail book. <laughs> there you go, here's a map. I can't remember who he gave me this. It's a Scotch whiskey map. Which is pretty cool. No, it's even got the grain whiskey. It's got Gervin, Cannonbridge, Dumbarton. <laughs> In for Gordon. Even Loch Lomond. Nice. Right, now I can't even fucking hold this back up. Yeah. Which way does it fold? Got opposite folds. Okay, nah, it's just on half and half. Okay, well, we can do that. Absolutely hate Toki. Yeah, Toki's a bit meh. That's why I stuck it up there <laughs> with the Toki bottle. I don't hate it, but it's meh. Whiskies of the world. I think that is Beam Centauri. Yep, that's Beam Centauri shit. There's Kanamara, The More, Admiral Legacy, or Freud. Yep, that's all Beam Centauri. Lilith is going to sleep. Is Lil going to sleep? Lil! I think she's going to sleep. What time is it? One o'clock in the morning. Yep, I think Lil's gone to sleep. All right, we'll take her off. My grandfather could never figure out the right folds for a map of my mum in there. In there into that. I got a map back in ten pieces. Yeah. I know what that's like. I thought that one was one of those ones that folds up, you know, like a Constantina, but it was just half and half and half. Which is no fun. Right, see if I can stick this back in the spot. Temporary spot. Ah. Be more difficult. No, I have to move the chair again. Ow.
So, oi. Another addition to the whiskey tube nap. <laughs> one my cast that we renamed one no cat. Cat nap. Way of life. Bloody oath. Get out of the cat nap. A little sore sleep. Yep. A little Zemina snooze. Clean up the pub. Nah. Pub's always grotty. That's how it should be. Sticky floors. Actually, my pub would have wooden floors. Yeah. Yeah, my pub would definitely have wooden floors. So I'll finish my strap mill and then I'm gonna have some of that Kalila 18. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that. I was thinking about that the other day. I was I thought I had a little bit left of that. I think my red breast samples converted Tony Tutos. Nice. I suppose you still can't hear us, Jim. Since you didn't have your headphones. Yep, I only got a tiny bit of that with Kalila 18 left. Booger. Cut him around. All this bloody talk of red breast tonight makes me want to have some red breast. But I'll stick to these. Then I might have some red breast. I've only got the 12. I wish I could find one of the old bottles of the car strain. <sighs> Take this out of my head. Rest the old earlobe. Well, I'm going to have a buy break. Since I've been streaming for only four hours. Normally it's like eight hours before I need to... I have drank a shitload of water. <laughs> There's a few bottles of water there. They weren't full though. But yeah. I shall go have a buy break.
Pete Brady for everybody. Talk of red breast to me, mace. Three makes me want to view only fans. No, just whiskey. I do like that strat more. It's quite nice. Very Craig Moore Klein leashish. All right, let's have this Kalila. Fifty eight point nine ABV. And then it's super light on the nose. Not really getting that much. Might let it open up a little bit. That was a pretty much a net pour when he poured that. Because we did the blind tasting and then we did a review on it afterwards. Still not getting nothing on the nose. It's just a, maybe it is evaporated a little bit, but it's just a very mild spirit taste. I mean, nose. Down the hatch. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh yeah. No, nah, that hasn't evaporated. That's fucking good. Oh yeah. Yeah, that AVB comes around on the side of the tongue. The sweetness. Oh, the viscosity. Oh, that's delicious. All right, now we're getting some real dry, light grass.
Mr. Stall. What's shaking? Can you hear me? Whiskey. Yep, I got you. Whiskey. I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper cream soda version. Cream soda, zero sugar. Damn. We don't get that here. Diet Dr. Yeah, Dr. Pepper, creams, and cream soda, zero sugar. It's pretty Dang. delicious. Uh oh. I just got a Slack message. Uh oh. I'm good. I'm good. What's up, man? Edward Javanen. G'day, Ed. Oh, good day, Ed. What's happening, mate? To impress a chick? Helicopter day. <laughs> oh, I'm on my Mac. We'll see if you get pixelated again. Yeah, I think I think I'm. I just notice it might have pixelated a little bit. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's gone a little bit. A little bit. There we go. We'll have to hit I, thought, the, I thought Ninja had this thing figured out on Macs. I should have done my Windows box. Um, nah, it's fine. I'll hit the button. Oh man, how's the stream going? Down here. It's been good. It's been a great night. Yeah, there would be a little bit of pixelation. Yeah, Jim still can't hear us because he's the third day in a row. He hasn't taken his fucking headphones. <laughs> and he doesn't like people saying, hey, you can't. Hey, you can't. At, at work, I don't know why mm. that would be frowned upon. I know, right? It's not like you have. Around people and shit. It's like, eh, yeah, it's like, like shit. Like, like don't worry, they're Australian. It's fine when they say that. <laughs> ah, it's Mike still goes off. <laughs> Jim Morris, I'm gonna remember that next time you want a free shirt. And he can't hear us. <laughs> we can pull the piss out of him. Yeah, gee, Jim Morris, <laughs> Floridian What's 06. That? What's it like to be the ugliest son of a bitch on YouTube? Oh, I was talking to myself, not you. Yeah. Uh oh, Lil joined the on stream nap club. I missed it. Damn it. Yeah, she did. She's having a little nappy nap. I pulled her out. Oh, Lil. Oh, you can hear us. I am tuning into you, though. I'm done buying whiskey for now, I swear. Buy some more bottles. Damn it. Can yeah. you hear us, Jim? Get, blink twice if you can hear us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I keep doing. But seriously, I went to three different stores. There's only a couple things that I'm really willing to buy right now. And I, went I even got a notification from Sealbox that they have another store pick, which Adam and I didn't even get a taste of the store pick because I put them all into samples. Still haven't shipped them because I'm trying to figure out the best way to ship them. But yeah, uh, we, we're not even getting that Sealbox pick we did for the channel. You know, any samples oh, of it? And so I'm like, oh, oh they have right. another pick. Run out. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, nope, not going to do it. Not going to do it. What about if a Russell 13 popped up? Yes, I, d I would do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You would do yeah. it. <laughs> I, I told my wife, like, she we went into uh, a store, I don't know, like a couple weeks ago. Maybe it was, yeah, it was a couple weeks ago. And I was like, I'm like, oh, I just got to get this, you know, for the channel or whatever it was. And I was like, I'm not buying anything for myself today unless they have the, you know, this one bottle. And she's like, you're not getting any bottles today. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting a bottle today if they have that one. <laughs> <laughs> but I knew they didn't because the ruffles didn't happen here. So didn't happen. Yeah, I was so excited when that Russell's turned up in that Florida shop, and I thought, yeah, Russell's. And then it didn't fucking ship, and like you fucking suck. Oh, they wouldn't ship it. Oh, well, hello. Oh no, they wouldn't fucking oh, ship it. Bastards. Hi. Hi. No, that's not I'm how we say it. That's not how we say it. We say g'day. 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 <laughs> g'day. 
<laughs> Good night, mate. <laughs> Good night, mate. How you doing, mate? It's so fucking. It's so cliche now. Everyone's like, "Oh, don't you say don't, you don't say hello? Don't you say good day? Oh, yeah, yeah, we don't say hello. We're not civil. <laughs> yeah, we just say good day." <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah. uh, I am here for a reason. I'm so sorry to be rude and interrupt you, gentlemen. Uh, I am here for a very specific reason. Okay, oh. I just had a uh, a mate of mine who is also a YouTuber, send me a message asking if there's the possibility we can get the Ardbeg 8 shipped out of Australia into the US. I didn't think so. Now, the reason why I figured of all people, I am calling, I'm going to ask you, like this guy, this guy, this one, this one here. This, this, this guy? Yeah, yeah this guy. Because now, because you've been doing international, yeah, yes, yes, international bloody bloody mumbo jumbo magic for quite a few years now, <laughs> I figure if anyone is going to have an answer for me, it will be you. So apparently the Ibeg 8 gets released, I think out today, there tomorrow, not too sure on that. Um, no, the 8's been out in the States for a while. Uh, not from what I was just... Hang on, okay. No, so it's been Ar- out in space for a while. Alright, so I got it. Um, Ardbeg is releasing the Ardbeg 8 tomorrow. It is not available in the US. It is, however, available in Australia. No, yes. because they got it before we did. Are you sure about that? America got it before the UK and Australia got it. If I'm damn sure of that. Yeah? Yep. All right, hang on a second. Okay, John, on YouTube. So it, took us, it took us ages to get it here in Australia, and they didn't even get it in the UK. Yeah. It was in the, Australian mar- uh, the American market way before it got to the UK and Australian market. I could be wrong, but that's from what I remember. Okay. Yeah. Because there was a shitload of reviews on it. Was that? In the States. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Mm. Yeah, sorry. So this is an incredibly impromptu pop-in, which is why I look like a potato. And... You don't look like a potato. You look fine. Put it this way. Every time I talk to David at the moment, I'm like, hey, babe, I'm having a stress day. And he's like, oh, yeah. And I'm like, yeah, I feel like a potato. His answer doesn't even fucking blink. Every time his answer is, that's okay, baby. I've mashed that potato. <laughs> hey, Ken, I got a thing popping up at work. I got to jump off, buddy. Sorry, man. All right, man. We'll catch you on the catch you on the flip side. All right, see ya. I'm sorry to interrupt again, All mate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's literally what he gets every time. He's like, that's okay, baby. I've mashed that potato. And I'm like, hey, go up. Ordered the Morris Pressings Muscat Australian Single Malt today. They hired a former Springbank just still looking forward to getting that initial list. What the fuck? Morris Pressings Muscat Australian Single Malt. Where's my tubes of you? It's just... Okay. All right, co-op whiskey. Okay. Um, All right, so the question I've just asked you, can you re-answer that, please? Because co-op whiskey has just jumped into the chat. And oh, okay. You- so from what I remember, the Ardbeg Eight. Are you talking Ardbeg Eight or Wee Beastie? Sorry, I was thinking of Wee Beastie. No, no Ardbeg Ard Eight. Yeah, that hasn't even come out yet. It's not here yet either. Nope. That's only just got announced. Okay. No, it's not out. It only just got announced. It's, it's not coming out until tomorrow, I think. That's what I was like. I was like, is it out tomorrow? So, like, but see, it being 1 a.m., is it coming out for us today? Well, we won't get it until after the U.S. gets it. We never get the shit until after but the U.S. Apparently, we're getting it first. Oh, really? Apparently, it's not getting released. 
being released in the US and it's Australian. That's this is why I, this is why I jumped in here straight away and was like, oh Yeah, and that that's what I said somebody said. Is it a committee release? Because I'm not I'm not exactly sure if it's a committee release. Mm. Yeah, July first. That's it. It's coming out on the first, so it should be out now. If it's coming out, I don't. I only saw the notification today that it was coming out. See, so, I haven't, yeah. I haven't gotten anything at all, which is why I didn't get an email because I'm not in the big committee. But I did see a posting that there was an eight-year-old coming out. Yeah, sorry, I got my mice wise quest. I was thinking of the five. The five came out in the states way before the yeah. UK that's why I was like, I haven't even heard of the eight release yet so i was like are you tripping or am i just that oblivious yeah oh, how, US isn't getting it yeah so that, that's what i mean really? like so how would i go about like who, who would be the best online distributors or whatever to go through to send it across well the only way to the easiest way to do it would get it from the uk they're gonna get it though yet right if they you get it from the ones that ship there there is a couple that are shipping now um i'm trying to remember next committee there's release there's, there's a couple the that weren't shipping anymore and yeah but sugar kitty is that next committee release in a week's time is that this bottle that we're talking about Yeah, because I only saw the notification today about it. Mm. So I don't know what it is. Yeah. yeah. Only online from Ardbeck themselves. Ah, oh, so it's a community release then. Apparently. Okay, okay, so, and if they're only. I just. Why would they only ship it out here? And if so, like. Well, if they're if they're not if, if they're only getting it from Ardbeg themselves, then that's a community release. Then yeah. But if they're not shipping it into the yet. US, how in the hell am I supposed to get it into the US? Well, you're not going to. Yeah, because the not. the customs and border laws are too tight. Yep. Fuck. I was really hoping you had a better answer for me. <laughs> No, because I only heard about it today. Uh, so the next minute is an eight year. More than that, I don't G'day. know. Yeah, that's that's what I heard. Whiskey yeah. Pilgrim. G'day, Frederick. Yeah, I was about to say, hey, Whiskey. Yeah, I thought it wasn't being released to the US. Okay. Oh. It's a committee release. So if you're in the States and you're a part of the committee, you'll get it. Hey, co-op, are you part of the Ardbeg uh, committee? Well, if you were part of the committee, you would have got an email about it. Mm. I'm not part of the committee, so I don't know. Yeah, neither am I. I was going to wait to gift David one or two more and see if he liked them enough for uh, like to give him a sign on. Aren't Ardbeg also, doing... also doing a third in your committee release? Really? Not that I know. I was like, but, I haven't yeah. heard anything about that. Like, well, I know even... big has been pushing shit out quite a bit recently, or similar to fucking uh, Highland Park, and it's just getting. I was really about to say it's because they're competing with Highland Park. I mean, and Highland Park is actually quieting down. They're not bringing that too much stuff out recently. Yeah. They've kind of gone off the radar a bit, but yeah, our bag has gone bloody crazy with their shit. I think so it was only the, the scorch was good, but the last couple before that, the 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 fucking um, the one before the scorch, and then the ah bag, they were yeah. pretty mad. Yeah, the one with the pirate on it with the pirate. Yeah, yeah, the the, the fucking one for the guy who left. Mm. Yeah, I want to get David the... Uh, oh, it's just the, 13. All right. I want to get David the Anoa, and I want to get him the Ugadal. The Ugadal? you got to have the Ugadal. 
Do get out on Corey. Yeah, they're the ones. Just yeah. Fuck the rest. Just get Corey and and uh, Ugi. I've been told Anoa's really good. Yeah, the Anoa mm. is meant to be all right. And so, the nineteen Trebane or whatever. Is going to um, yes, I want to get him those, and if he likes them, then I'll sign him into the committee. And I'll happily let him build his art bag collection instead of me forking out two hundred fifty plus dollars every single time I see an Octomore, <laughs> and just having to take the gamble that I'll find something. Get him some of this Khalil Aydin. Fuck. Oh, speaking of, it was at Costco the other day. Um, I, t- I challenged myself. I took a I took an Aldi grocery bag in, and I was like, I knew one very specific thing that I needed to get. I went in with one thing I needed to get. So I went straight to that item, and I got that item. And then I could get whatever else I wanted, as long as it didn't, uh, as as long as it fit inside the bag. And that was what I did. As a result of that, I made a mistake. I left the alcohol section till the end, and my bag was full. Uh oh. <laughs> there was a Khalil, <laughs> and I couldn't buy it because I couldn't fit it in the bag. I'll be chucking other shit out. <laughs> I, was so, I was so mad at myself. No, because I had the item that I needed. I had pocky sticks because Tiberius wanted pocky sticks. I had a fucking box of little mini bags of panda biscuits with chocolate fill inside because Miranda won pandas. And she did break, she broke the jar that has the pandas in it normally the other day. So oh. she she hasn't had pandas in a few days. And it is her little treat that she gets. So I got her a box of pandas. I got a box of Pocky for Tibbs. I got the item that we needed. And then I got some ruby chocolate. And I filled my bag. Oh no, and strip stri- stri- waffles or however you fucking pronounce them. Because I've never seen them before, but apparently they're amazing. So I got them. Travis said they're amazing. So I got those. Oh, okay. And then I went to go get alcohol and I fucking, I screwed myself up. <sighs> you should always get alcohol first. Well, I know that now. <laughs> so I'll go back, I'll go back next week when we're out of fucking. <laughs> uh, the wee beastie might. Meh. Probably a painted should be good. Yeah. There you go. It just, you just hit it on the... Yeah, I was like, meh. Mm. Okay, hey, co-op. Uh, should... Beverly 21 single barrel. No, no, no. 21 portwood. Mm. But not single barrel. Um, Sorry. Uh, what is, hang on, what is that one? Has anyone... Okay, that's the same question. Um, all right. Hey, co-op. Yeah, so look into if a, if you know anyone who's on the Ardbeg committee who, who might not want it and can get you a bottle because it really, it just looks like I won't be able to get anything to you. I'll happily keep looking around and see if there is a way. But if it's a community race, we're not going to get it at all. Well, yes, if, it's it's community, if it's community release and they're advertising that it's coming here. Yeah, but you can be, you got to be a part of the committee, otherwise you're never going to get it. Because typically they bring out a committee release and then they bring out the standard release. Okay. But I did that with the the black. So oh, so they bring out the black the committee, committee and then they bring out the black normal. Okay, so the Ardbeg committee works the same way our Whiskey Club does. No. It doesn't. No. Well, what do you mean? Because the our our exclusives are exclusive to the club. They don't bring out a bottle just for everyone else afterwards. Okay, the committee so- you have to be part of the committee to to get the chance to get one of the committee bottles, and then typically they will bring out for most of the committee releases they'll bring out a normal release. Like they did for the black, and so you have a committee version, and then you have the normal version. Okay, that all right. Then they also have exclusive yeah. committee only releases. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. So we would just have to wait for the eight year to go public. 
Yeah, if it does. If it does. If it does. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm, we can sort something out. I'm sorry, John. <laughs> and it's only just been announced, so it could be hoping, shit. I was really hoping for better news. So the wee BC was underwhelming in your honest opinion, and five dollars less than a ten, not really worth it. I right, that's exactly my thoughts, Donald. Exact the mundo. I reckon David for the five ten. ten bucks, just grab the ten. Yeah, David has the ten and he loves it. Yeah, the ten is the way to go. Yeah. I think he wants the wee BC then, just for having it. Yeah, well, I got one just to try it, and I love the raw peanut on it. But other than that, it's it's nothing. It's kind of very meh. Your wife also really likes it, so yeah, it, it, it paid its way. I, she she only wanted it because of the name of it. <laughs> Tell me There's your strategy. Medium proof means the limit There's release, a... which is low proof. Exactly. That's There's it. There's a community high proof. Oh, okay. All right. That's that. Yes. Okay. And that's the problem. If if the Wee Beastie was a lot cheaper, then it'd be worth it. But, but because it's so close to the ten, just grab the ten. The ten's got so much more complexity and that sherry influence, and it's got so much more depth and complexity to it. Whereas the the Wee Beastie is just that raw peanut flavor, and then nothing else. It's kind of just meh and bland, and it tastes young as well. So it tastes like burn. Just, well, it's not burn. It's just not really a developed spirit because it's only five years and they've tried to cover it up with sherry. The, I, when For me, when something tastes young, I feel like, I almost feel a bit like a punce when I say it, I, I, it, it doesn't taste like it's matured enough. Or it doesn't taste old enough. Like it doesn't taste like it's got that right, the, the correct balance for like for age for it to be released and be worth the price. I feel a bit dicky when I say that. So that's why whenever you hear me say, oh my God, it tastes like burn, it's normally because it's, I honestly feel like it should have been matured for another two or three years minimum. Yeah, Just well, that, that's the problem with the wee BC. It's too young. It's fine. And that's try to cover it up with the sherry. That's depressing. I mean, I understand the idea. I mean, I give them props off for putting a five-year age statement on it. I mean, that's fucking awesome. Give them props for actually pushing it out there. Um, but it's overpriced because of the sherry. They've had to pump up the price because of the sherry casks. But mm -hmm. and just, because just, young peated stuff is good, it's it's it comes through. But it just doesn't come through. Oh my god! Hey Daniel, that's like a three hundred and fifty dollar bottle here in Australia. Yeah, he was talking about early. It was like, oh, I want it, but he, yeah, I know, right? That's oh, it fucking breaks my heart a little bit, actually. I still wanted it. Oh, so because of all the shit happening in New South Wales, Rick, who was supposed to come and see me at the end of July and bring my birthday bottle of the 14 year, can't come here now because of the borders. Yeah. So my whiskey is stuck in Sydney. <laughs> oh, so now I've got to wait and see when, if and when he's going to be able to get out here. God knows what I was going to fuck a bee now. So where did you put it? You put it in general. Yeah. General chat. Mm, okay. My green spot uh, sneers at your Glenfiddich. Jim, those are farting words, mate. I guess I had the wrong dates. What do you mean, John? Wrong dates for what? Are you still talking about that, Ian? That's a pretty sexy looking bottle. <sighs> yup, and Nigel finished his... Uh... <gasps> yeah. The label is just goofy. I was just thinking that. I'm just waiting for. There we go. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> My liver old Barton sneers at your Glenford again. <laughs> okay, we're not getting a, we're not getting the the public release until September. 
Yeah, it sounds about right. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, okay. Mm. That's why I was like, I I had a moment when, when I read the messages, I had a moment, I was like, hang just, just hang on, just, just bear with me, just hang on a second, because, and then I came here because I was like, that does not, what? I was like, what? (laughs) Does not compute. We never get anything first, ever. And then something no. to, like to be not released in the US. I was like, "There's good." Mm. Australia's such a small, tiny market that makes no fucking economical sense anywhere in the whole fucking world to release something here. <laughs> our pissy little population. I was like, "Congratulations, it's Australia. We're uncultured." Two, we have a micro percentage of the of the US population. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe we don't fucking care. <laughs> One city in the States fucking takes out a whole type of population. Oh, I mean, if, if it was Australasian market, as in Asia and Australia included in that, that's yeah, like a different the, thing. The, Oceania, the Oceania region, yeah. Yeah, if they so were pushing it out to that, one, that's a big fucking market. Yeah. Yes. After Australia? Nope. Nah, we shit. Yeah, we don't but, count. I know, <laughs> but I still figured. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask because if it is for some unicorn reason coming here, I want to find a way to get bottles over there. But I was like, I, I don't know. And if anyone ever has the information, it's it's almost always you. Um, yeah, trying to get stuff from here to the states. Yeah, good fucking luck. I know, right? There's a bottle of um. <gasps> really? How you doing? Hello. I I must have just dozed off for a second. Yeah, you had a power nap. That's all good. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a kid. Nothing wrong with a little kid. It was a good power nap. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel better? That's that's all that counts. No, my neck is really sore. Must have my <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help. Mm. Just oh, put a picture of my whole. Oh god damn! More whiskey porn. Everyone, go to the porn page and have a look at the fucking bourbon bottles. I'm not, I'm not entering a server that is tired of porn when it comes to you guys. <laughs> ben Bolly, okay. you should put that in the whiskey oh, porn. In most cases, it's probably a good idea, Julie. What was that, sorry, darling? So in most cases, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. Um, and Elijah Craig, old foresters and fucking stags. Um, okay, co-op. I this spoke to one. I spoke to Travis. Um, I think four, three or four days ago, something like that, in the tea chat. I spoke to him for like an hour, and he shipped it to the other John. Um, I think about it probably went out about a week ago. Um, yeah, in in the whiskey job, there's uh, another another John has appeared. So many Johns now. Such a common name. Um, but. Yeah, so Travis, cool. Travis shipped it already, so you've got to check in with the other John now and find out if he's got it, and then he's supposed to send it to Micah, I think. So just double check with him. Mm. Double check with Travis and then double check with John and go from there. Let me know. I just know I'm the last on the list, so... Bearded John, yes, Bearded John, yes. What Florida, Florida John? I don't, I don't know. Florida? I don't know. Oh. Yes, yes Bearded John. Look, uh, you, you can't say Bearded John because almost everybody on fucking YouTube is a beard. I know. Yeah, whiskey porn. Just uh, whiskey porn, not porn. Just whiskey porn. There's a whiskey porn in the Discord. <laughs> whiskey pilgrim porn. <laughs> <laughs> Even read that, just the word porn with a question mark. I literally read that as porn. Porn? 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 Squirrel. Squirrel? 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 
Tell me that What's he? Hanging your neck straight down for 20 minutes. A little stiff? Or what? <laughs> Why is your neck a little stiff? <laughs> Porn. <laughs> Porn. <laughs> I'm now mullet John of a fox. <sighs> Oh, well, now you're ready for live wire whiskey. Hell yeah. Oh, did I do an Adam? Did I do an Adam? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God damn, he's posted more. Have you guys had a look in, in the Discord? Have a look in general at Bourbon Paul? Yeah, I, I have no idea. Oh, my God. Have a look, Lil. I'm being, I'm not, oh, I'm being shit. Here we go. Now there's some fucking Wellers and a 114. Oh, oh my God. Last knee pick. Ooh. He's got one of those. Ooh. It's just like... Oh, it's in box. Oh, it's a Rebel Vell 10 in the box. <sighs> the 7092. Oh, there's a Starwood there. We got a Starwood Nova. What? Is that a Nova or a Twofold? No, it's a Twofold. That's a Twofold. Twofold, yeah. Yeah, a bit of Twofold. You've got the Twofold already, though, don't you? I do. Uh, I've, no, I've, got all, I've got all the solids. Yeah. I got gifted the twofold for half of my birthday present last year. I got the twofold and I got my very first ever bottle of the classic Laddie. Nice. And I've since then bought another bottle. Zern, the Mr. Whiskey Shits Merit Badge. There you go, Lil. You've got your Mr. Whiskey Shits Merit Badge. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take that. <laughs> it's a moment of pride. Yeah. Cheers, yeah. Cool. Cheers, mate. Okay, hang on a second. Here we go. So it's like it's, it's nearly three thirty in the morning. You're lucky that I'm awake. <laughs> I, I know, right? I was actually quite surprised. You were like, mm. it's time to punch some Z's at that hour. But oh my god. Okay, I hate I hate American hot chocolate. Mate, you, you hate American hot chocolate, mate? What American <laughs> honey? I I okay. I haven't been in the whiskey porn. I I'm taking a risk. I haven't been in here in ah. um, quite a while, and it opened up on someone who had butchered whiskey by putting ice and a lot of what well, looks to me like a lot of ale. And next to it, there was a, a half bottle of American honey, and I was like, "That's, that's disgusting. That's not even." <laughs> I, admit, like, I don't mind American honey. That's all actually all right. Yeah, American honey on ice is actually quite half decent. It's for sugar. A starter. For a starter. It's sugar when you push a burn. Yeah, Jim just put bourbon ball. Damn, son! I know, right? <laughs> and and bourbon ball. If you're going to put them in, put them in the whiskey porn page. Because that's where all the porn goes. It's a part it's of my bar. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Get in the porn box. Oh, no, hang on. Yeah. Here you go. Bourbon neophyte. There it is. What the fuck is this shit? Um, no, no. Okay, so the reason why. The porn. The reason why I have this opinion on American honey was um, I don't really drink bourbon. I don't have any like real knowledge about bourbon. Um, so David bought a few different ones when we when we moved here to the house, and uh, he was like, "Look, you know, try this and try this and try that." And I was like, "Okay, cool. Yep, yep, yep." Like four yeah. bourbons later, I fucking hate them all. <laughs> well, you need to talk to th this this person yeah. right here. She'll point you in the right fucking direction. Okay, cool. Thank you. I hated it. everything. It was just like it was sugar. It was just alcoholic sugar. And I don't, I don't know what I was doing wrong. And I was like, why does it all taste the same? Grab yourself one of that. Grab some of that. Oh yeah, oh, that's good. The Weller Man. That's actually really good. Bourbon is kind of sweet anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But this isn't. This is actually quite oh, nice. No. Yeah. Weller Special Reserve, seventy bucks. You and yeah. I have already had a swell discussion, remember? Get it. it ended in you talking about a stupid bird and me talking about a whale. <laughs> like, it didn't, and then neither do yourself a favor and that. get get some of that. We were talking about that too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, what did he try? Yeah. He, he didn't when like JD it. hooks me up with the second, I'll send you a sample of this. Or when you come up, you get to yeah. drink some of this. Yes, yes. This is fucking delicious. Alright, uh, so I've had, I try, I've got a bottle of the 101, the Wild Turkey 101, and I just... Wild Turkey is shit. But you don't like 101. Don't drink, don't no. drink Australian turkey. 
Don't think it's strange. <laughs> um, American Honey, I didn't even know. Really? One on really? one is still is the same. It's not. No. no. American Turkey and um, one on one is involved in Australia Wild. and it's cut with Australian water. Just exactly. Oh, oh. the Russell isn't though. No, oh, no, Russell, Russell's isn't. No. No. The 80 and the 101. Yeah, so the 101, I was just like, I, I don't understand the hype. It's not good. It's not good. But I was like, sure, okay, cool. Uh, alcohol and sugar. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, Sugar Kitty, we were talking about you. <laughs> yeah, well, Mr. Mr. How, how you sugar doing? Kitty likes alcoholic sugar in the, the, the water bowl. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know what American honey even is meant to be passing as. Oh, it's a liqueur. Liqueur. It's a liqueur. Yeah. I drank it's, way too much for it to be classified. It's only kind of 40%, is it? I don't know. Oh, it's not even that. It's probably only a 37. And most yeah. liqueurs are pretty low, like 35, uh, 37. I'm not sure. Uh, I like lava. Yeah. Um... It's like just pure sugar, anyway. The glove is like thirty-five percent. Let's try. Then you drank beery. Um, Dubliner is like thirty-seven or something. Oh no, it's, no, that's <laughs> yeah, that's thirty. Dubliner is thirty percent. You might like this one. This is like honeycomb. Like, it's like a fucking, um, what's the name? Chocolate bar. Uh, fucking, not a violet crumble, the other one. Uh, uh, fucking, what's the other one? Crunchy. A crunchy in the fucking bottle. This is liquid oh, crunchy. Awesome. Literally. Okay. It's so good. Take a photo. Carly loves this shit. Take, take a nice photo of it later and put it in with people and I'll remember. Oh, this one? Yeah. I've had no, I've had no cream, and I think because everyone makes such a joke about it because it's knob Creek, it got a little bit talked up for me, and I didn't really see the point of its existence. I didn't. Uh, I've tried Woodford. Uh, I don't know what one I tried. The the uh, uh, this guy's place that David and I were at at the time. He just grabbed. He had like five different Woodford bottles, and he just grabbed one and poured it. And he said, "Here, try this." No, no chatting about it. Nothing. Didn't tell me what it was, and I was like, "What is it?" And he goes, "Oh yeah, just try it. And let me know if you like it." No, what is it? And he just didn't give me nothing, and I didn't like it at all. It was. <laughs> it was <insane. laughs> I just opened opened to send you a picture of this, and that picture that I came. The last picture you sent me was with the bottle in the place where it shouldn't be. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is there a crush shot? <laughs> it belongs in the sublime. Giddy up. Yeah. Woo. Oh, yeah. Giddy up, all right. It's 100%. <laughs> I, totally forgot. I totally forgot. I forgot all about it and I just fucking opened it and went. Little <laughs> 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 like, excuse me. I'm sorry. Porn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? Porn? I was going back through the fucking like chat to make sure I didn't miss anything. <laughs> no, 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 that was not in private. <laughs> that was only in private. <laughs> um, yeah, so he just handed me this this woodshed something, something, blah blah, whatever, and it was it was really dense. It was really like it was almost it was almost thick in the way, just like the sh the sugary like oakiness of it just kind of like covered everything well this is super fucking sugary but it is a violet crumble fucking crunchy <laughs> i just been here for five minutes talking about how much i fucking hate the fact it's so sugary and he's like but you'll like this it's really sugary <laughs> it's violet crumble it's deliciousness i drink scotch dude i know a lot about scotch because i like it and that I know alaska too it's a Talisker tin. I was drinking Talisker fucking Storm before. I know nothing about bourbon. <laughs> it turns out I don't like bourbon. 
But Maybe I Julie think- and I should have like a, just a stream by ourselves. That's a Reddit. I need, to, I, I need to go onto this Reddit page. It's a whiskey porn Reddit page. Oh, interesting. Um, do you want to know what I'm mad about, Will? Yeah. I moved here to Perth at the end of January from Brisbane. No. And I've yeah. only found I only found you like by comments two months ago. So do you see how fucking angry I am about this right now? And how do you wait, wait. North side Brisbane or South Side Brisbane? Pardon? North side or South Side Brisbane? South side, but I have friends and family like all around. Mm. So I, tra- I travel happily. <laughs> mm. But no no no, not from like the shit not, not from Ipswich. <laughs> no, that's West. <laughs> I yeah, I totally get that. <laughs> we, were, we were on the outskirts yeah. where everyone's like, oh yeah, but that's it. So it's not motherfucker. It's not. We like, like to call ourselves Springfield Lakes. <laughs> oh, Springfield. No. Springfield's its own freaking suburb now. It's like close to Logan. Oh my god, they're getting so big. Like they're and like they're literally expanding. A mate of mine has just bought new property that gets developed September. So it's it's really moving out. Um, but no, I've got family or at the Sunny and also at Goldie as well. Um, oh, so I travel a lot. <laughs> My first we experience- can't now because you're in West Australia and you freaking Premier goes, shut the border. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. The fucking people over here. <laughs> I'm not saying Ken, but the majority of the shit that I have fucking had to deal with, the bigotry, is from people in the northern parts of the city. Oh, okay. Seriously, I literally, I literally had an a hole that was like on the highway, I'd be wind his windows down and abuse me on the fucking highway because I have Queensland plates on. And called me like a job stealing cunt and all that sort of shit to go back fucking home. <laughs> And I'm like, mate, I fucking moved here because your premier is a brainwashing cunt and you're all sheep. Okay? And my husband was here for 10 months and didn't even watch his kids grow up. <laughs> like, I didn't have a choice. I had to move here. And now, because that move was so good and fucking strenuous and painful, I'm stuck as a Western Australian now because I'm never doing it again. Uh... <laughs> I'm investing. I'm investing in shopping at Coles and Coles only <laughs> for the fly by You get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh my god. But, um, 35,000 fly by points to fly to fucking Brisbane. That is insane. How many? Only 35. 35,000. Oh, yeah, but that, no, 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 that's for one yeah. ticket. Dude, That's we can freaking spot you. Oh, We've got like three hundred thousand fucking points. So. I was about to try about hundred fifty thousand points, but I have to hang. I have to hang on to them because I need to keep them as emergency points for David because his granddad has been really sick for a long time. Oh, okay, yeah. So I need to hang on to them just in case some, God forbid, worst happens when we've just paid our fucking mortgage and our bank account is at zero. Yeah, and he needs, and he needs to fly back. So. Um, hopefully our next trip back though will be September. <laughs> speaking of, speaking of, lunch, ladies speaking of, of, I know why you, you have you have I know why. Uh, someone, if you know, the politicians decide to stop being wankers, someone will be bringing a um a gift for you and your human. Oh yes, I have heard. Apparently, there are gifts coming. Yes, yeah, did, did he tell you that it's okay, your, your, your birthday is not a milestone, so it doesn't, it's not as important? Oh, no, 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 I know it's not my milestone, but, you know, as you said, every birthday's milestone, you know, so. I was like, mate, she woke up, or mate, she didn't kill you today, so it's milestone. Yeah, that's why he's asleep right now. <laughs> God damn this dude. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, I, I, I think... I've just been, I think I've been a little bit gypped where the bourbon education is concerned. 
Well, um, I can definitely help you with that, Bobby. I've got, <laughs> I've got um, Makers, and I don't, I don't know. I, it was my first bourbon. I bought it. I bought a bottle. Yeah, same. And I don't know. I, it was also like a year ago when I first bought it. So now I've kind of blanked on what I, what it was. Like if it was good, I was like, was it good? I don't know. I don't remember if it was good, but I also have the forty six. Mm. Forty six. I, I put the forty six in cocoa in hot cocoa that I cook on the stove. Interesting. And I love it so much, so much. Almost to the point where it might be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was able to pick up um, some more of my cocoa a couple of weeks ago, but I haven't had a chance to get to a bottle like, to buy another bottle of 46 because mine is still in storage. So, I ha- it's been freezing over here and I have no bourbon cocoa like, left. <laughs> I was using, I was trying to use the wild turkey. And it's just, it's so fucking bland. It's so bland. I don't understand the hype around 101, to be honest. I I can't drink um, Australian turkey. It does not agree. Mm. Mm. Except for the... I've been told, um, the, I've been told the red breed is good. Yeah. What was that, sorry? I've been told the red breed is good. Okay. Yeah, the wild turkey rare breed. No, I can't do I can't go breed either. Rare breed. Last time I drank a lot of rare breed, I was actually in West Australia. <laughs> we're, at, we're at our friend's place in Bullsbrook and I drank our friend Westie's um, <laughs> wife's um I like drank most of her bottle and woke up the next morning with the uh, the turkey scratch in the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly, Burnball. Try red bread if you can get it. Yeah, maybe. Well, we can get red bread pretty easily. It's usually we, my, yeah, we can my... get red bread really easy. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah. can't do I can't do a strain red bread. Can't do um, a strain one on one. Can't do a strain eighty. It does because they just... they they rebottle it over here and they cut with strain water and it just doesn't quite taste the same and just doesn't. Sit right. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, I had a notification mm-hmm. on my Discord, and I was like, I, I completely blanked on our conversation because you know, adult ADHD would win. Uh, mm. I blanked, so I clicked the notification, and I was like, Oh, look, hey, our notification from Ken. So I've opened it, and I've automatically also seen that image, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> With the telescope <laughs> ten. My, ca- my, phone, my camera is just having a moment because my laptop hates me and I don't know why. There we go. Um, but yeah, I had a moment yeah. to send it and I was like, oh shit. So that's that's an actual Reddit page, is it? I need to look at that fucking Reddit. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on Reddit. I'll send it to you, dude. I need and to look at that. I'll, I'll get the page and I'll actually send you a link to the page. <laughs> But yes, it's as a, it's you get fucked for the rare breed on the price. I think it's like one ten. Yeah, our rare breed is pricey. Yeah, yeah. It's not a great price, it's fair. That's it. I've been told by a couple that it's not worth the price, but our daughter's godfather loves it, and he happily pays the price. So, I guess it's a matter of preference. Yeah. Like, yeah, one one of rare breed is is still pretty good. It's still mm. pretty good. I mean, we just did a review on the 101. Oh, yeah, you did. I just got a notification. Oh, yeah. um, like, I love my classic laddie, but I got my newest bottle on sale for $75. And I will always pay $75 if I can, rather than the regular, like, 110 that it goes for. Like, if I can get it for $75, shit, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, 4299, 45, 45. Uh, yeah, well. I know. Right? This, this is Australia. <laughs> yeah, like, it's almost their prices are almost insulting. But at the same time, you also have to add in our currency conversion and then all of our like, taxes and shit on top of that. Yeah, yeah. but and Donald, still. yeah. yeah. Tell us good ten. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
Whiskey porn. <laughs> I'm partially responsible for Donald knowing what that image is because we were in... Oh, you've tea- seen that too? <laughs> we were in the tea chat and we were talking about it and he really, he popped in because he was like, oh, hello, and everyone started like giggling and I was like, what's going on? They're like, do we send it to him? Do we send it to him? And out of nowhere... Yeah. He was like, I don't think I want to know, but no, I don't think. What is my. Hang on. I look like a stoner. Oh. Oh. Okay. And she's gone. And she's gone. Internet died. Bloody Western Australian internet. (laughs) Hey, my internet's fine. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened. The internet shattered. No, I know exactly what's happened. My laptop has somehow decided to connect to my iPhone. What the fuck? What the It's connected to my iPhone. It's, it's somehow gotten off the house Wi-Fi and connected to my iPhone. Do you okay. have roaming? I mean, not roaming. Um, fucking no, um, internet just, sharing on. I shouldn't. What a bunch of perverts. Who you said this? <laughs> really, Jim Morris? Look, that's what Burben would say. I mean, Look at what we paid to Scotch compared to the UK. Same difference. Yeah, exact the mundo. Hobbit, uh-huh. he disappears. Hobbit, he disappears. <laughs> Hobbit, he disappears. Yeah. Okay. So, Rare Breed is 69 there in Canadian. I have <laughs> What do you, what do we get Ram Ray for? Uh, that's a good question. What do we get Ram Ray for? It's so bad. Let's have a look at the old Dan Murphy's. Well, the old Dan Murphy's. Sometimes I'm a little bit. 90 bucks. Yeah. Which is, um, I don't in a conversion. About sixty-seven dollars fifty US. Okay. Oh. Okay, that should be it. that should be it. My phone and everything is now like hundred percent disconnected from my laptop. So whatever bullshit Skynet crap that was, hopefully is <laughs> No thank you. People have sent me a number of pictures randomly from that Reddit. Yeah, so, so I need to have a look at that Reddit. He protested so profusely, <laughs> but in the end, he was actually outnumbered. There was like six v one yeah. decided to send it to him. And Ram divided. <laughs> oh, hey, Frederick. Pervets? Porn? Pervets? Pervet? Porn? Wait. <laughs> Why is the first thing that Frederick says is like pervets? <laughs> Because we we it's on Reddit page. Just doing these ones. Well, <laughs> he's in Sweden, so yeah. that's true. That's very true. Skonet must be run by dogs. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably sure, Kitty. That's probably yeah. exactly right. Peach perverts and whiskey. Why not? Why shipping department? <laughs> well, are you, are you shipping to me, oh, Mark Stall? I mean, are you shipping to my yeah, are you shipping to address? Me? I mean, yeah, you haven't t-shirt. asked me what else I want. So, I have a live livewire whiskey t-shirt. You, you have, yeah. Well, exactly. I need a live. Well, apparently, it, you've got to do a bottle chug on live wire whiskey to get a t-shirt. So, well, I've done that. I've done that about three times. Oh, we'll see. I haven't yet because. Mike Stoll said to me, like, 10 minutes before they finished on uh, Sunday afternoon. So I was like, well, why aren't you in here? I said, because you didn't fucking ask me, Mike. <laughs> uh, Mike needs to know the samples. Dude, reply to my email and we will, as I said, we will, uh, I, I'll fucking take anything, honestly. 
We'll take anything. I'll take yeah, anything. Yeah, we'll take fucking anything. Yeah. If it's alcoholic, we'll fucking drink it. I mean, like, I still need to find something really nice for Chris's birthday in September. Like, I need a, like, a really good bottle for him for his birthday, so. So, I'm, I'm, Mike, Adam. Are you thinking anything specific? Like, type? Oh. You know, if I had three and a half thousand dollars, I would buy the twenty-seven-year-old Parker at Nick's place. But Fair I'm not enough. paying three and a half thousand dollars for a fucking bottle of whiskey that costs like eighty dollars. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And email it's always the dirty <laughs> ones you were sending down and bet your money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. That's not true, Mike. And you know it. <laughs> um. Bye bye, my tiny last little drop of Kalila 18. Oh. Bye bye. You want to know what I had in my head just then? That fucking like song that's going around TikTok at the moment, where people are talking about sleeping with uh, women with like thick thighs and how that's the way you're going to die because they're going to suffocate you. And the bloke that you're telling, like these obnoxious men are saying that to, are like, okay. Like, glory, what a hell of a way to die. <laughs> and all I have now is that fucking, like, military song in my head because of the whole bottle down raining men bullshit that became a massive trend. Oh, it's raining men. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because of the way my brain works, I've jumped from raining men to men. Somehow I've gotten to fucking military, which has led me to TikTok, which has led me to glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die. All of a sudden, the shift in the case of screwball and Fleischmann's heads to Oz. <laughs> hey, I'll take the screwball. I don't know what Fleischmann's is, though. <laughs> I don't think I want to know. Yeah, me probably neither. Not yet, Frederick. I was saving that to another stream. I'll send you. Oh, obtaining? Sure. Bring them, bring them. Bring them. Yes. I want to. I want to enjoy yes. them. Yes, yes, yes. Please, Mike, stall. Yes, all of the above. I'm going to send you Stag Junior, obtaining light whiskey, smoke wagon, uncut, and unfiltered red blood empire, lost monarch with the four gate. Ooh. Hell yeah! Oh, which which batch of Stag Junior? I mean, we we've got a batch of we got yeah. Staking the batch one. Such a beautiful. Yes. But now that you've you. said that, Frederick, now I'm thinking of what one of those samples I really want to. That'd be freaking awesome. I don't know whether I should try one now, though. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do no, it I want to try it when I've got a clean palette. Can't touch her. See, Lil's actually making an effort. Lil's actually making an effort to peer pressure you. I'm just sitting here, like, just peer pressure. <laughs> That's my attempt. To peer That's pressure. 14 or 15. Do it. Okay. Sure. 14.5. Cool. Go in between. 14.5. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Frederick. Do it. 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 You ain't doing it. Isn't that how huh? it's like, do it, do it, do it. Now you won't do it, you scared. Yeah, I'll fucking reverse fucking shit. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, it's like, you know what? Yeah, whatever, okay. You know, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. No, you've got yeah, all yeah. No, yeah, 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 nah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. All of these Americans in the fucking comments going, what the fuck are they doing? They're doing it. <laughs> nah, yeah. And they've joined, they've joined the channel and all they're hearing is, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah, in the most obnoxious accent on the fucking <laughs> Nah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah, nah, 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 yeah, yeah, nah. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah, nah, yeah, yeah, nah. You know what? No. We, didn't hear, no, yeah. we didn't come here to fuck spiders, mate. Just oh, I love that one. That's right. No fuck walkers. We didn't come here to fuck. Oh, walkers. sorry. We didn't come here to fuck walkers. Walkers. No. Stop it. Stop picking on the walkers. Would you rather have mid mid winter ice cream? 
Um, sure. I've never had that, so absolutely. Oh, I certainly haven't had it. Midsummer Night's Dream oh, is a good one. I mean, that fucking... Well, in Australia, it probably would be. <laughs> oh, my God. Could you imagine if they fucking did an Australian take on it? <laughs> like an actual proper, like a proper legit Australian take on Shakespeare's Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, Jesus. They'd definitely be, uh, I think, coming to fuck spiders, mate. Oh, oh, someone does not say that <laughs> and does not mention bin chickens at least twice. Which would, oh, yes, a even, bin chicken version, yes. It would not Absolutely. even, it wouldn't even count. <laughs> like, Hugh Jackman, Hugh Jackman has to be in there somewhere. Like, oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> if Hugh Jackman's not in it, I don't want to go. And there'd have to be a yeah, nah, nah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah, 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 nah, nah, yeah. Yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. Yeah, 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 Ken's got, this is literally what a stream between you and I would look like. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, adjusting. No, no. I'm getting a fucking like crap. I'm adjusting. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Okay, so David didn't actually understand what that was when he first met me, um, because he's a country bumpkin. He didn't. He didn't oh, know. Really? Yeah, David grew up in the country, so he didn't know what that was. And, um, Still. So, um, oh, when, I started, when I started doing it, he was like, "What?" What's your answer? And I was like, well, yeah, no, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Said, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. What, what? So now, though, after five years, now it does it. Now I'm sitting here and I'm like, you I'm not even sorry. I'm not sorry at all. I don't know exactly you know what I'm doing. I mean, can't come here to fuck spiders, mate. Just make a decision. This is like, all right. <laughs> like, oh, you want to eat? Oh, yeah, no, yeah. It's like, Oh, well, what are you up for dinner? I don't know. What are you up for dinner? Oh, dinner? Mate, I fucking asked you for a reason. <laughs> Normally, I'm the one who cooks. So I'm really, really good at yeah, like, me too. what to make. But we're allowed to have days where we don't care. Or for once, we need something pick. Oh. But then we get the good old, oh, now just make whatever you feel like making, babe. Oh, how about... I've been home all day and I haven't done anything. Like, well, what's for dinner? Well, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't pull anything out. Yeah. How about you just answer the fucking question and tell me what you want for dinner, you fucking idiot? Because <laughs> I just want a day where I don't Please? have to hmm. Like, I've, I've, I've worked all day. Don't make me think about something else that I have to do when I go home. It's also going to be, if you don't give me an answer in the next five minutes, it's going to cost you $50 for the Uber Eats. Oh, yeah, exactly. Otherwise, okay. we're we getting pizza or we're getting Red Rooster. Oh, my God. I fucking love Red Rooster's chips. Oh, I love Red Rooster's chips. They're the best, aren't they? Everyone always talks about KFC chips, and I'm like, no. Oh. No, Red Rooster chips are way better. Red Rooster, Red Rooster chips, but Hungry Jack's onion rings. See, not a fan of onion rings, so. I only yeah. like them from Hungry's. Uh -huh. I don't know. Every time you come back into Sydney after we've been away internationally, the first thing you see when you come into the domestic terminal is the Red Rooster store. Yeah. It's like, got to have some fucking Red Rooster juice. I grew up in Sydney. I moved from Sydney when I was 18 into Queensland and I spent 13 years there and now I'm here. So I'm going to have lived in three of the major cities of the fucking country. I will never fucking live in Melbourne because it's successful. And this, this other ways, you go. it's too fucking cold in Sydney. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I fucking sandboard. It was a sandboard, yes. Um, but yeah, literally, you get off the plane in Sydney. You go through the international terminal, through the passing blah, blah, blah. You've got to transfer to the domestic to come back to Brisbane. Yes. And literally, as you come up the stairs and through the door, first thing you see is Red Rooster. It's like, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning and it's like, what is happening? Red Rooster chips. It's all I want is Red Rooster chips at 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I've, I've had those days. Like, seriously. That was like ridiculous. Like, hey, 
Yes, Mike Stall, I will absolutely, if you send them to me, I will either get them to Ken or I will wait till he comes and visits us. <laughs> Depends what happens with our borders because it's a fucking COVID shit show in right now. <laughs> because Gladys is a dickhead. Oh, fucking Gladys is a dickhead. Fucking Gladys. I mean, Anastasia is not that much better, I but fuck. Exactly that exact same thing. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, do you know I'm... Jimmy Rees, who used to be on Giggle and Hoot? Nice. Oh. <laughs> I haven't watched the latest one. My friend tagged me in it early today and I have not watched it yet, but have you been That's, watching those? Is that number 22? Is that number 22? Uh, 23. Whoa, hang on a second. There's a there's a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's absolutely a new one. Yeah. No way, no way, no way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he only, yeah, I was like, he only did like twenty two the other day. Six hours ago, twenty three. Yeah, twenty three. I mean, I haven't watched it yet, so I was always busy with either. fucking work and shit. But I want to watch it so bad, but at the same time, I don't want to be a rude bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we just share it on the screen. Yeah. Um, hey Ken. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile in Australia Meanwhile in Australia, episode 23 Yeah, part 23 Part 23, yeah So Facebook, um, Google Jimmy Rees No, just YouTube, YouTube Jimmy Rees Oh yeah, Jimmy Rees on, on YouTube, yeah Yeah Meanwhile in Australia Yeah, episode Meanwhile 23 Australia, Part 23 <laughs> It's already got 15,000 views. <laughs> I, would, I legit, like, just binged him. I binged him so hard when I first discovered him. Oh, have you, have you not watched it yet, Ken? Oh, I suppose you're in Western Australia. It doesn't really count for you, but... It's still I don't watch TV, and I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Ah, uh, <sighs> okay. So, um, do you mean... Okay, so there was a show, Once Upon a Time, a kid's show called Giggle and the Hoot. Giggle and the Hoot. Yes. <laughs> It's still on here. Okay, well, okay, so the dude who plays Jimmy Jimmy is Jimmy yeah. Rees, and he has a Facebook yeah. page now, and he's been doing these um, yeah, sort of Google. skits, I guess, where he pretends to play each of the different states in Australia about the, the COVID lockdowns and all the shit, and it's just... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mark McGowan is the biggest wank and it's so fantastic because he portrays him perfectly. Oh yeah, because he has his wangy coffee for the, yes. the Melbourne oh, people. Yeah, down in Melbourne in Victoria has a Oh, did you watch the ones about the, the, the fight with the, the Pfizer? Do you know what I'm loving I'm gonna get my I'm going to get my Bobo. <laughs> I'm still trying to just accept the fact that Gladys is secretly an alcoholic. Quite possibly, yes. Oh, and yeah, because he's always got to drink. Yeah, Gladys is always drinking, and she's always like, shut up, drink. shut up, shut up, let me drink, let me drink this, shut up. <laughs> oh, I like the one from a couple of episodes ago where um, he's in Victoria, and they're like, hey, why aren't you starting an episode? He's like, I am starting an episode. I'm just gonna go panic by. So <laughs> legit, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, Frederick, I'm in love with the nose. It reminds me of the 2020 Campbelltown Wayne right. Scotia Festival release. Yeah, we're talking about whiskey now, apparently. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> On the whiskey YouTube channel, we're talking about whiskey again. Oh my god. Well, he asked me a question. Now I've just poured this awesome nine year old spring drink 29 drink festival release. Well, that is that. Yeah. Fucking smells. It's, it's a bouquet of it's awesomeness bouquet. that I want to have in so a bucket. It's that a bucket. I can have. about to say, okay, Ivan. <laughs> How did we not meet before? <laughs> well, you live on the south know, side, right? so yeah, anyway. <laughs> politicians around the world are all buggers and cunts. They oh, are. Yes, Donald Grant said is exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. One thousand percent. Yeah. One thousand percent. Mm. One a thousand percent. One thousand percent. Obnoxious merch as well, based on his fucking prime minister. 
Uh, I don't know how to share screen. Right, so I'm going in. It. Yeah, I was like, I don't know how to share screen. So I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Listen, you click on the little thing that's a monitor and you just click on that and it brings it up. Shared I'm fucking not, screen. I'm not doing it because I have stuff. Dude, I've got like two screens and a fucking laptop in front of me. I have no fucking idea what's going on. <laughs> And that's it. Yes, Mike, I have the same Florida address, so you can send it to my Florida address and then it'll get shipped to me. And I'm on yeah. my laptop and I have windows in the background, so no. And tell us something we don't know. <laughs> True. Shirt, I mean. What? Tell us something we don't know. Do you have something forwarding things? Jesus. <laughs> All right. Hang on. Yeah. Let me open a, a separate page and see if we can figure this shit out. Yeah, because I'm definitely no. not doing that. Oh, this smells good. I haven't sipped it yet. I'm just keep nosing it. There's still a bit of toast in it. You see these ones? Oh, do you watch Nats What I Reckon, though, as well? No. Oh. What is that? Okay, it? so there's a dude who lives in, I'm assuming he's, he, he's either Sydney or Melbourne. He's mm -hmm. just like this um, heavy metal dude and he started like a um, like a Facebook page during the first sort of part of lockdown. He started making like recipes that were not from like, he hates jar sauce. Oh so, my God, exactly who this is. Yes. He's freaking okay. hilarious. No, so no, I have not deliberately watched this person. I have accidentally watched this person through reactions oh, wow. from other people, including Uncle Roger. <laughs> and I have no What's idea. What's so weak? So weak. <laughs> what? <laughs> you allergic to peanut? Why so weak? <laughs> so weak. So I know who this guy Why is. Why you eat salad? So much oh, sad. So yeah. sad. Why you eat sadness? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah what fuck I, I know who that guy is. He's now in my search history, though, so I'll start watching. You walk fuck boy. <laughs> God, I know I'm sick. Do you walk? Okay. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> how, how, how do I do the... This Cheers. this is raspberries, Campbelltown funk, Ooh. apple pie. Um, oh fuck! Oh fuck! Okay, I just said Campbelltown <laughs> yeah. and like. Yeah, yeah it's Campbell. It's Campbelltown, but it had like when I first put it in the palette, it like like raspberries, and then it came up with like the oily. <laughs> mouthfeel was delicious, and then it came up with the Campbelltown funk. But then I got a, a lovely big blast of fresh um, apple pie with vanilla fucking um, whipped cream on top. Oh, my God. Do, do you want us to leave your line for a minute? Uh, yes, Donald. Uh, yes and yes and yes, yes, yes. Uh, nah, yeah. Yeah, nah, nah, yeah. Nah, 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 yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Our answers are based on what the last one we say is. Exactly. So it's nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I I was so bummed out because fucking... Where's the mouth? There was a shirt with a head yeah, nah on it. I mean, you got Aussie Man Reviews. He's got his yeah, nah shirt. But yeah. then I, I was in JJ's and I had a fucking yeah, nah, but it was only a, a fucking yeah. a shitty colour. And then there was a... Oh, what's what's the fucking... It had my oh, name in it, it was like... You're telling the story. Yeah. What yeah, I'm trying to think about it. Brain fart. <laughs> my brain's in the whiskey at the moment. Um, all right. It's like... It's all fucked, but it's using the word Ken. Um, uh, <laughs> 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 okay, I think uh, I think what Ken's going to take across is more going to be a birthday present for Lil, and then she gets to share it. 
Não tem mais. Awesome. No, there's no you know on the end of it. No, no, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 Seriously. No, no. no. So are you kidding? No, well, you said, you said no with a question at the end, unnecessarily. So the answer yeah. is yeah, but no, you know, because you should always know. Well, exactly, you know. You know? Yeah, you know. You know? You know. Yeah. yeah. You know? Welcome to Australian One Hundred. Brain fart coming on up with brain fart. Yeah, exactly. I can't fucking think of no, it. No, brain I fart's an Australian thing. Absolutely. Right, definitely. Yeah, it has totally to be. Mean, but... It's got. It's got to be. This is one thing I have noticed though. Whenever I talk to Ken, like fucking hell, the next day my Australian comes out so bad. <laughs> You're Australian. Australian. Aren't you fucking Australian? <laughs> people notice. No, like, literally, people notice. Because then I'll jump in the tea chat or something in the morning when I'm having a cup of, and then people are like, oh, hey, your Australian's showing today. Like, what? Oh. <laughs> oh, no, my my Australian comes out when I go to Kentucky because they say Australia. Australia. Oh, my God. No, you, no, no, no. It's Australia. 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 Um, no, see, I, 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 no I try to I pronunciate my words. I said Australia. There's no A U. It's just S T A Y A. It's Australia. But that's Australia. Australia. Like American say America. No, no, America. America. Uh, Australia. We just go Australia. Okay. We I'm just abbreviate you know, it. You know, like I don't always speak Australian. Sometimes when I speak, I'm almost obnoxious and it's irritating. Because oh, uh, apparently it's what I do when I go to Kentucky. Because we don't speak Australian, we speak because Australian. That's when, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you shut up, man. You speak Gator. <laughs> we don't speak. No, we accent. have no accents, by Mola. Okay. We we heard what Australian. We heard what New Zealand got when they got their accent. We went fuck that shit. Try and say yeah. this. Oh, here we go. Like, no, we don't, we don't pick it get get your fucking Swedish on. Fucking spit this one. Uh, wait. What did the yeah. apostrophes uh, over mean? Is that a long O or a short O? Uh, see, this is where my wife. Yeah, umlaut. So that's a O. So I know that's so German. You... But... So... So I don't even know the pronunciation of fucking <laughs> Swedish letters, so I can only do it from the. Lock and leave and lock and over. Give it to me, baby. I, I got, I got no idea. <laughs> oh, it's really high really in there. Is blah blah blah. IKEA cabinet. Billy yeah. Blah, blah. I just heard. Uh, it's a IKEA cabinet. I, uh, Shanghai is the only word I know in that word. People notice that you're a Stojan. People notice that you're a Stojan. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Okay. You know what I see? I see. Yes, Donald. People do actually notice that we're Australian. Because <laughs> I sound like that? a fucking bogan when I talk in American. Skip it. Hey, Will, do you want to know what? You know how sometimes we're. Showing highs. Boxes. Arms. Jews. You want to. Yeah. Judy. It literally says blah, 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 blah. Muppet Shanghai Skittles. Yeah. German words up there, and I can read that. Can can we please get a translation, Frederick? Something about Shanghai. Yeah, that's all her. I shake by was the only one I saw in the phone. I've seen this. Yep. No fucking clue. No fucking clue. Nope. Yeah. Wait, are, uh, you putting, are you putting on this episode of Jimmy Reese? What's happening? The what, sir? Who was, who was going to share the episode of Jimmy Reese? Oh, I don't know how to share it, so. You click on the thing that looks like a TV monitor in the bottom of the fucking screen, and it comes up with share screen, and you put the fucking oh, screen on the fucking there. thing, and then you click play, okay. and it fucking comes up in the fucking thing. Yeah, I gotta figure out where the freaking thing. mouse is first. I'm sitting here, and I'm like, if I have to close my fucking tabs just so I can okay. make my safe and appropriate. Well, that's a text thingy. That's it. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Select the screen to Translate share. Translate it to German, Frederick, and then I can um, this read that one. out. Let's see if I can. This one. My German shit. And share. Was it coming? Is it working? No. Fuck, this oh. smells so good. <laughs> Let's try it again. Nope. I'm going to do work. Mm. Technologically retarded. Mm. My bad. Mm. Mm. Is that not working? Do you want us to leave you alone for a minute? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I need a moment. <laughs> he needs a moment with his glass. <laughs> oh my god. He needs a moment with something. Okay, I. Fuck, that is good. What the fuck? Wow. That is delicious. Seven C6 sailor on a sinking ship, Shanghai, was taken care of seven kind nurses. Oh. Shanghai's in there somewhere. There you go. All right, here we go. Hang on. Just got a mail drop. More shit. Oh, God. What? Stop flexing, bourbon baller. Why did, did that not work? On this one? Blah, blah, blah. 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 Blah, I don't even know the fucking thing. <laughs> YouTube, Jimmy Rees, Meanwhile in Australia, part 23. I think I just had a fucking stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I swear to God, I can taste that one smell first. No, because I clicked on the TV. I can smell toasty on this. Okay, hang on a second. Let me this just is... This one, that's crap. Hang on. I'll I'll share this one. One. Oh, share. Share. Oh, share. Who knows how to hunt must know how to hunt without his hunting dog. Hang on. Let's see. 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 let us see yeah, McBraggerton. Okay. Oh, hey, Mike Stoll. I, I opened in the, the um... Swedish. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, do that. Okay, I opened on. the green spot before, Mike Stoll. Sorry. But I'll drink it again with you on Sunday. That's cool. I need to know if this is working. There we go. That's what we want. Is, yes. that is that working now? That's what we want. Yeah, so all I have to do is push play and it should work, but I'm not sure. Yeah, just full screen that shit and just fucking play it. Yeah, but I'm going to need my mic, don't I? No. So you're not getting dual sound? Oh, uh, it's playing no. on my end, but it's not playing on your end. No, it's not working. Oh, no, there it goes. It's There's a delay. Uh, it's Jimmy Giggle! That's what we said. I know, but that's just like it's Jimmy it's Giggle. It's literally Jimmy Giggle. Yeah, it's Jimmy Giggle. <laughs> but we we need I mean, some audio. My son's got fucking hoot fucking cutlery and hoot lunch boxes. Yeah. And shit. Oh yeah, he does all sorts of shit now because uh, obviously Giggle with hoot doesn't work fucking work anymore. So <laughs> yes, you need to get a green spot. Get yourself no, a fucking green spot. I literally have a green... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hello. Oh, hey, Frederick. Hey, how are you guys doing? Gonna say it in, he's going to say it in Swedish. You usually... Okay, so you want to hear it in Swedish, okay? Yeah, oh, okay. Faja. Oh, Faja. Faja and the Faja. Ah, Faja. 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 Ah. Faja. <laughs> das kann ich nicht verstehen. So, you want me to say it? Okay. You know. Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's not good. 
When Doi's just next good, and I'm a minor. Oh, my, my Jimmy Doi's is good tomorrow. Oh, he's just wild. What's the Swedish of Doi? So, you want me to translate this into Swedish then, I guess? Or say it in Swedish? Yeah, say it. Say it. Say it. Say it in okay. Swedish, yeah. You know, this is like one of those things. If you say it in Swedish, Swedish people usually get like brain farts because it's so hard to say. So, I actually got struggles to it. So, let's see here now. Sju sjösjuka sjömän på sjunkande skeppet Shanghai sköttes av sju sköna sjuksköterskor. And that sounds about right. That is a mouthful. I know how, my problem is I know exactly how it reads. Yeah. Because my best friend and like slash wife is mm. Swedish. Mm. Like she's, she was born over there and everybody, right? She's, she's actually Swedish. So I know how it yeah. sounds in my head. I have her voice in my head when I read that. But mm. I can't get a single fucking sound out because mm. I don't like my vocal pattern and everything, and I'm, I'm not educated enough to for my brain to do it. I just can't do it. But I have her doing it in my head, no problem. And it sounds almost exactly the same as you. Okay. But I just can't. Yeah, I mean it. the language is very different, so it can be really hard to understand. Yeah. It's just like what I said here. You know what my name is here. Apparently, yep. Can, can you say that? I think that should be easier for you to press. Yeah, it means where the hell? It means where the hell am I? Vilken är jag? Vad fan är jag? Vad fan är jag? Vad fan är jag? Vad fan är jag? Yeah, yeah, it's getting better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's how my language sounds like. So, yeah. Yeah. So with the, so how do you pronounce? Because I know in German the V's are pronounced with the F, and the F are almost pronounces as. Oh, you mean V? I, 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 v. V. I mean, just the V is just like. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you want the whole alphabet, I mean, I can say it as well if you want to. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. some, Yeah. Okay. Since I am the teacher, I should know this. So let's start. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, O, E, J, K, L, M, N, U, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X U O O O. The I love the fact that W is in the double A. Yeah, yeah, and then you have the three letters. That is O A O. That is really yeah. You want to try a difficult alphabet? Try the freaking the Russian alphabet. Jesus Christ! Oh yeah, that. Neat, neat, neat. Or all, all, all yeah. I know how to say is yeah. I can't speak Russian in Russian. <laughs> okay. I know a curse word, but yeah, I guess it's... I, no, I don't know any of the curse words. He, Chris has okay. never taught me any of the curse words. Okay. Like, Damn it! <laughs> all I can say is "Yene gvoru polishki," which means I can't speak German. Okay. I mean, I can't speak Russian in Russian. Okay. Obviously, uh, I need to get to going again. Um, but yeah. but <laughs> you're enjoying the sample, Ken? Oh my god, this stuff is amazing. It's so good. I mean, there's the so many bank. things I'm getting out of it. That apple pie, the raspberry, the vanilla, <laughs> the Campbelltown funk. Oh, um, it I, I is one hell of a dram. It's one hell of a dram. You're not fucking wrong. It is so good. Sorry, Dale, but I can, so small, I can hear a small person. It is 2.30 anyway, so I'm going to go check on Small Human, check on the dogs, and make a cup of coffee and watch Jimmy Reese. So, I will talk to all y'all later. Yeah, take care. So, Julie, well, we will see you actually uh, jump in Saturday night for Whiskey Trick. Yes, I, I know, because someone hasn't fucking betrayed me this time. Oh. I didn't betray you, you <laughs> betrayed me. <laughs> no, someone missed the notification. Well, 
woman. Take care, everybody. Okay. Take care, Ken. Enjoy the last of the grab. Okay. I will. Cheers. I will very much so. Oh, goodness. Right. How do you have red, blue, and yellow and not green, Monkstall? Green is the easiest one to get. <laughs> I know. It is. It's definitely the easiest It is the easiest one of all. Well, the it's the easiest one here to get. Without any of the finished ones, yeah. Yeah. Well, when I looked at Nick's, when I got the green, like, last week, they only had the green and the yellow. I couldn't get the red or the blue, so... Oh, I just got, I just got like um, freshly fucking like when, oh, um, trying to think of the wood, like pine, burnt pine. But when you like, use it like through a saw, through like a bandsaw. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that smell. Yeah, I know that smell. Yeah. Yep, I just got some of that. Oh. Yeah, I just got some of that. Oh, this is good. I'm glad I left some. <laughs> nice. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, okay then. Oh. Yeah. And something in my room with the whiskey. Hello. Hello. Oh, Okay. Spring back is which spring back is it? Oh, it's the nine year. Oh, sorry, the eight year old finished sherry cask. Festival 2019, 58, oh, 56.8%. Wow. That, that sounds pretty Oh, awesome. man. <laughs> if I did a score out of 10 on my normal scoring, I would give this a 9.8. Easy. Easy. Man, that is... Oof. <laughs> That's a 9.8 all day. Fuck. No, um, my store, you don't need to know anything about Jess because Jess is a full on Australian girl, and that's all you need to know. And if you don't know anything about Australian girls, then you're in trouble. <laughs> Adam's definitely in trouble. <laughs> Oh, I, we, we figured it earlier that uh, Jess is about 22 days older than him. So, obviously, they're already in touch. They're already discussing things on Snapchat, which means the messages disappear. I've already told Mr. Whiskey Shits no dick pics unless she asks for them. So. Yeah, that is a 9-8. Oof. <laughs> Yeah, definitely don't Google Australian girl, my soul. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Adam is going to do some research on Australian girls. Well, you've met, well, you've yeah. kind of met me, so, and you've met, and you've seen Julie, so. And you met my miss. Oh, and, and you've met Carly, so I think. Yeah. Yeah. Jess is roughly the same vintage. So I think you'd be right if you. <laughs> uh yeah, yep. I mean, uh, fuck. <laughs> Have you had this, Donald? A lady chastely crisis. <laughs> yeah, I had a moment. Oh, my God. oh bullshit, Adam! That was not the first thing she asked for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you had this you one, wish it was the first thing she fucking asked for. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, just this empty glass just smells so good. Can you, like, bottle that smell and put it oh, together? I wish. <laughs> I did. I, I really did. I, did. I had a dusting moment. I mean, fuck. And every single one of the the taste I had was something a little bit different. And on the nose, I was getting something a little bit different as well. I mean, on the first nose, it reminded me of that that 2020 Campbelltown Festival. But on the palate, it's... I mean, that... That crust and apple pie and vanilla and sawdust. Mm. Oof. Awesome. Yeah, with that Campbelltown funk. Campbelltown mm. funk. <laughs> yeah. Yep. There's it's a bit of bogan in there, house. is it? No, no, it's 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 it's, it's the Campbelltown funk. It's not an uptown funk. <laughs> it is a very uptown funk. <laughs> 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 it's fucking delicious. I want to have a little bit more. Actually, I'm fuck it. I'm gonna. Adam is known to catfish with other fellas' dirty pics. Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's known to catfish. A little, bit, a little, a little bit. Hey, if there's any catfish going on, I know where you pair live. I will come to the states. I will hunt you down. I'll beat the shit out of you. You know that, right? <laughs> I have connections. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is creeping up. This is this is nudging a nine. I mean, I don't even know. You oh. can't even get it. I mean, that's why I put it in my name, because I can't get it. And if I could get it, it'd, it'd be fucking expensive. You have to Google the shit this or what? Hey? You're going to have to Google the shit to find out how much it is. Uh, can't trust someone from Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Utah? Is that like mountain time or is that east coast time? I mean, certainly on Pacific time. <laughs> we call it noodling. I know what noodling is. <laughs> Man, I want some raspberries and apple pie shit now. Oh, so you want one of those raspberry apple pies from McDonald's they used to have? Oh, with the, yeah, like the, yeah. um, the custard in them? It was like raspberry and, yeah, apple, with, and custard. Yeah, with custard. Oh, oh yeah, I want it yeah. steaming hot right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I think Chris has the door shut because we don't have the door shut in here. <laughs> uh, North of Las yeah. Vegas, but an hour ahead. Okay. Mm. Cool. <laughs> I get you. So, north of Arizona? So, Nevada and Arizona and then Utah? Is that how it works? Mm -mm -mm. But that way? Mm. Oh, is it one of those states that does the, 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 you come to the crossroads? That's no, more east. Oh, more east. Okay. I don't know. Oh. Australia is way bigger than America, anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. Less people, but more space. <laughs> um. Oh, there you go. Frederick sent you a, uh, a link to where you can get that shit from. <laughs> oh, I could actually get it. I doubt I can actually get it. 
Mike Stall, I have no idea about geography. I don't know where Colorado is. I know it's where you can go skiing. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> 87.6. Yes, top left of the four yeah, corner states. That's what I thought. It's one of those four corner states where you can go to the... the, the oh, here vehicle. we go. So yeah. found two shops online, 330 euros each. What's that in Australian dollars? Hang on. 330 euros, that's like fucking 550 bucks. Oh, is it? It's kind of sucky. Yeah. We got halves. <laughs> okay. So we have 230 euros. Probably is $521.59 straight. That was pretty close. Yep. You were pretty close. That's without all the taxes and all that. Oh, crap. taxes and import and fucking shipping and yeah. I mean, this is an eight. Let's say six hundred. Sure. This When's your next milestone? <laughs> uh, yeah, five hundred subs. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was talking about birthdays, but anyway. <laughs> oh. Back for 15 minutes and Lisa go on another phone call. Damn work keeps getting in the way. I know, right? Fucking work. Well, I, Mike Stall, I wasn't exactly sure. I was kind of sure. I, unless I looked in map, I had no idea where Utah was. But I kind of thought it was one of those four states that meets at the crossroads. 93 so. point. <laughs> 95. If we come to Vegas, it's about six hours. Six hours drive. Is so that like a two-hour flight, maybe? <laughs> Old man Joe, you're back. Salty raw dough. That's where I was getting that fucking apple pie. Cooked Salt, fruit. Yep, comes with tropical dough. and cherry taste. Like Remarkable fresh. Pretzel yeah. dough? Oh, man, it's so good. It's so oily as well. It's delicious. Cool. Oh, here you go. Added. A little burnt chip wood. The what? Somebody just said little burnt chip wood, and that's what I said. It was burnt fucking pine, like fresh. Oh, when you put it yeah. through the store and it comes yeah, up with that yeah. smell. It's that smell, that yep. sappy There's sort a little of burnt, burnt chip. smell. Yep. Yeah. Sea salt, dark chocolate coffee, artificial milk flakes. Yeah, artificial milk, those milk buds. Milk oh, buds? milk duds. <laughs> yep, milk duds. Milk Wheat rancid. Wine has oil content and yeah, it's so oily. It's okay, well Adam, if whenever we come to the Mar US, we always stop in Vegas anyway, so we will let you know. We might even bring Jess with us. You guys get in your own room though. <laughs> Wow. Mm. All right, I need to put that away. I've got a <laughs> tiny bit left. <laughs> There's a tiny, tiny bit left. Yeah. Make sure you seal it properly so the air doesn't get in. I did. I made sure that was on nice and tight. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Frederick. That's fucking amazing. I'm happy. I'm a happy little man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's that's pretty fucking amazing stuff. All right, I need to have some fucking Campbelltown Festival release now. Okay. <laughs> it's the only thing that can pair with that. <laughs> oh, does it compare? That is the question. Oh, it definitely compares. You know, I. If if I could get this, this is almost a ten out of ten. This is this is my fucking. I'm in love with this shit. Ah, uh, okay. Like Chris is with the twenty seven year old partner. I mean, this stuff is wow. But that that is way fucking up there. That and it's eight year old, eight year old Springbank. 
Ben Ball, uh, I am some not some amazing ones to go. Anything because my glass is empty. No, I've definitely got some amazing. Four, four. That 21, 21 year old long row has been. That that's one I've been keen to try, but I'm going to try that on a fresh pellet. Mm. Fuck that. That's spring back. Probably, yeah. <laughs> You probably want to try that a fresh palate, yeah. Oh, smell that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it smells good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, knife. Oh. What? Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, yeah. Slacker, dude, it's 4.40 in the morning. I'm surprised I'm still awake. <laughs> that was that power nap. Well, it must have been, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Got my second wind. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and rewatch that and <laughs> see how I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were looking at your phone or something and it was like, mm, you haven't moved for a bit. <laughs> Hey, at least I'm not being a you know drunken asshole like I was the other time. <laughs> nah, you were fine. <laughs> Where's Tony? Tony Two Toes. He needs to come in here and talk about Michael Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Mike Hunt? Calling Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. Anybody? Mike Hunt. Yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Stall had a few uh, zingers for that one too. <laughs> he did. He certainly fucking did. That was fucking classic. Even though he was on, apparently he was on a conference con call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, con call. Yeah, he's con call. <laughs> oh yeah, forty degree weather. It's the humidity that gets you if I can show you, kitty. It's not the heat. It's the humidity. Risky shits. Just said Mike Hunt is being requested. <laughs> Beat me to Today. it. Whiskey Samurai. Ken. G'day, Samurai. How you going, mate? Just said anyone seen Mike Hunt. Calling Mike Hunt. <laughs> I love it how she says it. Um, yeah, she definitely says it with the right connotation. It does. For a good for a fucking robot voice, she's got that good Auss Aussie fucking accent. It's it's not too strong, <laughs> but it's not weak. It's just and she says g'day properly. So Mike Storm. Yeah, just said Mike Hunt showed up on stream the other night. He did? Nice. Yeah. Flashed his bits of Have I tried Glen Goin 25? No, I haven't tried Glen Goin 25. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I think I've tried the 21, not the 25. <laughs> yeah, I've had the 21. Yeah, I've had the 21, not the 25. Oh, I've got my uh, Brook Lady socks too. Got Brook Lady socks. Old man Joe just said Mike Hunt's day old growth is really bothering me. <laughs> I got some swanky socks. These are Brook Lady socks. Ooh. Damn it. Ooh. Lilith Morgan. Oh, I missed it. Just said Mike Hunt definitely showed up the other night and flashed her. <laughs> Mike Stall just said Mike Hunt has an ingrown hair. <laughs> oh, we're we going to play this game now, are we? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't had the 25 year old Frederick, but I've had the, I've had the 21, which was pretty tasty. I gotta kill that Katamara off tonight. Mr. 
Mr. Whiskey shits. Just said Mike Hunt, a.k.a. Little Man in the Boat. <laughs> Do you even know what that is? Adam. Do you know what the little man in the boat is? Do you really know? <laughs> it's my <laughs> fault. Really, really oh, know? it's my fault now, is it? <laughs> Lilith Morgan. Oh. Just said Mike Hunt is growing larger. He's a growing man. <laughs> I think I found him once. <laughs> the little man in the boat. <laughs> oh, goodness, Adam. Well, how, how? <laughs> Only once, Adam. Jesus, how old are you now? <laughs> Only once. Yeah. The elusive little man. <laughs> <laughs> You've obviously never met an Australian girl. <laughs> <laughs> She'll definitely, yeah, she will, she will definitely instruct you how to find a little man in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you will be fucking showed in no fucking terms. <laughs> And if you don't find him soon enough, you'll be out the door. You're out. <laughs> yep, you're out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, we don't fuck around here, down here. <laughs> Just said the little man in the boat is Clint Horrors. Not my <laughs> Clint <hunt>. Horrors. <laughs> Not my <laughs> Australian girls would draw you a map. No, we won't. We, we, we ain't draw you a map. They'll give you fucking instructions. You will be instructed. There'll be step by Military step instructions. Oh. <laughs> There'll be Google Map instructions. Turn left, turn right, turn left, and yeah. you're right where you need to be. <laughs> Cheers, Frederick. Cheers, mate. Thanks. See you, Frederick. <laughs> There was something, mm. someone the other night talking about Clint Horace and not yeah. and Mike Hunt. And <laughs> biggest diggers. Oh, yes, biggest diggers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I definitely rewatched that uh, stream just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. <laughs> I should, actually, I need, if I'm feeling down, I just need to go back to streams like that and just. Yeah. And the Dustin moment dream. Mm. Dream. <laughs> Need to go back and watch that. <laughs> Alright, well, it's, it's nearly 5am here, so I probably should actually get some sleep. Because I'm going to be back at work at 2pm, so... Well, that's I, true. Yeah, you still have to fucking work. You haven't got the yeah. day off. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got roughly 24 hours off. But... <laughs> roughly. Yeah. Roughly, yeah. I still have to go back to work. At least till... Mr. Whiskey no, shit. i got Saturday, Sunday, Monday off, so. Just said Mike Hunt has been around the block. <laughs> Seen the traps? <laughs> yeah. Definitely yeah. been around the block a few times. <laughs> Yeah, going around both ways. <laughs> going around the corner and come back around again. <laughs> yes, Mike, I do giggle because I think that's hilarious because I have a dirty mind. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Us Australians. Hells yeah. Right here, well, boys and gentlemen and Adam. <laughs> no gentleman around here. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. right, boys. I will. Uh, what's today? What's well, now Thursday? Chat. So. You people are all nuts. You know that. Yes. No. That's 
Hey, Jim Morris, we didn't fall off our chair the other day, so, you know. No, no, that is true. <laughs> I might have fallen asleep, but I didn't fall off my chair, so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He almost stacked it there. <laughs> he went oh, and tripped on the bottom. I'm and like, what it's are up. you that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's yeah, sure Wednesday now. Thursday, so yeah, Friday, yep. so tomorrow ish. Well, Perry and Clifton are on Fridays, and then I think you got uh, live wire. Do you guys go live on Thursday night now too? Or yeah, they normally do Thursday. Well, I, think I think they've done that Thursday night recently. So Just said yeah, after Jim Morris. <gasps> oh. After. <laughs> My boss Why? picked up my other earbud and was listening. This was <laughs> this will be fun to explain. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that uh, Scotch Down Under is messing people's bosses up. <laughs> hey, awesome. if you're listening to this shit at work, it's your own fault. <laughs> yeah, if you're listening to this and you're having a laugh, that's all I fucking could ask for. So, cheers. Exactly. All right. Good night, everyone. I need to go and get some sleep. That's an actual sleep. It's a Cheers, power Lil. nap. <laughs> yeah, an actual, yeah, get some actual Zs. Oh, yep. I need my own freaking earphones next time. <laughs> yeah, make him get some buds. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I totally will. All right, how do I shut this shit down? Oh, let one rip. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> 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 All right. Good night. Cheerio. 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 Jolly good show and all that. Oh. He's a bit sore after it's been in the old head for fucking six hours. You're getting used to him, though. Normally, I could never wear shit like that. I've always been one of those people that never liked anything in my ears for that long. Got listen at work. This new promotion had me crazy hours. I've only had glasses of whiskey this week. Two glasses of whiskey I'm gathering meant to be. Good old work, eh? <sighs> oh, fuck my back. Get fucking old. Make sure I don't knock the fucking. Star Destroyer, I'll be in the ship. Move the chair back a bit. There we go. Can't knock the Star Destroyer. Not fucking X-Wing, not Star Destroyer. <sighs> Got that Star Destroyer in my fucking brain because I want that set. 1100 bucks, that's fucking ridiculous. Thank God that I'm nearly done at work and really good hour for a change. Nice. Australians have to wear a uh, boots. Am I streaming yet? What do you mean I'm I'm streaming right now? Oh, Ugg boots. Do I have to wear Ugg boots? No, I don't have to wear Ugg boots. I've never had Ugg boots. These, this is the first time I, I, I went and bought these. We fucking came out. They were 15 bucks. Cheap as fuck. Actually quite comfortable. 
probably not going to last very long, but I only need them for a few weeks a year. So, definitely a good 15 bucks spent. Australians have to wear Ugg boots. No, we don't have to wear Ugg boots. Now, if you're talking about safety boots, yeah, a lot of Aussies have to wear What's this? Streaming, not streaming, you crayon. What? What do you mean? Can you streaming yet? Streaming, not. Steaming? Ah! Oh. Am I not steaming yet? No, I'm not steaming. It's cool here. Not summer, winter. So definitely not steamy. That's why I got long sleeve shirt and fucking pants on and fucking Ugg boots. Yeah, I didn't see there was no R there. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. One hour left to work for me. Definitely drinking tonight. Yeah, well, that was me tonight. I was like, oh, I needed a fucking drink. I put the post in the Discord. Anyone else want to fucking drink yet? I had two big ass glasses of fucking. Steaming. I thought that's what you meant. Steaming is in pissed. No, I'm not pissed. No. Definitely not. I have a lot to learn. No. Nothing else in this brain. It's all mush. Nah, not steaming as I'm pissed. <laughs> the Northern Irishman's gone full Van Morrison. <laughs> no, I know what you mean. Are you steaming yet? No, I'm not steaming yet. Far from it. Takes a fucking shitload to get me fucking drunk. That, that is one disadvantage of having the alcohol tolerance that I do. It takes me a fucking shitload to get smashed. But, I must admit, I had two glasses of wine... I was only cast fucking wine with my dinner tonight, and I was actually starting to feel it on the second glass. I was like, ooh, I'm starting to feel the influence of alcohol. That's why I wanted to keep fucking drinking, but nah, I'm fucking fine as. Time to go buy a birth. When's your birthday? Buying on limited edition Douglas Lane Scallywag. Ooh, I've heard good things about them. No pished yet. Well, whenever your birthday is, Donald, happy fucking birthday, mate. Hmm. This stuff is good. Mr. Whiskey it's actually coming across a little bit hotter tonight. Just than said Mike to. Hunt is exhausted. I think that Springbank nine, uh, eight year old from this glass. I think I actually like that Springbank nine year old a bit more. What do I keep saying nine, eight? Finally killed that Belvinia 12, good but not, but too expensive. Yeah, that uh, Belvinia is definitely starting to get more expensive. The price to value ratio on Belvinia is starting to get a little bit out of whack. Wake till 9pm yesterday, yikes. So your birthday was yesterday. 
but you had to work till nine. Fuck, man. That sucks. Well, happy belated birthday. I hope you get to celebrate and have some fucking time off to actually chillax and have a few drams and enjoy it. <laughs> Did you say neat like it's in the 80s? Well, I was brought up in the 80s, so neat. Pretty fucking neat. Go hug your whisker ready. <laughs> yeah, I was working till fucking 11 o'clock last night, midnight last night. Trying to unfuck a client's bloody machine that was fucking up. So I was there for four hours on site. And then I was remoting into it during the evening trying to fucking unfuck it and then I had to go back in today for another four hours and wipe the thing clean and start fresh because it was completely fucked. Any suggestions for a placement for the Belvini? Pete or no Pete doesn't matter to me. So Belvini... So you want something peated? Or not peated? You want something like the Belvini? I mean... Uh, let's see... Belvini 12... Uh, uh, What's something you want something a bit of oak on it or I mean damn there's so many directions you can go. Um Pink. Ah, yeah, there's a lot of directions you go. Um Have you had a Buna Harbin 12? Have you had that? Or the Port Charlotte? If you like that kind of pee. Yeah, have you had a Buna Harbin? I mean, it's got a lovely chewy nutty quality similar to a Belvini. But turned up 10,000 times more. You've had a bunna? Okay. Um. Edredor. So you could either go the normal Caledonia or grab the Balanchin. Yeah, grab the Balanchin. Grab that. That's that's a good whiskey. Some unheated bricolades would be a good replacement. Yeah, yeah. True. Good point. Man, yeah, there's so many you can go with. Grab Dainston. I've been really into that Glenn Fiddick 2020, so the... I've got to try a big 10 and I really enjoyed it as well. Okay, so if you like that, Pete. So they're two kind of, yeah, two extremes there. All right, so you like the Glenfiddich Glen project. Yeah, I'd say the Edredor and all the Bellaton. Try those. If you like that, I'd be grab the Bellaton. That's a Highland. Compared to Isla. Yeah, 
How's your temperature going, Donald? I'm fucking read, reading about that fucking heat wave you guys are having. Fuck, man, that's scary. Fucking insane. Killing record something chronic. I mean, we don't even get those kind of temperatures that they've been getting up there. Fuck, hell. Actually, here's one for you, Samurai. Grab that. Victoriana double cask. Oh, sorry. Victoriana or the double cask. Get that. So the double cask is nice and cheap. That's definitely worth a pump. A lovely nice sweet sherry on that. Fuck yeah, 81 definitely feels like fucking aircon compared to 115. Yikes! Been working on expanding my palette, especially in the Scotch world. Yep, I found that. I do like Pete. Yep, well, if you like Pete, grab the Port Charlotte. Have you peed it? That's a fucking delicious one. Um, what have you had in Campbelltown? I mean, definitely grab that double cask. That's definitely a good one to try. Um, Loch Lomond. Grab some of the Loch Lomonds. And then that Edredors. So the the Edredor, the Caledonia, which is the Sherry Bomb. And then the Balanchine, which is the Peated Edredor. There's a different heat wave here. We had four days of 32 and 90 humidity. Yikes. Cooled it today at 27. Wow. Yeah, that's actually nice. 32 and 27 is pretty good, but not that 90% humidity yet. So you guys haven't had that crazy fucking 47 shit. Ah. I mean, those temperatures were hotter than Arizona. That valley shit and here. In Australia where it gets stupidly fucking hot up north. That's fucking scary what's going to happen, you know, in the future. All this climate change shit. Fuck. Place is just going to become inedible. We'll turn into migratory fucking species. And all the salmon got, they reckon the, the salmon are going to be fucking killed off like they did a few years back. Not good. Fucking squirrels were fucking flat out. Hugging the fucking ground trying to cool off and shit. Was it Newfoundland that got fucking fucked up? It was. Crazy. Westwood Stoutcast. Nice. Yeah, I haven't had any Westwood. Yeah, Simon's not here because he's got to work early in the morning. Not like stupid early in the morning. Like, he'll literally be getting up soon. It's, uh, yeah, quarter past three in the morning. He'll be getting up to go to work. British Columbia, Alberta, the Yukon, and Northwest Territories that are getting blasted. 
parts of the world are to expect to see 40 today. Well, that's a big drop from where it was. I can leave early. Nice. Whiskey time. Fuck yeah. Oh shit, it's been death. Oh, I can imagine the elderly and shit. Ah. Yeah, 40 is not comfortable. I mean, we get that all the time. But yeah, having that where you guys are. Yeah, exactly, Jim. 40 in the lower Arctic, that is fucking insane. crazy like it's normal for here it's like when England shit gets fucking barely hit that 2,000 miles south of here I know right Global morning is a myth, right? Yeah, <laughs> sure. No, you didn't need to retract that. You put that back. <laughs> It sure has. Like I sent a couple of pictures to Cheech today of fucking wombats in snow around here in Australia. Because it's, uh, well, it was Wednesday and it's. One back Wednesday. For the CSRO, which is the science organization here. Been doing some cool pictures of wombats. Good day. W. O'Neill. Global warming is cyclical, just like Ice Ages, regardless of what we think or do. Yeah, I don't know. G'day, William. We definitely have cyclical systems, but... We've fucked some shit up. Can't deny that. We shit in our own nest. That's for sure. There's been warming prior to our intervention. We made it faster. We made it a lot fucking faster. Too fast.
Mm. That's pretty tasty. At least I can leave water out this time of year and not fucking get it turning into fucking fire water. Almost boil a fucking cup of tea if you leave it out. <laughs> Yeah, not looking forward to the shit that you guys have right now. I'm waiting for Ked to nod off and fall back in his chair. Nah, that ain't that ain't ever gonna happen. This chair is so uncomfortable. My ass is killing me right now. And I don't. I'm not one of those people that does the nod off thing. If I'm that fucking knackered. I'll just call it. But I don't do the not off thing. I mean, I can't not off like this, but fuck. It hurts my fucking neck just doing that. Doing that fucking hurts. <laughs> I don't know how I could fucking not off. It's so uncomfortable. <laughs> Even if I tried that, this is still really uncomfortable. That's my trick. That's how I stay up for 24 hours. Done working? Yeah, fuck that work shit off. That's an evil fall out of wood. Right, let's have this kind of marathon. Do a fundraise for a new chair. <laughs> no, I think the problem is if I get a comfy chair, I'll just get too fucking tired. What was in the glass was 2020 Campbelltown Festival release, Grand Scotia. But now it's kind of all right. So I've killed those couple of samples. And that delicious Kalila 18. That does not smell like Kanamara. Well, I'm getting a bit of toast. Okay, it's slowly coming through. Maybe it just needs to open up a little bit. Maybe my palate from drinking for six hours could be smashed. Yes, the Kanamara is peated. It's Irish peated. Not the greatest. It's alright, but... The Kelly Ella 18 isn't peated. That's an unpeated. There's a slight hint of heat on it. Opening up. Fortin asks if you did good. He paid 120 for an old granddad 114. What should I tell him? I have no idea what an old granddad 114 goes for. So I happen to find two more bottles and I'll be that price for 20 bucks. Actually, what is the temperature? It's actually not too bad. It hasn't been too cold the last few days. Been all right. But it is 3.20 in the morning, so this is when it starts getting to the coolest time. Have a gander. Feels like fall. Four degrees Celsius.
Doesn't smell like the calamari. Might be the token. I have some beach property in Arizona for sale. <laughs> That's super fucking thin. Bit of heat on that one. Man, that's pretty fucking Latin. Yeah. If that was the kind of mark. Don't know if that was. <laughs> A dull crayon. Got a few of those fucking Chevy Mustangs floating around here in Australia. Just said I want Adam to see how much water you bring to the stream. That's the Kanamara. No, wait a minute. I think that might be the Toki. Fuck, that means that Kanamara was really fucking... That must have evaporated to the shithouse. No, this might be it. I'm a bit confused. Nah, that smells like the turkey. It's got that weird... Got that weird note. They do if they're sealed. Yeah, that's the turkey. No, I think that must have evaporated because, yeah, I didn't get fucked away with it. Right, I can smell a little bit of wet grass. There's a little bit of peat on there. Yeah, it was it. I think it just evaporated. Yeah, that's the turkey. But coming from car strength stuff and good shit, this that really well that was super thin. But this will taste like shit too. Not as thin. Yeah, not a fan though. So we did pay that money? Fuck. Yikes.
I'm wondering if that doc, Dr. Pepper is like our cream saver we have here. You want a whiskey right now? You're working at home. You could have one. That's fucking after isn't it? Well, close enough. He fucking sure did get taken for a ride. God, the fucking sold him that. Laughing to the bank. Yikes. Yeah, it's a good fucking lesson to learn. You're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely helps to fucking be able to message somebody and say, yeah, this is worth it. If you don't know, fuck. Yeah, text by Ben. Yep, fucking A. <laughs> He'll let you know straight up. Well, it depends on the time. Depends on the time, right? I mean, hit me up on Discord. I'm always on the fucking... I get the notifications on the Discord, and then I get the notifications on the Patreon on the phone, but if I'm punching Zs, it makes it a bit hard. You bet off always, yeah, just mess with me on Discord. Because those come through. The Patreon ones sometimes can take a little bit to come through. He <laughs> time style out, but Ken made him invincible. <laughs> yeah, well, I gotta sleep sometime. And that's the problem, you know, I'm sleeping in your afternoon time. You're surrounded by wrenches? Well, I can fix that. <laughs> now you're fucking one of them. Not anymore, you can't. <laughs> yeah, that's really grainy. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Boss alarm. I mean, I don't mind the Toki to start, but after I've had a few decent drams, it's kind of there. Uh, not really a fan. It's alright by itself.
Nice is okay. It's gotten better. Doesn't taste that good though. Text him. Yeah, you could text him. He'll let you know. You said he knows just as much as me. He knows his shit. At least he might reply to you. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm fucking sleeping. <laughs> Take is one of your least favorite bottles. I love the harmony. That's why I got it, but it's not even close. Yeah, they're two different fucking animals. That's for sure. Look at those bottle kills. Well, sample kills. Yeah. Three samples. Next stream I'll go through Schlong's fucking samples and I'll kill those off. They're all 107s, so. They'll have a bit more fucking flavour. I don't mind Toki by itself if you start with, but yeah, not compared to other stuff. Nose is right with that grass and all that, but that Kanamara, that was really disappointing. It must have been fucking evaporated. Yeah, no. Some something a bit more interesting than that. Um, what else? What have we got? Something a bit of. First pro of the day for my will be killing my smoke wagon straight. Nice. What's your favourite and least favourite pour you've ever had? Yeah, that Kanamara was really fucking watery. Is Verbon... Is Ben streaming? Or going to stream? It is a lot of work to commit. Best and worst. Like... Like tonight? I'd say that Kanamara was the worst. The best would have been... That Spring Bank 8. Phew, that was fucking good shit. Second up would be that Kalila 18. You going Scott shopping? Nice! Definitely put that in the whiskey porn. <laughs> so, best and worst I've ever had? I mean, fucking hell. That Jim Beam white label, 37%, that'd be the worst I've ever had. Um, the best I've ever had. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. Experience wise, would. It's not the best dream in the planet, but experience wise, I'd always, because I always remember it. Would be that Glen Levitt 18 in Germany. Yeah. Most memorable. Not the best RAM. <laughs> It'd be probably that. That was a fucking long time ago in my whiskey journey.
Yeah, best pour doesn't mean best whiskey. Yeah, so I would say... I would say that. That would be one of the most memorable, because I'll, ne I'll never forget that. That was always a... A very memorable moment. It was in a proper whiskey glass in Germany. I think it was in Berlin. It was yeah, I think it was in Berlin. In this awesome little bar. I was like, oh, Glen Levin 18. Yeah, I love some of that. I was like, wow, this is amazing. Time and place and all that shit. <laughs> it's not Lagavulin 12. If it's going to be Lagavulin, it's going to be Lagavulin 16, because... I have multiple bottles of that shit. <laughs> but Lager Bond 12 is pretty fucking good. 2017 edition. Go be 2017. That is a pretty good fucking dram. I'm gonna fucking have some actually. Good day. Zach Andrews. G'day, Zach. Cheers to my munted mate. I'm half munted. Best pour for me would be Stag Junior, Batch 14, worst would be Fireball. <laughs> nah, it's only a 12. I wish it was an 18, but it's... no, nah, it's just the old 12. And it's three quarters full too. <laughs> so this is almost fucking dead. Glen Scotia might be your whiskey wife, but Lagavulin is your mistress. This is the other way around. Fuck. I like alcohol. I'm definitely on a, a Glen Scotia fucking bench at the moment. I'm definitely liking what they're fucking doing. Oh, this is good though. Now this this would be my wife and the Glen Scotia should be be my mistress. <laughs> the old twelve is better than a lot of the new stuff. Fuck yeah. I mean this is the 2017 and I picked up another bottle of the twelve, the 2017. It cost me 258 fucking bucks. Um Yeah, it wasn't cheap, but definitely this 2017 stuff. Yeah, it's good shit. Here it is, 2017. Yeah, she's almost dead. God, that liquor store just said black and bourbon was good. I walked out. Yeah. Just reminds me of that fucking Ron Swanson clip. I know more than you. The only Glen Scotia nearby right now is the double cast. Grab it, Mike. Seriously, grab it. It's fucking good, eh? Grab it. Price in Australia, I'm surprised you'll then have more moonshine. We have a good price here in the south, and most everyone can find moonshine. Yeah, moonshine is. I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's fucking moonshine or 50 year old fucking spirit, we still have to pay the stupid alcohol taxes. So, you moonshine, you still get charged the same fucking taxes. 
Trying to get the books closed at work and a damn Aussie's munted YouTube stream. We aim to please. We can make it. It's not illegal in most states, but you got to pay tax on it, even if it's for your own personal use. Yeah, Mike Scott's collection has definitely tripled in the last few weeks, which is good to see. God damn you, Ken. <laughs> You see, all roads lead to Pete. You just might work your way through bourbon and then eventually get into scotch, but eventually you'll get to Isla. That's where the the pot of gold is at the end of the rainbow. Mm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. This never ceases to fucking impress. That is a good shit. You like the seat? Told you. You like the frog seat? All roads lead to Pete. Yep, you need to get yourself some Lagavulin, some R bags, and kill Homans, and born it. yeah, get the quarter cask. Grab yourself a quarter cask or a triple wood. Or if you want to punch a few bucks, get a law. It's overpriced, but it's fucking good. I actually want to get that Pete finish, Lafroy. Love his um, love all. Sorry, Lafroy. <clears throat> There's a Pete cask, and you should be able to find some carcass if you can get that carcass. Port Charlotte were the ones that taught you to love Pete. Yep, I can totally see that. I mean, that Port Charlotte is good. Yeah, get that, Mike. Grab that. I wish we could get the car strike 10 Lafroy. Fuck, it sucks and I can't get that. It's a fucking good drop. I just can't get it. But I suppose now I've got a floor address, so I should be able to source some of that shit. And a UK address. And when I get some of those cartridges, it's goddamn. Like that PX that I've got. Oh man, that is good. Yeah, I want to try, I want to definitely, I definitely want to try a fucking little Freud cast string. Because even the normal 10 year old we get here is less ABV than what you guys get. Which bums me out. Seventy-three bucks. Yeah, I know. You can't get it either, Donald. And you get 43. Do you get 43 with the Lafroy 10? Or do you get the 46, like the Stokes? Because we only get 43, yeah? You buy a bottle and include it? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, sample of that Lafroy 10 cast. That, yes, please. Yeah.
Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, simpler, that would be awesome. Yeah, you don't really get moonshine here. Like, even the the whiskey producers here in Australia don't produce moonshine. It's all finished. I mean, there might be some, but no, most of it's all finished stuff. The Australian producers have so readily available wine casts, they just finish it. Oh, you get the 43 as well. Yeah. Sucks, eh? I mean, I wouldn't mind trying just 46%, just that extra 3%. Definitely got to add to it. Zowzers. Good old 40 fucking three. Sorry. I always fuck that up. It's only 40. Fucking 40%. So you guys get it at 43, that's right. We only get fucking 40. So you're getting the 43. I remember now. I always fuck that up. Because I always think to myself, fuck, it can't be that bad. But yeah, we get 40. It's fucking 40%. And it's still fucking good at 40%. So imagine what it's going to be at car strength. Yeah, yeah, we get it at fucking 40. Good day. 700 ml bottle. 60 hertz. At 40. Yep, 60 hertz, he knows. Same as us, getting fucking shafted. How you doing, 60? Throw the berries, help with the work. We move, my wife is by me still, so I can make my own noise. Yeah, I thought you would get the 43, Donald, because it makes no sense that, you know, just being above the border there, you'd be fucking getting the 40 like we do. Yeah, star. Yeah, grab that. Like any Glamorati, just fucking grab them, man. They're all good. I mean, some you'll like more than others, but yeah. Glamo make good shit. It's a good base spirit. They finish it well. You're going to be fucking, you're going to be having a decent bottle there. Oh, you missed out on getting the nectar door? Oh, you should have done. That's good. The nectar door is good. Parallel imported and NZ, so I've had a couple of the 43s. Oh, lucky. Yep, I've never seen the 43 here. It's always the 40. Do you get the car strength? Because I'll be fucking pissed if you fucking get it over the fucking pond and I can't fucking get it. Can you ship me over? <laughs> yeah, we don't get the car strength. We don't get the 43. We don't get the fucking cartridges. Any of the cartridges. They just do not get here to Australia. Could you get your JD's 
barrel proof in 700 mil bottles. One of the same here. You know, everything's 700 mil. 750s are fucking rare. But that is fucking bizarre across the border. You only get the 700s. Like, what the fuck? That makes no sense whatsoever. As long as you don't sell it and you don't make more than three loads a week, you can pretty much do whatever. I want to get a barrel and aid some stuff. I agree, Ben Most of Jim Beam line sucks balls. I agree. You had bad six and ten, but had to go to Scotland. Oh, ah, yeah. yep, yep. Ah, oh, fucking the car strength, man. That is one elusive little bastard of a fucking dram that everyone says is great, and we just can't fucking get it here. Eh? Just gonna have to go fucking shopping in Scotland. Ship it over to me, fucking UK dress, I think. No creep, old tub, all decent. Yep, bookers, base laden. Yeah, I've never been a Beam fan. I mean, Beam and JD's just the standard shit is big here in Australia. But it's um, it's just something that people just drink, mix, and fucking just get blotto on it. But fucking white label Beam, man. Fuck. We sell a shitload of that stuff here in Australia, but. It is fucking shit. Find drains or the whisk word and ship to US US. Yeah, exactly. Yep. In the distillery doesn't have fucking car space? Should I pay 50 bucks for a pour of one of the Willow 2020? Uh, no. Not 50 bucks. You. Fifty bucks though. To get the UK for hunting for car strength, I barely get any or pretty much goes to the US. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to get in the US.
2020 GTS with 65 ball without any batch. Test, test. Gotcha. Hey, what's up, buddy? Good, Mike. You doing all right? I can't complain. I've got I whiskey. can. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I mean, because, you know, I'm still working. Well... That is always a sucky fucking thing to have to do, I must admit. <laughs> How much more have you got to go? Oh, it's only uh, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, shit. I got plenty. I got plenty, yeah, man. But, you know, I got, a, uh, I got a cigar in hand and, you know, makes the day go by a little bit faster. Well, if you get to have a fucking stick while you're working, that's that's fucking that's that that's interest. that's the joy that's the joys of working at home. A fucking oath. I mean, you know, it's hot as shit outside. Yeah, what is it? Uh, ninety-two. Oh, that's all right. That's not that bad. Well, I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, I'm sitting in the shade, you know. I got a big ass fan going. Ah, uh, you're good. So, Ninety two, fucking. That's that's Charles' play. <laughs> uh, well, you know, we also got the humidity too, so you know. Yeah, if the humidity. It's, it's not. It's it's, it's not the heat. It's the it's the humidity that makes it unbearable. That's what fucks you. Yeah. <laughs> Who this? So, can you guys hear? Can you guys hear Zach? You should be able to oh, add it here, so you should be able to fucking hear him. Can you see me? No, I can't see is, you. Is is the, the camera's not fucking working? Oh man. No, no got no camera. Uh, I don't know what the heck heck the deal was. I went to settings. It doesn't say that my camera is off. Uh, yeah, oh, there we go. Button. Now, now we go. Allow. Ah, okay. It's spinning. It's thinking. I can see you in the back end, but I can't see you on the front end yet. Yeah, it's not coming up from the... No, you're all good. I mean, I might be able to do some shit. Let's have a look. I can see you in the back end. So you're in the front camera? I can change it. Let's Let's try this. I can't hear it at all. There we go. Oh, that worked. Now I can't hear you. I'll try audio settings to so get audio. Does that work? Now I got you. Yep. Got you now. Got no, picture no, 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 got me. Okay. It doesn't it doesn't like the headset. 
Oh. Like it all going through Bluetooth. the same spot. Back in Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Ah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, just sitting here working and chilling with my friends halfway around the world. Fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, try, trying to get some information to some folks halfway around the world. Oh. So, oh my God, what? Well, I mean, I, I work, I work with a bunch of folks in Africa and uh, Israel, yep. and I've got to get Cyprus, so I've got to get them all their information. Which, I mean, they're all sleeping now, anyways. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, it's fucking four o'clock in the morning here. <laughs> well, I Israel doesn't. They they have they have a. <laughs> I swear, man. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I don't know how I'd fucking do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, shit, man, right. that is <laughs> only seven and a half hours, right? Oh man, yeah. only only seven and a half hours. I mean, only seven and a half hours. That's straight, dedication, yeah. man. That's only a that's only a fucking short shift for me. Oh, Donald's going fucking birthday well, shopping. Hope you find some fucking epic bottles, man. Oh man, I wish. And you got to you got to show us. I wish I could go. Oh, You ought to just jump on the live stream and then show everybody what you're buying. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Fucking Mundo. Well, I don't it's know. Ken, you might just get jealous. Stuff. Yeah, I will definitely get jealous, <laughs> but that's, that's normal. So that, that Springbank eight-year-old that fucking oh. Frederick sent me. Oh, my God. Fuck. That was amazing, Graham. Springbank eight-year-old? Yep. 2019 festival release. <laughs> Fuck. Fucking oh, hell. gotcha. Yep. That sounds then, wonderful. Uh, I, mean, I love, I, I love, I love, oh. That was <sighs> fucking good. And now I'm having some 2017 Lagavulin and 12. Oh man, I saw you pour that and I've got that one. And I was like, man, it's a little yeah. early. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking good one. I'm just glad I got another bottle of it. Yeah, I don't have another bottle of that one. You know, I found the, what was it, the 2020, that new updated yeah, that packaging. Didn't. And it's good. It's, it's good. It's good, but it's no 2017, I'll tell you that much. No, I mean, I've got the 2019 with the new packaging, but yeah, it's it's not this. This, this is the good it, shit. It, yeah, I, I, I think I'll agree with you there. Yeah, I think I will have to agree with you there. Mm -hmm. That one was just... That was that first, like, cash drink log vool I ever had. And, man, I would just blew the socks off of everything I thought about, you know. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, I mean, I, if, if there's sherry in it, I sure as hell don't get it, you know. And oh, it's, very it's subtle, just yeah. fantastic. It's probably... It's, it comes in the sweetness. It's, it's probably why I like the... I mean, it's probably why I like the eight, you know, so much as I do. Yep. You know, I like that all ex bourbon. I just, yep. man, it looks, it's looks just that whole, you know, Isla. It's, man, it's good. That that little bit of, you know, those five ABV points really helped it out. Yes, I agree. It, you know, it's being definitely at for, being, it, being like. at 
I thought it was a little bit prickly and, and rough to begin with, but once it got below the shoulder a bit, it's it's definitely opened up and, and developed quite nicely. It settled down. It was not it's not as prickly and rough. But yeah, this Yeah, I just I mean I just thought that was a and, and for price wise, you know, I just you can't beat it. Yeah, I've got... now I definitely wouldn't give that one as like an intro intro Isla Dram. I would give them the sixteen over that, you know. Yeah, I mean I've got the two thousand sixteen, the two hundred anniversary edition of the eight, but that that's like a special special bottle that one. Oh, I, I drank mine. I didn't realize it was a special bottle, and I just drank it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I I I want to drink it, but I'm like, mm, I've been trying to find another one. I've, I've been trying to find another one. And fucking Q-Ball got gifted one in, for his birthday, and he fucking killed that bottle. He, he fucking loved it. But I don't mind the nine. I don't mind the Game of Thrones nine. Hey, man, they put those, those things were not selling, and uh, they put them on sale. And it was like I was pick I picked up a couple of them for like forty bucks. You know, thirty five, wow. forty bucks. And that was like after tax. And it was just like, okay. Sure, I'll take that all day long. Yeah, that was I, I thought that was a really it, good dram. That it is a good dram. I mean I've killed my first bottle, it's fucking almost dead, and I've got a second one. Shit. 60 hertz saying the 8 is priced too close to the 16. Fuck. And I can't remember what I paid for the 8. It wasn't as bad as the 16, because the 16 for, for you? was like 40 bucks. It was, it was. I mean, now it's still, it's less than half. Yeah, you know, I, I can still find them for, you know, 55 bucks, and they're wanting 120. For the for the sixteen now, and I I just can't I can't pay that. No, that's crazy. Not if we I pay eight up for that cheese. Australian. Yeah, that's that's insane. That we're almost paying one for one. I oh, know. Yeah. Great. That's why I always buy. That's why I have so many fucking bottles of it because I just buy the shit up when it's bloody goes on special so i'm looking on dan's normally it's 95 bucks they got on special here for 92 so it's getting up there i mean i can get i get that on for the lug on 16 on special I got shafted on the fucking Game of Thrones 9. Did you? Yeah, like... One of the stores said they had one left and they couldn't get fucking rid of it. And they were discounting it, they reckon. It still cost me 110 bucks. I'm like, fuck! That's crazy. Yeah. I thought I was going to get it for a fucking steal, but nope. Oh man. Oh. Hey buddy. I'm getting I'm getting beat up, man, with requests. So hit. it was good to see you. Yeah, I'm 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 getting hit. But uh did get some rest and uh we'll see you manana. Thursday. Yeah. Your oh. Friday. 
<laughs> well, it's still Thursday now. Yeah, well, I'll see you then. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, I said, I said, I said, my Thursday, your Friday. I see. I said my Friday. Friday yeah. Yep. Yep. I'll see you there for sure. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> yep. I'll see, see you about ten happening. in the morning. Cool, buddy. Yep. Yep. I'll see you then. All right. Don't wait. You have too a good hard. one. It was good talking to you. You too, man. Enjoy that dram when you get it. Yeah, I don't think I'd buy too many eights for the price. They're a bit fucking high. If they go on special, I might grab a couple, but. Yeah. They're a bit fucking. Um... Yeah, they're a bit expensive. If you get it for a decent price, they're all right, but. Yeah, they're a bit highly priced. Um... This is mine. I can fucking get it out. I think I've gone halfway down the bottle. No, I haven't. I've only gone past the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. It's gotten better, but. Eh. Maybe I should revisit it a few more times. And I haven't cracked that 10. That was a travel only exclusive. Picked that up for a pretty decent price. There was a store here selling the travel only. But I'm happy I've got my 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Pretty happy about that. Nice. Turn the pub sign back on. Pick me next ball. One to forty five. Just killed my smoke wagon straight. Nice. I guess one nine hundred calls <laughs> give us work. If you're getting paid, it's fucking work, isn't it? Um, twenty four. Number twenty four. Ten makes no sense. Expensive and low ABV. Agreed, but I just had to have it because it was a travel and exclusive, and I had to get my. A suite of numbers, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just had to do it. I haven't even opened it. Yet. Lost Monarch. I'll join you. I'll finish this and I'll have some Lost Monarch with you. Mm, fuck, that's good. What is that BV on the 10? I can't remember. Oh. Yeah. Let's see what you mean. I'd completely forgotten the ABV on that. It's only fucking 43. Yep. So, Glen Scotia 15, 18, or double cask. Any of those. Um, grab the double. Grab the double. I mean, the 15 is great. Good bang for the buck. One litre? Um, no. 700 on the 10. You can get all three? Get all three. <laughs> yeah, 15 is great value, but I think just, just grab the double cast because, you know, you're only just starting to get into it. I think you might like that sweet cherry finish on it. 
I think that might appeal to you. I mean, the 15 is great for that funk, but you kind of need to like the Campbelltown funk. Whereas I think the, the double cast with that awesome sweet sherry, you can get the 25. I'll just buy it for me. <laughs> I'll have the 25. I mean, the, the 15 is definitely a good one, but I think yeah, just grab the double cast to start. And then go back and grab your 15 if you like it. Yep, utter bastards. Trouble real to only only 700 mil. Yep. It's only 20 more bucks over the 15, over the double. Well, if you can get the 15, just, just grab the double for now. And if you like that, grab the 15. Because it's still got that little bit of Campbelltown funk. You may or may not like that. But I think you'll like the, the sweet sherry finish on it. Because it comes across quite sweet. And I think that might appeal. Because uh, the 15, you may or may not like the Campbelltown Funk. If you can get the Victoriana, fucking grab that. I mean, if you can, grab both. I mean, fuck, that's the best way to do it. Off to bed mode, see what those scumbags have got. Now, get those or the Refroid 10 car strength. Well, you've had the car strength, you've had the sample of it, you've tasted it, you like it, so you already know that one. So depending on your budget, I mean, do you want to get something that you really like and just drink it and enjoy it, or do you want to try something different? I mean, if you really want to try something different, grab that 15, because that, that'll be different. Because if you've never had Campbelltown, that's definitely going to be a different experience. But I think for your palate, you'll like the double cask. Because it depends whether you like that funk that Glen Scotia has. So I don't know how some, some guys say that, you know, they can can't go from a, a high ABV down to a low ABV and, you know, they can't do that. Or we'll mix up from scotch to whiskey. I mean, I do it all the time. Doesn't worry me. I mean, I'm coming straight off Lagerbourne's 12 year old, which is um, car strength, 2017 edition. I'm going straight into Lost Mine Arc. Mm. That's just fucking good. Yep. Bless you, kitty. Ooh, you had a rubber bottle for that, Rex. Nice.
I suppose it is fucking breakfast time for you, 60 hertz. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Cheers, mate. All right, kitty, you want to go have a biscuit? Oh, hear me out, Abelo Urbana. Oh, I did keep saying you need to get that Abelo Urbana. But saying that, you still have, you've got the 105 and you like that. I'm always going, Daniel. <laughs> you know that. But yes, the Abelo Urbana is a good one, but you do have the Glenflakus 105. I reckon you should stretch out your palate a bit more because the 105 and Abelo Urbana are kind of in the same ballpark. So you're probably going to like that one. So, yeah, since you like the 105, which is the Sherry Car Strength. Um, <clears throat> right, grab a punt, go for that Glen Scotia 15. See what you think of that. Because that's going to be completely different from anything you've had. Now it's half past four in the morning. Almost half past four in the morning. In about five minutes. Yep, all twenty three. Out of bed. Nah, not yet. Soon. Soon. I haven't got eight hours. Eight hours yet. Ah, liver's fine. <laughs> I've drunk a shitload of water. She'll be right. Not even fucking slammed. I know. It's getting warmed up. Exactly. Just getting fucking warmed up. And he's going on first today. I'm trying to think. Thursday, my time. Who's going on Wednesday, my. Hey, Stall, you going on tonight? Sipping a Highland Park 10. Nice! I don't have any of that 10. 24 hour coming up? Nah. Now, nah, have to prepare for that one. Need to have snacks and make sure I eat and have good rest beforehand. I am a little tired. Work's been pretty full on the last couple of days. Not physically tired, but mentally I'm fucking drained. Kilko's, that's right, Kilko will be on soon. Don't know if you're going live, Boom. I was going live, we thought, but he hasn't scheduled anything. Okay. Yeah, because I haven't seen anything in your schedules from you guys. I was checking earlier today. Uh, Daniel, I'm sipping the uh, Lost Monarch, Red World Empire. 
because I picked bottle 24 for Whiskey Samurai and that was bottle of Lost Mana. So I'm joining him on the Lost Mana. I just had the 2017 Bugger Ball and 12 year old. Picked up a bottle of the legendary Silky Orange Whiskey this past weekend and that's sourced because the distillery is too new to have any product of its own on the market. Where's it sourced? Is it Cooley or Milton or fucking... Been just posted on my Patreon. Quackers! <laughs> you cheeky bastard. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. So I put a post on Patreon. Because <laughs> 27th of July is National Scotch Day. I was like, what do you guys want to see? <laughs> he just put Quackers. <laughs> cheeky bastard. <laughs> Ooh, Peter Volling. Ooh. Are they using their own Pete? Oh. Nah, what, not a buy break, just had to close the door for the kitty cat. No buy break. I've already had one. It's actually getting a little bit cool now. What's it drop down to? Feels like 3.1 degrees Celsius. That's a wee crispy. Not cold, just crispy. Fresh. Cheers, Joe. Take it easy, mate. Pass it over the blue label. Yeah, I faked you out. Gotcha. I'll grab it when I see it again. Fuck yeah, Peter version. Fuck yeah. So, can you hear us now, Jim? You're going to have to remember to take some fucking headphones with you. Stick them in your fucking car right now. I'll probably stream probably Friday night after I finish RSL. Yeah, I might not. Oh, I might, I might stream tonight. I might, might start that Lego action. We'll see. I might do that. Yeah, I might do that for a few hours. I'll see. There we go. Actually, those bastards fucking email me in the bloody shop in Florida. I can't go fucking pick it up. It's a bit far. And if, even if I could paddle on my fucking boat <laughs> to Florida, I can't fucking leave the country or even go into the country. Anyone got a teleporter? Get on to that, Jim. Uh, 
All right, so I've hit the eight hours. Nice. Nice round number. Goes with that fucking spring being eight year old ahead. Damn, that was. Fucking Fredericks hooked me up with some fucking awesome drams. Cheers to that. You might come on? Awesome. Do it. Jump on for a bit. It's been a while since I've seen you, Daniel. to decide what I'm going to have after I have this. What do I feel like? Hmm. What shall I have? Might have some of that Johnny Walker. With the fucking lager born in Kalila. Or I could do Scarabus, which is Kalila. Or I could crack my fucking quarter cask. Decisions. I could go Russell's. Oh, I've got a crink in the neck. Yeah, we'll fix that. You mean it? You have one minute. <laughs> this stuff is good. Done. Quarter cask. Yeah, it's great. Ask. Oh, fuck yeah. Wife went out yard saying last weekend and got a notebook full of vintage whiskey magazine ads. Oh, they're pretty cool, but I don't know what to do with them. You need to take photos of them out and put them on whiskey porn. That's fucking awesome. I'd be putting them in frames and sticking them up my fucking wall. Blech.
That was a good fucking pop. Let that open a bit. Perfect marriage of peat and oak. Yeah, shit, yeah, man. Yep. Put those pictures on. I'd love to see that. That'd be weird. That's definitely whiskey porn. Dick what Andrew. have you found? How you doing, uh, Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, looking around, I've got a couple of uh, interesting ones. I've got the Highland Park single cask. Uh, Bowmore 26 there. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see what else. A lot of the standard stock stuff, like classic Laddie quarter cask. Uh, Bomore 15. Yeah. But uh, what I really came here for, because I'm really interested in it, and I think I'm just going to buy it, is uh, this one here, the Scallywag. 10 year limited edition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go for. Because it's uh, all sherry matured. Both um, PX and Oloroso together. So. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I'll, I'll go that, for today. I love those dogs they have on those skellywags. They're fucking awesome. Yeah, me too. And I, I have a few of the Douglas Lang ones because we tend to see it more often than Compass Box. So oh, okay. quite often when I see them, I, I just buy them. Yep. <laughs> and we hardly ever see them here. Yeah, I've got the uh, Rock Oyster 18. I've got a Timorous Beastie 10 at home. I've got a few of their special edition ones. Yep. I've yep. had the normal rock oyster. Fuck, that was good shit. Yeah, the 18 is really good. Yeah, man, that is good stuff. Yeah. That really, I had it in a sample and I was like, holy fuck. I didn't know anything about it and I had it and went, holy shit, this is fucking great. Yeah, it is because uh, it's all from all of the islands. So it's got... Uh, Aaron, I think, um, Talisker in there. Uh, yep. They say Orkney, which means Highland Park. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah, I, I'm just going to buy that one today because I've already got a shit ton of uh, whiskey coming from the U.S. that I still have to make room for. Yeah, I got the uh, Lagavulin 11, the Nick Offerman coming. Uh, another yeah, bottle of Blue Spot. Yeah, I've got another bottle of Blue Spot. Um, Where'd you score that from? Uh, my friend in New York State, he walked into the store and there was like 10 bottles on the shelf. So I was just like, oh, uh, wow. okay. Can yeah. you hook me up? <laughs> if he's still in New York State, he's moving back this month, like right now. I can message him. Oh. That's why I was in a hurry to get everything done. Yeah. I'll definitely put put a sample aside for you. Um, oh, fuck yeah. I'm trying to see if there's anything Canadian that I want. I am out of rye, which is tragedy. Yeah, you can't have that. Yeah. I think yeah, I'm probably going to just... Trying to Searching around online trying to find a blue spot, and I just can't fucking seem to source one. Yeah, it, it seems to pop up in weird places in the U.S. Like, small city in New York State. Uh, where the heck was he? Binghamton. You, he walks into the liquor store, and there's like 10 bottles on the shelf sitting there. Oh, shit. Yep. Let's see. Yeah. Might grab some Lot 40 while I'm here. 
have had written house. I didn't like it particularly. <clears throat> this is a good whiskey, a, a good example of a whiskey that needs more proof, but it is absolutely delicious. The 100% rye. If they bottled oh, that at, okay. at 46, 45, it would be unbelievable. <clears throat> What's it sitting at? At uh, 40. So, ah. nah. I mean, yeah. it's, it's good for what it is, but if they had up the proof, then it would have been even better. Let's see. Yep, definitely. Are you done with everything then? Yeah, I yeah. got Let's see. Huh. Wiser's nah. They've got some of the 22 year port cask in stock. That thing should, should be pretty damn good. Yeah. Um, I have the 23. I've still got quite a bit of it left. I absolutely adore that one. Um, and 40 Creek. Yuck. It's funny, they don't have crown peach here. <laughs> I hard Sorry, Jim. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, you know what? I hardly ever see crown peach here in Canada. That's the irony. I think they just like lap it up in the US and it, most of it goes there. Does, does uh, it have, actually have a peach flavor to it? I have never tried it. I've, I've been very remiss to try any kind of flavored whiskey. So, I just want to try it because it's got peach in it. I'd be it's like not that fake synthetic flavor, the actual decent peach flavor. I'd be keen to give it a go. Yeah, of it. yeah. So, I mean, uh, let's see what have we got here. Not much right now. I mean, you've got bare face here, which is like triple oaked, 100% corn whiskey, seven years. It's pretty decent. Um, but this is my go-to right here for rye. Not 40. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to grab one because, uh, I've got Thanks some dark oak, <clears throat> but I'm going to grab one of these bad boys. Uh, let's see. Jim Beam single barrel. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> I, I've never been a bean fan. I, I don't like peanut butter. And I get peanut butter on Thank the you. Jim Beam core range for days. And there's the uh, the big hitter right there, the uh, 22 oh. year port cask. Mm, 22, yeah. 59.7 ABV. So it's not not a lightweight whiskey at all. How many dollar dues they want that? 150, so not too bad for a 22 year old. That's all yeah. right. Yeah. That's fucking nothing to sneeze at. No. I paid that for the 23 year old. New drink and drinker. At the time the uh, 35 year old was out, I paid 162 Canadian for a 35 year old whiskey. Nice. Which is insane value. value. Thanks for the sub, mate. So. Yeah. Eh, I'm in the beer section. Maybe I might grab a local cream ale. It's a warm day. I'm not grab some fucking Guinness. <laughs> two different people for their list first. Yeah, no problems. Yeah, I've, ah, I have some Guinness in the fridge at home. Top shelf, Dustin. Yeah, Dustin. Oh, hey, Dustin. Well, anyway. anyway. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think I'm pretty well done shopping. I'm gonna probably hit the uh, cash line because it's right around the store right now. Because we still have to socially distance and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably be wearing masks here till October. They said. Oh. Yeah. There's parts of Canada that are looking at dropping the mandate uh, by mid-July. Whereas here... Yeah, we're lucky, we're, yeah we're we don't have to wear it here, but there's been lockdown in Perth and fucking a few of the other states have all gone down in lockdown because that fucking new case. 
Yeah, the new mm-hmm. variants. That, that's the new what variant. they're trying to. That's what they're trying to avoid here. Um, as they uh, was it a couple of days ago, they ran a ma- mass vaccine clinic and they did like twenty six thousand people in one day. <clears throat> Holy shit! Yeah, it's, I think they set like the Guinness World Record that day. Okay. So that's a shitload of people. Yeah, so they're kind of being framed as a race against the clock. <clears throat> um, and people are buying in. I mean, it's been, uh, it started off like shit, but now it's going gangbusters. Yeah. So, yep. Uh, let's see. Cameron's, nah. They don't have their English pale that I like. Okay. Yep. That's bastards, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this time of year I tend to really like uh, drinking um, English pale ales and English beers. Yeah, because yeah. yep, I love yep. that gra- grassiness and the hoppiness. Uh, what have they got for American whiskey? Oh, the old uh, Ezra Seven barrel strength. Interesting. I've never seen that here before. But I'd rather have scotch. So. Yeah. Or Rhodes Lager scotch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd rather have scotch. They're both the same price, too. It's funny. So, what are you it's drinking like right now? Quarter cask. Oh, yeah. That's kind of my go to uh, Lafroig. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's been one of those ones yeah. I've been beginning to get on my shelf for a while because I haven't had any on the shelf. And then I fucking bought one just recently and I finally got around to taking the bottle shot. And... Okay. And I have, haven't popped it. I only just popped it. It was a fucking good pop, too. Yep. Yeah, I um, I tend to. I think that's probably the best overall balanced Lafroy for like their lower core range stuff. Yeah, triple wood quarter cast. I can, I can go either way. I don't mind I, either one of them. I'm a bit uh, finicky when it comes to peat and sherry together. I find that I yep. like um, mostly ex bourbon with uh, my peat, and preferably un- preferably under twelve years, especially if you're going to preserve that peat punch. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Because when it's it starts to get older, I like the the Lafroy PX. It's a travel only, but I do like that PX they've integrated with that because you still get the Lafroy with that nice little bit of cherry, uh, sherry sweetness with it. That's that's well integrated. Okay, that's cool. Well, yeah, that's I'm going to jump point, off, yeah. sir, because I'm almost at the. At All the right, tail, Daniel's so. saying, get some pull in a beer, get some German pull in a beer. Yeah, maybe I might. I've got a beer shop uh, right next door in the grocery store, so I have to head there anyway. Ah, nice. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to jump off because I'm almost at the uh, register. So, all right, sir, take right. care. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Yeah, you too. Cheers, mate. Hmm. Yeah, I fucking, I need to get some more pollen. I haven't got any. Have you seen my my fucking pollen in a glass? Daniel, I got this one. My mate in fucking Germany. He gave me this, so I had to fucking fill it full of socks and wrap it in my luggage to get it home without breaking. Fucking good, good beer glass. Fuck you, Lofroy sounds good. It's a fucking good cook pot too. Uh, 
Your machine fucked up the old wrap on this one a bit. All wrinkled and shit. That's what she said. Look at that. All fucking wrinkled and shit. Got a bit munted. And they say Dolma should buy some low brow. Get some arm brew. <laughs> Crazy Scotsman, arm brew. You guys seen those videos? Fucking hell, that guy's funny. Yeah, editor is fucking good stuff. I'm totally with you on that. Yeah, Paul and uh, editor. Actually, you want to get some. I went in the shop the other day and I wanted some fucking, um, some Bitburger, but they didn't fucking have any. I was a bit bummed. Man, if I had some beer right now, I'd pour it. Fuck yeah. Actually, I need to rectify. I don't have any fucking beer at the moment. Daniel Strachan said the ABS courtesy phone. Daniel Strachan said the ABS courtesy phone. <laughs> yeah, that one minute is definitely uh, long gone. I need to find some decent fucking beer sort of. Oh, I can't remember where I used to get Bitburger from. No, that's the problem. It doesn't last long here either, Dustin. Oh, I fucking go through beer, especially when it's hot. Fuck. I smash beers. Um, me and the missus have been doing the wine thing recently. Having a couple of glasses of wine with dinner every night. Normally it's beer, but we kind of stopped buying the beer because it's got really fucking expensive here. So I've been in, normally we just, you know, we grab a carton, but it just doesn't last. As soon as it starts warming up again, we'll definitely be getting into the beer again. But yeah, I, I fucking smash beer too quickly. That's the problem. Shit just goes down too fucking nice. That's the problem why I don't have any, because it just doesn't last. Like a lot of IPAs, but the cost is much as the high proof older ones. Yep. Yeah, beer's got really fucking expensive here. It's fucking brutal. OBS! Yeah, as in the link. Get your ass in here. So you can drink some quarter cast with me. I was. Whereabouts are you in the UK? I was going to go to the UK fucking. I was looking at flights and organizing my fucking trip to Scotland and Ireland and fucking England. Like March last year. And then obviously we know what fucking happened. So that ended that. Um, Because I wanted to go to Yorkshire because all my fucking my dad's side family is all from Yorkshire. Time for a Dr. Robot. What the fuck's a Dr. Robot? I have no idea what that is. So yeah, I was going to go to the fucking UK. Birmingham. Two hours from London. Nice. Yep. Fuck yeah. Nah, no, yeah, because I wanted to go to the fucking York. I wanted to go to the fucking Railway Museum because I'm a fucking railway nut. Um, especially 1930s LNER era. I fucking love that shit. So yeah, I wanted to go to the fucking Railway Museum in York. 
And yeah, I wanted to do the trip. Travel the alley now line up and then I was going to go up to Scotland. That, that's what I was going to do. A blackberry lemon sour. Okay. That sounds nice. I like the sound of that. That sounds like a fucking lovely refreshing drink on a fucking hot day. Up in good old Birmingham, eh? Nice. Yeah, so i got no idea when I'll be able to fucking go over to the UK now. <laughs> fucking shit me. Got a brand new renewed passport and it's fucking blank. You know, bone bite the old Ezra and the Douglas Lane. <laughs> nice. It's your fucking birthday, you're allowed to. God damn it, now I'm bundled up. Fucking goddamn fucking stupid COVID can't fucking travel from the gun. Fucking England, fucking go. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I was looking at what fucking steam trains were running so I could fucking jump on a fucking steam train to go on the LA now lines and fucking, yeah. I think the fucking the tornado. I think she was running when I was looking. Can't travel here, so misery enjoys company. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. If we ever get over to, we can share a dream. Fucking oath. Yeah, I'll definitely jump on your fucking stream for sure. I definitely, I definitely follow you for sure. Like a look now. Yes. Yes, I love your stuff. Yes. Yeah, I've been sub for fucking yonks. Oh man, that tornado is such a beautiful bit of kit. I've got a, because I, I do run a lot of railway. I've, I put it all away because I took over this table and had my fucking railway set up. But yeah, I've got a lovely fucking um um fucking uh brain fart, brain fart, brain fart. I've got a lovely couple of I bought one of the I'm trying to remember the, the set I bought with the tornado. Overworked. Oh I'm so tired right now, man. Are you fucked? Fucking everyone's yeah. had a fucking shit the last couple of weeks with fucking work and shit, man. What the fuck's going on in this planet? Well, we just uh, we just finished a uh, billion euro acquisition. And we just went live with it, so a small uh, yeah, small cool. thing there. And I've been trying to finish up my continued education for a certification, and I finally today just gave up and I paid to uh, delay it another uh, six months. <laughs> Yeah, I was, trying, I was trying to get like thirty hours of continued education in within like a week, and I just can't do it. It was taking yeah. me. It was, well, it was taking me more than an hour to get an hour credit. So, I thought that was a fucking RC car. Then <laughs> it's not yeah. just your man on your laptop. 
That that is my laptop's fan. Yes. Yep, that sounded like a fucking gas-powered RC car. <laughs> yep. Wait till you. Wait till. You, well, we'll see what happens if it actually gets loud. So far, that that's not loud. Well, it's only buzzing now. Like a, One second there, it just went. Bang, 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 bang. Yep. Yep. That's a, that's about a six out of uh, ten. It gets a lot louder. Like this, it'll wake me up in the middle of the night. I'll be sleeping, and all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking cranking an RC car. <laughs> and those cunts are fucking loud, too. <laughs> oh, yep. that's what, what the heck? Thought I'd join a little Freud 10. Oh, you got the 10? Bottled. Yeah, the uh, well, the cast drink, the batch 12. This was, which I bought for like 50 bucks. You bah. Just can't. Um, it goes. Yeah, these are normally like 80 bucks here, but uh, for some reason, Ohio has a weird price. And so they're basically, they're cheaper. For, it's cheaper for the cast drink in Ohio than the regular. Random FPV just said, good morning, fuckers. Good morning, Random. How you doing, mate? It's good to be a fucker. And Jim, yeah, the, the link is VDO because Steven fucking rebranded. OBS Ninja to VDO Ninja. I don't know if you can fucking hear me if he's got his earphones on or not. Well, if he's still at work and can't fucking hear me. These are all possibilities. They are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I go that one. Yeah, that's better. Fresh as a daisy, had a good sleep. Fucking awesome. Is your bird awake yet? Mr. Whiskey Bird? Your evil attack bird? Have you seen Random's fucking attack bird? No, I've not. Yeah, he's got himself an Australian fucking uh, pink and grey galah fucking cockatoo and it fucking tax everybody it tax his boss tax his missus tax everybody in the fucking park but loves him <laughs> and it's adopted him <laughs> well yeah, that's all you need right yep Just, you have to love you everybody else can go fuck themselves yeah exactly make school lunches and get ready for work yep I don't have to do that today Kids, your kid, your kids are off work or, or off, off school? No, no, no. He's got two more days of school left, and but the missus um, can take him to school and then she pops off to work. So I'm all good. I'm all gotcha. good. Gotcha. Nice. I get a phone call for some work shit. So you get told otherwise? Yeah. The tack bird is supposed to sleep 12 mm. hours. It's maybe 10 hours if he's lucky. Because he's psycho and he can't sleep 12 hours. He's had to fucking be up and ready to attack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's bullshit. That I, I need to get some fucking car strength this week. You just can't, you don't have it. Just, no one has it for sale there or what? No, it just does not no. exist in Australia whatsoever. Uh, I need to source somewhere in the States and fucking ship it to my Florida address. It's been harder to find for me than it used to be. It used to be fairly, you know, readily available whiskey, but nowadays it's a little hit or miss. Yep. And the cartridges, they're still hit and miss. <sighs> this last one was. Yep. I don't think I saw this last one for sale. Um, like for more than a couple of days, I, it came out and it went fast. It used to be those would sit on shelves for a couple of years. Like I, I, I picked up a Fino, um, which was like a two, three year old. That's two, three. That's three, two, three releases back. It was the port wine, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Triple, and then it was the Fino. I picked one of those up maybe six months ago. Oh shit! Yeah, wow. and I haven't seen a port wine one. That that thing went so freaking fast. So I, I don't get it. I mean, literally, this COVID thing, man, it just, it wiped us out on whiskey. Shit up. Yeah, it really has. 
I've seen the normal Lafroy port. You know anything about that one? I haven't tried that one. I'm, I'm I, I've never seen that one. I don't know if that's a US release. I've, I've seen it here. It's just Lafroy. I don't know if we get a don't know port either. here in the States. I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I mean, my sources for buying Go in and get some work done. School hall day start on Friday, and the caravan park is going to be fucking busy. Yep. No doubt. No one can fucking travel. My sources for whiskey have gotten rough, man. It's, it's become day. a problem. Lava man. More tariffs than COVID. <sighs> well, well the tariffs and. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. Here it goes again. <laughs> it just sounds like a fucking RC car or something. <laughs> it's weird though. Like it, it's random. Like sometimes it doesn't do it, and sometimes it just won't, keeps going back. Like it hasn't made that the sound all day. As soon as I lifted the lid up to uh, hop on here, instantly it started up. It again. just rubbed its guts out. Yep. Yeah. I've had this computer worked on so much for my T. I don't want to send it back to him again. And be like, hey guys, you got to replace this fan. Just gonna wait for it to fail. Have they replaced it? There were other issues they were dealing with, so they I don't think they ever got to the fan. I told them I wanted the fan replaced, but I don't think he did it. However, you know, with that said, I've still got a backup work laptop that I haven't given back yet. <laughs> so I just know this is going out soon. Yep. So I've got loaded laptop fifteen. At least it's not one of those stupid fucking thin ones. Well, honestly, it wouldn't make a difference. This thing's only got like uh, eight gigs of RAM in it, or four gigs, sorry, four gigs of RAM. Oh, fuck. No, that's not good. And love yeah, that, right? Who was make it fail? Clog that fucking fan up. You don't have to make it fail. Just put on some kind of like high intensity like calculation with like some kind of graphics thing running in the background. Well, just just sprinkle some fucking dust in there, clog it up a bit. She'll fucking seize. Fair enough. Sound, fair enough. About, the bearings are fucked in it. Yeah. Well, let's get through the next uh, two months, and then I'll maybe be willing to risk it. I got too much stuff to get done here the next couple months. Yeah, I can imagine. This is just the most like nondescript, like heated whiskey. It's just. On the nose, it's just peat. It's not super smoky. It's not super aromatic. It's not sweet. Lava Man, no job would ever give you anything. Well, but you ended up with a MacBook, Lava Man. I mean... No, it's like, what? Like a MacBook. F that. That's like the client I had to fucking deal with the last couple of days. He's using a fucking pissy little fucking HP, super thin fucking little 15-inch fucking thing. Actually, mine might not even be 15. It's probably going to... No, it's a 13, sorry. Little pissy fucking super thin 13-inch. He's got two big-ass monitors plugged into it with a dock and everything. I was like, what the fuck? Well, I've got a laptop similar to that, but that I honestly do nothing but watch uh, watch videos in my bed with, and it's a thousand dollar laptop, and it's it's got an i seven. Yeah, that's fine if you want to do that. This, well, yeah, this I've got it's got an i seven. It's a it's a it's a pretty high end machine, but I don't use it for anything else. It's a laptop. Yeah, but why plug in, make it a desktop kind of environment, and plug in a pissy little fucking thing, super thin HP? It's like no. It's, yeah, well, I mean, it depends on the specs. I mean, if it's got, you know, if it's got an i7, if it's got a, its own graphics card and stuff, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, this thing is, yeah. this thing's not an ultra thin, but it's a laptop and it's plugged into a docking station. I got three monitors here. It does the yeah. job. Well, I must admit, I mean, I've, I've got a right here. There she goes. Right, 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 right. <laughs> that's classic yeah I get that if you're doing Linux and command line stuff all day every day 
Yeah, Windows tends to be a hassle for fucking doing that. And, yeah. Working with the command line, I don't know that you need a top end computer for that though. True. You just need something fucking reliable that can compile and fucking handle units yeah. and shit. Yeah. You need a decent processor, I guess, but you don't need the graphics card or any of that other stuff. Any of that shit, yeah. I suppose, sounds yeah. like a little you know what it actually sounds like a little bit, Donald? Did you guys ever, um, did you ever drive a Saturn? Now, the thing is, with Saturn, the Saturn engine sounds just fine when you're driving it at normal speeds. But when it comes time to accelerate, the whole thing just starts shaking and makes this god awful, like, sound like this. Like a fucking Loma. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, we drove, we drove, we drove one of those down to Florida one year, and the guy whose car was, every, like, he would be falling asleep. And every time somebody would hit the gas hard enough to get the engine to jump into that range, he'd be like, what are you doing? Why are you speeding? And I was like, dude, I'm just trying to keep up with this semi behind me. <laughs> Your car's slow. <laughs> Make Docker images and run VMS and such. Yep. Yep. You need something with a bit of fucking grunt if you're doing that. I'd actually just deleted my fucking docker thingy because i was i was there for a while using a docker image and it was pretty good um god wrote a docker image and once you fucking set it all up and everything and allow you to multi-streaming which is pretty fucking cool yeah no unlike the nose on this thing whoo it's a big old boy yep <clears throat> i think this is one of the higher proof ones too this is 60 point um point one Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Man, it's got a beautiful, it's even got a nice finish on it. A nice little transition. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's right. The old Saturn's like dent proof or whatever it was. I forgot you know, about that. The fucking doors were made of actual steel, not plastic. <clears throat> No, I think Saturn's were plastic. That's, that's what made them dent proof. Oh, that's what that's made them dent proof. Ah. I mean, they're like plastic. I'm getting a bit of fucking citrus on this quarter cask. Like a real light, light, light lemon fucking citrus note. Yeah, there's almost a there's a hint of lemon or lime or something here in the Lafroy, but. No, pales compared to like an hard bag where you get a ton of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gave him a sample of Kalila 12. He said it was like he licked a petrol can that was set on fire. Ah, pussy. <laughs> sounds tasty to me. Yeah, it sounds fucking delicious. Give me some. <laughs> Two, sir. It ain't unpeated. That was fucking, oh, I finished that sample of that tonight. That's oh, funny. that's beautiful. That is beautiful whiskey. I am a fan of unpeated Kalila, and that particular one is awesome. God, it hits the spot. It's fucking great. Yeah, no, that's a that's a great whiskey. Um, the nose is the nose is a bit meh, but the palate oh mm. fuck, it just punches above its weight. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm telling you. I've had three of the unpeated uh, Kalilas they put out, and all three are, well, two are awesome hitters. And then the 15's kind of me, kind of not so good. Yep. No, that 18, we, we did a review on that, and we we're all like, whoa, this is fucking good shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the um, Stitzel Reserve they put out was just stupid good. Uh, I heard the 17 was great. I haven't had a chance to try that one. And I heard the batch I didn't get of the 15 was pretty good. The batch I got was not very good. Ah, uh, that's batch dependent. Yeah, well, I mean, again, they, it's an annual oh, release. Well, it used to be every year they did a unpeated Kalilo release, but they've just stopped all of a sudden. So I don't know what's got going on there. I don't know if uh, they ran out of it or we're getting ready to see some more. Oh, sick. I'm hoping we're going to see like a 25-year-old unpeated Kalila soon. Oh, that'd be amazing. 
So the 18 was, what, three years ago? So they could be putting out, like, a 21 or something pretty soon. So I think they started making Unpeated Khalila again in the late 90s, like, very late 90s. So we're getting to where I think we might start being able to see some of those first batches reaching that 25 mark. Whiskey Samurai's just put some of these old fucking whiskey ads in the Discord. That's a nice, it's a nice picture. Yeah. I don't think I've ever yeah. thought of Old Forester and boats. Yeah, and the tranquil fucking sunset and <laughs> nice boats. There's probably 200 more ads in the book. Oh, wow. Jesus. It's a hell of a book. That's awesome. Oh, look at this. This is getting fucking fancy. Look at this shit. It's an old, uh, old charter. Yeah. Got the fucking fancy watch and clock and shit. They used to do a lot of stuff to sell uh, whiskey back in the day. Oh, shit, yeah. Now they just put tornado release on it and uh, it sells off the sh <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Shelves. Actually, here I go. I'll new dream drinker. Give me a second. Um, stick your fucking channel in so one can fucking sub to you. There you go. Just add you the mod. Put your channel in so one can fucking sub. Do it. You know, it's a little hard to dig in and get all the nuance out of it. Yeah, I think they maybe need to acclimate a little bit. Yeah, needs nice to open up and you need to start with like a fifty percenter to get your palate in the right place. Yep. Yeah, you start with these. Uh... Definitely going to be a bit punchy. Yeah. Yeah. I've had a nice mixed bag of fucking whiskeys tonight, that's for sure. I'm sure you've been going for almost 12 hours now. Yeah, you, you gotta be the closest to hours. Yep, nine hours. New Duran. Oh, okay. This guy's actually got some decent amount of content out for. Yeah. No, I've been sub for a while. I, I like that stuff. It's good. <clears throat> I'm always leery of, like, you know, you know, pushing for like a new uh, channel that's you know a few weeks old. You're like, no, oh, I mean, let's see how, let's see if you actually have the motivation to keep going for a little bit. Yeah. You know, you give me 20 videos, and then I'm gonna believe you. Yeah, that that's it. If you got 20 videos, and you're in, you're in for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're not like just kind of cranking out. Okay, you you just started. You're like, okay, you get twenty. All right, that's legit. Yeah. It's like when Mike and I were talking. I was like, you know, we're close to a hundred videos together. He's like, Jesus, really? I'm like, hey, yeah. Like we've been doing this for over a year yeah. now. It adds up. It adds up. And I was like, and you know, for the since like, I forget when we started. We started doing like two videos a, you know, a week. I mean. It, it it picks up quick, although I still think the channel's still like. I, th I still think I'm only in like you know, a third of the videos. The channel goes back four five years. Nah, you're exactly right, New Dream. Dang it, you're exactly right. That fucking flies along. I mean, I'm up to almost the fucking, and in, in February we'll be up to the two years. Which is fucking insane. Yeah. But I still remember the first video that I uh, joined Mike with to do. He was like, hey, you want to do, want to do this on camera? And I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? So we pulled out a Springbank 21-year-old, and we reviewed it together. And we had, uh, I think we had Keith with us. Have you tried that 2019 eight-year-old festival? No, no, I've never had a festival. Oh, 
Oh man. That sample had tonight that Frederick sent me. Fuck. Yeah, we don't we don't get those here in the States, as far as I know. As far as I know, we don't get those shipped here, period. No, I've never fucking seen them, but holy shit, it was fucking good. Yeah, I'd have to get I'd have to order it on dude. I'd have to order online and I'd be paying. What 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 was your what was your first one, Ken? Del Ewan sixteen, Flora and Fauna. Mm. Going with the obscure bottle. Yep. That was our first one. But the highest one that's got the fucking views is the bloody fucking Hibiki Army. <laughs> it's got the most <laughs> You know what's shocking? You know what video has the most views that Mike and I did together? I have no idea. Glenn going 30 year. Glenn going 30? Yeah. Not the 25, not the 21. The 30. The 30. I don't, I don't get it. No, like, I don't uh, get it. It's like the high peak harmony. Like, we generally do better on our more expensive bottles, but, like... There, it's. I mean, like we do well on a Springbank Twenty One. Those always do well. Uh, we've done well with like some of the Cavalons. Have really, you know, like we did the Manzanilla cast and got eleven hundred views. Uh, sometimes Compass Box hits. Sometimes it just gets ignored. Um, some of the Lagavulin and stuff we do does well. Some doesn't. Uh, Boone Hobbins do okay. Um, but for some reason, that Glen going thirty just. 1700 views. Damn. And the only thing that's done better that it was a top five whiskeys under 500 bucks we did, which all top fives do well because the way YouTube's algorithm works. Yeah. Yeah, like Linkwood 37 years. Back, what's it? Yeah, yeah I'm back and, watched it. and looking at that video, you know, with the angle and the lighting and everything, it was like, eh, it was pretty dodgy. <laughs> Definitely got to dialed in a bit better now, but yeah. Well, if you ever want to see something truly terrible, watch uh, Mike and Billy's uh, first video on our channel. It's the <laughs> McAllen 10 Fine Oak. They had to split it into two different parts. I got a freaking little gnat harassing me. They had to break it into two parts. It was terrible. <laughs> Just, <laughs> oh, my goodness. They had to do like their first like handful of videos in two parts, I guess, because they went too long. And I guess back then you couldn't upload more than like 10 minutes or something yeah, like yeah. that. 15. But yeah, it's it's pretty funny. They also attempted to do some videos on couch ones. Guys, don't ever do a video where your crotch is visible. It's a bad look. No. Yep. Yep. That's why the table's here. <laughs> yeah. Do you, uh, you watch Malt Review much? Mm hmm. They did like they did like a week of videos where every video, like they, they did like you know four videos together all at once, and every video, you the the screens like from like hereish to the, just below their dick. You can't actually see their full face, and you see their crotch in like dead center. The all video. <laughs> it's, uh, it's something else. Man. That's all I can say. Is it something else? They've a, uh, you know, they they got a freaking you know thirty thousand dollar bottle of whiskey in there over here, you know, <laughs> filming themselves with their dick. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking oh, crazy. Man. I, it just it cracks me up, and hey. I mean, they put out they put out awesome content. They're a great channel, but that stuff kills me. Yeah, just exactly. kills me. They did another one where they set up like a bar and they were sitting in bar stools and they had like the bar them and the bar stool centered and like it's just so awkward with like them sitting in these little <laughs> little bar stools. <laughs> Tony, you're finally fucking here. Where you been, mate? <laughs> Working and shit. Your first one is truly horrendous. Oh, nah. I mean, we've all got those fucking dodgy ones at the beginning. I mean, ours aren't completely horrendous, but 
they're bad, but they're not completely horrendous. And then I'm dialing the, the angle and the lighting a bit better, but always tinkering, always fucking around tinkering with the shit. Yeah. As long as you don't come off like super nervous, you're not going to come off bad in those type of things, you know? No, There's well, no reason to be nervous. Our, you're talking to your camera. Yeah, like, yeah, we, we, we didn't come across like that. We were pretty just relaxed, but it was just us reviewing the fucking whiskey in front of the camera. You know, you're always a little bit nervous, but. Yeah. You find uh, your, just get used to it and find your fucking zone. Well, and, you know, if you're trying to be like super informative and have all these facts and all this information ready, that gets tough. Like, I don't want Whiskey Crusaders first uh, started, you know, doing some of their you know, reviews. You know, Matt had notes, and I think Will had some as well. And you could just tell they were nervous trying to make sure they conveyed the information. Yep, yep. And I try and do that. Like, now I've got the two screens up. I, I try and do the notes. Like, if I want to talk a little bit about the history of, of the distiller or whatever, I have the notes on the screen and... I tell the guys, you know, have a quick browse of it before we start, so you just get some some dates in your head that we can pull off each other, and you know, and just do it. yeah, yeah. I think Mike and I just gave up on that. Every now and then we'll try to talk about stuff, and then we just end up going, guys, just correct us in the bottom because this is not what we're here for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're here for the tasting notes. If you want the history, go to someone else's channel. Yep. Yeah, I usually try and hit some of the cool, interesting stuff, and you know, don't date too crazy because it's yeah, it's just too much, and it's difficult to try and do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, unless you're really setting up to be that channel, like uh, Jason Ash and Drum, he really does that well. They do it really well. Yeah, he does it really well. And I mean, but again, that's that's what he set out to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's different, you know, if that's your end goal. Like, you want to be an informative, like, educational channel, whereas you know, most of us, we just want to talk about the whiskey, let people know what it smells, tastes like, what it costs, and if we buy it, you know? Yep, yep. And I, I agree with that, but I like some of the history and some of the history stuff. I, I enjoy it sometimes. I, I kind of am done with it with bourbon. Bourbon's got so much bullshit and BS lore that I just don't even want to hear about it anymore. Like, they've just yep. taken all of the history fun out of it with all the BS stuff they've done. True. Yeah, I, find I hate to I hate to be that kind of like curmudgeon, but it's just bourbon has done that to me. It's made me not want to talk about it. It's not made me want to drink it. Yeah, I can get that. Working shit, trying some crazy samples from Jim Kalila. <laughs> what was that oil fire in my mouth? We were just talking about that. <laughs> it's good Tony. Shit. That's what you call that's happiness. That is bliss. As I said yes. earlier. Dream. All roads lead to Isla. You will get there eventually. And it like when I was having that lug of all in 2017, 12 year old, that's you know, the little honey pot at the end of the rainbow. It always ends up into that kind of world. It's the good stuff. Absolutely. You get to a point where like you just never my second cousin's great granddaddy's best friend invented bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> yes and he had to drive 16 miles north 37 miles south and three miles back north to get home yep and he can only pick certain certain fucking corn out of one row and not the other one and yeah hand selected everything and he firmly believes that bourbon is at its best at six years old because that's when bourbon peaks six years old which it just so happens is the age of this bourbon that we're now selling you. Yeah. That's right. Yep, via Birmingham, uphill both ways G'day. in the snow. Exactly. Backwards. Donna Pass Whiskey. G'day, Donna. How you going, mate? Yep. It's uphill on the way home, uphill on the way back. Yep, fucking nice. Don't ask questions. So did you see the uh, big ah. Bill Cosby news? No? What's happened? He's free. Oh, what? He's out. He's out. I, I don't know the details. The uh, the Supreme Court in Pennsylvania overruled whatever happened. I don't know. Oh, shit. Now I guess they can, now they can try him again or I don't know. It's yeah. Crazy. Fuck. 
<laughs> Don't get me started on the water. <laughs> My grandpappy invented reverse osmosis just so he could then add coal, add, add a limestone to it to add flavor. Yep, yep. Somebody needs to buy fucking Telex a decent microphone so you stop using that fucking headset. Drives me up the wall. <laughs> I love the guy and I love his content, but that headset fucking kills me. He had a verbal agreement with a prosecutor for testimony in a civil trial that the new prosecutor didn't honor. Oh, no. We cannot oh, try him again unless new victims come forward. Oh, shit. That's just weird. I, yeah, I assumed it had to be a technicality for the Supreme Court to get involved. Yeah, that's bullshit. I mean, you know, the, the law's got to apply correctly to everybody, and it's it's a procedural system that's supposed to protect us so i guess it's better a bad guy gets out of jail than a good guy gets it gets sent to it so he's a ham radio guy so he thinks it's cool no if he was a ham radio guy he'd be fucking there with a bloody mic <laughs> oh he is a ham radio guy i know but he should be there with a fucking proper bloody thing if he's gonna do that the old prosecutor was on trump's legal team you know that that, that tells me so little and so much that I can't even comment. Yep, I just like, oop, I'm going to leave that one alone. Yeah, it, it tells me that he's definitely a lawyer I would not want to have a drink with. I'll just leave it at that. Yep. Yep. And I've had drinks with many no, lawyers. I've, had, I've enjoyed chatting with them, but yeah. Oh, Trump's yeah. Legal team this does not seem like. Yeah, um, it's like, no, no. It doesn't seem like a kind of personal one. Smarmy I is kind of the words I want to use. Let's put it this way I, I don't want to have a drink with Giuliani. No. Nah. Just doesn't seem like a pleasant guy to be around. No. Thanks. Don't want to have a drink with his uh, his uh, old fixer, that guy uh, who like kind of turned on him. Like, that guy seems like a real piece of work. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna be fucking always getting your wall to the fucking <laughs> your back to the wall. <laughs> yeah, that's just uh, yeah. Tr Trump's uh, Trump's inner circle definitely not the kind of people I want to spend time with. Nope. Nope. No thanks. I mean, his daughter's cute. We'll give. I'll give him that. Elon is no longer a lawyer. Yeah, well, that that tells you, doesn't it? I mean, he's also like 900 years old. I mean, like, let's be real. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it was a little awkward that somebody that old was still, like, trying to, like, you know, be in that role. Like, dude, just move on. Your, 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 your days are past you. I don't understand how he even became, like, the personal attorney of the president. Like, was he planning on running for president after Trump? Because, dude, you're, you're a little old. Going to the PC-10? Yep. Don't want anything to do with the New York real estate developers. Scum of the earth, everyone. Oh, I agree, yeah. Best fucking cork pop sound. Well, that was a bit lame. Quarter car sound. Yeah, you know, I've always, I've always found it weird, Lava Man. I didn't like Trump uh, as a business guy. I was... I didn't realize it would become political to, to just keep disliking a guy I thought people generally disliked in the 80s and the 90s and the OOs and the 10s. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I don't know when it changed. I, I, I still don't get it. So from retreading ground that you've probably covered before, but can you give me an idea of your favorite whiskeys at the moment? Um, the one that's in my glass. Um, I was about to say the one in the glass uh, is always the best. Yeah, the one in my glass is always the best. That's that's always a fucking cheapskate answer, but it's true. Um, uh, 
Ah, oh, damn. I'm in the... <laughs> Favorite whiskeys at the moment. Well, this is definitely one. I'm liking that. I mean, tonight was that Kalila 18 unpeated. <laughs> the fucking Springbank 8. And I've got so many of them. <laughs> so many. I have to buy more of this one. <clears throat> yeah, fuck yeah. I think I have a Port Charlotte 10, but I think I've left it at Mike's house. So I'll have to slum it with Isla Barley. Port Charlotte 10 is probably my favorite Peter Core Range Isla. Oh, I poured this very heavy, didn't I? Oh, well. Oh, well. You all can have most of the scotch. We will. <laughs> hey, you know what? If you want to drink Maker's Mark uh, Lava Man, enjoy, buddy. I want nothing to do with anything those monsters make. Well, they Nasty can keep burden. the Master's Mark because those casts get to use for the Floyd, so I'm happy about that. I like them all. Lock alignment, inch mirror and 12. Yep. Johnny Walker, 2000th anniversary edition, silver tree plan. Crown roll 16. Meh. I mean, Talisker 25 cast ring, the Lagavulin 24 year old, Springbank 25, Lefroy 25, uh, yep. Highland Park yep. 30 is pretty solid. Yep. Just a few of my favorites. <laughs> The 2020 Campbelltown Festival release? Fuck yeah. Well, actually, all of the <laughs> Glen Scotia's. Just, just give me all the Glen Scotia. I'll be fucking happy with that. Very well done, Donald. Nice. Got some English beer. Nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Has that heavy barley. Super, like, Nice hit of like just kind of white powdered sugar, and then nice smoke, heat. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. just a good whiskey. I need more of it. I'm gonna mm. start buying every one of these I see. These poor Charlotte Isla Barley. Mm -hmm. They're actually younger than the ten, but and they're only they're about twenty bucks more than the ten here. Well worth it. Mm. Yep, they are good. I, I like the 10, so. Yeah, and th this is good. Well, it's got for us, and we need the cast for the production of what we like. Yep. You are not wrong, though. No. Whiskey Sam Earl. Here's Emperor Palpatine. Do it. Greg's Whiskey Guide. Do it. G'day, Greg. Nine hours, oh my god, I've been doing an impromptu live, but I suddenly realized it was crushing me with at least three friendly channels going live, so I ended mine quicker. Oh, there's every there's people fucking streaming right now. Yeah, there's always somebody streaming, Greg. You can't you can't deal with that. I mean you just gotta the only time I would worry is if there's a channel comparable to you in size who is very much in your niche. And honestly, I don't know that you really have a competition, man. You're kinda unique. Your channel's a lot more uh, highfalutin in a good way, I would say. Yep, very informative. Yeah. You know, you're not like uh, Mike and I just, you know, drinking expensive whiskey and being like, yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or Ken's, you know, 12 hour pubs. I will say, Ken, I yeah, do, uh, I do owe you, I do owe you some views. I haven't watched a lot of your videos. I've watched a couple, but I haven't quite gotten a good feel for what your review style is like yet. Well, it's pretty much just three of us sitting and fucking talking about the whiskey, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you start, you pick up on like kind of where the different people's palates are and where the what, what value they add to you as a whiskey consumer. Yep. Yep. 
You know, like there's certain people who I respect who had absolutely nothing to. I'm going to give you a good example here: is Aquavite. I respect Aquavite's palate, his opinion. I ain't buying any whiskey based on his recommendation because I've done it and we don't agree. Yep, different palate. Yeah. Yeah, and his tasting notes even historically have just really not. Um, They're not better than average for me, I guess I would say. So, you know, he's one that I, I watch the recycled reviews just because I love the recycled reviews. I think it's a cool concept. I like the way he does it. Yeah, but, Rich, I, I love the recycled reviews. They're great. But like, I quit watching the V-Pub. It's just, it's too much. Not adding a lot to it. Plus, you can't talk in the V-Pub anymore, man. It's like there's 600 people just spamming. Yeah. It is pretty busy. I'm, I only watch it on the replay because of the time difference, but I like some of the guests that he gets on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, we had had Ralphie on there. I got Ralphie to. Uh, I made the. I sent a super chat, and I was like, I feel like a girl at a rock concert. I need, I need to throw my panties at you. <laughs> and Ralphie's reading the comment and just dying. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm not gonna. He goes, well, you know, I'm not wearing panties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, you get a fucking Ralphie. Yeah, come on in, Greg. But yeah, I mean, like a lot of the channels, like I have... think that's Ali Kalila twenty five. Hell yeah! I wish I had someone more that eighteen <laughs> left. I keep debating picking up the twenty five. You can find it for really good prices now and then, but it's forty three percent. Yeah, that hurts. So you'll, you'll enjoy this one, uh, Ken. So last night after I got some work done, I was uh, do, doing my continued education and I decided to just pour a bunch of whiskey because I needed an excuse to keep watching. I was so bored. And um, so I poured. Well, first off, I did a review of Scorched and I wrote a review of um, some bourbon. Who cares? So I left the Scorched. In the, so I left the score. Uh, it's big. It's bold. It, it they, they, the gimmick of using like those extra charred barrels does come off on the profile on the palate. So if you like that concept, I think you'll enjoy that whiskey. It's not like the black and the drum where it comes off super young and just shit. Um, but yeah, you still do notice yeah. that it's you still notice that it's a bit young in some points. You'll notice that it's not a ultra premium hard bag. For the price we're paying here, between one thirty and one forty, that I'm seeing it at, it's a bit. I don't high. think it was a terrible buy, but you know, is it better than Corey and um, Ugadale? Probably not. Is it? But if you like that extra charred barrel, which I happen to actually really—that's why I bought it—is I really do appreciate that character. I really did enjoy it, uh, so I won't buy another bottle, but I. I'm gonna appreciate that one. It's not one that I bu I regret buying. Whereas I regret buying black. And if I bought an Ardbeg, I would have regretted that. Uh, I regretted buying um, Kelpie. Yep. Uh, regretted Perpetuum. So yep. better than half the recent releases. Yep. No, the, that's that's the consensus I've seen for most people saying exactly the same. That Scorch has actually stepped it up with the the last few releases. Like I tried the the black and I was like, eh, it's meh. It really. I've got an open bottle. I'm gonna at some point flip, I guess, to get my money back. Hey. I just think that was shit. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey Greg. Hey, you doing, Greg? You, did you hear me? Yep. Yep, we got gotcha. you. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, and your uh, your video seems well, pretty good too. I have the same too. problem. Same problem as last time. I don't have the vision of the chat, but maybe it's me. Uh, no. Now you have to have two windows open. So if I go on YouTube, I'm gonna. Yeah, but I'm gonna. Uh, I have only one screen, and I'm afraid, as I have connection issues, to slow down my uh, signal. So if I go into the comments, I'm afraid. Yeah, well, I think crash. Ken can just highlight the comments. So no, Ken I'm, can gonna, I'm not going to do that. If you need to, they'll pop up. Yeah, thank. Yeah, I can pop. Yeah, I see already a quality issue now. 
So I don't know if I'm gonna stay long. Let's go right now, so yeah. My image is crap. Hey, you look good to me. Uh, That's a big question. Is it better yeah, than Boogie? Um, for me, Not it's blurry. Fun boy, but if it doesn't chase those two, they're very good and good value. Yeah, exactly. Boogie and well, Corium. I mean, the th the thing is, though. It's it's a unique, different profile that not a lot of people do. So I think that's worth paying a little premium for. You know, 120 bucks versus I think Corey and Ugi can become 80 to 100 dollars in some markets. Mm -hmm. So I think Ugi tends to be a little cheaper, like 60s generally. But I know both of those, depending on where you're at, can vary in price a lot. So yeah, I, again, yeah. I always go back to. Around here too. Oogie's a good whiskey, but it's boring. It's sherry and peat. Everybody does sherry and peat. Corey's a little more interesting because it's got kind of like a spiciness to it that I don't think is not as common. But it's still, um, it's it's not that unique a whiskey either. I think Scorch is a little bit more unique. So you know, again, I wanted to give him a little bit of credit for that. I don't expect better, but I expect unique, and I expect it to be at least as good. And I think it is as good as those two for my money. You know, Donner, Ugi and Corey, for me, every time I see them, the price changes by 20, 30 bucks. I don't understand those two whiskeys. Yeah, and, I, and Donald actually has to get, uh, actually has to go to the LCBO. He has to go to the lube section first before he buys Ugi or Corey. I'm the same. I'm the same. That's around the same pricing here. But anyway, so I had that scorched. So I decided I wanted, if I could go blind with a bunch of hard bags and if I could actually figure out what they were. So I went blind with both batches of the 19, the scorched, the grooves, the drum, the 22 year old and the 25 year old. And, uh, Sorry, guys, I lost connection. <clears throat> Not a problem. And I was actually surprised, but I I didn't do very well. <laughs> I thought I was going <laughs> to nail it. Now, admittedly, I, didn't, I wasn't drinking water between pours. I wasn't taking my time. I was doing this while watching other stuff, so I wasn't you know, really focused. Now, I nailed the 25-year-old. I nailed the 22-year-old. Those were obviously older whiskeys. I got one of the 19-year-olds right, and then I mixed up the other three. So I, I couldn't even pick up the fact that the uh, Scorched had the higher proof because it was the only um, committee release in the group. The rest were non-committee releases, yep. so they were 46. And I kept going back and forth on Grooves versus Scorched, and it turns out I picked a 19-year-old and thought it was one of those. So, oh. yeah. Which is funny. Yeah. is actually the... Uh, the Ardbeg, uh, the batch 219, I've always thought that was the better of the two. But blind, man, I couldn't differentiate that one from the other, from two non-age stated ones. Whereas I nailed the batch, the 2019 um, A batch. I nailed it. I, I used to that. I said, yep, that's 19. Probably A. Because I remember A was a little less limiting, and this is not as limiting. I don't know what the heck happened with the other three, but... And then also, yeah, I mean, drum, I instantly picked up what that was, and I just put that aside, and I poured it out later because I didn't want to drink it. It's terrible. Yeah, and then I think I went in and I rated them. I think I rated them afterwards, and I want to say Scorched finished third. Oh. Third, no, fourth, fourth. It, it finished, okay. one of the 19s finished ahead of it, the 22 and 25 finished ahead. And then it finished after the, but it finished ahead of one of the 19s. So, and I've always been said I like grooves a lot. So it finished ahead of that. So, hmm. yep. No, I've I've heard good good reviews about the Scorch. I mean, that's it seems to be getting pretty good reviews. A lot better than their previous process, That's for sure. I said Eric Waite likes to drink his Scorch community release blended with the 10. To be okay. fair, I think all Ardbeg is better when blended with the 10, except the 20 plus stuff. And the, yeah, the 19s are iffy. Honest to God, Ardbeg 10 is the, is the best core whiskey they make. 
You might like Oogie and Corey because of the proof, because the proof better, but the, the Ardbeg 10 is a better quality whiskey, in my opinion. It's a good fucking whiskey. I'll always have it on myself. Always. If they sold that at Cast Drink, I don't think, uh, oh, I think that'd be the bottle everybody pick up. That would be amazing if that was Cast Drink. Yeah, it's a great whiskey. I, or they really should do a cast strength version. They could charge 150 bucks for it. People buy it. Yep, like Freud does with their 10 cast strength. Give us a Lagavulin and 16 cast strength, and give us a fucking hard big 10 cast strength. Oh, uh, Lagavulin and 16 cast strength. Whew. Yeah. Shut up and take my money. Fuck yeah. That'd be the. Meanwhile, shit. they're gonna release a 26 year old this year at 40. Two percent in its cast strength. Yeah, I saw that. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I went, no thanks. We'll see what the price is. Yeah, but still, forty-two oh, percent. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's low, but you know, if they could do that for five hundred or less, I'd be interested. Yeah. But I don't think it's going to be 500 or less. I think it's going to be closer to 800. Yeah, it's going to be crazy for us. And then I mean, they, they asked for 15. They, they wanted 1,500 for their 25 year when it first came out. Yeah, that's that's getting a bit rich. It's definitely not worth that. But. No. I'm just Guys, the delay is a bit frustrating, I'm afraid. So uh, I wonder if I'm not be better off in the chat, because this way I could see all the other comments, if you don't mind. Now, the video uh, for us is delayed as well, uh, Greg. Yeah. You hear the OBS me? video is always just yeah. kind of um, delayed. Yeah, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to sign off visually, but I'm going to be there in the chat, if you don't yeah, mind. No worries, mate. Okay. <laughs> I'm so good. I'll be back. All right, mate. I'll be back. Thanks Cheers. again. Mm. Yeah, this Port Charlotte is it's very good. It's not old. It's not anything, you know, super fancy, but it's just it's good. I wish more young whiskeys could be this good. Yeah. I feel like that's been the big problem I've had lately with the uh, a lot of the sherry cask stuff is the last little log of one that I had seen here was going for two. Yeah, it's a 25 year old Donald. And yeah, that sounds about right when you convert dollars to CAD. It was a 2015 yeah, release. Here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. Now, in Log of Ulan's slight defense, that was very heavily sherried. Like. Uh very heavy that had some that had some legit first fill sherry cask used that was a that, that was an expensive casking that was everything about that whiskey was expensive so hoping this one being lower proof i think it's all bourbon barrels i think this one should come in a lot lower priced yeah, but we'll see Fuck. but it is cast strength yeah. So it's going to be non-chill filtered. It's going to be, um, you know, all that good stuff. Yep. So. Yeah, that's that's the thing. You have to see what the price comes out. Well, God, I mean, they just released a 13-year-old cast strength, um, I think the fish eel, whatever it is. And the secondary on those, which is the only way you can buy them, if you're, in, if you're not in the UK, is like 300-something. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I, and in fact, I, I think I was looking at one of my places to get it. I bet you it's sold out, but let me see if I can still find it. Let's see here what they were asking. I mean, it was ridiculous. That's true. Brick Lady seems to be doing really good young stuff. Yep. 299 pounds. Oh, oh can I have one of them? Yeah. Nine and a half grand for Glen Scotia forty five. Now, he, he, yeah, they're, they're selling this for three hundred forty five 
dollars for a 13 year log of one. It's finished in wow. port though, which definitely has me wanting it. Oh, damn. Now, obviously, I'm going to get to try it because you know Mike's buying one. I fucking want one. I do too, but not for that price. That's, that's insane. One year older than the 12, and they want, and it's $200 more. It's insane. What's the AVV on it? Mm, I want to say 54. Okay. It's cast strength. Everything they do is cast strength. That's not part of their core. Yeah. Or yeah. the offerman bullshit. Or the travel retail. But like all their festival releases, all that stuff's always cast strength. I mean, Lagavulin does great whiskey. They just don't sell it to you if you're not in the UK. Yeah, you, you pay yeah, that's right. stupid they prices. Festivals and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the other thing is it's not all great. Most of it is. It most of it's really good. It's not all great though. That's the other problem I keep running into. Let me see here. Just, oh yeah. Windronic thirty nine year old if you're interested. That won't be cheap. A 39-year-old Glendrake. Oh, <laughs> that's definitely not going to be cheap. Just as my first Lafroy 10 cast strength festival, last couple of months. Me likey. <laughs> yeah. I've got to get me some. Got to get the fucking cast strength. One bags. How long do you think it takes to ship from New York to you when shipping from your US mail bag? Well, not too long at all. Um... Chris says he gets them in like a week if he ships them on like a Thursday and then it goes through on a Friday or something like that. So it shouldn't take too long. I'd, I'd say max two weeks. Max two weeks here, here, here's, a, here's a set they're selling of the um, the Fish Shield um, Lagavulin 12 and the Kalila 12. Sorry, Lagavulin 13 the Kalila 12 year for six, sorry, 553 USD. Fuck. And that's actually a better price than I was seeing before. Here they the shit they want three forty six for the uh yeah, that's about the same as the last place. Jeez. Twenty eighteen Jazz Fest, which is NAS is two thirty two. God, these prices are just crazy. The twenty twenty Jazz Fest is nine hundred and or sorry, seven sorry, seven hundred and sixty one. The twenty-two-year-old. I gotta start making notes of like the the loggable ones I actually would want to buy um, that Mike and I review, and then look at the prices because I can never remember which ones I thought were really good and which ones weren't. And I mean, they're so expensive to spend that kind of money. You have to do your research and be like, okay, yes, this is the yeah, one I want. No, yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm like, I can just never remember, like, oh, which one was it? The, was it the Jazz Fest, or was it the, the Fish Eel, or was it the Distiller Team pick? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And then which year was it? Like, it's, it, it all goes in one year and out the other for me, unless it's one of the truly epic bottles that he has. And those are age-dated. With the non-age-dated ones, I man, it gets hard for me to remember. Yeah, like, I can I usually remember age, but I can't remember if it's NAS. <clears throat> LCBO's got another bowl of McAllen 72 going up for sale. The bargain price of 85k. Hey, man. Okay, we'll ship in three weeks if the bag doesn't leach off any flavors. I feel like there's a couple of these lagable ones that I actually should pick up that, from here. But I, I don't know. I've spent too much money. I'm holding out. My, the next whiskey purchase I want to make is going to be the uh, Springbank Local Barley when that finally shows up here. And honestly, I could go six months without buying whiskey and be perfectly happy. Mike and I have yeah. got plenty of stuff to review. It's not like I need to buy whiskey to review. And no, honest to God, other, the, only, the only other thing that's going to cause me to buy whiskey is at some point um, the... 
Here's an interesting bottle. Uh, at some point, the um, the King of Kentucky is going to come out, and I want one of those. I, I want every one of those. Just, just seven, seven, eight, was so meh. This delivery is giving away as their free pour. Really? <laughs> there you go. I'm trying to think if Mike and I reviewed that one or not. That's something I need to do at some point is get a Google Doc together and with the scores Mike and I give on all of our reviews and have it out That's there. Yeah. Yep. 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 Yeah. It's one of those things we just need to do. We'll see here. So we did the um we did the 18 year old Feshiel from twenty eighteen. That was not very good if I recall. Mike did a review himself of just like, here's three logable on 18s, which one I buy. Shockingly, the one that goes for $700 is the one he'd buy. <laughs> the good one. <laughs> also, yeah, yeah, the, the, the one made the longest to go. Then it made, only made 2,000 bottles of, and he somehow has already acquired two in the last like six months. We haven't actually reviewed that many logable ones lately. That's actually, that's crazy. Like we haven't, uh, yeah, we haven't reviewed Lago in the last like two or three times we got together. I think for some reason we were just kind of like knocking other stuff out. There's 25 year. Um, there's a 12. Who cares about that? <laughs> Is your channel called Overwork Zombie or another name? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely another name, uh, Greg. It's uh, Top Shelf Whiskey, which I know you uh, comment on occasionally. I'm pretty sure you've uh, commented on before with us. Yeah, well, here's a 20 year old that we did. Yeah, we haven't. 19 year old we did. We reviewed an NAS log one. Like, okay, yeah, we did. We did review the. Um, now, the distillery exclusive 2017. Jeez. We did a fish heel. That's age dated. Huh. Mike and I've got a lot of work to do on our uh, hard bag reviews or log bone reviews. Didn't recognize me. Yeah. I look bigger when I'm not next to Mike. <laughs> I'm also not wearing a hat. And as a as a pale guy, I've learned over the years that you always wear a hat when you leave your home. Because you never know when you might get stuck in the sun for 30 seconds. Top shelf zombies. I love it, Donald. Got another Archman 17 on the way. Nice. Oh, Donald. I am excited about that. I, uh, I tell you what, that Irishman 17, Donald sent me a sample and I'm telling you, that is, that is really good. I mean, really good. That's like, if I were scoring it, it would be at least a 90, which is the score I give to like Springbank 21s and I mean, really expensive bottles. Yep, Donald. I tell people like I've, I've, I've often heard like somebody gets in my car like, why do you have six ball, you know, baseball caps in the back seat? And I went. In case five of them are I walk in the house with and don't bring back to the car, I have one. Yep. Uh, I'm I like, dude. I'm like, dude. I'm not. I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about somebody seeing that I'm bald. I'm not hiding my baldness. I, I think the fact that even with the baseball cap on, you can see I don't have hair on the sides. It's obvious. I'm trying to avoid sunburns. Yep, I'm exactly the same. That's why I wear my fucking flat caps or a fucking big wide brim cap or a fucking baseball cap. I have to wear fucking something, otherwise I just roast. 
instantly. Yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've kind of been lazy lately, like, or like if, I, if I'm not, you know, at home, like I always put on lotion in the morning that's like SPF 15. And, you know, it's genuinely not because I need, I'm thinking, oh my God, let me make my skin look pretty. Uh, you know, it's like, no, nah, it's got SPF 15 in it. It's, I mean, it's probably good for my, you know, skin anyway, but the SPF 15 is just enough, you know, to like where if I go outside for like five, 10 minutes, I'm not going to get burned. Yeah. And that's just I'm, something I need. I, like I need I'll put, that minimal. I'll put SPF 5000 on and I need, it just postpones it for another five, 10 minutes. <laughs> I still get cooked. Yep, I'm allergic to sunlight. Yeah, pretty much. That's all right. I can actually sit in the sun is this time, right in the smack bang of the middle of winter when it's fucking the sun just just pokes its fucking head out, and I can sit in the sun for 10, 15 minutes, and I'm good. Any more than that, I'm fucking cooking. Yeah, well, if I have a hat on, I can usually spend a little time in the sun. Oh, half an yeah. hour in the summer. I'm cooked. I'm fucking cooked. Oh, half an hour in the winter, I'm probably going to be cooked if I'm not wearing a hat. If I got a hat on, I'll be fine for half an hour in the winter. But summer, man, no. Again, and again, it's just the top of your head just so, like, on display to the sun. Like, it's directly it's hitting it. There's no... It gets fucking roasted. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and, like, you know, like, if you look at, like, your arm, for example, you've got hairs on your arm. Those kind of play a little bit of defense for you. Same with your legs. Same with, even your like even like your some of your back maybe has a little bit of hair even if they're thin ones. Your shoulders, your head, your balding, the, the forehead, the beard, the beard that protects a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, I've never I've never had a, a sunburn when I've got the when I've got the beard going. This probably I'd get burned, but honestly, if it gets maybe you know four days from now, probably wouldn't get burned. Yep. Like I just buzzed even this like yesterday. Like this, when my hair, even when my hair is actually long like this, it still fucking burns because it's but it's so thin up top that it still fucking burns. Yeah. It's it's a bit longer. Yeah, and, it's, and Greg's with us over here. He's like, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, he definitely. I'm, you can tell his complexion. He's he's not a man meant for uh, the the sun. Nope. Well, fucking Chris makes the thing. Have you have you set your white balance for your fucking camera? Like. <laughs> you want <are> fucking what? <laughs> I don't fucking tan. I only left five bottles in my table. Lagerful and eight year old two hundredths. Twelve year old two thousand eight. Edgedor twelve Caledonia, nice. Glen Murray two thousand ten heavily pleated PX. And the Bell Vinny seventeen year old rum cast. I'm sure the next brand. I can tell you what I won't pour, and that's logable in eight year. The rest of those sound delicious. I would go with the Caledonia. I'm thinking. Um, a Glen Morey heavily peated sounds incredible because I've always thought Glen Morey was sounds... underrated. I've never had peated. I yeah, don't know I'm if their peated's the good, but I, I would I would pour that because I've just never had Glen Morey peated. I would jump to try that one. Yeah, heavily pitted PX finish. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what yeah. to even say about that. Yeah, that sounds actually interesting. That sounds downright. Hey, sofa and you're still going. <laughs> Get to bed, Ken. I'm going too soon. I'm going too soon. What am I to? I'll hit the 10 hour mark and then I'll hit the sack. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> The UV in the middle high is so no joke. Your skull will burn quickly out there in the sun for the fucking oath. It does. It's oh yeah, Lopperman's another guy. Yeah, no beard. he's got the killer beard though. Go that, Greg. Do that. Fifty-five. Oh man, eight. Greg, that I'm sounds right. awesome. Yeah. That sounds yeah, that sounds delicious. I need to. We only have like a couple Glen Morries around here, and they're all just kind of like the twelve or whatever NAS, like low proof. Meh. But I, Glenn Morey was one of the first, like, exploration whiskeys I ever did when I was just first starting out. Like, 
this is back like in my early 20s. So we're talking, you know, a decade ago. And I remember just being like, yep. that's some damn good whiskey for cheap. Oh, yeah. I mean, fucking hell. That... I've got the 12 over there. I mean, it's all right. But for the price, fuck, it's actually like if you just want to. I always say to people, like, if, you, if you're short on budget and you just want to try some expressions, just grab those basic Algon Classic. Oh. The port, the sherry, the fucking Chardonnay, just grab those. No, that's, I've never yeah. seen those, any of them. I've oh, never really? seen them on the shelf here. I mean, yeah. They're not amazing, but they're great, cheap as shit. Yeah. Level entry stuff to, to try those different finishes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I mean, again. Sit down and, and grab something else. I, I've, wanted, I've been debating picking up the 25 year, but it's another one of those. The proof is just so low. And, you know, yeah. it's a good deal for the age statement, but I learned a while ago, don't buy whiskey for a good price for the age statement. If the proof sucks, if the distillery is not something you think you're going to like, you're, you're just, you're still paying a lot. It's, it, I don't, I hate this whole 150 bucks for a 25 year. That's great. And I'm like, well, if it's worth 150 bucks, man. It needs to have something fucking worth it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm not here to buy. I'm not paying for the age statement. I'm paying for good whiskey. The age statement should help me learn, should help me know that it's good. The key word being help. Like the court range, but the 2018 distillery exclusives were all great. I was there and was stunned. Yeah, Greg's just cheating. He gets to go just head on over like it's going to a different state oh, yeah. for us. Yeah, I know, right? Where Murray has some very nice special release bottles, and 18 is very good. Often overlooked because the core range is black, 40% filled in colored, and you get the 18, 42.7 non shield because of natural color. Yeah, that, that, that's what I've heard. A lot of people say, you know, if they get some of that good stuff, it's actually pretty damn good. Yeah, I've, I've never seen the, I've never seen an 18 here locally. So, I mean, again, I'm, I'm only a, on the list of people who really appreciates what Glenn Moray does, but like, for example, the 25 year old, it's a port finish, which I've, I'm well on, documented on record loving, but it's 43%. And yep. man, that's just, yeah, I'm painted. That's a heart, but it's 200 bucks. So I yeah. probably should just buy it, you know, 25 year old whiskey for 200 bucks. I should just do it. And if it's not great, then whatever. It's only two hundred bucks. But then, but then, Gloria, they also they have a twenty-one-year-old Portwood for one hundred and forty bucks. Yeah, I want to try. Then that they one. want seven hundred for the thirty-year. And all of a sudden, the value has gone away. And it I is also forty-three percent. It's good, even that's three-year-old. Eighteen is nice, but very less. Interesting to be honest, than many other Discord exclusives and they're fair price, but you have to go there. Well, there you go. When I go to fucking Scotland, I'm going to have to go to the fucking Glen Murray. Apparently, there's a Glen Moray Mastery. This is one fancy. Yeah, the Mastery is 52.3, but it's NAS. Yikes. Interesting. Hmm. I will not be buying the 30 or the mastery, but I might pick up that 25 year old for 200 bucks. That is a really good price for 25 year old whiskey. And Beware, some <laughs> of the methods of 25 were flawed. Go for it. Some of the batches of 25 were flawed. Uh, that's uh, it's not making me excited. That's when I like want to find out, like, I want to see a list, like here's the 1993, 94, 95, you know, different vintages. And the one that's the most expensive is the one I want to buy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, that's the one that you think is actually worth it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll get that one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. 
All right. One last floor with you, Ken. Hmm. Yep. I got 12 minutes. Yeah, yeah let me see here. I'm sticking. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to move up a, move up a little bit in price. Mm. Range of Age Vengeance. So, my experience in it is consult a blender for a French distillery. By the way, just finish the car fix to Sunday. Hard work. I can imagine. Oh, going with the Kalila. God damn. The, the best they've ever made. Absolutely the best. Unpeated, uh, NAS, 59.6%. This was made for taste and taste alone, is what they say on the uh, bottle. Yeah. This, um, I need to buy it. I, I think I have a backup of this, but I need another one. It's such a good whiskey. In fact, actually, I might have yeah. to go review this with Mike Damn. before we I drink any more. It was aged and refilled in rejuvenated American oak and Explodega European oak. And it is absolutely everything you could ever want from a Kalila. You can smell that sherry instantly. It's like red cherry berry bubble gum. With salted caramel. Mm. I'm just going to sniff my 18. Well, Greg, I mean, I, I I think NAS can be beautiful. And I, some of my favorite whiskeys are NAS. The problem is, as a consumer, it's hard to trust. And that's yeah. the problem a lot of these distilleries have created for themselves is that they've not done a good job of creating trust for us whiskey drinkers. Yep. But I don't uh, trust you to make good whiskey at if I, again, if I can't trust that at the price point I'm getting quality. It's a problem and I you know, and the other problem is, you know, if you keep re quality goes down as you continue this process, it becomes a bigger and bigger problem. And I think that's really where I think we run into these issues. You know, Abuna Aberlauer used to be really, really solid whiskey. Price went up, which was okay because it was really good whiskey and it was underpriced. Then the quality went down. And that's a problem. Uh, Greg, I, I, I don't know if your comment came before because of the delay here, but the uh, this Kalila is um, American oak, and they don't really just explain what it is, but um, refill and rejuvenated casks. Um, so I'm assuming those are just bourbon casks, and then it uses a bodega, ex-bodega European oak. So I'm guessing, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20% of this is, you know, old school, like serious quality uh, sherry casks has probably been used once and then the rest is going to be some american oak but i'm telling you the sherry comes through here it's not like a sherry bomb but it's here it's very nice yeah yeah you uh, you mentioned last time how you were kind of uh cheating the system there greg i like that and then donald on the 27 red breast um I haven't been back to it since uh, the first day. I drank a an excessive amount of that whiskey for my first for the neck pour. <laughs> I brought it. I brought it probably down to about here, <laughs> if that makes sense to you guys. And that, that's a fatter neck than this yep. is. Yep. Um, yep. But rejuvenated STR. I don't know what that means, dollar. Um, but I'm, I kind of came come back to this. It is very heavy wine finish, Donald, to the point of almost being a little excessive, and um, it makes it a little hard to kind of get past the that 
heavy wine port finish. Uh, yet it's not like a port bomb. I, I, the, I, I remember the batch one that uh, Matt sent me being a little bit uh, more balanced. That said, you know, that was, you know, just the first day pouring it. I'm probably going to leave it sitting there for a couple weeks and come back to it. And we'll see what happens. Uh, 450 I think it's probably priced around what it's worth. Um, again, batch one was at 500 This one came in at 400 here locally. So it was a one and one and a half proof less, I guess. Yep. Oh my goodness. If you ever want to really uh, get a review of this um, Kalila Stitch or Reserve, for anybody who's interested, um, check out Whiskey Bitch. Okay. She's got a review of this because it's that old. And they're actually, they're, there's still something floating out there. It's still available. People just, people are idiots and they didn't realize this was great whiskey apparently because this is great whiskey. That sounds interesting, Greg. Um, Balvenie always makes great whiskey. They're, the problem with Balvenie is the price and, uh, well, the proof. I really want to get a hold of one of those 21 year old um, single cask bourbon barrel uh, releases they did. So, so Donald, I did the 27 side by side with my Dare Gaelic, and I couldn't. You can't, you can't drink those side by side. The sherry is overwhelming and overpowering. <laughs> SR from Khalil. What's an SR? Single release, single release. Oh yeah, yeah. I I had a last year's um, official from Kalila. I was not enamored with it. Honestly, for outside of really old Kalilas, I like the the unpeated stuff like this. Oh yeah, man, that eating is fucking amazing. And this was, I mean, this is a 2013 release, by the way. And this is a almost a decade old bottling. So. Praise about the 15 single barrel sherry for me. It was way less interesting than the best bourbon ones. Um, well, I mean, again, the single barrels vary batch to batch. Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I've not seen any Kalila um, Diageo releases um, in a couple of years here in the States, uh, Greg. So, yeah, I haven't seen those. I know Simon did get one. He got the Kalila and he likes that one. Best release. Yeah, again, I mean, this is this is again, this is a 2013 Kalila special release, but uh, yeah, I haven't seen a lot of them here, so we've really not gotten a lot of the special releases uh, the last two years, and then the year before that, I don't know that Kalila did one. I don't think that was. I think the 18 was the year before that. I don't know. Oh, well, the Kalila did do the uh, 30 and the 35 year, and those are <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 The, the, th the 35 is truly special whiskey. Truly special whiskey. The 30 is damn good too, but the 35. Ooh. I can imagine. Masterclass destructing one of the ton 14001. Tasted some great 1970s cars that were amazing, but some were not. Interesting. Mm hmm. Absolutely great. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, really. I will say that um, 
I am a bit more of a sherry fan than a bourbon cask fan, so I do tend to like the new um, sherry cask about any 15s more than the Charles old Ashwood. 15s. We're four minutes oh, from eight minutes, Charles. 10 hours. Yep, almost 10 hours. Uh, with that said, though, Greg, I, I do think the Balvenie 15, those old bourbon cask ones, are... Um, if I were scoring, I think they're a better whiskey. Now, I did recently read... Uh, I, I can't remember... I think Jason Coates was telling me this, and he saw it on Serge's site, that some of the Balvenie 15-year sherry casts are actually pushing 20 years old. No, oh. they just don't disclose it. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it doesn't shock me because some of those some of those bottles are so dark, and they're not first fill anymore, but they're still that dark. I doesn't shock me. It's got some ice stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean some some of them have been a little light on the sherry, and some have been just bombs. So. And, you know, the 25-year-old uh, from Balvenny is also a single cask, and I've had some of those, and I I think it's really good whiskey, but I don't think it's that exemplary. But I do want to try the 21-year-old, because I think the price on those is around 300 and that's a good price for a Balvenny single cask. And, I mean, it's Balvenny, they're a premium brand, you pay extra for it. I, I would be okay with that price for the 21 Bourbon cast. Yeah. But uh, with the 21 port yeah. finish. The port wood. It's a, it's good whiskey, but it's a little low proof. Yeah, it's low are, you all, yeah. are yours 40 or 43 there, Ken? Um, where to put it? Yeah, Greg, I think I've got one right now, so... Because the, the bourbon ones they actually gave you the the dates on them. I've got I've got one unopened here. I think it's, it's sixteen years and some some change. So yeah, there's some there's some some good stuff. I actually uh, maybe a year and a half ago I found uh, like eight of them and I bought all eight and then uh, Mike bought six of them from me and I kept two. That's the problem. Fucking forty percent. Yeah, I think here in the states we get forty three. Yep. But even then, it's still... It's really well-made whiskey. It's well-finished. It's good stuff. But yeah, the proof is just... Oh, yeah. It, it's nice. But what you pay for it and being 40% is just lacking. It just... Mm -hmm. it comes across the yep. Yeah. It would definitely be so much nicer if it had some punch to it. Well, it's it's not even the punch. It's just the mouthfeel. It's thin. Well, that's what I mean. More punch, more ABV to have, give that viscosity and get some depth to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, needs, it needs the creaminess. Yeah. Oh, dude, Greg, I I bet. Valvini's one of those distilleries. I wish we put out some like. I don't know. The, the problem is. Oh, man, he's so expensive. They're like, even if they put out some cool stuff, you would, you just pay too much for it. Yeah, like we were saying earlier on the, on the streams, like the the price of the stuff has just gone through the fucking roof for the Belvinis. Yeah, Donner. I mean, those fifteens are just they're hit and miss. Um, I picked up a couple last year for like seventy bucks a piece. It was a. Long story, but there was a pricing uh, error, and uh, I took advantage. And um, that those were good. I wish I'd actually bought more. I should have just cleared the shelf. Just be like, I'm taking all of them. I agree, Donald. I, I bring it up often, and people kind of like look at me like I'm weird. I'm like, now feels to me one of the most important aspects of a whiskey. It has to if it. Just feels like fucking water, I and mean, it's just, yeah, just got nothing to carry. I'm here to sip on whiskey. I'm not here to just drink it. 
Yeah, I, I exactly. got on the stream. I got on the stream like an hour and forty minutes ago. I'm on my third glass of whiskey. Like I'm not. Yeah, I'm going for ten hours, and I'm I'm fucking sober. You know, I'm not here to fucking get smashed. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit of a buzz because this is sixty percent, and the last one was sixty percent. <laughs> <laughs> but like again, my goal is not to get hammered. I like to get a nice little buzz, you know, when I'm drinking. I don't want to get all down drunk or something. And if I do, that's fine. I don't. I'm not somebody's going to judge others or myself if I do get a little drunk. But the goal is to sit there, nah. enjoy, appreciate, and enjoy. exactly, exactly, and. Again, if, if you're drinking something and you just are loving it and you keep going back, that's cool. Part of why I keep going back is because it's rich, it's creamy, it's viscous. It's I want that feeling on my tongue again. Like it's it's so nice. Yeah, like that that Springbank, that fucking eight year old, that festival release. Oh my god, it was that, so rich and oily. Oh yeah, For an we're, I mean, again, I just want to get I want to get hammered, man. I'll be honest. I'll drink beer, man. Like, I'd rather drink beer than whiskey. Well, and get yeah. I had two glasses of cheap fucking cask wine with my dinner, and I had a buzz on the second glass, and I was like, "Yeah, this is good. I want to keep going." <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I went to the whiskey, like, and the buzz went. <laughs> yeah, like if I'm just trying to drink heavily and quickly, I'd rather drink beer because I can just pound beers. It's cold, it's oh, yeah. wet, and it's refreshing. Whiskey's I'll, something you're I'll, supposed I'll, to. Spend some time with and enjoy exactly. Yep, there's plenty of fucking beers I can definitely smash away and get fucking maggoted. Done that, man. Yeah, Greg. I mean, the quality of whiskey's gone downhill, and uh, they're less picky about again. In the past, when they charged the premium price, they were really trying to justify it and today they're they're not it's just yep. what it is yep like this is an nis fucking glen scotia yeah i did my best on the, the best research i could get was that Khalila started doing um Unpeated whiskey again in like 98 or 99. So this 2013, the oldest whiskey that could be in here is 14 years, unless they had like some 70s distillate from back when they used to do it back then. I doubt that. Um, but I tell you what, they just killed it with this thing. And I really am hoping we get some 25, 30 year old unpeated Kalila at Castring. Uh, it's it's going to be epic. Oh, that would be amazing. Tenant blonde beer when visiting Scotland last time. Nice. Accidentally mixed some of that Belvini 15 sherry with a bullet cast train batch too. Okay. There you go. I'm not gonna lie. Nothing wrong with those fucking I like sherry finished bourbon. Look. I like sherry finished bourbon a lot. Well, I'm talking to Donner, man. Donner had that uh, Bardstown um, cherry bomb. That thing yeah. was epic. Have you seen those, uh, Ken? The the, the uh, Bardstown um, sherry uh, finished bourbon. I haven't seen them here. No, we don't get it. Well, you know, you know, you're gonna see it locally, but have you seen them on like any anywhere like the streams or reviews? Yeah, I've heard of people talking about them and, and talking about it. Yeah, the, port the sherry stuff, one, right? And the sherry stuff. Yeah, people talking about it's them. It's so dark. It's insane. Yeah. I mean, it's black. It's fucking, yeah, it's crazy dark. Tried their first Unpeter Kalila was nice. I have to say, I also like the Ardbeg Lazda. Maybe more than the old legendary 17 year old. Wow, that's high praise for the Blazda. Greg, what was the uh, first Unpeter Kalila? Are you talking yeah. about the, um, the, uh, the, the new ones from the you know post uh, like late nineties. You're talking about you know back. I think they made some unpeated back in like the sixties or seventies. Oh okay. 
God, it's just everything about this whiskey is just so good. Six thirty in the morning, the birds are starting to chirp. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> we. As I recall, though, the Ardbeg um, Glasda is unpeated. I, I think it's actually. I think that one still had like five or eight ppm or something. It was kind of. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I could. I could be. So I got the 19 year old batch too. Ardbeg. Oh, nice. Yep, Frederick hooked me up. I would love to love to hear your thoughts on that one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I got the long ray 21 year old. Well, which was that the 2019 or 2020? Uh, it doesn't say. I'll have to ask Frederick. Okay. But yeah, he definitely hooked me up with some fucking good samples. And that fucking that eight year old spring banger, that that's that's my best dram of the night. What was the best dram, sorry? That spring bank eight year old. Oh yeah, yeah. And spring bank and unpeated. I've I've never had a spring bank I didn't love. Um Hazel Burns I've had that I didn't love. Long rows I've had that I didn't love, but spring bank nothing with that spring bank label has ever disappointed me. I know a lot of people don't like the Springbank 15, but I like it. I don't love that. That's my least favorite, but it's still, I mean, it's still a good whiskey. It's just. Oh, yeah, it's still things. good, but I haven't had too many Springbanks to compare it against. So, but from yeah, what I. My problem with that one is I, I like the 10 better. And it's kind of hard to be super excited about a whiskey when you like the 10 better. Yeah. Yeah. I've only had a small sample of the 10, so I haven't been able to. Do a side by side one. I mean, it's not. I don't know. If, I honestly, God, I don't know what, if, what I would even say. Side by side or blind. It's just. It tends a better whiskey. I just. It. It is. It just yeah. is. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's, it's a better whiskey. Yeah, it'll eventually get here. It just takes its time. <laughs> Stuff will eventually get here. Springbank 15, yeah, I, as good as your H 15. I mean, I like well, the Springbank 15. It's good. The other thing with Springbank 15 is th there's huge batch variation. Um, and that's well, the another I'm issue. Pretty damn good. I like it. And, and it, it's just, it, it's part of Springbank, but I just, the sulfur, funky, sherry note is not something I love. I've got some 15s I like more than others. I, I've got multiple Spring Big 15s here, by the way, that are all open. So yeah. it's not well, like I'm yeah, speaking my, out of my butt. Isn't that sulfury? Isn't that sulfury? It's got that funk. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not it's not sulfury. Yeah. Well, and, and Greg just made the point that Spring Big 10 has a lot of batch I agree. Um, yeah. Every... And I'll be honest, the most recent Springbank 10s that I've had are better than the ones I used to have. Although, I have a black box and I have a, a non-black box. They're both delicious. I've got black box and, you know, new box 10s and 15s right now. Um, that said, the newest, the most recent batch of the 10 I've purchased is so smoky. Oh, my goodness. It's so smoky. I like the sound of that. It's not it's like it's not like it's this over the top peat. It's just smoky. No, just smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, beautiful smoke. Oh my god, Ken, you got to get over to the states. Come over, come over here. We will. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll set you out straight. Of the fucking country. If I could get out of this fucking country. <laughs> <I'm in here. laughs> oh my god, I'm itching, itching to get out of here. Now, now you've got me wanting to go drink the Springbank 10 instead of this Khalil, and I, this Khalil is like an absolute masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, just, just sit with that. <laughs> I've got a couple more sips of this, and I'll fucking, I better call it quits and get, mm. get, get fucking sleep. Yeah, I mean, this is, zombie. this is a legit, this, this might be a 90 out of 100 for me as well. Many of the early ones are almost unpeated and fully bourbon matured. Other had rum cask in it. Made my, 
Don't mix bourbon barrel rum. Then move to half sherry, half bourbon, slightly smoky, etc. Yeah. Yeah, the ones I've got are definitely sherry, uh, bourbon. Uh, I don't have anything super old. I've just got the uh, black. I mean, I've had a couple different of the current batches, and they're all close. But this most recent batch I picked up, which when I say most recent, I mean most recent I've picked up because distribution's crazy. It's super smoky. No, we can't leave, Don. We can't leave. We're fucked. We've got a bubble between here and New Zealand. That's it. But we can't get out of the fucking country. There's no flights. Not less, you know, you fucking need it for your work or you're a fucking diplomat or some bullshit. Or you're a rich bastard and you can pay bastards to get out. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the first time I think I've not like hopped on your stream before like noon, just like said, hey, I don't think I got on your stream till like four o'clock. I was so busy today. I mean, I try not to be that busy, man. But God, it, this it, it, it get. I mean, this last couple of weeks myself being fucking crazy. I went away, had a full work day, and here you are, still not. Yeah, that's that's normal. People have a whole night's sleep. They go to work, and they come back, and I'm still fucking going. <laughs> There's not many whiskey ch channels you can say that fucking do that. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I mean, this is legitimately three, $400 whiskey. And these can still be found for 100 bucks. What? These can be found for 100, 150 bucks range. Oh, uh, if you can tell me where there is one that'll fucking ship to Florida, let me fucking know. Um, yeah, I think I actually know where one is. Oh fuck yeah, hook me up, Greg. Unfortunately, I am 36 years old, and I did not know about Springbank until like five years ago. So. <laughs> I unfortunately have not gotten to try some of those epic uh, whiskeys of the past. I've dabbled on a few uh, older bottles, but uh, unfortunately, I just haven't had the chance to really get into that those epic ones. And with today's prices, even with what I spent, I, I couldn't. Yeah. Uh, They're a bit. I, I just I, I if I could get a list of like you know here's the ten spring banks you need to find at any price and do it i'd probably you know slowly knock them down but there's 50 i want to try it's not 100 it's just it's so tough i found a place uh yesterday that had a bunch of spring banks i really want and i was looking online and seeing the scores and i was just like i they're not scoring high enough for me to justify these prices and the shipping and all that but God, I want every bottle these guys have. And they weren't crazy. They weren't like ridiculous overpriced. They were just, they were spring bank geek price to where like, you're not getting the, a value. I was just like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of yeah. happy with Glen Scotia at the moment. You can get really good fucking whiskey and it's not stupidly overpriced. Whereas the spring banks are getting, getting fucking hard. Oh, Greg, I, I know. Well, uh, trust me. When I first got into Springbank, we got all these single cast bottlings over here that were just to freaking die for it. I bought a couple, you know, that they were some of the most expensive bottles I've ever bought. And I just was like, oh, this is great. Springbank's phenomenal. I'm just going to keep buying these Springbanks. And then now you can't get anything like that. It's not, it doesn't exist. That's five years ago. I'm sure those old ones were insane. Uh, Oh, I was man. actually, I was looking at, I think it was a, it was an old Springbank 25 from around that era that I found for like three or 5,000. I can't remember now. And I was oh, like, you know what? No way. Fuck. Nice. Nice. 
Yep. That's definitely a... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'll be honest. I, uh, I, I'm definitely going to be looking into picking up a couple Springbank auction price things here in the next little bit. Mike and I have got to do... We, we've got to get our Patreon going. We've got some some ideas of how we can kind of uh, supplement our uh, whiskey buying uh, in a real aggressive and fast way with uh, Patreon. That will be uh, worth it for the Patreons and worth it for us, but we've got to figure that out first. Yep. Nah, that's it. Get the old fucking lotto and just hunt those fucking bottles down for sure. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I think I've told you this, Kim, but our goal is basically we're going to kind of do a um, whiskey club. And yeah, be awesome. they'll buy our bottles. Essentially, we keep, you know, six ounces, whatever it is, and uh, yep. we and ship the rest off. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. And uh, I'm sorry. We uh, we hand deliver the rest of it. You hand deliver <laughs> samples to prospective Exactly, patrons. exactly. Yep. Yeah, Charles is like, dude, I'm, I'm waiting on it, man. Like, it, 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 it's it's happening. We just got to figure it out. The other problem is where we've run into is in the last, like, five, six months, it's become so hard to buy whiskey online. Like, everybody's sold out of everything. And so to be able to, like, yeah, offer good home. value, it's just... No one can travel. Everyone's got disposable income. They're at home. Want to get fucking... Have some drams and, yeah, buy that shit up. They're also, they're investing in it. It's just... It's gotten crazy. So yeah. it's... so. Uh, we were kind of ready to like jump in on this. And then Mike's like, dude, I don't think we can spend that kind of money every month and get good whiskey. And I'm like, of course we, well, actually you're kind of right. Shit. Oh, Donald. Damn. And I know like a woman that's distilled from the eighties. Nice. Is that white horse fucking era of shit? I think eighties is white horse era. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Charles. Yeah. But yeah, it, Glen Scotia. Yep, thank God for Glen Scotia. Glen Scotia's doing good stuff. The problem is Glen Scotia's not doing great stuff. Oh my god, that Edridor Caledonia is so good. Bottle 19 to 10, 12, by the way. Ooh, old bottle of it. Nice. Good morning, Samuel. Yeah. Is that the European dating or is that American dating there, uh, Greg? Yeah, I was going to say, which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> is that 2019 or 2012? Yeah, I'm guessing 2012. I don't know. I feel like if I throw the by the way in there, he may be saying, hey, this is actually not that old. I don't know. And I've got it's only lucky, off. Greg, if she shares. Yeah, that's right. 2012. Okay. Are you? <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. Yeah, whiskey was better. I remember when I first got like into watching Ralphie, and I'm just like, Ralphie, you stupid mother ever. Come on. <laughs> Technology's better. Research is better. We are better at everything in 2017 than we were, were in yeah, 1970. Yeah. How the hell are you telling me that whiskey is so much better back in the day? And then so I've been drinking more and more whiskey and I'm discovering, oh, trees are not better. Mm. Demand is higher and the quality is going out because they're mass producing it. And it's not about the global God, banks and all of that other bullshit that Ralphie says. It's very simple. Supply and demand. People want old whiskey and they want as much as they can get. And distillers yep. are cranking it out as fast as they can. They're not waiting for it to be ready. No. I mean... At the casks as well. They're just not getting really, really... It's getting harder and harder to get those good casks. Well, they're not waiting to make leaving good it. casks. Yeah, they're not leaving them and letting us sitting in those casks. Well, also, deforestation. We don't have old world trees. We don't have big ass trees anymore. The big no. trees made better whiskey. Good morning. I heard that. He had a good old sneezing fit. Yeah. Cat has a Yeah. Oh, 
something. It hasn't moved. It got down to like two degrees, it feels like, I reckon. Oh, 87 to still, Donald. That's not as exciting. Yeah, you want early 80s. White horse era. Yeah. I would, I think, I would go for a fucking lagavulin uh, white horse. Yeah, I think one of the most like exceptionally well thought of lagavulins of all time is the uh, 1985 uh, um, distilled 21 year old. They released whatever 85 plus 21 is. Wow. It'd be 2006, but. Um, yep. I want. Well, those who say whiskeys before 2010 were crap or false. Some were not good, but they were a lot using older content and fair pleasure before too much demand loaded it and sanitized them. Yeah. I've never heard anybody say whiskey before 2010 was crap. I think the opposite's the truth. No. Yeah. Exactly. Feels like 2.5. What weird email. Mass check. Feel free to ask me sugar sugar kitty. I I am definitely not great at math. Uh, Ignore what I do for a living, but I'm still not great at math. Wolfie? I don't know what kind of Love man, you're talking about like the, the, the fan sound on my computer right now, or like uh, earlier when it was doing like the um, lawnmower sound. That's what that is. Extra. Nice. Pay bonus. Can I give myself a bonus? <laughs> I think I have just enough here for Mike and I to review this bottle, so I think I'm done uh, drinking out of this one. Yeah, I think bottles are nice, dead. But he'll turn around and say it was just heat back plus L's. That yep. The fan noise is definitely quieting down. It hasn't turned into that fucking uh, takeoff. No, it hasn't done that in a while. Now, now, Charles, I'm a financial expert working in accounting. Cats the come treasury. with a in math comp science degree. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll get my cat to do the fucking end of financial reports. <laughs> I got people for that now, man. It's good. It's awesome. Yeah, it's end of financial year now. (laughs) Gotta do all that shit. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, we're... We just closed this giant deal. And we're closing our quarter, too. It's just... Yeah. Unless I'm drinking with you tonight, because I don't think I'm going to be able to drink the rest of the week. Nah, you'll be stuck doing that fucking shit, tearing your fucking hair out. <laughs> Figuratively. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Charles. Jim! Finally. Yeah, up, watching you at work. Watching you at work is a horrible tease. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Especially, Especially when, when I don't you have headphones on. Headphones. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah, what I said to you earlier. You need to go put a fucking set in your car so you can take them to fucking work. Yep. Yeah, you need to be prepared. There's there's a backup in case I forget these ones. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even if you're just fucking stupid earbud fucking things. You guys were talking about Kalila. I don't have any old Kalila, but I do have some young Kalila. If this thing will ever defuzz itself. Old particular? 
Well, in particular, this is this is this is uh, Douglas Mining Gold. In particular, it's the uh, the elements collection. Too high, I'm too low, almost. <laughs> nice tree. What's the ABV on that? This is eight year old. Single cask and the ABV is 59.8. Nice. And I bought this after I got to try a sample of it uh, last weekend. And holy smokes, <laughs> it blew the 12 out of the water. Is it peated? It just, all the oh, it's peated, and all of the flavors are just amped up way up yeah. because it's cask strength. Try to go back for a mathematical economics degree on top of my finance one. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> my brain hurts. Thinking about that. <clears throat> yeah, it, hey, Greg. No, uh, where my brain hurt was when the teacher sent us our lectures, and they were MIT lectures from the '80s in black and white. Oh fuck. And so. That sounds bad, but we haven't explained why it's bad. The teacher wrote all of the equations and everything he did in, on, the, on a whiteboard. Or a chalkboard, sorry, chalkboard. And he used two yeah. different colors of chalk, black and white. What? Yeah, yeah. Now, on like maybe a green chalkboard, black and white may have looked good. Yeah. But on a black and white video of it you can barely distinguish black from the chalkboard itself Be right back and i was just uh, like this is ridiculous and then so i get to the first exam and i should have gotten like a 75 on that test i was not prepared enough i wasn't ready but i, I should have got like a 75 i got like a 56 because i missed the first three questions because i just read them wrong and like you click the button and the answer and you're done. You can't go back. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. And then when I finally figure out what I did wrong, I'm like, oh my God, I know the answer to all those. Jesus, I'm just a freaking moron. And so I dropped the class and I just decided, you know what? I tried going back to school. I'm just going to stick with my finance degree. But I, I legitimately put in some real effort to try to, you know, do that. The problem was I had been so long. I hadn't take, I was, probably 25 and I took pre-calculus when I was 15 yeah yeah um, that, that's one of those fucking things that you just it's like a muscle you just have to fucking exercise that shit and otherwise it just gets rusty as fuck yep I mean and hell I, I actually even Hell, every now and then I actually use calculus in what I do today. <laughs> but I use, you know, I, I occasionally do use derivatives and stuff, but n some of the other stuff that comes in with calc, I just, I don't remember any of that shit. No, oh, trust me, Charles, with, with what I was making at 25, I was not overachieving. I was just simply... Aiming for like a living income. So I was sitting here going. I was sitting here going. Why does this look so crappy? And then I finally figured out I got steam running in the background. Up auto update. And I'm like, right, knock that shit off. Oh. <laughs> Sucking <laughs> my funny. bandwidth. Yeah. <sighs> so I, we, we need to. I need to crank up my fucking VR headset so we can go into fucking mm. bridge. Bridge game and fucking have a go at that. What are you drink? Oh, sorry, yeah, you got old peculiar, and you're drinking the Glen Scotia double cask there, Ken. Right. Yeah. yeah. I haven't actually opened this. I just pulled this out to show you guys. Pop it open, man. I'm like, I'm like what the fuck I'm doing? Well, drink it, buddy. 
Put it in glass. Yeah, I'm not ready to open it yet. Honestly, if I'm going to open anything, it's going to be this guy. But oh, I yeah, dude. Got. Why don't you drink the better stuff and leave the crap for later? Because I've been trying to get my hands on this bottle for like two years. Because once it disappeared off the shelf, it took like two years for them to restock it. This is this is the green spot Lilgo Barton. Yeah, I have one. I don't I don't care for it at all. Oh, that's fine. Take it yeah. yeah. Oh, I love it. It's good stuff. The other bottle I picked up picked up yesterday was local. Hmm. This is the local distillery in Everett, Massachusetts. This is. I mean, it's 80 proof, but it's pot still. 100% malted barley. It's a double distilled and handmade copper pot still. It's an aged in northern oak barrels to produce complex notes of honey, banana, pear, and a smooth vanilla finish. And it's not so filtered. The only problem is they don't tell you how long they age it. So, who knows? <laughs> but I figure it's worth a try. I'm trying to trying to find find the little stories that actually don't suck. <laughs> There's gotta be a about any one or two. <laughs> Just put a hit out of you on that statement. <laughs> All right, let me go grab a glass. I'll be right back. Um, Donald knows my opinion on that particular bottle, Charles. Uh, I was not impressed at all by that whiskey. I genuinely don't understand the love of that thing. It's Doesn't gel with it. young. It's overly spicy. The it's unrefined as hell. I don't get overly spicy. I don't, I don't like it. I can taste it. I went and grabbed mm. another bottle. It's just, it's, yeah, it's not for me. But, yeah, you know, and each their own. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. Well, Charles makes point. He hasn't been impressed with the spots. And, you know, that's kind of true, too. Yeah, well, some people aren't. Yeah. I don't There's mind. honestly not a spot that I've had that I would buy again. They're just too expensive for mediocre whiskey. Now, I haven't had the blue. And, um, I haven't had the blue. Yeah. And, and you know, the, I, I, I liked the red. I didn't like the price on the red. I liked, um, I didn't like the green or yellow at all. At all. I don't mind the yellow. Yeah, and Greg kind of makes one. It's yeah, like, the, Greg. It's, it's it's too whiny, but also like it it tastes also too whiny, but it's also it, to me it comes off younger than the regular green spot on top of that wine and yeah okay. yeah and yeah again the yellow is much better, but it's it's 110, 120 bucks. It's mm. way too expensive. Yeah, I have the regular yeah. green spot. Now I have this one. The uh, Chateau Montalena, I haven't tried, but I could find that one by throwing a stone. That from what, I don't I don't know why that is. That one you can find with your eyes closed. This one, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, the uh, Montalay has been the easier one for me to find. That's like everywhere here. The yellow, I tried at the tasting, and I think. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. The. Um, no, no, the one you've got was the one I, I found everywhere. And then there's Montelay just showed up recently. For a while there, I couldn't find that one. And not yeah, a the other spot I had of the tasting. And yeah, I think I, I remember Donald saying that. The other spot I tried at the tasting, I think between the fact that it was like 9.30 in the morning and the fact that it was a part of a huge tasting that included green spot, yellow spot, Red Breast 12, Red Breast Style, and I think Red Breast 15. I, I kind of don't remember anything about it, and Red had just come out, so I haven't tried Red. I'd like to try Blue, but that hasn't happened yet either. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I, I want to try Blue. And then Donald says he's not a fan of the Red. I, I like the Red. Yeah. I didn't like it for the price. And I think that's the question. is Was it the price, or was it the... So I thought like it had a nice little sherry note to it that was something old, that added to the spot range that they don't usually have. But it definitely wasn't special. Yep. Yeah, Greg, funny that you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> Greg is a, 
Speaking of undisclosed Irish. Greg is a big fan of the rum uh, finishing. That's interesting. Yeah. We're going to have to, at some point, uh, have a chat, Greg, on the, uh, the, the rum topic. So I'm generally not a big rum cask finished fan, but there's been a few that really kind of bucked the trend. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the same kind of boat. I mean, I find it's it's one of those ones that's very hit and miss. The, yeah. That Glen's Ocean rum cast, the Caribbean rum cast, I don't mind that. That's not bad. Masala cast didn't work so well with the pot still. That's oh, that's right. That was uh, the red. The red was Marsala. It's not um sherry. I, I'd forgotten that. Uh, uh, Marsala's a weird. Uh, Marsala's just a weird wine finish for me in general. That Bushmills Causeway 2006 Causeway Marsala. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good. That they did well. They did that really well. I got. I'm gonna have to go find another bottle. Of this. I'm gonna. I did, I did the same thing last night with Ardbeg 22 year. The difference is this is so cheap that I I will buy one drunk. An Ardbeg 22 year old, I will you not gotta, you even. Gotta up, you're going to hook me up with that fucking thing. Uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I I knew a couple places that had them, so. I want one. Yeah. This is just. I mean, this is legitimately one of the best whiskeys. No, I definitely want one. Under three hundred dollars that exists. I mean, it's just so yeah. good. Yep, yep. A beautiful combination of just a—it's just enough sherry. I mean, again, you see the color. I mean, this isn't like some kind of the sherry yeah. bottle, but it's just just enough sherry where it's there with that caramel salted. There's the fan. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Love the Glen's Coast 2019 festival, for instance. In, in your yeah, industry. I've uh, I've, I've 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 been passing on the Glen Scotia festivals just because I've just spent so much money on whiskey, and it's just Glen Scotia is not one I'm jumping on. Somebody, as you guys can just see, how my lights just turned off there. That was not me. Yeah. That was one of my neighbors. <laughs> Still having that fight. <laughs> yep. I'll be honest. I'm 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 waiting for them to buy. I, they're the ones who are going to call the landlord, not me. Oh, they turned my fan on too. No, I don't need the fan. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes I make these comments, and I just I, I ponder if people are believing me when I say these things. Like that, someone who's just that controlling their hands. Like fucking frequency and shit, and on the same wire. Now we have on video, legit. Uh, Charles, no, this Kalila is the Stitchel Reserve, which came out before the 15 and the 17. It's an older uh, release from 2009. That Masala kind of killed its body and was not long finished. It was about 150 euros. Um, and I think I've, I've talked about this on Discord, Charles. This is this is my favorite Kalila uh, outside of the 30 and the 35. This is better than. Some really, really epic Kalilas I've had. This is, in fact, it's better than the 23 year old Kalila um, Gordon McPhailin I have, which is first fill sherry casks. This is better. How does it compare with the 18 unpainted? Oh, way better. Not even close. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, not even close. I want, I want, I want, I want. I, I mm. thought they were close, and then I actually I poured the, the uh, 18 one night and I was drinking it, and I'm going, this is good. And I thought I had poured the stitchel. I got them the, the same box basically. I just poured it. And I'm, I'm like, it's, it's it's missing something. And I wasn't even it, remotely thinking, oh, this is older. I was thinking, no, it's just missing like the the caramel, the salted caramel candy. Doesn't quite do something. I, I couldn't even I, I honestly didn't even know this one had sherry in it at the time. I just knew this was delicious and that, that one. And the 18 was delicious, but I'm like, no, it's just not as good. And then I finally looked back and I went, oh, it's not the stencil. And the stencil is really that much better. Damn. Wow. Hmm. 
Because I just assumed the 18 was, I actually, in my head, the 18 was the better whiskey because it's 18 years old. It's got to be better, right? And then I thought I was drinking the Stitzel and I had the 18. I'm like, this is not that good. So here's a question for you, Greg. Have you tried the the recent eight-year-old lug of ours, not the 2016 celebratory one? There's not a big difference there, Ken. There isn't? Okay. No. I, it was. I, I don't like the lug of one uh, eight-year-old at all, personally. It's just me. I'm not a huge fan of it, I uh, must admit. Um um you know what uh greg let me uh, let me see if i can answer that question patty for Kalila, a bottle of caden head a few years back unbeatable stuff very close to port ellen in my oh okay Patty for caden head all right actually i've seen that on a couple of sites <laughs> That's a 94 Caden head, yep. Let's find out. Let's do it. Oh, that is 84. Damn. I didn't actually, I wasn't sure. <laughs> yeah, so Greg, yeah, I actually just picked this up a month or so ago. It's, uh, it's pretty good. Um, it's pretty, pretty good. Uh, but I don't know that it, um, I wouldn't put this over the 30 five-year-old that they do yeah I, I just picked this up maybe three months two three months ago no a month and a half ago i picked this up in the last like six seven eight weeks um it was a uh, i was in louisville kentucky uh doing a barrel pick with uh, mash and drum um my bourbon journey and um i was he she wines bobby and uh we were in a Urban shop and Jason goes, Hey, did you look at the scotches over there? And I looked over and I was like, God, those are some expensive whiskeys. And then I saw this and I went, Ooh. And it was uh it's not cheap, but I was like, 34 year old Cleela? Yeah, I should probably it, it's pretty darn good, Greg. I don't know if uh I don't know which one this is. It's fifty one point oh percent. Um 204 bottles. It's it's good whiskey. Very good whiskey. I am I'm not upset with the purchase. Nice. Wish it had been cheaper, but you know what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> well, you know the funny thing is. I've learned that you can negotiate on hard to get like obscure scotches that are super expensive at certain stores. But I was in a store that had that like sold whiskey and leather bags, and I was pretty sure they made their money off the leather bags. <laughs> <laughs> they were obscenely expensive, like holy god! So I was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to negotiate down a price on a whiskey, so just paid it. Can you have it without the fucking leather bag? <laughs> <laughs> when I tried for my 50th birthday, I sit down in Cadenay's London shop. I was allowed to put some and some Blair Ethel 26 into the lease of the for my birthday. Nice. Okay, yeah, so. I opened this the day I bought it. I, I don't have to try it. Yeah, I have a rule. If I haven't drank it, I open it the second I walk in my door. If I buy 10 bottles, I, op I open all 10. I don't drink them always the first night, but I open them just as a little thing. Uh, Greg, I think I paid five fifty for it. Well, that's my phone's going to die here. I want to say it was about 550 Yep. Pulled it on all night. It must be early in the morning for you. They, they closed our pubs and kicked everyone out. Yep, it is currently quarter past seven in the morning. 
My son. I have to up. check it. it. It could have been six hundred. It was definitely no more than six fifty. That was the most I would have paid. It was. I want to say five fifty, but it could have been six fifty. Nice. But again, I think five fifty is what I paid, but it could have been six. Hey, James. I was going to kill the stream in about six hours, then it went to eight hours, and then ten hours, and now it's 11 hours. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well hit it. Hey, hey, James. You're going to 12. At this rate. Sorry, Kilko. Well, I can't, because <laughs> then YouTube will fucking kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Won't record yeah, it anymore. Kill it. <laughs> you just kill it at 11 hours and 55 minutes, and then you can start another one. You go. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get some. I'm sleep. kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm surprised you lasted this long. You were tired I'm four hours ago. This long. Yeah, I know. I've been fucking tired the whole night. Mm. As I said, I'm waiting for you to fall asleep and tip onto your chair backwards. <laughs> nah, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Another short style stream, all the way into Burn Battalion and all. Yep, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Greg. This is, this is definitely, I think this is my second favorite Cadenhead I own, which is saying a lot. Because I own, I think I, only Springbank do I own more of bottles than Cadenhead. Nice. Um, which is kind of crazy to think, how that I say it. Yeah, I yeah. own a lot of Cadenhead. Well, so I've been just singing this thing's praises here. <laughs> let's uh, let's kill it and let's uh, pour this Cadenhead. Zombie acoplic stream and just won't die. And not to mention, little Ori fell asleep and had a nap. Yeah, that's true. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're in her married bed. <sighs> yeah. Well, this isn't too bad. This green spot. I'm enjoying it. It's not Wowie yeah, it's yet, but it's first pour. Yeah. It'll be a little bit tight. It gets better. Yeah, but that's just not a whiskey that... I wish I'd gotten it cheaper, though. But I probably got it as cheap as I was going to get it around here. What'd you pay for it? $94.99. <laughs> and that was that's a total wine. I, I paid 100 for mine. Yeah, it feels like... Really? Fun. When you look at the, at the price of the regular green spot, it feels like they're jacking it a little more than they should be, but... I mean, that's you actually had a good price, man. I mean, it. Oh, I know. Hundred. I think I think mine's one sixty Australian. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's so. Don't complain on the stream with the Australian. It's getting reamed in the ass. <laughs> no, but I'm saying that's you guys are paying a decent price. I'm paying one sixty. That's I'm 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 getting a pretty good deal. Well, that was well, that was the cheap. That was a total wine. There were three other stores around me who have it. One had it at ninety-seven ninety-nine, one had it at ninety-nine ninety-nine, and one had it at one hundred seven ninety-nine. And I'm like, <laughs> "Fuck you!" So I'm still around that hundred dollar mark. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about there, Greg. So I've not had that. Uh, oh my god, this is not just like, that one, Greg. Jesus, this is good. It's like citrus peeled fruits and grass with smoke and barbecue. It's like you're barbecuing in like a citrus, I don't know, you're just like in a garden of fruit and you're barbecuing like something you can barely even smell you're barbecue. In a fucking citrus, you're in a citrus fruit. orchid and you're, you're fucking barbecuing in the citrus orchid. I like the sound of that. Yeah, it's just, it's incredible. I mean, that's it, it's, but it's, it's still not like... It's not giving you the depth, the oak. I mean, it's not giving you anything that just makes you go, oh, my God. Like, it's just exceptional whiskey, and it's very unique whiskey, and it's beautiful. Beautiful <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah, but sure, there's all that, but, like, it's like you're in, like, an orchard surrounded by, like, fresh-squeezed lemons and limes, and, hmm. like, you're, you're just... Yeah. Grilled is just beautiful cocktail. <laughs> so 
felt like Ken having his moment earlier. The best part about that was I was in my car driving back to back to work after I picked up lunch. And so I can't see what's going on, but I I can hear it. And I hear you making all sorts of weird animal noises. <laughs> uh, I'm like, what the hell? That yeah. And then Julie's like, yeah, I think he needs to move along with his glass. <laughs> and Lil's like, he needs to move along with something. Yeah. <laughs> no. That spring yeah, bag was pretty fucking good. Number yeah. two. Wouldn't that be number three? <laughs> <laughs> We're number two today. <laughs> yeah, the palette on this thing is yeah, not quite as exceptional as the, uh, well, the nose. The nose is better. Nose is better? Okay. Yeah. It's it's salty, savory. It's a lot more smoked meat. A little less fruit. Um, I mean, it's still really good. I mean, it's, it's really good, but it's just not quite... As exceptional. <gasps> that's that's the fucking RC car fan. Oh, that that's the fan. It's my laptop's yep. fan, yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. That's interesting, Greg. So that was one of the stories that closed during the big crash there in the early eighties. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this is. Cool. Yeah, it's long. It's lingering. <laughs> yep. Simon's not here, is at work. Uh, uh, Simon's getting, laughing his ass off. Off screen. Oh, man. <laughs> Back on now. <laughs> well, Ken, I appreciate uh, allowing me to join you because you've led me down the path of drinking some exceptional whiskey I was not planning on drinking tonight at all. Excellent. It's good to get you away from the fucking work and get to have a good fucking drink. Oh my god! I mean, the Port Charlotte I had earlier was delicious whiskey, but like, if I had a case of this, I would never touch that Port Charlotte in my life. Like, I would just keep drinking this, you know. <laughs> the problem is, I can't afford to just drink this all the time, and I'd like to drink it too much. I was too. gonna say you just need a fucking yeah. Need yeah, if I only if I if I was like Mike and I drank like fucking like six whis uh, six whiskeys when we weren't doing reviews together for a week for a month sure if i actually would go three weeks without drinking you know cool but that ain't me nope and it's always shocking like i'm like i i mean I, heck there's people who like i'm like yeah i didn't drink last for i only drank like three days last week which is all i did i drink yeah i drank three days last week i drank on the weekend, I drink one weekday. That's it. Um, and the people are just like, it's all you drank. Like, it's pretty reasonable assumption. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's weeks I drink every day. It's not that I say I don't. But yeah, I don't drink every single day. <laughs> no. I'm not being a stop, Greg. I'm just saying, like, if I could drink this every day, why would I drink Really yeah. good whiskey when I can drink exceptionally great whiskey. I mean, I can't unless I start drinking like, you know, six drinks a month and then I could drink Port Ellen every week. Yeah, that'd be nice. But I, you know, I like drinking. That's I like, I like tasting. I like, I like whiskey. I like beer. Yep. Yeah, Donald's in that kind of category where he can spend a little more money, you know, per. You know, his budget can be a little more high end focused than his salary would indicate. Yep. All other personal decisions aside, he can do that because he can't drink most nights because he's got he's on call. Yeah, I think that there's something to be you know said about that because if you're somebody in that situation who really loves whiskey and you can afford it, I would go higher end. If you can't afford it, then drink what you like, and if you drink often and frequently, you're obviously going to look for more budgetable stuff. But you can genuinely like if you only drink two three glasses of whiskey a, a month. 
Well, shit, go buy yourself some $3,000 whiskeys. I mean, if you... though that bottle's going to last you a year. It'll be your whiskey yeah. budget for a year. A lot of us spend over $3,000 a year on whiskey. Yeah. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yeah. then I agree with you, Greg. I wouldn't drink this every day, but I could drink... I could get five bottles of this quality and... Uh, Exactly, I could spread it out. But again, I like to drink, and that's why I love bourbon, man. Is there's a lot of really good bourbon for that uh, between fifty and one hundred and fifty dollar range that I I love drinking. And then there's a handful of bourbons I love for under fifty bucks. But you know, they you have to fight secondary people for those. <laughs> yeah. Where like I would legitimately have a bottle of Eagle Rare Ten. And I would drink Eagle Rare 10 at least one glass a week, every week, if I could. I haven't seen – I can't get Eagle Rare 10, so I don't drink Eagle Rare 10. I can't get it. It's impossible to get unless I want to pay premiums. Mm. It sucks. If I could pick one up for 30 bucks, I'd, I'd never not have a bottle of Eagle Rare 10-year-old. I have not seen a bottle of Eagle Rare 10 without some kind of – Stipulation or premium price in five or six years. Uh. Yikes. What's Jim drinking? Green Spot Chateau Louis Vuitton. He's drinking your baby, Donald. You love that stuff. Yep. He's drinking the beast. I've done the 11 hours. Woohoo! All right. I'm going to kick it in the guts. Yeah, <laughs> blame you. Yeah. It's all my fault you've been here for the last two hours. <laughs> oh, no, not going anywhere. Hey, guys. Hey, hey no. I might start home. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> yeah. Leo Barton, I know you're not a fan, Dustin, um, but as everybody pretty well knows, that uh, I'm an absolute huge fan of that stuff. Well, you know what, guys? I'm, I'm going to go pour a glass of that. Um, I'm going to get another glass because I'm not actually finishing this whiskey because that's insanity. But I want to go back to it to kind of um, refresh my memory. You know what? Let me go grab mine then, bugger it. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna have some clear. I'll report. <laughs> I've already had some there tonight, and I'm gonna have some more. Yeah, some of us are just warming up, sure, Kitty. I don't know about Chan, he's probably gonna go to bed. <laughs> go to bed and miss most of the shenanigans. But the rest of us have. Oh. Maybe part of Urban Battalion and then uh, Mash and Drum, and I think supposedly, maybe, I don't know, it could happen. Burben is going to be doing the after after show. After Mash yeah. and Drum? Maybe. I'll be up for that. <laughs> you just want to see the shit show. I when, he tries to run OBS, when, he, when he tries to run OBS again. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, so Donald, oh, I get to try. I get to. I get to have some of this. This for is the, the local uh, the story I was talking about that's doing the pot still here. Oh, nice. So they're so they're doing uh, what unmalted and malted or um, according to the label, one hundred percent malted barley. Okay. Is, uh, double distilled and handmade copper pot stills and aged in northern oak barrels. By Northern Oak, they mean Maine. So, so it's a single malt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. True juice, complex notes of honey, banana, pear, and a smooth vanilla finish. Uh, they just joined from... on Bergen Battalion. What are you doing? <laughs> huh? Like, how many streams have I fucking missed already? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably a shitload. Look at the legs on this thing. I just love the way it just 
oozes down the well it'll focus but it just oozes down the glass that lovely oily pot still oh yeah just yeah <clears throat> yeah and then of course there's this guy i'm actually looking for the silky dark the dark legend yeah. the peated one they um, had the they had the this and the dark and I passed on the passed up on the dark for this. Daniel Strachan was saying in the chat that the dark is really good, so that's what I've heard. It shows up here. I will probably grab it. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to finally getting my hands on a Writer's Tears uh, floral Marsala cask finish. Ah. <clears throat> I've seen that. I haven't grabbed it. I think yeah. Simon has that. I think he does. Yeah. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah. Promised me to yesterday stay awake, but Ben was 60 40 for doing his thing. Ah, man. Yeah, so James Morgan, was it you who called me the king of random? Oh, Jesus. Because of all the, because of all the, all the random bottles I was showing off on Livewire on Sunday? Yeah, that, that is a nice nose. You know, I, I have a confession to make. I haven't gone back to this probably in a couple of months now. Mm. One thing I have discovered about drinking from a Tua glass is if you eyeball it the same as you do for a Glen Karen, you're actually getting a lot more in the glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably going to crack that uh, Scallywag 10 uh, open later. Nice. Might, might leave the bourbon until the weekend. It was 60, what, 60 bucks for the bourbon? So we'll just call that, you know, the curiosity tax. Yeah. Well, I'm happy to have some more of this tonight. My second yeah, hour with it. Again. I'm always happy to have it. I mean, I've got all the spots. And uh, when I did a comparison of them all, blue came out on do? top. But um, it just beat this out. Yeah, I know when the, the whiskey dick did his blind there, his spot blind a few like two months ago, I think for him it was yellow. It was yellow, yeah. Okay. Not a mind yellow. And I think you were both in agreement agreement on the red. <laughs> I don't think either of you like the red much. Oh man. Yep, you know what? Yeah, it's definitely over seven thirty AM in the morning. Do you know what yeah, really up. gets me with this whiskey? Is that Classic, you know, buttery shortbread note you get on the Middleton pot stills takes on um, a custard note, like a real rich custard note that reminds me so much of my great grandmother's uh, homemade custard. Huh. Nice. And it, it's like custard topped with like stewed raspberries. I just, I love it. Yep. Yeah, bourbon ball. It's definitely a custard tart. We're all sipping on this. Mm. Yeah. And when Dusty gets back, he'll have it too. It's funny. Whenever I show up, people start pouring Irish whiskey. <laughs> well, no, it's not pouring whiskey. They were four hours ago. I know. Well, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I think you poured it after I started talking talking about it. That was more yeah, than four hours ago, buddy. Was on that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I've lost track. You know, it's Eleven hours in. <laughs> Charles Ashworth, the dust just standing in his closet looking at all the things he'd rather drink than. Better had to dig it out. <laughs> Still searching. Still searching. <laughs> I had that problem up until recently, and then I decided, you know, bugger it, I'm going to do a spreadsheet where I have uh, the, the location of every bottle. So it's either on shelf one, shelf two, shelf three, shelf four. 
so I can just go and uh, look it up quickly in case I want to pull it down, but I always know where the spots are. All the Middleton stuff is in the most secure place on the shelves. On the bottom, you know, basically, if anything falls off, let it fall down. The Middleton will be fine. It'll be a good, <laughs> good yeah. I've, I've, my collection's all pretty accessible. It's all here. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, yeah, I'm going to have it most of it behind me. Um because uh, what I'm going to do is I've got some uh, cabinetry I got for nothing that I'm going to repurpose into a bar. Nice. I've got a stainless steel table. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. But since COVID started, I haven't had a chance to work on anything at home. I've basically been able to, you know, plaster here and there when I go to repaint for a couple of hours at a time. And that's about it. Okay. Only two... I needed a step ladder and apparently had to tear down my entire top shelf bourbon because apparently I put this at the back of my top shelf bourbon section. Very behind the bourbon. Yeah, when I say top shelf bourbon, I mean like the, app, the shelf that I can. <laughs> it's yeah. literally the top of the shelf. I thought maybe I just finished it. I'm like, what the hell did I do with that thing? And I'm like, there's no way. All right. Yeah, bourbon baller. As I was saying earlier, Chateau Montalena. I can find that blindfolded, folded with my hand tied behind my back. That's not hard to find at all. This, it took them like a year and a half, two years to restock it. <laughs> and when it hit, like every store in the area you got a drop and had it at a different price point. <laughs> I'm not in an earthquake area, Greg. I'm just theorizing here. <laughs> exactly. The nose on this is beautiful. Red Strategically placing. Yeah. It's like marshmallowed, yeah, spiced, um, something. Yeah. And marshmallow and spices are big on here. Almost like you know, kind of burnt creme brulee esque. Yeah, I I always get I always get my great grandmother's custard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's built that skin on the top of it, you know, and it's been like a little bit charred just to kind of make the skin even harder. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Yeah, and it, it um, oh, kind of yeah. <laughs> sugar kitty. Top shelf has different meaning when you're short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you ask the vendor every week. Mm. You can't get it. There you go. Hey, but you, at least you have blue spot. Blue spot, yeah. I can't find out here. It hit the shelves and gone. yeah, I can't fucking. Yeah, find blue, it blue spot so sold out so fast here. I went the day Bobby got it at that party source, and it was gone by the time I got there. Oh. Now I wasn't actually going there to get it. I don't know if I would have bought it that day to be honest. Because I'll be honest, hundred dollars for a seven-year-old when I don't think the twelve is worth a hundred bucks. Well, it, but at it, the same time, it was cast drink, so I was like, eh, you know, maybe. It, it was a hitter. Well, had I, thing is, you hadn't had it yet when I was looking for it, Donald. So That's right. Um, Bobby hadn't even had it yet. He just got it. So I, I didn't know if it was going to be good or not. You know, it was, it was a gamble. Well, Jason tracked down my first bottle and then shipped it to my friend in New York. Yep. And then a little while later, my friend in New York you know, video calls me from the liquor store and there's like 10 bottles sitting on the shelf. So I grabbed another one. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, J Jason so much more involved than me. I don't, I don't buy whiskey in Ohio at all. Like I buy probably four bottles a year in the state I live in. Mm. Mm. And that's might even be rounding up. Uh, honest to God. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I didn't even look here. Um, yeah, on the nose, man. I'm telling you, this is this is awesome right now. It's had some time to oxidize. I've had this open for over a year, so oh, but the question yeah. is the taste, right? Yep. Love that bite at the back end of the pot, still spice. With those, the, the tannins on this are very gentle. <clears throat> 
Mm. Yeah. So I get that this is pot still and not young offensive whiskey. It's in the seven to ten year range generally. Yeah. Um, the spots and then what they do is they leave it in the wine casks for anywhere between 12 and 24 months. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> so well, the thing is the, the wine doesn't add a richness um, or what's the word? It doesn't add a level of depth that isn't just sweetness. Okay. Cause I find and that the, the Montalena is sweeter than this one. It almost goes in the direction of like marzipan powder sugared sweet. Okay. I like that direction in general, but again, what I'm what I'm, what I'm getting at is the balance here between the sweet and that spice. It needs oak to bring it all together, in my opinion. It's lacking oak. Okay. Yeah, because I I definitely get like gentle oak tannins on the back end. It's not as powerful as you would expect from like a wine cask. It's not what you'd expect from like a sherry cask or a port cask or some of those more or, traditional. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, to be to the credit. Credit. They definitely chose a couple, of, a couple of unusual uh, wines to finish this in. You got the Zinfandel and Bordeaux, which well, I think that, you, I think you can count those the number of whiskeys that are finished on those in those so, on one hand. So that was done deliberately. Mm -hmm. Oh, no doubt. It was done deliberately because these two are called the Wine Geese series, and it's to celebrate wineries that were uh, owned and operated by Irish families. Yep. Because I didn't I, cut up from the two. Yeah, Irish families would um, would often go to France and take over wineries. And um, Thomas Barton's descendants still own uh, and operate the Leoville Barton um, winery to this day. Cool. Hmm. Yeah, so... Heritage. Mm -hmm. So we That's kind of get back into to where my criticism of this whiskey is, Donald. And then I'm going to switch over to where, what I like about this whiskey, which I actually am liking this whiskey a lot more right now than in the past. Okay. I think it's because I understand it better from talking to you. Okay. Um, the pot still and the wine don't work together, in my opinion. Okay. The wine creates this really sweet character, but has no balance. And then it's purely left on the pot still to balance it. And the problem is the pot still is a little harsh, a little rough, where it adds that spice. And it comes in kind of out of nowhere after this really over-the-top sweetness. And everything about this whiskey screams, I'm not well-aged. I've not been well-matured. But as I start thinking in my head, pot still versus wine cask, I start realizing that this actually has some matur maturation. There is something there. It's that the two, when they get pushed together, makes me think of young whiskey. Okay. I think that's the where my initial like aversion and dislike of this came from. Now the positive here is this thing smells delicious. Like this thing just smells glorious. So like, it's just sweet, candied. Mm -hmm. It's it's not a whiskey that I'm like smelling and nosing, going, oh I. I'm buying a case of this. It's just like, oh, no, this is nice. This is more like a Glen Ranji 18-year-old kind of level of whiskey. That okay. really solid $100, $150, $200 whiskey. Okay. That really nice, like, but not high proof, not overly complex. It's not doing anything that makes you go, ooh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But the problem, is, and the thing is, the nose on this thing is way better than, for me than the palate. It's that spice kick. And then the the mid palate, it's super sweet up front. That's cool, and it's got the nice spice, a little over the top for my personal taste. But that's object. That's just your opinion, you know. And then in the middle, there's nothing there. It just it doesn't have like a transition between the two. And that's what's really keeping this thing from you know hitting those high notes for me. Okay. 
No, I'm obviously being a snob as Jim is rolling his eyes and smirking at me the whole time. No, I was, I was thinking about as soon as you said, you know, this isn't this isn't a whiskey that you buy a case of, you know, to nose. What I immediately thought of was there was a whistle pig that I tasted this past weekend that was finished in Spanish oak and Brazilian teak wood. And mm. holy shit. <laughs> it was just like n nothing else I've ever smelled. Like, you, mm. like the things that make me think of are the things, things that you generally wouldn't want to think of. And it was mm -hmm. like a bowling alley by the seaside, furniture polish, leather. <laughs> Interesting. It's just weird, but in a good way. Well, I mean, like, like uh, I've had the whistle pig, like Old World or something. There's been some barrel, like store picks and stuff I've had. Um, and uh, I'll just flat out say I will never buy another whistle pig ever. Period, because I just don't like the company. But I'm sick of American distilleries. Who yeah. want these obscene prices? It's just. Yeah, I mean, and also their their core stuff sucks. Mm -hmm. Their tin is not good whiskey. It's you better it's, off it, buying the Alberta Premium Cask Strength and calling it a day. That's it. Yes, a hundred percent. The tin yeah. frustrates me. Frustrates me because I want it to be better than it is. But you know, every time I've come back to it, it's like it's not bad. But man, there's so many other better rides. Yeah, hey, it's like, it's just, it doesn't stand up. Yeah, and the price. No, of, again, the, the, the only of, one. I've had that was good was that Here's old Greg. world where they had like six <laughs> different casts blended. And Joe. Otherwise, God, cheers, Greg. Greg. Yep, cheers, Greg. God, whistle pigs pricing, and I haven't had the fifteen and eighteen year, and I, I've had I've had one boss hog that was just comically bad for what it was, mm. like, and, and mind you, it was not a popular one. It was the um, Spirit of Maw from uh, I got it from Bobby and Sam. Okay. Mm. I've heard the Armin Yag one was pretty solid, but still, I, they they've got to they've got to do better for the well, those prices. It's even, ridiculous. Even when you look at it here, like I've seen some of their special releases going for two, three, four hundred dollars here, and the original Lot Forty Cask Strength Twelve Year was seventy five bucks. I'd rather buy. You know, like six of them over one whistle pig. I thought to buy Lot Forty Cash Strength if I could get it here. You know what? Actually, they did do a release uh, last fall to uh, New England. Yeah, I never saw it. I think I think what they might have done with it is I did they do New England? They did New England. They did Chicago, and um, I think it was Los Angeles. Those three select markets. Okay. From what I heard, most of it went to Chicago. Like it was like yeah, eighty percent right. Chicago. Then they like sprinkled it to other markets. Yeah, right, I poured more of this. Actually, I'm, I'm actually enjoying this tonight. Um, but I'm also, yeah. I'm also feeling a little buzz because I've been drinking sixty percent alcohol and I'm <laughs> kind of enjoying like not having like an alcohol burn. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, but um, I I started. I, I think it was about the three hour mark when I had this, and now I'm yeah. in on the. Yeah. 11 and a half hour mark and i'm still fucking enjoying it yeah the, the I, thing is i am enjoying this now because i think my palate's been so like beaten up that i'm not picking up the stuff i generally find a little offensive and my, my big thing is it's not that i dislike this whiskey because i do think this is a good whiskey and i always have but when you you know you call it when people start raving about it that's when i'm like mm, no <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. I'm with you, Donald. I'm a fan of it. I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, it's one yeah. of my favorites. To, so to me, this is like yeah. much more on that level oh, of. Uh, I'll put it this way, Donald. I'll put it in your terms. Powers, John Lanes, mm. all day, every day over this one. Okay. Oh, mm. yeah. yeah, I could happily live with that. Yeah. That yeah. to me is a much better balanced, better put together whiskey. It's start to finish is just it's the uh, it, it, the it's got a wave little... of awesomeness. Like this one's so sweet up front, and then it's got the spice at the end, and it just doesn't transition well for me. The John Lane's is just beautiful the whole way through. I don't know if you get this too, Ken, but one thing I'm finding in the mid palate 
is you know like those red uh, kind of sour plums i just yes. got it for the first time yep but those real bitter fucking candied sour plums that you get yeah 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 i'm getting that yeah I'm liking this a lot more than usual. Well, that's really, I really am enjoying it tonight. But again, I, it, it actually at hundred dollars. Actually, tonight this is drinking like a solid hundred dollar whiskey all day. But I think I think the other thing with this too is the pot still recipe is a bit different because Middleton uses like a lighter pot still. Then they've got what they call their mod pot, which is their medium. And then they've got the heavy pot still. And I think John's Lane is the heavier uh, pot still mm -hmm. recipe. Um, I think the spots might be a combination of the lighter and the mod pot. I'm not sure. They don't always disclose or don't disclose, period. So I'm assuming this is probably the light. <laughs> it's, well, it's got so much stuff blended in there. It's a yeah. blend of. Uh, four whiskeys. It's pot still, single malt, single grain. Um, yeah, sorry, three. Yeah, pot still, single malt, and single grain. Say what you're kidding? And yet, and yet you're kidding. The <laughs> price of your boss, whistle pig boss hogs, tend to sit around because those people will get the price tag and go, ah, oh, no. Yeah, they they do tend to go on sale as well. Uh, the the boss hogs. So you can generally, you know. But the, the problem is, COVID has really hurt the, um, the world of discount whiskey. It used to be so many more things on discount, and now mm. people just keep buying it up, and it sucks. Yep. I mean, Leland's actually about a hundred and like a hundred and twenty dollar, hundred and thirty dollar bottle. I may have gotten this for 70 because someone used the register and I didn't catch it until I was long gone. <laughs> ah, following up with the Marsala cask yellow spot. Or no, Malaga mm -hmm. cask. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one is pretty unique. I, it, it almost takes on a weird spiced banana bread meets red pepper jelly note for me. No, we can't get the yellow spot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's working his way through the range. <laughs> if I'm not careful, I'm probably going to work my way through the whole range later. <laughs> Ken just finished his and he's pouring a yellow spot. Yep. Yep. That whistle pig, I think it was a 15 year old store, store pick that the owner still had a bottle in her sampling cabinet. But it had sold, sold it had sold out at one hundred and forty dollars a bottle, and what we were told was that the only other the only, the only other whistle pig that had that that uh, mm. that a finish on it was the Boss Hog Seven, which is like a five hundred plus dollar bottle. Yeah, for, for Alberta for Alberta Premium, that's been finished in a wacky barrel. <laughs> you Whoa, that. that's tempting old man joe that's tempting i'm looking at my humidor I'm, that's fucking very fucking tempting mm, I'm looking, sun's out thing, but i could go stand in the sun and have a fucking stick that's very fucking tempting i actually would be down for a cigar right now myself uh, yeah can, but sadly i don't have my place doesn't have a patio so i would have to go like awkwardly like in like the parking garage is smoke. It'll be weird. Yeah. I'm considering lighting a pipe later. Mm. No worry, it's smoke inside. But I mean, I'm telling you, dude, there's like every room here has got like a fucking sprinkler it's system. It's, it's, <laughs> it's right behind me. Yeah. There you go. There, there's Fun. the thing. Oh, my career more. <laughs> Turn on nice. the sprinkler. Yeah, I blame Mad Citric for this one. <laughs> yeah. Boston. You gotta yeah, blame it's not like it was hard to get, and like they're all over. Like I, I was like, Matt, the, the, here's like six websites that all, all have it. What are you talking about? Yeah, the I can't find them. The uh, cast strength, I, I think, is a bit harder to find. This is not the cast strength; it's just a regular Macrimor. 
Yeah, I found in like two different batches. I was like, here you go. Here's batch two and batch four. And then we slide all the way back, back down the hill to the naked grouse. <laughs> you know what? Naked grouse is a, as a, you know, it's a fun bottle. Something you want to bring out uh, with, you know, when you're with a few friends. It's a good blended malt. It's nothing special, but it's well, solid I stuff. To try it. I need to I try that at some point just to know what it is. Sorry? I like nice more than the pellet. Okay. I actually found a 30-year-old naked grouse for like 400 bucks I was looking at. 30-year-old really? grouse? Wow. Yeah. Ooh. That's weird. Uh, Why would they do that? The of that? <laughs> Who were they aiming that at? McAllen Pro drinkers. Yeah, I was I just going to say probably. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. People like uh, my like uh, ways, older though, relatives and so on. Now, if you want really oddball, old Valentine. Okay. Old Valentine ten. Okay. Yeah, I've heard. I heard nothing but good about like the the older old grouses, and I was like, it's forty three percent, and I was like, mm. well, but yeah, I found a website the other day that had a few like dusty kind of bottles, and I was like, hmm. They had a few yeah, spring well, banks I was excited about, but I mean, Jesus, those prices. Yeah, it's like some of the older Irish stuff that I have from the 1980s. Um, bottled at, weight, at a higher ABV and clearly has more malt in it than grain. <clears throat> well, Eric Waite just did a review today of Wild Turkey Masters Keep Revival. The no fuck? Way. Like he's reviewed that multiple times in the past. I will say this though, I would absolutely kill for a bottle of that now. I would love another bottle. That thing is so good, and that legitimately is 100 percent finished in exceptional sherry casks. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I was just thinking today that I'm going to have to crack yeah. my rare breed bourbon because I've I've got the bourbon and the rye, and I've had the wild the wild the. Oh, yeah. A 101 bourbon. I liked the 101 bourbon. The rare breed rye is kind of leaving me. Eh, it's okay, but it's not really doing anything for me. No, it, if you compare it to like a Russell's like six year um, rye, it's not even close. All right, you know what? Bugger it, Ken. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. <laughs> I'm going to go get my yellow well, spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Ken, at what point do you have to stop this and roll over to a new stream so you don't lose your? the recording. Uh, at the at the yeah, just before the twelve hour point. <laughs> He's got another thirty minutes. Would you, what is that? Eight thirty p.m. here. Okay. Yeah, he's got about thirty minutes for us. Yeah, eight thirty p.m. Yeah, I got thirty minutes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be ordering food in the next fifteen easily. And so I'll be definitely done very shortly after that. Yeah, I grabbed this because I have the the NAS old Ballantrue in it, and I love it. It is amazing. It's wonderful peated Highland Scotch. It's it's a, it's it smells like a barbecue, like a sweet smoked meat barbecue. It's great. So I figure this can't be can't be anything but better. The ten year old. Have and you it's tried a shame. It I have not. And you know what's a shame? This gets no love at all. And I think they've replaced it with the Tom and Tool with a PD King, which I know Eric Waite was not big on. I wasn't a fan of that. I was so excited to try that and I was really bummed out when I tried it. I was like, this is shit. It was really lacking. I I will say that after this past weekend, I definitely have to take a closer look at Glen Scotia. This is Victoriana. I opened, opened my eyes and went, okay, maybe I'm missing something here because it's pretty good. <laughs> I like. You had the 15 year yet, Ted? Yeah, yeah grab the 15. Because the 15 is like epic. The 15 is great. It really yeah, is. Yeah, the, the 15, there, there's no better scotch for the price than the 15. So under a hundred dollars, fifteen is 
amazing. So I know guys, what I'm saying is, is up there. For me. Closer. I think it might have been the 12, though. Well, the 15 is, is damn good. The uh, Victoriana. The 18 in my opinion. Yeah, the Victoriana. The yes, Victoriana, please. I love that one. It's like a bottle of that. Yeah. Fucking I, I, I honestly got I don't know what I like better between the Springbank 15 and Victoriana. They're they're that close to me in quality and okay. Yeah, Spring, and and Spring Bank, the, other, the, the other big piece I think uh, missing from my scotch uh, for a while. I, I haven't tried any Spring Bank. I keep meaning to get the 80. The eight, I think the, the, the ten year old meaty note Sorry, on the Scotia 15, I would give it over the Springbank 15. Okay. Charles Ashworth. <laughs> so um, this is what you guys need to keep an eye out for. One of these, if uh, you're ever out whiskey shopping, uh, I've seen the. I, th I think the twelve-year-old Irishman. I have never seen the seventeen. Yeah, single and I've seen cast. The Founders Reserve up and down. Spends its whole life in first fill ex Oloroso barrels. Ooh, I just found. I just found one online. Hundred and sixty-seven euros. Ooh. For what? Which uh, whiskey? Irishman 17. Uh, that's Wow. We get it cheaper than that here in Canada. Well, I, I just, I'm putting it in my cart. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get it here in America, period, no. that I've seen. I don't think we do. So, you know. Um, Oh man, I found a website that's got a lot of old, dusty bottles and stuff that I've not seen before. So I'm kind of exploring. Do you have a hockey <laughs> game to watch, Donald? Pardon? Don't you have a hockey game to watch? I do. It's on in the background. Don't worry. Uh, as much as it pains me, go Canadians, because I don't like Tampa. Yeah. All right. So here's the here's the question for you, Long Row. Do I buy the fourteen-year-old? Uh, uh, do I buy the fourteen-year-old or the ten-year-old? Both no longer made, or both? Hmm. Mm. Interesting. Anybody have had either of those? No, I have not. Mm, that's a tough one. There we go. And there's a burgundy wood one, but that's freaking expensive as hell. I like Charles's comment. Get the red and the blue as well. I suppose you want me to pull out the Montalena as well. <laughs> yeah, hit them all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drink till you can't feel your feelings, man. <laughs> yeah, knowing you... Come back with Marco and the piss is all up. So, mm. More Irish you can get that we can't. Mm. This is probably. <laughs> sugar speak. I hear you, Sugar Kitty. It pains me the Bruins fans to say, to say go Canadians. It's like part of me died inside, but I. And I, and I should like Tampa because they were founded by an ex Bruin, but they just piss me off. Liars fan, eh? My condolences. Uh, well, <laughs> and to that point, oh, you're a Flyers man? I don't like you either. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> uh, not an intentional one, Tony. <laughs> All right, so I got a basket for 477 euros. Okay. Hmm. See, old man Joe knows. This seems so oddly like a good, reasonable price. That's a cool one. <laughs> that, um, yeah, that Irishman 17 was uh, my pick for, you know, wi uh, Irish whiskey of the year in uh, yeah. 2020. So, so my, my basket right now is an Irishman 17. Yep. For the most expensive bottle. Then I have a long row 14 year old, which hasn't been made in years. A long row 10 year old, also not made in years. 
And then the Campbelltown oh. CV Malt, it's three twenty CLs for like about a hundred dollars US. Okay. Yeah, because um, even at one hundred and sixty euros, that seventeen year is an excellent value. It, it absolutely is. The, the thing is, though, those two long rows are also yeah, 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 yeah. they're they're overpriced, but you can't. They don't. They're not made anymore. They're collector's items, kind of. <laughs> Um, my computer just fucking blue screen to death. Really? Also, they were covering like the hell of a Next minute, just SOD. <laughs> All right, uh, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just doing this. Say what, Ken? Okay. Uh, excuse me. Say what, Charles? Caledonian. This is, this is the dumbest purchase I've made in a while. I think. Mm. Uh, minus. The <laughs> Let's see what this thing ends up costing me. It's gonna work. Yeah, sugar kitty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Only thing worse. Yes, Bruins Habs. Fine, fine. I'm still laughing at, at Tony Tuto's reaction to that clue a twelve sample I gave him, and I thought that was gonna go over okay. Cause it, you know, it's clue a twelve. It's easily the friendliest of all the islands, and for him, it was like <laughs> it was like looking at campfire log coated in iodine. <laughs> Well, you and, start uh, people with like Highland Park before you go to Highland. Uh, yeah, I suppose that's fair. Mm. Yeah, with Talisker. Yeah, even Talisker. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I don't. I don't have Talisker. I did mm. give him a sample of the old Ballantyre uh, NAS, which he likes better than the Kalila. He's, he's, I think his reaction still was, "It's not something I buy, but I wouldn't say no to it." <laughs> because yeah. it, it's a little sweeter and not quite so much. <laughs> Right, so now I can finally get around to have my sip of my fucking yellow spot. Yellow spot, yeah. I was just about to fucking do when my fucking computer decided to have a massive dump. You're moving a single bottle. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? I've never heard that, Charles. <laughs> Alright, hmm. Yep. Mm hmm. Uh, mm. It, it, it's it got this really interesting note of spice banana bread. Yep, banana bread dripped in custard and fucking... Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. That is definitely banana bread. <laughs> You're not fucking wrong. That is fresh baked banana bread with fucking custard. Yep. Mm. Oh, Donald, I gave uh, Kilko a sample of the uh, uh, Writer's Tears Cast Strength 2019. Nice. So I figured he would enjoy that. Yeah. I love Writer's Tears Cast Strength. Can't wait to get my hands on a bottle of the Mizanara Cask, because that's also bottled at Cask Strength at 55 ABV. Is that... Is that just the cask of the month? What the fuck? Everybody's using the Mizanara cask. Now. Well, they've been using Mizanara casks and Irish whiskey for longer than other places, mm. except Japan. Yeah, it's James. The problem with Arden the Merkin is you have to actually be able to find it. And the last I checked, I don't think it exists here yet. Yeah, Arden Merkin, yeah. I think they kept... Almost all of that initial release over in the UK. As opposed to Tor Vig, which we got the lion's share of and then pissed everybody over in the UK off. <laughs> Finally ready for a pull, Adam. Nice. It's the whiskey shits. If I want to put it in a hands. <laughs> Hmm. So if you want a, if you want a funny strand hands, and I think Ken may have heard this story already. If you want a funny strand hands story? So this past weekend, I uh, met up with Bourbon, Tony Two Toes, and Kilco at this store in Connecticut uh, owned by Irene Tan. Who, if you're familiar with the Whiskey Tribe, she was profiled on the Whiskey Tribe. She is nationally known for her store picks. And Bourbon and I were looking at the shelves in the store, and they had it was a strand hands, and he asked me about it. And I'm like, no, fuck that. Because I have a regular distillery bottle with Fran Hands, and I don't like it. <laughs> it sucks. 
<laughs> Apparently, this was a store pick. <laughs> oh dear. And, and so he mentioned it to the the owner, Irene, and she gives me this look. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't know it was a store pick. <laughs> and he takes Bourbon back into the tasting room and, get, and lets him try it. And he like just much she bought a bottle of it. And then she looked at me and was like, you, come here. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And I tried it and okay, she's got a point. Her, her single barrel pick is much better than the distillery bottle. I still didn't buy it, but okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah, better right. get 12 hours. 11 hours, 43 minutes. So, <laughs> are you going to so call that? So, I just, I made this order. And as soon as I finished the order, I got a pop up. Expect delays because of COVID. Oh, yeah, thanks, yeah. guys, for telling me after I gave you my oh, 550 yeah, yeah, euros money. plus conversion plus conversion yeah. cost. Yep. Thanks, guys. But hey, I've got two long rows. A Campbelltown sample set and an Irishman 17 coming. Someday, maybe, perhaps, we'll find out <laughs> if they ever get slivered. It'll just show up randomly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is over. Yeah, when I get my um, my next Irishman 17, I'll send you a sample of that one because obviously it'll be a different cast. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see. If I ever can figure out, if I ever actually get to where I can actually ship stuff and don't like take six <coughs> months to do it, and I don't have to like feel bad for people not getting their stuff, I will get you one as well. Uh, <laughs> <Donald>. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, so, so I, I spent six hundred and fifty bucks in the last two minutes. Wow. Okay. Yep. It's easy to I do. Know. I was gonna yeah, say it's not fucking hard to do. Nope. For yeah. three bottles of whiskey and one sample oh. all set. Yep. So, the, so at the store that we were at this weekend, Donald, not only, did, not only did she have a Glendalock 17, she had a Glendalock 25. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, it is a thing. <laughs> I, yeah, I, the real question is, should I have spent 600 bucks on uh, one bottle instead of three in a sample set? That, that's really where I'm at. It's like On one bottle? Well, because the sure. bottle probably be really good. Well, you did like the Irishman a lot. <laughs> so I, I, you know, I, did. The dress. I did, yeah, and I'll be honest, the two long rows no longer made. That just that's Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That adds the to the Aaron fourteen. Yep. Well I can yeah. I can pick the Aaron fourteens up just down the street from me, so yeah, I've got a couple of uh, Aaron 14 private casks available to hmm. me at Cask Strength. One, Ooh, of ex one of them's ex bourbon, and uh, one of them is uh, what kind of red wine is it? Um, Pinot Noir, I think you said. It might have been Pinot, yeah. I think it was a Pinot Noir. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I looked it up. Like the, the Aaron, the Long Row 14 and 10 review, well enough. So that Irishman, just that thing was. God. This Irishman is as good as you, the one you gave me, man. Jeez, I, it's well worth it. It's almost two hundred dollars, I guess, at USD price, but still. Mm. Yep. And then, yeah, I've. Honestly, I've wanted to try the long row 10. I'm going to have to go pick up a regular long row and compare it. Yeah, one of my favorite bottom shelfers, Black Bush. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what the pour, and I'm like, yeah, I should stick to Irish, but I don't want to open the Selkie, the Selkie yet. And that yeah. was hit your mind. I'm like, all right, fine, I'll we'll pour that. It's kind of in the same general vicinity as the. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> mm. I don't want fucking banana bread now. It's not quite a side, it's not quite a side step from the Chateau Neil Barton. <laughs> like yeah, I mean, the, 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 I was going to buy the uh, Ardbeck. I was looking at a couple places to buy the Ardbeck twenty-two-year-old. So I spent about the same. Okay, I, I'm kind of more excited about the Irishman plus two long rows plus a sample set of Springbanks. Hmm. 
Yeah, hopefully the the cask you get is as good as the one that uh, I have for the Irishman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, hell, if, as long as it's close. Okay. Mm. I mean that that thing was easy. That was two hundred dollars whiskey all day. Three hundred dollars is probably worth worth. So. Yeah. And again, the longer of fourteen and ten. I mean, I'm hoping those are hundred dollar plus bottles themselves. So. Yep. Yeah. And, right. Awesome, Adam. Yeah, the national anthem. Tried and Red Bull blah, the first blah, blah, blah. Really enjoyed it. Fuck, there you go. You're on the fucking path. <laughs> oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, th I think it'd be hard to not like some of those spots. It, it, mm. If you ignore price, I think you're going to like most of the spots. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're, they're... If you just had them in a blind taste and didn't know anything about them, yeah. Yeah, I think you could definitely. Yeah, you'd be like, okay, cool. Unless yeah, you're in like a really big blind tasting, and then you just want to kill yourself because you want all the whiskeys to stop tasting the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what Mike and I experienced when we did a um, we did a tasting in Chicago, and I commented to one of the guys who set it up. I'm like, I don't know what happened, but there was like, there was literally like twelve straight whiskeys where I drank. And it tasted like 40 to 46 percent scotch, mediocre as hell, between like 12 and 18 years old, and like sherry to like barely sherry to moderately sherry. He goes, That sounds all right. He goes, We gave you the entire core of Glen Moranji and Glen going. And I'm like, Oh, God. Wow. And I'm like, Oh, yeah. He had those back to back to back, and I'm blind. He goes, yes, we did. And I'm like, no wonder. I was just like, I can't even differentiate these whiskeys anymore. I'm blind, and I don't know what I'm doing. And this is just, I, I, I want to stop. This is not fun. Mush. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, Sugar Kitty, um, there's also a red bush available, too. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you need to go back to that waitress and ask her for some fucking red bush. Red bush. <laughs> Yeah, you ask him to raise the curtains. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, I'll bring up a bottle of that at some point. Bush? Yeah. Do you have red bush? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, exactly. Mm, bush goes fire cross. <laughs> Alternative name. I mean, there, there's. Those names are just so loaded with jokes. Red yeah. Bush and Black Bush. Like, oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. I prefer Red Bush, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it, I didn't even know there was a Red Bush. <laughs> it's, it's they're all bourbon. I said chop it all down. So. And, and it's you really the two with the bourbon. It's like Bush was like, was like hey, that's kind of hard to, hard to make, make it more classy. He's like, no, it's still Black Bush. You're not fooling anybody. Yeah, I've, I've got a bottle of '80s Black Bush uh, in the uh, cabinet. I mean, mine just mm. mine looks like that. Yeah, mm. like to be Australian. Yeah, because mine comes in a tube as well, Ooh, instead of a box. box. Well, I think this so, is the new stuff. The new newest ones I've seen here have been in um, a tube. Oh, okay, maybe. Adam. <laughs> Okay. I'm not talking about whiskey. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we get to that. <laughs> so, Donald, earlier when they were on, when the, the chat was rife with jokes about Quaka, and you went, and you, and your boss heard, and you said that you told him you were, you were, you were watching the uh, Animal Interference channel. Mm -hmm. I I almost bit my tongue trying not to laugh out loud because my boss was, would have heard me ac across the shop floor and be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, because <laughs> my boss is like, over my desk. "Yeah, my boss is like, what are you watching?" And I just looked up at him and just kind of gave him the first answer that came to mind, <laughs> and that was the first answer that came to mind. I'm wow. watching the Animal Interference Network, and then he laughed and was like, "Okay," and then upon reflection, I'm like. Why was that the first uh, response that came to my mind? I mean, I work with psychiatric patients. I work in mental health. Do I need a check? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, uh... 
might be time for a checkup. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good. All right, the national anthems are over with, so the game's about to begin. I think that's the worst part about watching your streams while having your streams all over work. I have to try not to fucking laugh. <laughs> Just do well, it. Uh, I, I mean, I did it on pub public transport and looked like a complete raving lunatic. Oh, that was so fucking good. <laughs> Dustin was having his Lady Chatterley crisis over Ardbeg. <laughs> that was the Ardbeg telescope blend. <laughs> That, yeah, was the blend. Blend. that was the blend. That was the blend. Yeah, the blend. telescope with a oh, dirty fucking bookers slash bikers fucking glass. Glass, yep. yeah. And I remember feeling like I had to have a shower after that because <laughs> it was like voyeuristic. <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest. I showered afterwards. It was needed. <laughs> <laughs> I passed out after the shower, but I, I showered first. I, I needed to be fresh and clean. Yeah, nice. And <laughs> had that rich, warm water wash over me to remind me of humanity and not... <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, dear God. Uh, I got six minutes. Well, actually, fucking five minutes.